Chapter 1201 Golden Oak Harbor Seeing the confused expressions on their faces, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile, Don't be surprised. This is a special effect of the kitchen. It can improve the user's cooking skills, increase inspiration, and assist the user to make better meals. There is such a magical thing? Elizabeth's face was filled with disbelief. It's not unbelievable. The restaurant on the sea has such a great reputation. Apart from pollutants, everything depends on this kitchen. Now that we have this kitchen, you can also become the chef of the restaurant on the sea. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. This is really great. Elizabeth's eyes sparkled. In her heart, the most important thing is all kinds of cooking skills. What I yearn for the most is a restaurant on the sea that allows people to travel thousands of miles to taste it. Now, being able to work in the kitchen of a restaurant on the sea is a long-cherished wish. I really want to live here forever. Elizabeth touched the stove with reluctance in her eyes. Don't worry. This kitchen is yours to use now. You can always use this kitchen as long as you don't want to leave. Zhang Tuohai patted Elizabeth on the shoulder to reassure her. In fact, he was more worried than Elizabeth. If Elizabeth left, he really didn't know where to find a skilled cook. I didn't expect that one day I would be able to work in a kitchen like this. Linda, take out all the ingredients and show off your skills. Elizabeth geared up and prepared to do something big. Seeing that Elizabeth was so interested, Zhang Tuohai stood up and left. Anyway, he has nothing to do later. Just wait and come over for dinner. Zhang Tuohai returned to the bridge and looked at the chart. He needs to find a new supply city. In two cities in a row, he failed to get suitable supplies. If this situation continued, the supply reserves on the ship might fall below the warning line. This was not good news. The supplies had to be replenished as soon as possible. Zhang Tuohai flipped through the chart several times and finally selected a place Golden Oak Harbor. This is a port belonging to the Royal Navy, an anchorage for the 12th Fleet, and also allows civilian ships to dock for supplies. This is a military port. There won't be any more pollutants. Right. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and looked at the chart. This is the Royal Navy's military port and one of the Royal Navy's layers. If pollutants appear here again, Zhang Tuohai will doubt how long the Empire can survive. At worst, you can grab some supplies from the Royal Navy. Their own supplies should not be polluted. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind, changed the course, and steered the White Bird towards the Golden Oak Port. Golden Oak Port is a full two days sail from here. In the past two days, Elizabeth was enthusiastic about using the new kitchen. All kinds of exquisite dishes were prepared smoothly. And Zhang Tuohai was able to feast his mouth on it. And he gained weight. By the way, I also got two achievements. Namely, Parkour Master and Climbing Master. Increased ability to run and climb on complex terrain. It is the kind of ability that is not used normally, but is more powerful at critical moments. Zhang Tuohai is still satisfied with these two specialties. However, the price of all this is that the consumption of food ingredients doubles. This makes the already insufficient food reserves even worse. We can't wait any longer. Even if we rob the Royal Navy's reserve warehouse today, we have to get the reserve. Zhang Tuohai secretly made up his mind. The outline of Golden Oak Harbor appeared on the horizon in the distance. When the white bird got closer, Zhang Tuohai understood why this port was called Golden Oak Port. This port is built on a huge oak tree. The oak tree towers into the clouds. Its branches are luxuriant. And its huge crown envelopes the entire Golden Oak Harbor. What a big oak tree! Zhang Tuohai looked up at the huge oak tree. This is the second largest tree he has seen besides the world tree. However, the world tree is so big that it has become a world on its own. Making it impossible for people to see the whole picture and completely losing the big concept. But this tree can really make Zhang Tuohai feel it. There is such a big tree. You have to take a good look at it. Zhang Tuohai added another item to his plan, which was to go to the world tree to see the situation. The white bird approaches Golden Oak Harbor. Inspections at Golden Oak Harbor are strict. Before it even got close to the port, several cruisers approached, and their black guns were aimed at the white bird. Several small barges carried a group of lobstermen onto the deck of the white bird, led by a Royal Navy lieutenant. Hello, I am Warrant Officer Carter, the inspector of the Royal Navy, Golden Oak Port, and I need to inspect your ship. A group of lobster soldiers behind him were all carrying long flintlock guns, looking eagerly. Please. Zhang Tuohai made a gesture of invitation. There was no contraband on the ship anyway. The pirates and everything related to it had been wiped clean, and he was now an imperial merchant selling goods with slaves and servants. Nothing more. Warrant Officer Carter 
and his lobstermen searched the ship inside and out but found nothing. Can I know why the inspection is so strict? Zhang Tuohai stuffed a bag containing dinars. When Carter saw the bag, a smile appeared on his face. The lobster soldiers under him were also much gentler, and they dealt with things easily in many places. Actually, it's nothing. An order came from the governor's palace, saying that there has been a lot of unrest recently. Many important colonies in the empire have been attacked. They asked us to strictly check all ships entering the port. It's just nonsense if I say that. You think, if the forces attacking the imperial colonies come here, can a few of us be able to handle it? We will be the first to die. Warrant Officer Carter complained as he put away his money bag. Has the news spread here? It seems that it spreads very quickly. Zhang Tuohai had an idea in his mind. Carter, who received the money, worked very efficiently and quickly produced a bill that passed the inspection. You can enter and leave the port with this note. If you use it to spend money at Old Tom's Tavern, you can enjoy a 20% discount. Zhang Tuohai saw Warrant Officer Carter's cursive signature in the corner of the bill and sighed that Carter really had a business mind. Use your position to help promote and earn a certain commission at the same time. This already has the prototype of a tour guide. In a peaceful world, Carter might be able to use his business acumen to make a name for himself. Unfortunately, this is a chaotic world of navigation. Guns, battleships, and rum are the main theme of this world. The White Bird sailed into Golden Oak Harbor. Chapter 1202 Level 4 Pollutants The White Bird docked. Zhang Tuohai was about to get off the boat when he suddenly saw a group of men in black walking out of the boat next to him. These people were all wearing black robes and carrying black packages in their hands. It was unknown what they contained. Not sure if it was an illusion, but Zhang Tuohai always felt that these people had a familiar smell. What does it smell like? Zhang Tuohai frowned. Suddenly, he had a thought and said to Polly the parrot, Go and call Zero. Gaw. Polly the parrot flew back to the cabin. A moment later, Ling, wearing a black windbreaker, appeared behind Zhang Tuohai. Do these people look familiar to you? Zhang Tuohai asked, pointing to the group of men in black who were retreating. They smell of pollution and should be carrying high-energy pollutants. It is conservatively estimated to be above level 4. Zero remained expressionless. It's indeed a pollutant. And it's level 4. Zhang Tuohai frowned. The polluters he encountered before were only level 3. There was only one level 4, which caused him a lot of effort. Now that there are contaminants here, it means it will become dangerous. According to the optimal solution, he should set sail immediately and leave here. But the problem is that he is now very short of food reserves and must replenish them here. It's his grandma's. I'm supplying here. I hope you can understand and don't cause trouble during this period. Otherwise, don't blame me for summoning the fleet to destroy the country. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and asked Ling to get off the boat with him. Zero can tell which items are contaminated. So it is very useful as a humanoid detector. After Zhang Tuohai entered the dock, he started the cargo scanning mode. As long as the food is not contaminated, Bao Yuan will buy it and let the unsullied people transport it to the ship. Zhang Tuohai spent half a day going around the entire port area and bought a large amount of fresh vegetables, fruits, spices and flour. There are even many fish and various shrimps and crabs that can be caught offshore. But there was only one thing missing meat. Not only is there no beef and mutton, but also chicken, duck, goose and other poultry meat. There are not even byproducts such as eggs and milk. This is a little strange. Out of curiosity, Zhang Tuohai asked a vendor where he could buy meat. The vendor smiled bitterly when he heard this. You are new here, right? In the past three months, Golden Oak Port has implemented meat control. All meat and livestock have been taken away by the garrison and placed in the reserve warehouse of the governor's mansion. It is distributed uniformly. But it has been three months and the smell of meat has not come out at all. I don't know whose pocket it went into. Don't talk about meat. You came here at a good time today and you can still buy some fish. I heard from a friend who works as a servant in the governor's mansion that it seems that fish. Shrimps and crabs will also be included in the control targets in a few days. From now on, Fish and meat will also be included in the control targets. Can't eat any more. Is there such a thing? Zhang Tuohai frowned when he heard this. It was obvious that something big had happened. Where is the reserve warehouse of the governor's mansion? Zhang Tuohai asked. Did you see the spire over there? The one next to the governor's palace is the reserve warehouse. The vendor pointed to a spire in the distance and said. You don't want to build a reserve warehouse. Do you? I just want to see if I can bribe the guards and buy some meat. Zhang Tuohai laughed and laughed. Don't think about it. 
Someone has already tried it. The vendor advised. Before, we had a black marketer here who wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to start a black market and make some money. As a result, he wandered around the reserve warehouse and his head was hung on the flagpole the next day. Even local snakes are like this, let alone a foreigner like you. It's a restricted area now, and we don't even dare to get close. I advise you not to go there, lest you lose your life for no reason. Hearing what the vendor said, Zhang Tuohai became more and more curious. A normal reserve warehouse would never be so tightly guarded, and anyone who came close would be beheaded. He was sure that there was definitely some secret plan going on inside the reserve warehouse. Could it have anything to do with those men in black robes? Or maybe that group of men in black robes heard the news and came here for this? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai felt itchy. This is a matter involving level 4 pollutants. He is already here. There is no reason not to go and see the excitement. I'll just see if nothing happens. No matter what. Even if something goes wrong in the end. The worst possible outcome is to summon a fleet to bring peace to the governor's mansion. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind. Thank the vendor and asked the Unsullied to carry all the vegetables back to the boat, while he went straight to Old Tom's tavern. It shouldn't be easy to bribe the Navy warrant officer to advertise in a tavern. You might be able to get more information here. After asking around on the street, Zhang Tuohai quickly found the Old Tom tavern. It's better to say this is a hotel than a tavern. The first floor alone is several hundred square meters, with dozens of tables and exquisite dishes placed on the tables. There are stairs next to it, and from time to time, you can see guests carrying suitcases going up and down. After entering the tavern, a waiter came over immediately and led the two of them to sit down at an empty table. What do you two want to eat? Have a copy of all the signature dishes. Zhang Tuohai threw a bag of money on the table. Okay, please wait a moment. The waiter was overjoyed and rushed to order the dishes. There's contamination up there and it's moving. Zero said as he glanced at the ceiling above. Is it that level four pollutant? Zhang Tuohai asked. Zero nodded. What a coincidence. Zhang Tuohai was a little surprised. He was just looking for a place to have a meal. But he didn't expect to bump into this group of men in black again. It is now certain that this group of black men has nothing to do with the government house or the Royal Navy. Otherwise, they wouldn't live here. Can you confirm which room you're staying in? Zhang Tuohai asked. I'll try. Zero closed his eyes. After a while, Zero slowly opened his eyes. It's on the third floor. I don't know the specific room number. That's it. Let's go up and have a look later. Zhang Tuohai nodded. When the waiter was serving the dishes, Zhang Tuohai asked, Are there any rooms here? Only the fourth floor is left. And the rooms on the second and third floors are all occupied. The waiter said sheepishly, It doesn't matter. Book a room for us and bring the food to us. Zhang Tuohai said, Okay, come with me. The waiter took the two people to the fourth floor and opened a room for them. Can it be found now? Zhang Tuohai asked Ling. It's in the room diagonally below. Zero pointed at his feet. I'll go over there for a moment. Zhang Tuohai tidied his clothes, went to the next room, and knocked on the door. Who is it? A rough voice came from inside. Room service. The door opened, and a bearded man stuck his head out. The next second a fist as big as a sand bowl hit him in the face. The bearded man fell to the ground. This is to save you. Zhang Tuohai dragged the man into the house and closed the door. Chapter 1203 Giant Monster Zhang Tuohai quietly entered the room. The room was very clean, with tables, chairs, cabinets, and carpets on the floor. It was considered luxurious in this world. Zhang Tuohai found that the quilt on the bed was shivering. He walked over and opened it, and found two half-clothed women hiding inside. It's quite a big game. When the two women saw Zhang Tuohai and were about to scream, they were each struck unconscious on the bed by Zhang Tuohai. After stuffing several people into the cabinet, Zhang Tuohai took Ling over. Is it here? Yes. Right down there. Zero closed his eyes and felt it, then nodded. There are four third level polluters, one fourth level polluter, and four second level polluters under guard. Zero continued to add. I can handle it. Zhang Tuohai analyzed it and found that he could deal with these people by himself. The only shortcoming is that his skills are relatively noisy. Whether it's summoning a ghost ship, summoning a hydra, or controlling flames, basically once you take action, the house cannot be saved. Even if he didn't think about the movement of the musket trial, he would definitely attract people from the governor's mansion. He hasn't achieved his goal yet, and he doesn't want to provoke those people yet. How about moving the things in the warehouse of the governor's mansion first? 
just as Zhang Tuohai was weighing. The sound of neat leather boots came from outside the window. Zhang Tuohai opened the curtains and found a large number of lobster soldiers on the street outside. These lobster soldiers were so densely packed that they filled the streets. And there were thousands of them at a rough count. In the distance, there are groups of lobster soldiers rushing towards here. Farther away there were cuirassiers. Even in a small square, Zhang Tuohai saw an artillery position being set up. What the hell are you doing? Zhang Tuohai frowned and looked at everything in front of him, instinctively feeling that something was not right. Then, he saw a group of lobster soldiers rushing into the door of the tavern. And the sound of gun, butts hitting the door, and screams suddenly sounded in the corridor. Large manhunt? Are you arresting those men in black? Or are you arresting me? Zhang Tuohai's eyes kept turning, constantly thinking about countermeasures. At this moment, there was a sudden explosion downstairs, and the whole house shook. Then I heard shouts. Here they are! Catch them! Then there was the banging of gunfire. Have I brought disaster to Chiyu? Zhang Tuohai squatted by the wall, listening to what was going on below. The fighting situation below was very fierce. The gunfire never stopped from the beginning, and screams were heard from time to time. The artillery begins loading. Zero suddenly spoke. What? Zhang Tuohai heard this and quickly moved to the window, holding onto the window sill and looking out. The artillerymen in the square have loaded propellant and shells, and installed matchlocks for firing. All artillery ready. The artillery commander issued the order. The gunner lit his torch. Hey, just blow up the building? Are these people crazy? Zhang Tuohai didn't dare to hide anymore when he saw this. If you continue to hide, you will inevitably turn into dust together with this small building. However, running is also divided into different strategies. It's definitely not possible to run down. The streets below are full of lobster soldiers. If you go down there, you will definitely be beaten by a group of people. You can only go up, learn Assassin's Creed, run out from the roof, and jump out of the encirclement. Walk. Zhang Tuohai greeted Zero, grabbed the window lattice with both hands, jumped up, and grabbed the eaves. The lobster soldiers on the street obviously didn't expect anyone to escape from the roof. When he discovered it and took aim again, Zhang Tuohai had already climbed onto the roof. Bang, bang, bang. A series of bullets flew over Zhang Tuohai's head. Whoosh. Zero also flipped onto the roof. Bang, bang, bang. Another burst of bullets swept through. Go over to the ridge and get out from the upstairs over there. Zhang Tuohai shouted to Zero. Zero nodded, jumped up, and rolled to the other side of the roof. The next second, the artillery in the square went off. Boom, boom, boom. A barrage of artillery shells was fired and hit the tavern. This tavern is no more solid than a battleship. The shells were easily shot through the wall. And the shells were easily fired into the tavern. And then exploded. Various pieces of limbs flew out of the window. The violent explosion shook the entire tavern. Zhang Tuohai was not sure whether the tavern could withstand the next round of volleys. They must speed up now. Seeing that the people below were blocked by the flying debris, Zhang Tuohai flew over the ridge and was about to jump to the opposite roof. Suddenly, a loud sound came from the room below. In order to trick us into taking the bait, you have really gone to great lengths to open fire in the center of the city. Since you are so reckless about casualties, I won't hide it anymore. Along with this sound, the house began to shake violently as if it was about to collapse at any time. The pollution concentration is rising rapidly, and some polluters have broken through the fourth level and reached the fifth level. Zero said coldly. Fifth level? The next second, the house was completely shattered. A giant over ten meters tall stood up from the house. The surface of this giant's body is blue-gray, and the skin is covered with thick stitches. It looks like someone has pieced the skin together and sealed it. The giant's belly was huge and round like a ball. Dark green mucus was constantly dripping from the gaps in the skin. As soon as the mucus dropped to the ground, it made a soft squeaking sound, and then stirred up a line of white smoke. What? People around him exclaimed. The lobster soldiers couldn't help but take a few steps back when they saw such a monster. Roar! The giant monster let out a thunderous roar. Fire! The commanders of the lobster soldiers below waved their command swords and shouted loudly. Bang, bang, bang. A series of bullets hit the giant monster. However, the giant skin looked like it was stitched together. It looked extremely ugly, but it was extremely strong. After those bullets hit the giant monster's skin, only a white spot was left, and it fell to the ground. The volley of muskets failed to hurt the giant monster, but instead angered the giant monster. Roar! The giant monster roared, raised one foot, and stepped down hard. 
a large number of lobster soldiers, who could not dodge were trampled into meat paste. Fire! At this time, the artillerymen in the square had reloaded their cannonballs and pointed their muzzles at the giant monster. Along with the commander's orders, dozens of cannonballs were fired at the giant monster. Boom! Boom! More than a dozen shells hit the giant monster's body, and the violent explosion opened several holes in the opponent's skin. However, before the lobster soldiers could be happy, a dark green gas seeped out from the torn skin and spread to the surroundings. Chapter 1204 Tree of Destruction Ah! The lobster soldiers screamed. Zhang Tuohai looked down from the roof next to him. It was found that all the lobster soldiers contaminated by the dark green gas had ulcers on their bodies. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a puddle of dark green slime. The dark green mucus was also flowing everywhere, and any lobster soldiers contaminated by this mucus suffered the same fate. They were quickly dissolved into a puddle of mucus and continued to spread around. The mucus spreads very quickly. In the blink of an eye, there is no longer a lobster soldier within a radius of tens of meters. Instead, the ground was completely covered with slime. However, the giant monster was not satisfied and opened its mouth. A stream of rich dark green gas spurted out. These dark green gases were like a tornado, sweeping across a long street of several hundred meters, turning all the lobster soldiers on the street into slime. The diffusion speed of mucus has increased several times. Fire! At this time, the artillery in the square opened fire again. More than a dozen exploding bombs hit the giant. Several tears were torn open in the giant's body again. Then, more dark green gas emerged from the giant's body, and the green slime expanded faster. The green slime was like a carpet of germs, covering the two surrounding streets, and began to spread rapidly to the surroundings. No one was spared wherever it passed. These guys are the ones who fail more than they succeed. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head while watching the operations of these artillerymen. Doesn't this clearly indicate that the giant monster is accelerating the pollution rate? If this happens after so many rounds, the entire city will be destroyed by them. Is there any way to deal with this kind of slime? Zhang Tuohai turned to Zero and asked. Fire is the nemesis of this slime. Zero thought for a moment and said, Fire flames? It's easy. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and used the summon ghost ship. Eight flying warships appeared in the sky. Use incendiary bombs. Target all contaminated areas and release them. The flying battleship opened its bomb bay, and huge oil barrels fell from the bomb port. Bang, bang, bang. After the oil drum fell to the ground, black oil flowed everywhere, and soon formed a large black river. Mixed among these oil barrels were white phosphorus incendiary bombs. The incendiary bombs exploded after falling on the ground. The white phosphorus inside flew everywhere, igniting the black oil river. Call. Fire dragons rose up one after another and spread towards the surroundings. The green slime and green mist made a crackling sound after encountering the blazing flames, and were then swallowed up by the flames. The fire surrounded the giant, blocking the scope of the contamination. Roar! The giant monster roared and rushed towards the flames, preparing to jump out of the flames. However, as soon as it took a few steps forward, several gasoline barrels were smashed in front of it, and black gasoline splashed all over its body. Then, there were a lot of white phosphorus flames. Call. The giant monster was lit like a huge torch. Seeing this scene, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. This time, it should be almost the same. However, the next second, there was an explosion in the direction of the golden oak tree in the distance. Zhang Tuohai quickly turned his head, and the huge golden oak tree in the distance had undergone tremendous changes. The originally golden trunks turned black at this time, and the originally green leaves also turned black at this time. The entire golden oak tree is like a dense mass of ink that cannot be dissolved. Pieces of dark leaves fell. Wherever it passed, all buildings, corpses, and people were melted into black liquid, which gathered into streams and flowed in the direction of the tree trunks. Tree of Destruction I didn't expect that they actually made this pollutant. Zero looked at the black golden oak tree, with a rare solemn look on Fubo Fubo's face. Tree of Destruction? What level of pollutants do they have? Zhang Tuhai asked. The Tree of Destruction has no specific level. The specific effects and functions all depend on the level of pollutants and carriers. The effect is also very simple. As you can see, it pollutes everything into black pollutants, and then feeds back the Tree of Destruction. And then the Tree of Destruction continues to grow and continue to pollute, until the entire world is completely polluted, turning it into a polluted world. So powerful. Do you mean to destroy the Tree of Destruction? Yes. 
If it cannot be dealt with in time, the world will also be destroyed. Zero said seriously. It's really unsettling. These damn guys can actually play tricks on people. Deliberately filming people entering Old Tom's Tavern. Attracting people here. And then secretly going to the Golden Oak to cause trouble. It's really a good calculation. Zhang Tuai sneered. He couldn't be bothered to care about the doggy dog situation of the polluters and the empire. But if the world was to be destroyed, and even he was affected, then it wouldn't be okay. All warships immediately take off and turn, target the Tree of Destruction, and set off. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The flying battleships turned around, climbed around the huge tree canopy, rose into the sky, and flew above the Tree of Destruction. Full firepower. Destroy the Tree of Destruction. Following Zhang Tuohai's order, the bomb bin was opened, and bombs roared onto the Tree of Destruction. Boom. 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 Huge explosions kept sounding. Large swaths of branches were blown away. And the tree crown was flattened. However, the tree of destruction is still huge. Constantly polluting the city. Polluting everything in the city into black streams. Replenishing itself. The flattened tree crown began to slowly recover. No. It's too slow. Zhang Tuohai looked at the huge tree of destruction and shook his head. Not satisfied with the efficiency of the flying battleship. He took out the forbidden book and injected it with magic power. A huge hydra appeared above the ground. The huge nine snake heads raised high. Not much smaller than the tree of destruction. Destroy that tree. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. Hiss, hiss. The hydra spit out the letter and climbed towards the tree of destruction. Hu hu hu. The nine snake heads spit out blazing fire. Constantly licking the huge tree of destruction. After joining hydra as an assistant. The crown of the Tree of Destruction disappeared at a speed visible to the naked eye. Who dares to disrupt the plan of the God of Destruction? A man in black robes flew up from the roots of the Tree of Destruction. The black robes were embroidered with red runes. And he wore a bone mask on his face. There were three balls of ice flying up and down around him. He looked so majestic. I hate pretending the most. Zhang Tuohai made a huge fireball with his hands and slammed it towards the man in black robe. Chapter 1205 Flying Battleship Call the fireball, which was bigger than the bathtub, hit the man in black robe. What? The man in black robe was stunned. It's not like he has never seen fireballs before. But he had never seen such a big fireball before. Is this still a fireball? The men in black robes were stunned. A black round shield appeared in his hand, blocking it in front of him. Boom! The fireball hit the black buckler. The black round shield was directly ignited, and then completely reduced to ashes. Roar! Hydra also discovered the man in black robes, opened its mouth, and sprayed several streaks of flames towards the man in black robes. Seeing the flames coming, the man in black robe raised his hands, and a black round shield was put on his body, covering his body and blocking out the flames. When the flames disappeared, the black round shield shattered into pieces. Something capable! Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes slightly when he saw this. The black round shield of this man in black robe is quite capable and it can actually block Hydra's attack. Try this! Zhang Tuohai commanded eight flying warships to aim their 88mm high level and fly dual-purpose guns at the man in black robes. And then open fire together. Bang bang bang. Hundreds of 88mm high level and fly dual-purpose guns launched an all-round bombardment against the men in black robes. The 88mm artillery shells were like a violent storm, sweeping through everything around them and blocking all the roads for the men in black robes. No matter where the men in black robes fled, they would be baptized by this dense steel storm. Damn guy! The man in black robe gave Zong to Ohai a vicious look, and then put a thick black round shield on his body. The 88mm shells hit the black buckler like raindrops. The black round shield flew in the direction of Zhang to Ohai with the help of the cannonball. Go to hell! The man in black robe suddenly opened his round shield and stabbed towards Zhang to Ohai with a long black sword. You still dare to come? Zhang Tuohai raised his hands, and a huge fireball appeared in front of him. The man in black robe rushed too fast. When he found the fireball, he had already rushed into it. At this point, it was too late to open up the black shield to resist. The scorching heat had evaporated all the water in his body, and his shriveled body burned quickly and turned into ashes like dry straw. When the fireball disappeared, the man in black robe had completely disappeared without a trace. Not even his ashes were left. Kill a 4th level polluter. Gain 100 experience points. Skill point asterisk 1. Zhang to a high thought for a moment and use the skill to summon the ghost ship. The number of ghost ships has increased by one more. 
increased to nine ships. Zhang Tuai did not let the newly added ghost ship participate in the battle to siege the Tree of Destruction. Anyway, judging from the current situation, the two sides are just supporting each other. And no one can do anything to the other for a while. The only way to break the situation is to upgrade the skill of summoning the ghost ship to level 15 and unlock the third feature, which may greatly improve the combat effectiveness of the ghost ship and become the key to breaking the situation. Currently, summoning ghost ships is level 12, which is 3 skill points short of level 15. If you want to get it together, you can only rely on upgrading at this stage. Leveling up requires a lot of enemies. So where to find enemies now? Zhang Tuohai aimed at the pollutants below. Anyway, these guys can't return to adulthood. And they will drag more humans to become pollution. They might as well turn it into his experience points. Which can be regarded as making their own contribution. The flying warship began to cruise over the city. Constantly dropping bombs and incendiary bombs on the pollutants below. The equipped 88mm high level and flight dual purpose cannon also opened fire. Constantly strafing the contaminated civilians around it. Although the 88mm cannon has little effect on the men in black robes. It has a very obvious effect on these newly contaminated civilians. As long as he is hit by a cannonball. Half of his body will be gone. Zhang Tuohai was killed again and the message screen was flooded. I don't know whether it's luck or misfortune. But because of the Tree of Destruction. Almost everyone in the Golden Oak City has been contaminated. The flying battleship doesn't need to distinguish at all and can just fire directly. After completely destroying one-sixth of the entire city. Zhang Tuohai's level finally reached LV 43, 3800-4300. Skill points increased by 3. Zhang Tuohai quickly used these 3 skills on the summoning ghost ship. The summoned ghost ship has also been upgraded to level LV 15. The summoned ghost ship at level 15 has undergone radical changes. The original wooden enclosure became a metal enclosure. And the huge air bags became huge turbines located on both sides of the hull. At the same time, the sails located on the side to adjust the direction are cancelled. The 88mm high flat dual purpose gun in the gun bay was replaced by a 130mm rapid fire gun. On the hull deck, the control building originally located on the rear side was moved forward to the middle position. A launcher was installed in the empty space on the front and rear decks. The launchers were filled with Kadusha rockets with a diameter of 132mm. In the bomb drop bay, the original iron bombs were replaced with precision guided bombs, and their power was increased accordingly. Incendiary bombs are also getting an okay update. There's even a new throwing weapon added. Thermobaric bombs. In addition, the weapons equipped by the crew have also been updated simultaneously. From double-barreled shotguns to assault rifles. The entire battleship looks like a cruiser flying in the sky. Eight huge turbofans are working hard to keep the battleship in a hovering posture. This looks more and more like a modern warship. Zhang Tuohai swallowed as he looked at the warship in the sky. He estimated that if he upgraded a few more levels, he might really be able to create something like an aerospace carrier. It looks good, but I don't know how powerful it is. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and summoned the ghost ship again. Twelve brand new flying warships are lined up and hovering in the sky. Target the Tree of Destruction. Fire! Zhang Tuohai issued the order. Whoosh whoosh. The rockets on the bow launcher were the first to fire. And the rockets roared and flew towards the Tree of Destruction followed by a large number of 130 rapid-fire guns. These artillery pieces are all fed by automatic ammunition feeders. Their rate of fire is even faster than the 88mm high-level and flat dual-purpose cannon. And their power and penetration are much greater than that of the 88mm anti-aircraft gun. Hundreds of 130 rapid-fire cannons bombarded the Tree of Destruction indiscriminately, sending large tracks of tree trunks flying in all directions. Immediately afterwards, the bomb bay of the flying battleship was opened, and a large number of incendiary bombs and precision-guided bombs were thrown down. The area around the Tree of Destruction has become synonymous with destruction. The explosions connected in a series. The flame steamed. Shrapnel flew across. And the scorching heat waves surged. The massive bombs directly turned the area around the Tree of Destruction into a sea of flames of death. The raging flames completely devoured everything around the Tree of Destruction. And the entire Tree of Destruction was destroyed. The tree turned into a huge torch and burned all over. Chapter 1206 Bronze Gate You should be able to kill this guy now! Right! Zhang Tuohai looked at the blazing flames and secretly guessed. Zhang Tuohai himself was not idle either. And from time to time, he would materialize several oversized fireballs and hit the Tree of Destruction. At the same time, in order to cut off other pollutants from providing energy to the Tree of Destruction, 
Zhang Tuohai built a burning fire wall around the Tree of Destruction to completely isolate the Tree of Destruction. The flames continued to burn, and the Tree of Destruction was shrinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. It seems to be working pretty well. Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath and turned to look at Ling. What do you think? It's easier than I thought. Zero looked at the burning Tree of Destruction in the distance and spoke after a while. Have you ever encountered this level of pollutants before? Zhang Tuohai asked. Well, more than once. Each time a heavy price had to be paid to destroy it. Each time, at least hundreds of third level or even fourth level extraordinary people had to pay the price. Zero sighed. Hundreds at a time? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows when he heard this. This means that Zero once belonged to a huge organization. And there were a large number of extraordinary masters in the organization. Otherwise, we simply cannot bear this level of loss. Then where are they? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't know. Zero shook his head. The memories are gone. Only fragments remain. It doesn't matter. Take your time. Walk more. And see more. When you see familiar scenery, you may be able to recall more things. Zhang Tuohai said. Yes. I understand. Ling nodded slightly. The raging fire has been extinguished and the branches on the surface of the Tree of Destruction have been completely burned. But there is still a huge root system underground and has not been destroyed, in line with the principle of eradicating the grass and roots. Zhang Tuohai renewed his anxiety and launched the flying warship to launch a third round of attacks on the root system of the Tree of Destruction. A large amount of land was turned over by the explosion. A large number of roots were ignited, and the fuel was everywhere. The flames penetrated deep into the ground, roasting the nearby land and the air was filled with a burnt smell. You destroyed the fifth level pollutant, the Tree of Destruction, gained 500 experience points, and gained the expertise of Grill Master. Barbecue Master, you are very good at using flames. No matter what the target is, you can grill it. Flame manipulation is increased by 100%, and flame affinity is increased by 100%. Huh? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. This was a type of expertise he had never seen before. He read the specialty description several times and felt that the effect was pretty good. And it complemented his fire proficiency specialty and fire control skills. Zhang Tuohai walked to the location where the Tree of Destruction originally existed, wanting to see if there was anything left. All the roots of the Tree of Destruction were burned away, leaving only a huge pit and countless fine caves spreading around. At the edge of the pit, Zhang Tuohai looked down and was shocked to find an ancient bronze door at the bottom of the pit. What is that? Zhang Tuohai's face was full of curiosity. He thought about what might be left behind after the Tree of Destruction was destroyed. But he never thought that this would be the case. What is this? Do you have any impression? Zhang Tuohai asked Ling. It seems that there is a little bit. We need to get closer. There is too little information. Zero said. Then go and have a look. Even the Tree of Destruction was dry and broken. Zhang Tuohai was naturally not afraid of a dilapidated bronze door and led Ling all the way down to the depths of the pit. Approaching the bronze door, Zhang Tuohai felt an indescribable feeling. It seemed that the door had infinite energy, attracting him, making him keep getting closer, and letting him open the door. Zhang Tuohai stared at the door, which was carved with complicated patterns. There were seven sunken marks on the door, one of which had been filled in. Zhang Tuohai stared at the filled depression. That's a gold coin. Curse gold coin, shipwreck a gold coin stained with the blood of a legendary captain. There are seven cursed gold coins in total. You may gain something after collecting them all. Each of the remaining six depressions is engraved with a name, Kraken, Gargoyle, Sailor, Pirate, Storm, Witch. Zhang Tuohai thought of his gold coins. Could it be that these cursed gold coins were used to open this bronze door? Zhang Tuohai took out the four gold coins from his pocket and put them into the corresponding gaps one by one. Every gold coin is perfectly matched without any defects. Zhang Tuohai looked at the remaining two gaps, which were Storm and Witch. It seems that as long as we find the remaining two gold coins, we can open this door. By the way, now, do you remember anything? Zhang Tuohai asked. Zero hesitated and took out a gold coin from his coat pocket. One side of the gold coin is engraved with the head of a witch wearing a wide brim pointed witch hat. You also have cursed gold coins? Zhang Tuohai asked in surprise. Well, I don't know. But I just have this thing. Zero placed the witch gold coin in the corresponding depression. Although the memory has not been restored, my intuition tells me that I must open it. Only by opening it can the world be saved from the brink of destruction. By the way, where was the last time you saw this thing? 
Zhang Tuhai asked. Last time, it seemed to be the beach. Zero was lost in thought. That means there is no requirement for the placement of the bronze door. Right, Zhang Tuhai said. It seems there is no relevant explanation. Zero nodded. That's no problem. Zhang Tuhai waved his hand and summoned the Viking warriors. Hundreds of Viking warriors used their strength to directly lift the bronze gate. You? What are you doing? Seeing Zhang Tuhai's actions, Ling was stunned. Moving back to the ship. Of course, Zhang Tuhai said. It's such an important thing. And there's no requirement on where to store it. So it's best to keep it with you. Otherwise, when the Empire returns here and builds a fortress here, if I want to open the gate, I will have to attack the fortress again. Which will be too troublesome. It is safer to take it with me. And there is no need to go back and forth. It seems to make sense. Ling thought for a while. And it seemed to be the same thing. So he let Zhang Tuohai do what he wanted. With the help of hundreds of Viking warriors, the huge bronze door was finally moved to the white bird. Then, an embarrassing problem arose. The bronze door was too big and could not be dismantled to enter the warehouse. It could only be placed on the deck. That's it. It's good to put it here. It can be used as a reinforced deck. Zhang Tuohai had many wooden wedges nailed around and fixed the bronze gate to the deck. Chapter 1207 Battle Against Ironclad Ships The Unsullied had just fixed the bronze door when a whistle suddenly sounded in the distance. Everyone looked up and saw a burst of black clouds rising from the horizon in the distance. Looking carefully, I realized that it was not a black cloud at all, but billowing black smoke. Under the black clouds formed by black smoke is a huge steel fleet. All the warships were painted black and lined up in a row. As dark as mountains. So many steel battleships? A fleet of the Imperial Royal Navy? What are they here for? Zhang Tuohai stared at the huge fleet. He is no longer worried about seeing a fleet of this level. With 12 flying warships as trump cards. He is really not afraid of such ironclad ships. Whether it is precision guided bombs or rockets. They are the nemesis of this ironclad ship. Even one thermobaric bomb can destroy an entire fleet. Therefore, he was not worried about meeting the armored fleet. But was looking forward to it. Catch a few tongues and ask about the Empire's recent trends. The commander of such a fleet should be able to contact the top brass of the Empire. Right? Zhang Tuohai analyzed. Zhang Tuohai adjusted the direction of the White Bird and rushed towards the armored fleet. As the Earl of the Empire and the Royal Navy Admiral, Vincent could have just stayed in the officers' club every day, drank tea and played cards. What pulled him away from the warm fireplace was the handwriting of the Emperor. When the Empire is at peace, why do we need to send a fleet to patrol? It's really unnecessary. Vincent was dissatisfied with this assignment. If it weren't for the Emperor's order, who would be willing to leave the arms of the stripper and run to the sea to be beaten by wind and rain? Moreover, Mr. Vincent, who was accustomed to sailing battleships, disliked the smell of soot from ironclad ships. The thick soot reminded him of the bad air in the Imperial capital. What he wants to do most now is to find a port to stop and then take a good bath to remove the smell from his body. What's ahead? Vincent asked, raising his telescope. Mr. Earl, ahead is the Golden Oak Island. An adjutant said, Golden Oak Island? I remember there was a tall golden oak tree somewhere. Why can't I see it? Vincent looked through the telescope for a long time. But he couldn't find the tall golden oak tree in his memory. Are we lost? The adjutant guessed. No, I have been walking this road for decades. And I will never go wrong. I can swear on my life. The navigator said quickly. But why can't I see the golden oak tree? Vincent asked coldly. There is a ship there. How about we capture the captain and ask what's going on? The adjutant's eyes lit up, and he pointed to a three-masted sailboat not far away. Well, send a ship over. Vincent nodded. Yes. The adjutant took the order and was about to leave. Suddenly, the navigator shouted. Look, what is that? Several people looked in the direction of his finger and saw twelve steel ships flying slowly towards them from the sky. What is that thing? How can there be a ship flying in the sky? The navigator asked in shock. It's a mirage. Isn't it a common sight at sea? What's the fuss about? The adjutant said nonchalantly. However, mirages have never appeared here. The navigator argued. It's never happened before. Will it never happen again? The adjutant retorted. Why is there no royal emblem on this ship? Vincent frowned as he looked at the ships. The Empire's newly built ironclads are very particular. And they will hang the emblem symbolizing the royal family on the bow of the ship. This is the rule of the Imperial Navy. However, these battleships do not have badges. This is definitely not an Imperial ship. 
Could a certain force be able to build ironclads? It's impossible. No city-state in the empire can build enough steel plants. It's also impossible to coordinate 100 industrial departments and coordinate tens of thousands of experienced and technical construction workers. Whose warships do they belong to? It seems that the empire really should patrol its borders. In recent years, the empire has been too peaceful, making these barbarians forget the majesty of the empire. Vincent frowned and decided that when he arrived at Golden Oak Island, he would send someone to find out who had the technology to build an ironclad ship. This is the foundation of the empire. He will never allow this to happen. At this moment, those flying battleships arrived above the armored ship, and then the bomb bay slowly opened, revealing the dark painted bombs inside. Something doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem to be a mirage. The more Vincent looked at it, the more real it felt. His back gradually became cold, and an unpleasant feeling arose in his heart. This can't be true. Can it? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The precision guided bomb removed the whistle installed on the iron bomb. When it was dropped, there was no sharp whistling sound, only the sound of friction with the air. The momentum is much lower than that of the iron bomb, but the accuracy has been qualitatively improved. The first precision-guided bomb accurately hit the ironclad ship's open turret. Boom! Orange fireballs rose from the turret. Then, the turret flew out, and a large hole with a diameter of more than 10 meters was torn out on the deck. Immediately afterwards, the second precision-guided bomb was thrown down the big hole and landed in the magazine under the turret. Boom! A mushroom cloud rose from the cabin, and a huge explosion directly destroyed the bow of the ship. A large amount of seawater poured into the hull. The stern of the ship was pressed up, and the hull began to capsize. The flagship is under attack. Only then did the people on the ship realize that the invincible armored fleet, the Great Royal Navy, had actually been attacked. Moreover, it was an attack from the sky. During their two-year training, they started by cleaning the officer's shoes and learned all the skills on the ship. But they did not learn how to deal with the enemies in the sky. Worst of all, the ship was now sinking and everyone was in a mess. Some people want to return to their jobs. Some want to escape. Some want to jump into the sea. Some want to rescue the lifeboat. And some want to save Vincent. Come and save him. With the power of driving, you can become famous once you return to land. Everyone was running around like headless flies. The low-level commander's whistle no longer worked. And the ship was in chaos. The ironclad surrounding the flagship wanted to come to the rescue. But they were also attacked by flying battleships. After having the first flying battleships attack example, the remaining flying battleships followed suit and launched attacks on those open turrets. Groups of orange-red fireballs rose in the armored fleet. Ironclad ships sank one after another into the icy ocean. Chapter 1208 Catching Tongue Help! I'm trapped! Someone help me! Get out of the way! I have a high military rank! Let me get on the ship first! The captain is here! Let the captain leave first! Bang bang! There were shouts quarrels, gunshots, explosions, and burning sounds in order to seize the lifeboat position. The Royal Navy was in complete disarray. Battleships turned into floating iron coffins, sinking continuously towards the depths of the ocean. The remaining people swam awkwardly toward the distance, fearing that they would be pulled into the sea by the whirlpool formed by the sinking hull. That would be death. Do you want to grab an ironclad ship as your flagship? Elizabeth asked, looking at the majestic battleships in the distance. Forget it. John to a high thought for a while, and shook his head decisively. If you want to operate an ironclad ship, you need a lot of manpower and a lot of supplies. Not to mention anything else. The daily consumption of high-quality coal is measured in tons. We don't have such supplies. If we want to operate the ship, without having to do anything else, just thinking about where to get coal every day is enough to give people a headache. In addition, there are not many cables on the ironclad ship. It is too troublesome for one person to drive the ironclad ship. That's right. But it's really majestic. Elizabeth said, looking at the mountain-like battleship in the distance. There will be a chance. One day, we will have a better battleship than this. Zhang Tuohai patted Elizabeth on the shoulder. The appearance of ironclad ships shows that the Empire's shipbuilding industry has developed to a certain extent. So is it possible to customize a yacht? Zhang Tuohai guessed. Anyway, for a normal battle, flying battleships are enough. His flagship only needs to consider speed and comfort. There was absolutely no point in continuing to make do with Galenic ships. He could have something better. If you have a chance, you should find a shipyard with a relatively high level of empire and check it out. John Tuahai made up his mind. 
after watching the flying battleship sink all the armored ships. Zhang Tuohai drove the white bird closer. Let me see who has a higher military rank. Zhang Tuohai drove the boat and picked. Looking like he was picking vegetables in the market. Huh? There's actually another person wearing a ribbon here. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He had beaten so many Imperial Navy officers. But this was the first time he saw one wearing a ribbon. Moreover, the guy was surrounded by a circle of officers. And there was even someone with a coffee cup next to him. Which showed that he was of high status. You are the one. Zhang Tuohai controlled the cable and grabbed the guy with the ribbon. Let me go. Let me go quickly. I am the Earl of the Empire. You can't treat me like this. Vincent shouted. Earl of the Empire? What a big fish. John Tuohai's eyes lit up. The cable brought Vincent to John Tuohai. You said you are the Earl of the Empire? Is there any evidence? John Tuohai asked with a smile. I am Count Vincent of the Empire. This is really my Admiral's badge. This is the Imperial Hero Medal I received at the Battle of Traffic. These are enough to prove my identity. I demand a status that matches my identity. Vincent said loudly. A status that matches your status? John Tuohai smiled. It seems that Mr. Earl has not yet made clear his current status. So I will let you sober up. Following Zhang Tuohai's words, Vincent's body was suddenly turned over by the cable. The whole body hung upside down on the mast. And his eyes were level with Zhang Tuohai's. Are you sober now? Can you speak well? If not, I can ask Mr. Vincent to go to the sea to sober up. Following Zhang Tuohai's words, the cable pulled Vincent to the side of the ship and sank directly into the sea. Vincent's entire body was sunk into the sea. He was caught off guard and choked several times. The raging seawater filled his mouth and nose and rushed towards his lungs. Uh-huh. Vincent was pulled up. Cough, cough, cough. Vincent coughed and breathed in the air greedily. Although he was only submerged in the water for a few seconds just now. In those few seconds, he almost thought he was going to drown. However, before he could take a breath, the thick cable sank him into the sea again. After a few seconds, he pulled him up again. After repeating it several times, Vincent's strength was exhausted and his spirit became trance-like. The cable pulled him back to Jean Tuohai. How about it? Can we talk about it? If you feel dissatisfied? I have other ways to ensure that Mr. Vincent is satisfied. Jean Tuohai said with a smile. Okay. Okay. I will definitely cooperate with you. I will tell you whatever you ask. Vincent shouted hurriedly. Fearing that John Tuohai would throw him into the sea again. So many years of hedonistic life have long worn away all his courage. Now he is just a noble who is afraid of losing his wealth and power. Then, tell me your name and purpose. My name is Vincent, Imperial Admiral and Earl. The purpose is to lead the newly formed armada to patrol the Imperial waters. Firstly, it will train the troops' ocean navigation capabilities. Secondly, I heard that there are riots and rebellions in some areas and the need for invincibles is the fleet goes to suppress it. Show the Empire's powerful strength. And shock shao shao. Vincent honestly told the order he received. Rebellion has occurred in some areas? What areas do you know? Zhang Tuohai asked. The reports received include Coral Sea areas, Pearl Sea areas, Deep Blue Sea areas, and Glaze Sea areas. Basically, these are the areas. You have to ask the local governor for specific information. Vincent said. No Xia Yahai? John Tuohai asked. Never heard of it. Vincent shook his head decisively. The Empire's information transmission system is a bit slow. John Tuohai shook his head. He had been struggling with Xia Yahai for a month. And the Empire still didn't know the news. This shows that the speed of news transmission is a problem. How many armored ships like this are there in the Empire? John Tuohai asked. I don't know about this. Vincent said. This is a secret of the Empire. No one except the directly affiliated agencies knows about it. Anyone who inquires about it will be treated as a spy. Okay. So, how many shipyards are there that build such ships? And where are they? John Tuohai saw that Vincent didn't look like he was lying. So he settled for the next best thing. This is also a secret. But I guess there may be dozens. Because the Empire has formed dozens of new legions. But they are not organized into a regular combat sequence. I guess they may all be garrison troops at the shipyard. Okay. Last question. Do you know the location of the shipyard? Chapter 1209 Level 20 Ghost Ship The Location of the Shipyard You want Vincent looked at John Tuohai in shock. Could it be that this guy is going to attack the Empire Shipyard? How dare he? Doesn't he know that this is a capital crime? However, thinking about what John Tuohai did before, it doesn't seem so difficult to understand. 
he even dared to attack the Empire's armada. So what else could he not dare to do? Why? You don't want to say it? It seems that Mr. Earl is still not very clear about his position. John Tuahai saw that Vincent was a little hesitant and was ready to give him some color. No. I said. I said. Vincent shouted quickly. Compared with his own life. What does the Empire shipyard mean? Anyway, there is a garrison in charge there. If there is a problem, it is because the garrison is not protecting it well. What does it have to do with him? The Count of the Empire? This is serious. Just show me the way. I won't treat you badly. If you dare to play tricks, I will make you regret coming to this world. John Tuahai put Vincent down. Go this way. Go this way. This is the route I took. Vincent obediently stood next to the bridge and acted as the navigator. The white bird turned around and headed towards the direction from which the armada came. Looking at the empty sky, Vincent wanted to ask where the warships attacking from the sky had gone. However, looking at the unsullied watching behind him, he did not dare to speak. He had managed to save his life. If he provoked these people again, he would definitely be thrown into the sea. And he would definitely die. He has to work hard to go back for his billions in property and dozens of lovers. Therefore, Vincent shut his mouth honestly and acted as the navigator beside him. He could not speak, but he would never speak. The white bird rode the wind and waves and sailed towards the royal shipyard on the Emerald Sea. Standing on the white bird, being blown by the sea breeze and feeling the bumpy waves, Vincent suddenly felt that the steel battleship was quite good. It was not as bad as he imagined. At least, it was relatively stable and had an indoor cab. No need to be exposed to wind and rain. Vincent was thinking casually while Jean Tuohai was looking at his harvest. In the battle just now, he sank 18 Royal Navy ironclads, killed more than 13,000 enemies, gained 21,233 experience points, upgraded his level to LV 48, 2121 slash 4800, and gained 5 skill points. Jean Tuohai pondered for a moment and put all 5 skill points on the summoning ghost ship. The summoned ghost ship has been upgraded to level 20. The original steel shell has been changed to a special steel hull. The number of turbofans on both sides of the hull has been increased to 16. A turbine propeller has been added to the stern of the ship to make it fly faster. As for the ship's weapons, the 130 rapid-fire cannon has been upgraded to an electromagnetic gun, which has stronger penetrating performance and greater power. And a fully rotating turret has been replaced, which can shoot at any angle, eliminating the flying warship's fire dead zone. Precision bomb and Kate Usha rocket launchers were replaced with loitering bomb launchers. This kind of loitering missile is different from ordinary missiles. After being launched, it can cruise in the air, even form a network, and then attack the target according to the settings and guidance. Similar to a self-destructing drone. But the capacity is much larger, with each warhead weighing 150 kilograms, equivalent to one-third of a tomahawk. The biggest improvement in combat effectiveness of this weapon is that the flying warship does not have to fly over the target to bomb. This makes it easier for multiple warships to cooperate in combat. For example, when bombing a relatively small but very solid target, usually only one warship can complete the bombing and sail away from the target, and the remaining flying warships can make up for it. But with the presence of loitering missiles, all warships can focus fire on any target together. It greatly improves the firepower utilization rate per unit time and improves the combat effectiveness by an unknown number of times. As for the special ammunition incendiary bombs, the thermobaric bombs have been retained, and a new type of special ammunition has been added, the ground-penetrating bomb, which can effectively attack underground targets. An aircraft similar to an armed helicopter is placed in the vacated area at the rear of the hull. In addition to carrying a large number of loitering bombs, this aircraft can also carry personnel for ground assault operations. The weapons of the landing troops on the ship have also been upgraded accordingly, including a full set of special combat uniforms, body armor, and mechanical exoskeletons. Thanks to exoskeleton assistance, everyone is equipped with Gatling guns and RPG rockets, and everyone becomes Rambo. In addition to this, the number of battleships has been increased to 17, and the duration has been increased to 180 minutes. This level of combat effectiveness should be comparable to that of the shipyard. Zhang Tuohai looked at the brand new data panel. In order to ensure speed, Zhang Tuohai did not stop at any port or carry out any supplies, and went straight to the shipyard. Fortunately, we had stocked up on enough vegetables, fruits, fish, shrimp and other foods so that the meals on board would not be too monotonous. These recipes are already very good for the crew of the White Bird. 
especially the unsullied and the dancer. As slaves, they are very lucky to be able to eat such meals. Zhang Tuahai can also accept it. But Vincent, the old count, couldn't accept it. As an imperial earl with a fortune of hundreds of millions, it is necessary for every meal to include wine and meat. And it must be top-notch. Although the ingredients used on Zhang Tuahai's ship were relatively fresh, they were too simple for him. That's all? Vincent frowned as he looked at the clam chowder, fried fish cubes, and toast in the bowl. How to eat this thing? Don't like it? Then don't eat it, Zhang Tuahai said to Elizabeth. From now on, Mr. Vincent's food will be changed to one meal of black bread every day. Regarding Vincent's picky eating, Zhang Tuahai said that he was used to it, and he still ate too much. The solution is also very simple. You have been hungry for three days, and are still picky about food? The plates can be licked clean. Zhang Tuohai's method was very effective. It didn't even take three days before Vincent was so hungry that stars were popping up in his eyes. Not to mention clam soup and fried fish cubes. He even washed the pot with water. For Zhang Tuohai who cured his picky eating problem, Count Vincent expressed his heartfelt gratitude and said that this is a good habit worth promoting. When he returns home, he must promote this habit so that everyone can everyone knows what it feels like to wash a pot of water. Zhang Tuohai didn't care or care about Count Vincent's grand vision. The only thing he wants to do now is to find Mephisto hidden in this world. Kill it. And escape from this damn virtual world created by the World Stone. The capital of the Empire is the most likely place. Chapter 1210 Cod Cove After more than 20 days of sailing, Zhang Tuohai finally drove the White Bird through the Dusk Sea and arrived at the Emerald Sea. The core area of the Empire. This sea is not blue, but reveals an emerald green. The wind and waves were calm, like a piece of emerald falling on the ground. Zhang Tuohai's sailing speed slowed down. The speed is not half as fast as usual. As slow as a snail. This is caused by the special environment of the Emerald Sea. Because the wind is very weak. The Empire devoted all its efforts to invent the ironclad ship. Which can sail without sails. Vincent explained. So before there were ironclads. What kind of ships did you rely on to sail? Zhang Tuohai asked. Before leaving the Emerald Sea. We mainly relied on galleys, and the main power was long oars. Sail warships are the product of breaking out of the Emerald Sea, Vincent explained. Is that so? It's quite interesting. Zhang Tuohai nodded. If we follow this speed, how long will it take us to get to the shipyard? Zhang Tuohai asked. Seven or eight days. I've never built a boat at this speed, so I'm not sure, Vincent said. Seven or eight days. That's too long. Zhang Tuohai controlled the cables and used wood to make two huge water wheels, and then installed them on both sides of the white bird. As for the power, the cable continuously rotates the water wheel. It looks a lot like an early steamer. What's the current speed? Zhang Tuohai asked. This. Vincent was shocked when he saw all this. Vincent, who was born in the Emerald Sea, and has been promoted from lieutenant commander to admiral in the Royal Navy, is naturally well informed, and has led the Imperial Navy across the seven seas. However, this was the first time he had seen a sailboat being remodeled with bare hands. What's the principle? Vincent was stunned. I asked you about your speed. One day. One day is enough. Face with Zhang Tuai's kind eyes, Vincent said quickly. Really? If the day doesn't come, you can go rowing by yourself. Zhang Tuai said and ordered the unsullied to make a long oar. Zhang Tuai's long oar was ultimately useless. And it took the white bird only half a day to arrive at Cod Bay where the royal shipyard was located. This was originally the origin of cod, the empire's most important commodity. At its peak, there were so many cod that you could even walk on cod from the sea to the shore. Later, due to changes in the hydrological environment and the migration of cod, it became a shipyard for the Royal Navy. The empire's research and development center is also here. And all those weird things are produced here, Vincent said. What is that huge ball? A city landmark? You guys don't have a very good sense of aesthetics. Zhang Tuohai pointed at a huge black ball in the city and said, I don't know either. Vincent looked confused. There definitely is no such thing in Cod Bay. At least when I set off with the Armada. There was no such thing in Cod Bay. I haven't heard of anything like this being built. Really? Then go over and see what it is. Zhang Tuohai drove the white bird towards Cod Bay. However, when there were still 10 kilometers away from Cod Bay, Seven or eight small boats sailed out from the harbor of Cod Bay. These boats are painted entirely in black and look a bit like small speedboats. But they are not as smooth as speedboats. The hull is relatively rough. 
with a hand-operated Gatling gun mounted on the front end of the hull. Two lobster soldiers are responsible for using it. One lobster soldier is responsible for driving the speedboat. And four lobster soldiers standing behind are carrying revolver rifles. Your empire already has such advanced ships and weapons? You never said that. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Vincent. No, this is not something from the empire. Vincent explained quickly. Although I hang out in strip clubs all year round, I still have channels to control the latest intelligence from the empire. The ironclad ship is the latest achievement of the empire. This kind of small ship, there's no way it's from the empire. Look at its bow. It doesn't even have the royal emblem. I have never seen their weapons. If they are weapons developed by the Empire, it is impossible not to equip them for the Armada. Vincent explained hurriedly. Then, they are wearing lobster soldier uniforms. How do you explain that? Zhang Tuhai asked. This? Vincent didn't know how to explain it. Could it be that they are from the Empire? But all specifications do not comply with the rules of the Empire. Vincent was also numb. He felt that he had just been out at sea for a while. And the Empire had completely changed its appearance making him no longer recognize it. Seeing Vincent's appearance, Zhang Tuohai guessed that nothing could be learned from him. Since no one knows, let's grab two people who know and come up to get to know each other. Zhang Tuohai controlled and stopped the white bird. Several small boats surrounded the white bird from all directions. Two small boats came closer and climbed up the rope ladder. What do you do? Why are you so close to the port? Several lobster soldiers boarded the ship, took off their revolver rifles, and pointed them at everyone on the ship. I am Imperial Admiral Vincent, and I want to see your commander. Vincent adjusted his uniform, walked up to the lobster soldier, and said arrogantly, This is what Zhang Tuohai ordered Vincent to do. The purpose is to use Vincent's identity to directly enter the Cod Bay Naval Port and control the Cod Bay Naval Port from the inside. The ships on the opposite side of Zhang Tuohai still had some ideas and did not want to use violent means to destroy this place. However, the next second, the lobster soldier put the revolver in his hand against Vincent's head and pulled the trigger. Boom! The bullet penetrated Vincent's head. Vincent's eyes widened, and he couldn't believe that the Empire's lobster soldiers actually dared to shoot directly at him. The Empire's Admiral and Hereditary Earl. How dare they? Who gave them the rights? Seeing this situation, Zhang Tuohai's heart skipped a beat, and he knew something was wrong. Under normal circumstances, when a lobster soldier faces someone who claims his identity, even if he is unable to judge, he will escort him to his superiors for judgment and will never directly shoot and execute him. If they did it directly, it would either mean that they were not lobster soldiers, or it would mean that drastic changes had occurred within the Empire, and the entire Vincent line had been purged. Vincent was killed, and those who stood with him would inevitably be labeled as Vincent's accomplices. The outcome can be imagined. Thinking of this, John Tuohai decided to strike first. Dozens of cables were activated instantly, entangling the lobster soldiers who boarded the ship and fishing them high into the sky. Those lobster soldiers were tied up so tightly that they couldn't move. Surprisingly, after being trapped, the lobster soldiers did not show any signs of panic. Instead, their eyes became red and their bodies became bulging. The next second, boom, the bodies of these people exploded, with blood and flesh flying everywhere. Chapter 1211 Thermobaric Bomb Boom! 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 The lobster soldiers were tied up one by one and transformed into bombers, exploding directly on the spot. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. Grass. John Tuohai lowered his head to avoid a large piece of flying rotten meat. This is not right. This is not a lobster soldier at all. The lobster soldiers John Tuohai had killed could be calculated in units of tens of thousands. Although those lobster soldiers were brave and well-disciplined, they were definitely not to this fanatical level. Being controlled and transformed directly into a bomber is something that no one can do anymore. To Zhang Tuohai, they felt more like fanatical cultists. There must be changes within the empire. Something must have happened. Zhang Tuohai was sure that something was wrong with the empire, and the secret clue may be in the Cod Bay military port. At this moment, the surrounding small boats noticed the changes on the ship, and without saying a word, began to shake the gatling in their hands. Da da da. A series of bullets were fired into the white bird. The wooden planks of the white bird could not stop Gatling's bullets at all. In the blink of an eye, the white bird was beaten like a hornet's nest, with holes everywhere. Court death. John Tuohai controlled the cable and rolled it towards the surrounding boats. The thick cables directly rolled up the small boats and pushed them upside down into the sea. 
The lobster soldiers on the ship were knocked directly into the sea and crushed to pieces. Blood spread on the green sea. At this time, more small speedboats rushed out from the Cod Bay naval port. They were configured the same as the previous speedboats. Each speedboat had a hand-cranked gatling and a lobster soldier standing with a revolver rifle. Upon seeing this, John Tuohai waved his hand and summoned 17 flying battleships. Whoosh whoosh. More than a dozen rounds of loitering bombs were fired. After these loitering bombs were ejected, the folded wings automatically unfolded and automatically cruised in the sky. After obtaining the attack target, they dived directly down and flew towards the small speedboats moving at high speed. The speed of the loitering missile was much faster than those small speedboats. It hit the speedboat in the blink of an eye. The 150 kilogram warhead exploded, directly blowing the entire small boat into pieces. Boom, boom, boom. Loitering bombs hit their targets one after another. And these small boats were blown to pieces before they could get close to the white bird. After destroying these incoming boats, John Tuohai was not relieved. He gave orders to the flying battleship. Destroy the military port. Prohibit any ship from sailing out of the military port. And at the same time bomb all military targets in Cod Bay. Whether it is the military port, the garrison camp, the coastal defense forts, and the port fortress. Everything is within the attack range. It must be destroy all resistance in Cod Bay. After receiving the order, the flying battleship took action. One after another, the cruise missiles were ejected and shot towards the target marked by the flying battleship. Boom! Boom! A cloud of explosions rose in Cod Bay. Building after building was raised to the ground. Forts, fortresses, fortresses, camps, ammunition depots, military ports, and battleships were destroyed one by one. A cloud of explosions rose up. Under the first round of cruise missile bombing, 80% of the visible military facilities were completely destroyed. Zhang Tuohai expressed satisfaction with the effect of this attack. Just as he was preparing to launch the second round of attacks, strange sounds came from Cod Bay. Zhang Tuohai raised his telescope and observed that the roofs of the huge factories in Cod Bay were cracked, and small aircraft flew out from them. These small aircraft are very crudely made, with two wings attached to the side of an iron shell, a hand-cranked Gatling gun in the front, and the cockpit doesn't even have a windshield. These small aircraft roared out of the factory and flew into the sky. Miss Grass. Zhang Tuohai was stunned. The outer sea area is still stuck in the age of flintlock guns. Unexpectedly, even aircraft have been invented in the core sea area. The generation gap is too big. If I hadn't cleverly upgraded the Summon Ghost ship and upgraded it to a high level, I would have waited until I broke in. After entering the inland sea, there is really nothing we can do with these aircraft. Zhang Tuohai himself naturally cannot deal with these aircraft. But the flying battleships can. The small rotorcraft parked at the tail of the battleship slowly took off and rushed towards those small aircraft. From a distance, those small aircraft pulled the trigger. Bullets from the hand-cranked Gatling clanged against the rotorcraft's fenders. The rotorcraft also launched an attack, and loitering bombs were fired one after another. These loitering bombs roared and hit the small aircraft. Then, there is no more. Those small aircraft all turned into fireworks in the sky. All factories will also be included in the attack targets. The ground landing troops will go straight to the governor's mansion and capture the governor here. I want to know the details here. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The flying battleship began to remark attack targets. And those rotorcraft began to lower their altitude. And each of the commandos wearing exoskeletons descended to the ground along the zip lines. Hold the Gatling and start heading towards the governor's mansion. Da da da. Suddenly, hand cranked Gatling gun barrels stretched out from several broken houses and fired at the assaulters who landed on the ground. Thanks to the fact that the commando was wearing a full-body body armor and an exoskeleton, he was not killed. However, a few were caught off guard and injured. Zhang Tuohai looked over with his telescope. Some strange machinery came out of these dilapidated houses. These machines walked on four legs and had four arms, including two hand-cranked Gatlings and two things that looked like giant fireworks. A lobster soldier was sitting in the machine, working hard to control it. Boom! What looked like a huge firework was lit. The fireworks were shot directly at a commando. One of the commandos was hit directly. And the fireworks exploded violently. Boom! The commando was blown up and fell to the ground. Although his mechanical exoskeleton and body armor were not completely destroyed, the violent vibration had shattered his internal organs. The assaulter was lying on the ground, coughing out blood, obviously dying. Even the mechas came out? Zhang Tuohai's eyes were on fire. No need to distinguish between targets. 
Bomb with all your strength and level Cod Cove. After receiving Zhang to a high's order, the commandos began to retreat. Several flying warships approached. Open the dark magazine door. And thermobaric bombs were pushed onto the launch rail and pushed out one by one. Whoosh whoosh. Thermobaric bombs fell into Cod Bay one after another. Groups of orange-red fireballs rose up. The oxygen in the air was quickly consumed. The temperature in the air rose rapidly. All living creatures were suffocated to death. And the entire Cod Bay became quiet. Chapter 12 12 Black Buds It should be almost done by now. Right. Zhang Tuai looked at the Cod Bay in the distance and muttered to himself. At this time, Cod Bay fell into a dead silence. Without any sound. Assaulters advance. Searching for survivors. Zhang Tuai issued the order. The commandos began to search forward in the houses on the roadside. The commandos found a large number of lobster soldiers and various war machines. In addition to the ones equipped with hand-cranked gatling, there are also those equipped with drills, cannons, mortars, and even ones filled with explosives ready to be used as self-destruction trucks. Moreover, each lobster soldier has a large amount of explosives wrapped around his body. The entire cod bay has been transformed into a huge war fortress. What's going on here? Zhang Tuohai was puzzled. This was not the normal style of the Imperial Navy at all. In other words, this is no longer a behavior that normal humans can have. These guys are more fanatical than cultists. Something must be controlling them. What is it? Zhang Tuohai pondered. Just then, a strange sound came from Cod Bay. What? Zhang Tuohai raised his head, raised his telescope, and looked into Cod Bay. In the center of Cod Bay, the building that Zhang Tuohai thought was on the ground moved. Blah blah blah. Thick thorn vines stretched out from the black sphere and spread towards the whole city. These thick thorns spread to every corner of the city. Every time they encountered a corpse, they would pierce the sharp thorns into it. The flesh and blood of the corpse was quickly sucked dry, turned into powder, and scattered on the ground. These thick thorn vines not only absorb corpses, but also target living creatures. Some thorn vines attacked the raiders. Huge thorn vines rushed towards the assaulters. The commandos fought back vigorously constantly pulling the triggers. Gatling's motor rotated rapidly, and the bullets swept towards the thick thorns and vines like a steel storm. Some commandos took off their RPGs from their backs and fired rockets directly at the thorn vines. However, the bullet only made a hole after hitting the thorn vine, and the RPG only broke a section of the thorn after hitting it. The wound healed quickly, and the remaining thorns continued to rush towards the assaulters. As long as it is entangled in these thorns and vines, even the mechanical exoskeleton will be crushed by the brute force of the thorns. I guess this thing is the culprit behind the scenes. Kill it! Zhang Tuohai issued the order. Loitering missiles were launched one after another. Loitering missiles hit one thorn branch after another. However, the remaining branches continued to squirm and spread towards the surroundings. Forget it just like this. The black ball seemed to have discovered the flying battleship floating in the sky. Suddenly, several thick black thorns protruded from the ball and rushed towards the flying warships that were nearby. Those flying warships were unprepared and entangled in thick thorns. The thick thorn suddenly closed the thorn vines. Click. Click. Huge cracks appeared on the flying battleship. When the thorn vines were released, the flying battleship fell towards the ground. Boom. A huge explosion went up in the city. Boom. Zong Tuahai's fist hit the bridge hard. This was the first time his flying battleship suffered a loss. The damn thing. Zong Tuahai's eyes were blood red. Put incendiary bombs. Advance step by step. Burn Cod Bay to a white ground. And seal it here for me. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The flying battleship immediately changed its action strategy. All battleships raised their altitude. Opened all their magazines. Replaced the ammunition with incendiary bombs. And threw them down. Ho ho ho. The raging fire burned in Cod Bay. The fires connected with each other and formed a huge fire wall. Sealing the black ball in the fire wall. Make sure the black ball doesn't break out of the circle. At the same time, the flying battleship guided the fire to spread into the city by spraying gasoline. The flame circle continues to spread inward, constantly squeezing the black ball's living space. Feeling the fire approaching, the black ball became anxious, constantly waving the black thorns, stretching around, trying to break through. However, the surrounding flying battleships did not give it a chance at all. Every time the black ball sticks out of the thorns, a missile will rush over and blow up the thorns. The electromagnetic gun on the flying battleship also fired from time to time, constantly suppressing the black ball. Finally, 
The flying battleship led the ring of fire to the black ball. And then, a large amount of gasoline was sprinkled on the black ball. A large number of flying warships were ordered to open their fuel tanks and spill aviation fuel. The fire burned on the black ball. After being ignited by fire, a harsh sound came from the black ball. Zhang Tuohai's head was buzzing from the shock. His ears were full of sharp screams. His chest was tight. And his breathing was short. These reminded him of the days when he was attacked by infrasound waves. Damn thing! Increase the intensity of your attack! Zhang Tuohai ordered. Something's coming out! Zero didn't know when he appeared behind Zhang Tuohai. Have you seen this thing? Zhang Tuohai asked. It feels very familiar. There is something hidden inside. If you pick it up, it will come out. Be careful, Zero said. Zhang Tuohai could feel that Zero's heart was not as calm as she showed. Her heartbeat was much faster than usual. Obviously, the things inside were not easy to deal with. Is there any weakness in what's inside? Zhang Tuohai asked. Not necessarily, Zero said. Not necessarily. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. The thing inside is an unstable body and can change at any time. As its characteristics change, its weaknesses will also be different. Zero said. Is there such a magical thing? Yeah. Zero nodded. When it's blue, its weaknesses are water and ice. When it's red, its weaknesses are fire. When it's gold, its weaknesses are strong light. When it's black, the weakness is darkness? Zhang Tuohai asked. No. It is invincible when it is black. It cannot be damaged by water, fire, or strong light. Zero shook his head. Is it so difficult? What on earth is this? Zhang Tuohai asked. Zero was about to speak. The black ball suddenly cracked open. And a black bud stretched out from it. The bud slowly bloomed. And a water blue silhouette appeared in everyone's eyes. The aqua blue silhouette had no facial features. Only a humanoid figure. And was aqua blue. Although it had no face. Zhang Tuohai could feel that this guy was looking at him. Chapter 12 13 6th Level Polluter The aqua blue humanoid creature turned its faceless head and stared at Zhang Tuohai. A crack opened from where the mouth was, like a mouth, revealing a ferocious smile. However, the next second, a thick stream of water rose from its feet, directly rushing at hundreds of meters into the sky. Scaring me? I'll give you a punch! When the water flow was about to run out of power, Zhang Tuohai used the skill torrent again on top of the water flow. Another thick stream of water rushed out from the top of the water flow, once again pushing the aqua blue humanoid upward for more than a hundred meters. Let's go! When the second torrent was about to dissipate, Zhang Tuohai used the third torrent again. The aqua humanoid creature was rushed high into the sky again. The aqua blue humanoid creature spiraled into the sky under Zhang Tuohai's continuous torrent until it disappeared from sight. How about it? Zhang Tuohai turned to Ling for advice. This is a new way of playing that he came up with recently when he was pondering his skills. Take it out and test it today and see how it works. Ling's mouth opened slightly and he was also confused by Zhang Tuohai's hand. From the time she was born until now, she has never seen anyone use skills like this. After a while, Zero said, You can't kill it like this. So resistant to being beaten. Zhang Tuohai looked up. I noticed that a small black spot in the sky was getting bigger and bigger. Whoosh bang. The aqua blue creature smashed down from the sky like a cannonball and fell to the ground, making a deep pit in the ground. The smoke and dust rose more than three meters high. In the smoke and dust, a humanoid figure slowly climbed out of the pit. What emerged from the smoke was a humanoid creature covered in red. Except for the color. There is no difference between this humanoid creature and the previous humanoid creature. Isn't this too resistant to being beaten? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. It's not like he hasn't beaten someone with high physical strength before. But falling from a height of more than a thousand meters and not being injured at all is a bit ridiculously strong. Roar! The humanoid creature opened its big mouth and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Let's go! Zhang Tuohai revealed a huge fireball and smashed it towards the humanoid creature. Gulu! The huge fireball knocked the humanoid creature upside down and flew away. Boom! The humanoid creature hit a stone wall, and its entire body was embedded in the stone wall, leaving a human-shaped depression. Under normal circumstances, ordinary monsters would have been reduced to ashes long ago in front of Limo's fireball. However, this monster remained unscathed, forcibly detached itself from the stone wall, and continued to rush towards Zhang Tuohai. What the hell? Why is it so strong? Zhang Tuohai continued to rub the fireball and smashed it towards the humanoid creature. Boom! The humanoid creature was once again shot away. 
with a crash, the humanoid creature got up, and then was hit by a fireball and flew out again. After careful observation, Zhang Tuohai discovered that the humanoid creatures were not unchanged at all. Every time it was thrown away, the color on its body changed a little. The fiery red faded little by little, and finally turned into silver. What form is this? Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked Zero. Zero has never spoken of this form. The silver form's weakness is lightning. Now, it's my turn. Following Zero's words, blue lightning emitted from his body. Click. A thunder exploded, and a thick bolt of lightning shot out from Zero's hand, hitting the humanoid creature not far away. Boom. The silver color of the humanoid creature faded a bit, revealing the black underneath. Roar. The humanoid creature got up from the ground and continued to walk towards the two people. Click. Another bolt of lightning shot out of Zero's hand. Hit the humanoid. The humanoid creature was pushed back a little more. And part of the silver on its body faded away. Revealing more black. Zhang Tuohai remembered that Zero seemed to have said that black represented invincibility. Wait. Don't fight now. If you hit this guy again, he will turn black. If he becomes invincible, how should you fight him? Zhang Tuohai asked. If you are invincible, then risk your life. Zero said. The thunderbolt in his hand was several times thicker and hit the humanoid creature in one fell swoop. All the silver on the body of the humanoid creature faded away, eventually turning black. At this time, the humanoid creature was one-third smaller than at the beginning, with its body height less than 1.4 meters. But the aura on its body became more and more terrifying. The humanoid creature's mouth was split to the base of its ears, and it looked very much like Blackie and Conan. Roar! The humanoid creature rushed towards the two. I create an opportunity so that it is not invincible for the time being. Then you can make the final attack and be sure to kill it. Zero said as his body turned into a ray of light and rushed towards the humanoid creature. Buzz. Along with a harsh buzzing sound. The golden light transformed by Zero collided with the black humanoid creature. The two masses of light and shadow gradually merged. Slowly forming a golden and black ball. Zero and the black face appear alternately on the surface of the ball. The black ball is constantly growing and shrinking like a heart, with electric light and black flames lingering on its surface, making it look extremely unstable. It seemed ready to explode at any moment. Moo! Moo! Kill it! Zero said with difficulty. What would you do if you killed it? Zhang Tuohai had an ominous premonition. This is the mission of our family, to fight against the polluters, even if it means death. Zero said slowly. Let's do it. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath. He really didn't want to do anything. Although Zero didn't stay with him for long. He provided him with a lot of help. He couldn't kill such a person. Zhang Tuohai scanned the skill list and found the skill. Make a Daruma doll. Zhang Tuohai moved one hand. And the black and gold ball was elongated into the shape of Bodhidharma. The faces of Zero and Xiao Hei are fixed on the face of the Daruma doll. Each occupying half of the space. The little black bared his teeth and tried to break free but was firmly locked inside the Bodhidharma doll. Coupled with Zhang Tuohai's doll heart's absolute control over the dolls, it became a luxury for Xiao Hei to even move his fingers. How do you feel? Zero didn't expect things to turn out like this. At this moment, she felt mixed emotions in her heart. She was originally ready to die, but she didn't expect it to end like this, and she didn't know what to say. It finally succeeded. Zhang Tuohai was quite satisfied with the result. At least people are still alive as long as people are alive. There is still a chance, and a way to recover can always be found. This prompt also pops up. Kill slash control the level 6 polluter. Gain 1000 experience points. Skill furnace asterisk 1. Chapter 1214 alchemy hand. This guy is actually a 6th level polluter. No wonder it's so difficult to deal with. Zhang Tuohai was secretly surprised. This was the first time he had seen a polluter of this level. Although 1000 experience is a lot. It is not enough for him to level up. For Zhang Tuohai, the biggest reward in this battle is the skill furnace. At this time, a stove appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. He only needs to throw in the skills he doesn't need, and they can fuse them and get a brand new skill. In theory, the more skills you throw in, the more powerful the new skills you get will likely be. After this battle, Zhang Tuohai discovered that his lethality still had shortcomings and flaws. Although it is an instant kill against ordinary targets and ordinary polluters, it is a bit weak against various top targets, such as this 6th level polluter. He now urgently needs a new, powerful skill to solve his current predicament, to deal with ordinary targets. 
Zhang Tuohai no longer needs to do it himself. The flying battleship and the assaulters on it can help him. All he needs to do is deal with those difficult targets that even flying battleships cannot effectively deal with. Such as this time the sixth level polluter. Then, it seems that ordinary skills are useless if you keep them. You just need to get one or two powerful ones. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and threw in the fire element control. Although this skill was very strong. It was not as strong as he imagined. The second one thrown in was the torrent. At present, this skill is okay for playing tricks. But it is still a bit inferior when used against enemies. The third skill is the grappling hook. There is nothing to say about this. Zhang Tuohai has only used it a few times. The fourth is map marking. Although it is a time-based skill. Dragging the enemy back to the position 5 seconds ago can only be regarded as half control in actual combat and is of little significance. The fifth one is elementalization. Although it can be used to escape, you can't escape far in a few seconds. Moreover, running away is not Zhang Tuohai's style. Zhang Tuohai still prefers to confront the enemy head-on and knock him down with a brick. As for the orange, endless rum and summoning chicken legs, Zhang Tuohai thought about these skills and kept them. In any case, these skills can continuously increase the basic attributes. And over time, they are enough to turn your body into a superman. It can also serve as food and drinking water, temporarily solving food problems, and killing two birds with one stone. The musketeer trial is a good thing that can randomly increase skill points. Although there are not many opportunities to play, Zhang Tuohai decided to stay for a while. The skill of making Bodhidharma dolls must be retained. After all, it is possible to control the sixth level polluter skill. Although it is with the help of Zero, it is enough to show that there is still a lot of room for development of this skill. Should also be retained. Finally, John Tuohai thought for a while and threw in the forbidden book summoning Hydra Guards. Although this thing is powerful, it overlaps with the function of the flying battleship. And its role in John Tuohai's hands is getting smaller and smaller. As the flying battleship becomes stronger and stronger, I am afraid that it will only be left in the dust in the future so it is better to take advantage of the opportunity to cash in and compare prices. After confirming that there were no skills on his body that could be used to clean up again, Zhang Tuohai clicked on fusion. Each skill melted in the furnace, slowly fused together, and then burst out with a bright red light. A red skill flew out of the furnace and entered Zhang Tuohai's body. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly checked the condition inside his body. A line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player. You have obtained the skill Alchemist. Alchemy hand, change the elemental form of a substance and turn it into another substance. Note, this skill cannot be upgraded. It needs to be used to increase the strength, scope of action, and change the magnitude. This skill. Zhang Tuohai stared at this skill and pondered for a moment. Picked up a stone from the ground and then activated the skill alchemy hand. Buzz. Golden light burst out from the stone. After a while, the stone completely turned into a piece of gold. This is not an illusion but actually turning a stone into gold. What a magical skill! Zhang Tuohai is very satisfied with this skill. With this skill, he can manipulate the form of matter at will. Not only gold, but any form that the elements can change is fine. Moreover, it is not limited to dead objects, but can even control the flesh, flesh and body of the enemy. He doesn't even need to transform the enemy's entire body. He only needs to transform the vital points to easily kill the enemy. Zhang Tuohai is still very satisfied with this skill. He looked at Bodhidharma, where Zero and Xiao Hei were fused together, and used his alchemy hand. Click click click. Only a little bit of Xiao Hei's half turned into pure gold. And then, the energy in Zhang Tuohai's body ran out. It's really difficult. Zhang Tuohai frowned. Turning the stone into pure gold only consumed a little bit of his energy. But when dealing with Xiao Hei, even if he used up all his energy, he only changed a little bit. It seems that this guy's level is really high. He needs to be eliminated. Rely on the long time to kill it bit by bit. Although it took a long time, there was finally a way. Zhang Tuohai believes that sooner or later, he will be able to find a way to increase his energy. Eliminate Xiao Hei and release Zero as soon as possible. Assaulters clear the battlefield. You come back with me. Zhang Tuohai left the commandos to mop up the rear. While he walked back with Zero and Xiao Hei's Bodhidharma. Although Xiao Hei was very reluctant, he was controlled by the doll's heart and had to follow Zhang Tuohai step by step. The two returned to the white bird. At this time, the side walls of the white bird were riddled with holes, all made by hand-operated gatling. Zhang Tuohai went in to check the situation. 
the Unsullied were not in good condition. More than 20 people died on the spot, and only 8 were left who could barely survive. Zhang Tuohai quickly mixed oranges, rum and chicken legs. After eating, the 8 Unsullied recovered from their injuries and even became stronger, ordering them to collect the bodies of their companions, repair the hull, and clean up the traces. Zhang Tuohai continued walking inside. His biggest concern was Elizabeth's safety. When he walked into the kitchen, Elizabeth was squatting in the corner, holding a pot in one hand and a barbecue fork in the other. Several singers also held kitchen knives, spatulas and other weapons in their hands. What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai asked. You're finally back. You scared me to death. Elizabeth breathed a sigh of relief when she saw Zhang Tuohai back. It turned out that when the fight happened, Elizabeth was taking Linda and the singer to prepare lunch in the kitchen. After the attack, Gatling strafed the entire ship. But the kitchen was a world-class wonder that Zong Tuohai removed from the restaurant on the sea. Its defensive capabilities allowed everyone to avoid Gatling strafing. However, Elizabeth was afraid that the enemy would board the ship. So she led her men to guard the ship in the kitchen. Everyone was terrified, not knowing what fate they would face. Chapter 1215 Black Cloud Wall Okay. It's okay. Everything is solved. Zhang Tuohai comforted Elizabeth. At this moment, there was a muffled sound outside. What sound? Zhang Tuohai raised his head sharply. Is there another enemy attack? Zhang Tuohai's first thought was immediately suppressed by him. He had just cleaned up all the enemies around him, and the entire military port was still burning. The corrupted polluters were also slowly entering a desperate situation under the encirclement of flying battleships and assaulters. They had no ability to attack him at all. So, attack him now. Who is? Zhang Tuohai rushed out to check the situation. At this time, the sky was covered with dark clouds. It was obviously noon, but the sky was as dark as the bottom of a pot. There were strong winds and rough waves on the sea, and the white bird was bouncing up and down on the waves like a roller coaster. Who told me there is no strong wind in the Emerald Sea? What is this? Zhang Tuohai frowned and lowered the sail to prevent the white bird from being blown over by the strong wind. Bang. At this moment, a hailstone the size of a basketball fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. Boom! Hail struck the deck, creating a hole in the newly repaired oak deck. Is this hail? Zhang Tuohai looked at the ice cube the size of a basketball, and his whole body became Spartan. If this hits someone on the head, it will definitely kill them. He looked up at the sky, and densely packed large ice blocks fell from the sky like raindrops. Hitting the white bird. Day. Zhang Tuohai did not dare to stand on the slipway anymore and let the cable control the steering wheel for him. Zhang Tuohai quickly returned to the room. He had just burst into the captain's cabin. Basketball-sized hailstones hit the deck like raindrops. Bang, bang, bang. There was a loud noise, and many decks were broken by ice blocks just after they were repaired. Fortunately, because of the large size of the ice, a thick layer quickly accumulated on the deck, which blocked subsequent ice impacts and played a certain protective role, preventing the deck from being directly penetrated by the hail. John Tuohai looked outside through the window. The area hit by hail was not just the white bird, but the entire surrounding area. Whether it's the shipyard or the sea, there are huge blocks of ice everywhere. Why did it suddenly hail? John Tuohai felt that something was not right and looked around intently. Soon, he discovered that there seemed to be a thick black wall around him. At first, Zhang Tuohai thought it was an optical illusion caused by two dark light. But when he observed it himself, he discovered that it was not an illusion, but a wall made of black clouds. What it is? Zhang Tuohai instinctively knew that those black walls were not simple. However, he did not act rashly, but summoned a coconut ghost ship and rushed towards the black cloud wall. The coconut ghost ship rushed towards the black cloud wall. However, it seems that some powerful force is preventing the coconut from approaching the cloud wall. The closer it gets to the cloud wall, the stronger the obstructing wind force will be, and the wind direction will even reverse, pushing the coconut away from the range of the cloud wall. Seeing this situation, Zhang Tuohai became more and more certain that Yin Chang had a secret. He ordered the coconut to furl its sails, extend its long oars, and move toward the wall of clouds. The sail was lowered. The oar window of the cabin was opened and long oars were stretched out from inside. Dozens of undead skeletons kept shaking the long oars and rushed towards the cloud wall. As the coconut continued to approach the cloud wall, the hail falling from the sky became larger and larger. Zhang Tuohai saw with his own eyes that the falling hailstones increased from the size of basketballs to the size of tires. 
The huge hailstones were like cannonballs, and even broke the main mast of the coconut. Not only that, when they were about to approach the wall of clouds, several bolts of lightning flashed across the sky and struck the coconut's ship, directly igniting the sails and setting the coconut on fire. However, the undead pirates on the coconut were still shaking their long oars hard, approaching the black cloud wall step by step. Zhang Tuohai also switched to the perspective of the coconut and observed the surroundings. At this time, the coconut's collision angle had already touched the cloud wall, and it easily sank into it. According to the touch, the cloud wall is just a black mist and has no entity at all. However, this cloud wall is very acidic and corrodes many things on the ship, even the bones of the undead skeletons. However, those undead skeletons didn't care at all and continue to row their long oars and keep moving forward. Ahead is darkness. Vision has lost its function. Zhang Tuohai did not panic and let the undead continue rowing. The coconut sped forward through the dark wall of clouds. Five minutes later, the front suddenly opened up and a dazzling sunlight came into view, almost blinding Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai squinted his eyes and scanned the surroundings. The coconut has broken out of the cloud wall. Behind it is a tall black cloud wall that connects the sky and the earth. Ahead is the emerald sea filled with sunshine. I knew something was wrong. Knowing the situation behind the cloud wall, Zhang Tuohai immediately took action. In view of the previous situation, Zhang Tuohai directly summoned ten flying warships to escort him. Two pulled the cables on the white bird for towing, and the rest all flew over the white bird, redoing the shields to help resist the attack. Pulled by the two flying battleships, the white bird rushed towards the black cloud wall. As it approached the cloud wall, the size of the hailstones became larger and larger, and streaks of lightning struck from the sky toward the white bird. But Zhang Tuohai, who had already had one experience, was naturally prepared to deal with it. Eight flying battleships blocked the sky above the white bird like huge shields. Hail struck the hull of the flying battleship, and lightning struck the flying battleship. The white bird suffered no damage at all. Speed up. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The two flying warships accelerated their speed and rushed into the black clouds. The white bird entered it next. Wisps of black clouds penetrated into every corner of the ship's hull along the gaps in the ship, corroding everything on the ship. However, Zhang Tuohai had already asked Elizabeth and Linda to hide in the central kitchen and he made himself a full metal shield. The strong acid corroded the metal shell into pits. But Zhang Tuohai was in scathe. Soon, the white bird broke out of the black wall of clouds, and a ray of sunlight shone on the white bird again. Finally rushed out, Zhang Tuohai tore open the full metal shield, walked out of it, and returned to the bridge. At this time, many parts of the ship had been corrupted by strong acid. But Zhang Tuohai didn't care and carefully inspected the overall condition of the ship. At this time, a line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player for breaking out of the storm wall. You have attracted the attention of the Eye of the Storm. And the Eye of the Storm has begun to hunt you down. Chapter 1216 Big Ivan Eye of the Storm Who is this grandson? Zhang Tuohai looked at the game prompt suspiciously. He felt a chill rising behind him. Look back. The vast black wall of clouds was pressing towards him. Grass! Let's go! Zhang Tuohai's expression changed and he quickly urged the flying battleship to pull him and run quickly. The flying battleship increased its speed and rushed forward, dragging the originally leisurely bird, like a stray dog. Zhang Tuohai hugged the steering wheel fiercely to avoid being thrown out. Under the strong pull of the flying battleship, the Asuka was like a surfboard pulled by a motorboat, flipping up and down in the waves and rushing rapidly. Sometimes I rushed to the top of the waves, and sometimes I rushed to the bottom of the waves, being pushed forward by the waves and the black wall of clouds was chasing after him. So dark that it felt like the sky was falling. What the hell is this? Have you seen it before? Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked Zero, who had become Bodhidharma. Zero blinked and said nothing. I don't know if it's because I can't speak, or because I don't know. Forget it. I'll do my own research. Zhang Tuohai casually gave Xiao Hei an alchemical hand, and turned a trace of black pollution into gold. Zhang Tuohai took another look at the game prompts wondering whether the eye of the storm should refer to a person or creature, or the black cloud wall itself. However, since it has a name, it means that it can probably be killed. Zhang Tuohai looked through his skill list and searched for a long time, but couldn't find a suitable skill. It seems that my strength is still not enough. Zhang Tuohai frowned. Have you always been chased like this? Zhang Tuohai is definitely unwilling. At this point, he can only upgrade first, raise his skill level, and then figure out how to kill this thing behind him. 
How to upgrade? Zhang Tuohai opened the chart. This is the core area of the empire, with numerous large and small military ports, shipyards, and barracks. As long as there is an island, there is a royal navy station there. I'll take action on you. Zhang Tuohai summoned the flying battleships, except for the two that were responsible for pulling the white bird away. The remaining 15 flying battleships were divided into five formations and flew in various directions. Their mission is very simple, which is to kill all the Royal Navy they see, bulldoze all the military port barracks, and help him improve his level. The 15 flying warships immediately split up and flew in various directions. Zhang Tuohai still ran wildly with the Black Cloud Wall. Zhang Tuohai repeatedly tried to speed up the flying battleship, but the White Bird had reached its limit. If it accelerated any further, it would be in danger of capsizing. Zhang Tuohai didn't think he was doing anything, but considering that there were Elizabeth, several singing and dancing girls, and the Unsullied on board, he restrained himself. In this case, if he continued to accelerate, he would be fine. But Elizabeth and the others would definitely die. Let you be arrogant for a while longer. Zhang Tuohai turned back and took a deep look at the black cloud wall. Soon, the flying battleship sent by Zhang Tuohai found its target. Pato port is a small port, because there is a small river on the island. It assumes part of the task of fresh water supply. There are usually many ships anchored here for correction. Werther was a second-class soldier. At this time, he was lying boredly on the grass and basking in the sun. This is the core area of the empire, and no one will come to cause trouble at all. He is also a loader of the fort. So naturally he has nothing to do all day long. I really don't know what the point of staying here is. It would be great if I could be assigned to the Ocean Armada. With thought, his friend Cher Chong sent him letters describing the good life on the Armada, unlimited rum, a pound of fresh meat every day, and hot indigenous girls. This guy hasn't written a letter for a long time. Did he die in some woman's belly? I'm really envious. Werther held the stem of grass in his mouth and thought wildly. Just then, he felt a dark cloud blocking the sun. Werther opened his eyes and was stunned by what he saw. A huge spaceship flew slowly over his head, and hatches opened at the bottom of the bright silver hull. What is this? Is it a boat? But how can the boat fly in the sky? Am I dreaming? Werther's mouth opened so wide that even the grass stems dropped. At this moment, a black painted bomb fell from the sky and roared towards the ground. Werther was completely stunned, lying on the ground in a daze, not knowing what to do. The bomb exploded in midair and turned into an orange-red fireball. Then. Werther felt the temperature of the air rise rapidly, as if he had entered a sauna. Werther felt breathless. Even if he opened his mouth as wide as possible, he couldn't get even a breath of air. He had a big mouth and kept twisting on the ground, like a fish thrown onto the shore. Not only Werther, but the entire people in Potoport, from the governor who was guarding the place to the ordinary orderly soldiers, all fell to the ground. Their mouths opened in pain, and some even tore their own necks open. But even so, he couldn't even breathe a breath of air. The entire port of Pato became a dead zone. After dropping two thermobaric bombs, the flying battleship left without looking back and headed straight for the next target. There may be survivors on the island, but if it would be a waste of time to search for them one by one, it would be better to change the target. Pato port is just a microcosm. The same is true for all military bases discovered by flying warships on the entire Emerald Sea. Zhang Tuohai destroyed every military port he could and continued to collect experience. His level is also constantly improving with these experience points. LV-49 LV-50 LV-51 Finally promoted to LV-53 Zhang Tuohai gained 5 more skill points. Zhang Tuohai invested all his skill points into the skill of summoning ghost ships. And the skill was upgraded to level LV-25. The flying battleship upgraded to level LV-25 has new changes in shape. The ship's island and the cruise missile launcher were all moved to the side and there was a direct access to the deck on one side of the ship, which looked like an amphibious assault ship. However, there are small delta-wing aircraft parked on these direct decks. In addition to these aircraft, there are hundreds of commandos wearing jet packs. Each one has a set of full-body protective gear, a jet pack on the back, two Gatling guns and four small rockets hanging on their bodies. In addition, the biggest change of the flying battleship is the addition of a strike warhead Big Ivan, known as the Tsar Super Nuclear Weapon. This thing is so powerful that it can even push the movement of tectonic plates. After getting this thing, Zhang Tuohai became energetic. He slowly turned back and looked at the black wall of clouds in the sky. Please eat a big Ivan and see who is stronger. 
Chapter 1217 The Last Curse Gold Coin All aircraft mount Big Ivan. Take off. Target the Black Cloud Wall. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The triangular aircraft on the flying battleship began to hang on Big Ivan. Because the Big Ivan is so heavy, each aircraft can only carry one. Buzz buzz. Triangular shaped aircraft slowly took off and rushed towards the Black Cloud Wall. Soon, these triangular shaped aircraft rushed into the Black Wall of Clouds. Zhang Tuohai turned his perspective to the triangular aircraft. Through careful observation from multiple angles, Zhang Tuohai discovered that the black cloud wall was not straight, but a super huge tornado air mass. The surrounding black walls of cloud are nothing more than the outer walls. Inside, lightning and thunder roared, and red lightning pierced the sky from time to time, constantly releasing the power of destruction. If he hadn't escaped decisively just now and continued to stay inside, the white bird might have turned into pieces and sunk to the bottom of the sea. The triangular aircraft rushed into the cloud wall and quickly reached the designated location. Let me see who is more powerful. Zhang Tuohai agreed to detonate. Boom! Big Ivan detonated directly in the air. The shockwaves swept away in all directions. And the huge mushroom cloud shot straight into the sky, even breaking through the black cloud wall and reaching the sky. The core of the storm instantly rose to several thousand degrees Celsius. The rapidly rising temperature destroyed the stability of the air mass. The shock wave and high temperature even directly evaporated the flashpoint cloud. Even the surrounding black cloud wall was completely evaporated by the sudden burst of high temperature. The smoke dissipated, leaving only a huge mushroom cloud on the sea. A line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player for destroying the sixth level pollutant. Eye of the storm. Gaining 1000 experience points. And receiving the cursed gold coin storm. Has the last cursed gold coin finally arrived? Zhang Tuohai looked at the cursed gold coin in his hand and sighed. The seven cursed gold coins finally allowed him to collect them again. And he could finally see what was behind the bronze door. However, at this moment, the sea began to roll. And huge waves came overwhelming. The surrounding sea surface was pressed downwards by the huge impact force. And a large piece of it sank downwards. The turbulent sea water surged over. And the huge tidal fluctuations formed huge waves rushing towards the surroundings. Looking at the overwhelming waves, Zhang Tuohai quickly ordered the Fakian battleship to pull the white bird and run quickly. I just focused on killing the eye of the storm and forgot that Big Ivan's air explosion would cause a tsunami. As a result, this wave not only killed the eye of the storm, but also contained itself inside. Damn eye of the storm. So irresistible. He couldn't even get through a Big Ivan. Zhang Tuohai muttered, turned the wheel and sped away. Wow. Huge waves came from behind, lifting the white bird high. The hairs on Zong Tuohai's back stood up. He kept turning the wheel and adjusting the sails, so that the white bird could keep moving on the cusp of the storm, avoiding the huge waves, so as not to be shot to pieces. The white bird shuttled back and forth in the wind and waves, like a dandelion in the wind, drifting in the wind. This situation lasted for more than three hours, and the wind and waves gradually became smaller. Just when Zhang Tuohai thought the huge waves would gradually subside, he suddenly saw a small black spot growing in size in front of him. A head turned out to be a huge island. There are tall mountains on the island, and various buildings lined up in rows. The top of the mountain is dotted with towers of palace bachelors. Various factories are connected together. Steam machinery is walking on the road. And some hydrogen balloons with propellers can even be seen rising in the sky. The imperial and royal flags fly high on the island. Is this the capital of the empire? Zhang Tuohai looked at the island in front of him and had some guesses. According to the marks on the chart, the capital of the empire should be ahead. Zhang Tuohai also thought about coming here, but not in this way. What he needs now is a wide sea so that the waves can gradually lose their strength, not to head to the capital of the empire. If he rushed directly to the island, his white bird would be smashed to pieces, the kind where there is no scum left. We have to find a way to solve it. Zhang Tuohai summoned all the commandos, and asked them to gather around the ship. Then he activated the jet pack at the same time. And the white bird was slowly lifted up. The bottom of the white bird broke away from the waves and flew into the air. Although he was out of crisis for the time being, Zhang Tuohai knew that this would not last long. If he didn't find a way quickly, his ship would be doomed when the energy of the assaulter's flight packs ran out. Move to the right and try to get out of the island. The commandos held the white bird and flew to the right. Just when the white bird was about to completely avoid the island, the energy of the assaulter's flight pack suddenly ran out. The white bird sank suddenly and landed on the waves. Boom! The white bird rushed towards the island along the waves. 
Grass! Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly let the cable raise the sail, and at the same time turned the wheel steering rapidly, trying to rush along the edge of the island. Zhang Tuohai carefully controlled the sails and steering wheel, constantly adjusting the direction. The white bird was swept by the huge waves and barely passed the edge of the island. Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Just when he thought the crisis was over, he suddenly saw a huge rock suddenly appearing in front of him. Miss Grass! Zhang Tuohai was shocked. If it collided with it, the entire white bird would be doomed. However, it is too late to adjust the course now. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai had an idea and dropped the anchor chain on the port side. The huge anchor caught the rocks on the seabed, and the white bird was pushed sideways by the huge inertia. Zhang Tuohai immediately cut off the anchor chain, and the white bird followed the inertia and rushed out diagonally rearward. Passed by the rock, Zhang Tuohai changed course, and the ship finally straightened its posture and returned to the waves. Zhang Tuohai looked back and saw that the island had been left behind, and there were vast expanse of blue waves in front of him, and he was finally out of danger. The white bird drifted with the waves for more than two hours, and then the waves slowly calmed down. Zhang Tuohai finally breathed a sigh of relief and checked the situation inside the ship. There were a dozen or so damages, but luckily none were serious. The crew members were all hiding in the galley and were not injured. Asking the unsullied to repair the hull, Zhang Tuohai controlled the cable to untie the bronze door and erect it. Zhang Tuohai slowly walked to the bronze door and put the last gold coin into the groove. A flash of light flashed. The bronze door slowly opened, and a staircase formed by light appeared behind the gate. The staircase wound up and reached the sky. Chapter 1218 Return to the Demonic Fortress What is this? Elizabeth looked up at the stairs leading to the sky with curiosity. I don't know either, but if you are interested, you can come up and take a look. Zhang Tuohai said and stepped up the stairs. He had a hunch that there was his target on the stairs. Zhang Tuohai stepped up the stairs of light and walked up step by step. Seeing this, Elizabeth took two deep breaths, lifted up her skirt and followed. She knew that if she missed this spectacle, she might never see it again. She didn't know what would be up there. But she was sure that if she didn't go up, she would regret it later. Some of the other people on the boat chose to follow, while others chose to wait where they were. Zhang Tuohai didn't care what others thought, and climbed all the way up the stairs. The stairs were very high and long, even passing through the clouds. Zhang Tuohai saw a few wisps of white clouds floating around him. Looking up, the steps are still winding and rotating with no end in sight. Looking down, it was already hazy, and nothing could be seen clearly. The biting wind kept blowing Zhang Tuohai, making him have to be extra careful, summoning oranges and chicken legs to replenish his strength. Zhang Tuohai continued to climb up, climbing from day to night, and from night to day. The surroundings are filled with white, but the road still has no end. At this time, beautiful ladies appeared on both sides from time to time, wearing simple clothes, waving to Zhang Tuohai. Come and play! Come and play! You dare to deceive people with this kind of illusion, with only 50 cents of special effects? The AI can draw it better than you. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and continued climbing up. The surrounding scenery changed. From a graceful lady to a ferocious beast, roaring continuously and rushing towards Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai remained unmoved and continued climbing upwards. He has seen this kind of illusion too much, and it can no longer shake his heart. The surrounding illusions are constantly changing content, trying to arouse Zhang Tuohai's inner emotions and make Zhang Tuohai fall into the illusion. However, Zhang Tuohai remained unmoved and kept climbing upwards. From day to night, the surrounding clouds and fog suddenly dispersed, and the steps reached the end. In front of them was an island suspended in the sky. The island is not big. It looks like a fairy ball, surrounded by hollow metal patterns, which looks beautiful and exquisite. In the center of the island is a huge wooden bed with curtains hanging around it. A slim figure is leaning on the pillow, looking at Zhang Tuohai with a smile. Are you the warrior who has passed all the tests? Come here. I can give you a chance to realize your wish. The woman stretched out her finger to hook Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai smiled. Mephisto, be careful next time when you transform. Your tail is exposed. The woman was startled when she heard this and subconsciously touched behind her. However, she found nothing. The woman realized she had been fooled. But it was too late. Zhang Tuohai had already raised the devil's roar and pulled the trigger. Bang, bang, bang. A series of bullets shot out and hit the woman. The woman's body suddenly changed, and the skin was torn, revealing the scaly and pitch-black demon inside. So what if you come up? 
You just want to kill me with this broken gun? Go to hell. Demon Mephisto's hands turned into sharp claws and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes slightly, and the phoenix in his body roared, and his body instantly turned into a burning phoenix. A mouthful of flame spurted out and swept towards Mephisto. Damn it! How did you get this? Mephisto retreated quickly when he saw it was the phoenix flame. Zhang Tuohai flashed his wings, and two flames surrounded him from the left and right, sealing Mephisto in a small triangular area. After sealing off Mephisto, Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and breathed flames at Mephisto, intending to kill Mephisto completely. Mephisto saw the sweeping flames, violently opened a space door, and got in. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai rushed over and entered the space gate. After passing through the space door, you will see a huge hall with a huge red crystal stone placed next to it. Zhang Tuohai discovered that he had left the world created by the world stone and returned to the demon fortress. If you dare to follow me, go to hell. Mephisto rushed towards Zhang Tuohai again. Zhang Tuohai tried to use the phoenix power, but found no response. Ha! That is just the power simulated by the world stone. It will naturally lose its effect if it leaves that world. Now, let me see what you can do to fight me. Mephisto laughed and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. However, the next second, it saw an extra cake in Zhang Tuohai's hand. Its eyes were uncontrollably attracted to the cake. Zhang Tuohai whistled and threw the cake aside. Mephisto rushed towards the cake uncontrollably. Although the power in that world cannot be used, I still have power in this world. Zhang Tuohai sneered and snapped his fingers. A husky named Thunder God was summoned. Ouch woof! Husky's eyes lit up when he saw the cake. And he happily rushed towards the cake and got into a ball with Mephisto. Although Mephisto didn't want to compete with a dog with a poor IQ for a cake, the magic power of the cake made it unable to control itself and kept throwing itself at the cake. Then, he was struck back again and again by the thunder and lightning released by the husky. The scales all over his body were burnt to a crisp. Zhang Tuohai was holding his shoulders and watching. This is the retribution for tormenting me for so long. Things that should have ended long ago have been delayed by you for so long. This is your punishment. Seeing that the cake was almost eaten, Zhang Tuohai used skill recognition correction. The target is directly at Mephisto. And the twisted common sense is also very simple. That is, to turn the inevitable target into Mephisto. Mephisto's eyes were red, and he was panting like an ox. I'm Mephisto. I have an enemy that I must kill. This enemy's name is Mephisto. So I must kill Mephisto. I must kill myself. Mephisto clarified the relationship in his mind. His hands turned into a pair of sharp claws. And he stabbed into his chest. Grabbed his heart out. Then crushed it with a grin. Shouting. Ha! I finally killed you. Mephisto. With a pop. Mephisto's body fell to the ground. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Mephisto's body. Raised his head and asked in the void. I have reached the end. Right? Can my wish be fulfilled? Chapter 1219 Endless Card Drawing Device After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, thunder rolled in the void for a moment, and the door of truth slowly emerged. Standing in front of the door was a little girl wearing a black windbreaker. Who was Lilith? Lilith, are you okay? Zhang Tuohai walked over quickly and pulled Lilith. He activated the gate of truth, gave up the lord of the heavens, and crossed the two worlds to find his daughter Lilith. Although the relationship between him and Lilith is a bit complicated, after such a long time together, he has regarded Lilith as his biological daughter. Dad, you were almost late. Lilith put her hands behind her back and looked up at Zhang Tuohai with a smile. The world is about to restart. Please leave immediately. At this time, a voice sounded from within the door of truth. A blue vortex emerged. Let's go home. Zhang Tuohai took Lilith's hand and led her across the blue whirlpool. With a flash of white light in front of his eyes, Zhang Tuohai appeared on a city street. The street was full of people lying on the ground. They stood up in a daze, completely unaware of what was happening. Zhang Tuohai looked around and saw that this was the community where he lived before entering the game. On the ground next to it were fruits and vegetables that he had just bought from the supermarket. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the time on the ticket, then took out his mobile phone to check the time. The interval between the two was less than five minutes. Calculating the distance between him and the supermarket, it is very likely that from entering the game to leaving the real world, he only spent a minute, or even less. I'm finally back. I can take a good rest. Zhang Tuohai stretched out, picked up the plastic bag, and was about to take Lilith home. Suddenly a pedestrian on the street shouted, 
Look! What is that? Zhang Tuohai followed the man's finger and saw a huge city hanging upside down in the sky. It is more like a mountain than a city. The entire city is built on the mountain. Roads around the mountain are built along the mountain, dividing the mountain into nine layers. Each floor has a different architectural style, which is well proportioned and distinct. Seeing this strange sight, people on the road picked up their mobile phones to take pictures and upload them online. What is this? Zhang Tuohai frowned. He had just escaped from the game and had not enjoyed a peaceful life. But this strange phenomenon appeared again in real life. He was sure that this was no ordinary vision. And his peaceful daily life might be in ruins. The personified gate of truth has awakened. He wants to control the heavens and the world. And the world in the real plane has become one of his testing grounds. The nine-story city is the testing ground and the basis of the entire plan. Core hub. Lilith said from the side. At this moment, a voice sounded in everyone's ears. You humble ants, I want to play a game with you. What you see is the City of Trials. Every seven days, I will randomly select a group of people to enter the City of Trials to play the game. Those who can successfully pass the level will receive my reward. If they fail, they will also no one can refuse my invitation to suffer punishment. Enjoy your last moments. The selection will begin in 12 hours. The sound rang three times and disappeared without a trace. Song Tuahai felt that this voice was the same as the voice of the Door of Truth. How do you know so clearly? John Tuohai asked Lilith. Because I watched the whole process and even helped design some of the things. Lilith said with a smile. That, of course, as a designer, I also installed a few back doors on it. Lilith smiled and pushed a poker box to Zhang Tuohai. What's this? Zhang Tuohai looked at the poker box in his hand. Endless card drawing machine. Free 10 consecutive drawings every day. The prize pool is directly linked to the reward material library. As long as it is in it, there is a chance to draw it, Lilith said with a smile. This is, it's just a small auxiliary device. Lilith clasped her hands behind her back and tilted her head, as if she was waiting for praise. If you don't learn something good every day, Zhang Tuohai fooled Lilith into thinking. But, I like it. Zhang Tuohai took over the endless card draw device. Try it and see how you get lucky, Lilith said from the side. Then let me try. Zhang Tuohai drew 10 cards from the poker box. Get money. 100 yuan. Get a freshly baked roast chicken. Get a scratch-off ticket with a bonus of 20,000 yuan. Get a watch that shoots anesthesia needles. Anesthesia needle capacity 1 slash 1. Get Mr. Electric Horn. Get a set of fox ears and tail. Plug in. Get a piece of Peppa Pig tattoo paper. Effect. After being attached to the body, it automatically acquires social identity and the deterrent effect on ordinary people is increased by 30%. Get Computer Accessories Asterisk 1. Shirai Kuriko Limited Edition. Acquired Temporary Title, Suit Thug. Effect, after wearing it. When wearing a suit, the attack power is increased by 300%. Get Super Fitness Ring Asterisk 1. Effect, after use. The exercise effect is increased by 300%. This, looking at these messy things, Zhang Tuohai was speechless. He understands money, lottery tickets, bank cards, etc. Although tattoo stickers, temporary titles, and fitness rings are a bit weird. They still have clear effects and he can accept them. But what the hell is that plug-in? What are electric toys? And that computer accessory? Is it really a serious accessory? Zhang Tuohai turned his head and stared at Lilith. Don't look at me. The prizes are all set by that guy. If you want to settle the score, go find that guy. Lilith spread her hands. But if you want something good, there's nothing you can do about it. Lila suddenly came closer and said with a smile like a little fox. Tell me what to do. Seeing Lilith's appearance, Zhang Tuohai knew that something was up. It's very simple. Go directly to the ninth floor of the City of Trials. The reward library is set up in layers. The higher the level you go to, the greater the chance of getting good things. Then when we get to the ninth floor, will we be targeted by that guy? Zhang Tuohai glanced towards the ninth floor. He had a hunch that the door of truth was likely to be on the ninth floor. Don't worry. I have reserved a back door. When I reach the ninth floor, I will naturally have a way to deal with that guy. Anyway, my body is also the book of all laws. Although it is not as powerful as the door of truth, I can still do it with some tricks. Of, Lilith said while raising her breasts. Then you have to choose well, John Tuai said. Don't worry. I have already filled in Dad's name on the primary list and I will definitely be selected. 
Lilith said with a smile. John Tuai's face twitched a few times. And he felt that the little cotton padded jacket seemed to be leaking a little. Let's go home and eat. John Tuai picked up something. What to eat? Lilith asked excitedly. Stir fried pork with bamboo shoots. But we didn't buy bamboo shoots. Lilith looked at the contents of the bag. You can see it when you get back. Chapter 12 20 Copy Apartment You're lying! Lilith covered her butt and looked at the feather duster in Zong Tuai's hand with tears in her eyes. I'm not lying! This is really a bamboo pole! It's guaranteed to be genuine! Zhang Tuai casually stuffed the feather duster into the vase, entered the kitchen and started cooking. Lilith collapsed on the sofa, turned on the TV, and changed channels at will. Every station is broadcasting urgent news reports about the city of trials. Even Tepco stopped broadcasting cartoons and made special reports. After half an hour, Zhang Tuohai poked his head out of the kitchen. Wash your hands and eat. Ouch. Lilith obediently went to the bathroom and washed her hands. Three dishes and one soup were already laid out on the dinner table. Braised pork. Open back shrimp with garlic paste. Stir-fried vegetables. Duck blood vermicelli soup. Two bowls of multigrain rice. And two small pickles. Although it was just a simple home-cooked meal. Zhang Tuohai felt that it was more delicious than the delicacies he had eaten in another world. Maybe it feels like home. During this meal, the two of them had a tacit understanding. And neither of them spoke. And both ate quietly. The TV is constantly broadcasting the analysis and opinions of experts on this matter. After eating, Zhang Tuohai washed the dishes and started scrolling through his mobile phone. Netizens online are discussing the city of trials crazily. Some people think it's a prank. Some people think that aliens have arrived. Some people think it is the resurrection of the gods. Some people think that it is the revival of spiritual energy and the arrival of the main god space. Many people are eager to try, hoping to use the city of trials to soar into the sky and realize the destiny of changing their class. There are also people who have reservations and are ready to wait and see what happens. The well-connected boss began to prepare for a rainy day, preparing various weapons for himself and hired professional teachers to learn fighting and weapon use. In countries where gun ownership is legal, guns have become a hot commodity, and almost all guns have been snapped up. Those without access also use various methods to make self-defense weapons for themselves. All the survival posts posted by survival masters were picked out, and many people started copying their homework according to the strategies. Everyone is using whatever method they can think of to increase their chances of survival. This night is destined to be a sleepless night for many people. Zhang Tuohai was not in a hurry. He made himself a cup of tea, heated up a cup of milk for Lilith, and sat on the sofa and asked, What is the first trial copy? It's really hard to say. Lilith held the hot milk in her hands and sipped it. Zhang Tuohai turned around to get the feather duster. Dad, I really don't know this. Lilith rushed to Zhang Tuohai's side instantly and hugged his arm. Then Sun Tzu has designed tens of thousands of copies on the first level alone. How do I know which one he will choose? Even if I tell you one by one, there won't be enough time, Lilith said. Then there's nothing we can do? Zhang Tuohai asked. Yes, that means drawing a copy designation card. If you draw that thing, you can designate the next copy, Lilith said. It's like I didn't say anything. Zhang Tuohai lay on the sofa. In other words, there is no way to know what the next world is. I really don't know about this. Lilith spread her hands helplessly. Take a bath by yourself. Go to bed early and stay at home to pick up the express tomorrow. I ordered a mobile phone for you. It will arrive probably tomorrow. Remember to sign for it. Zhang Tuohai walked towards the study. Because he was alone at home, Zhang Tuohai changed the guest bedroom into a small study room with a small bed for sleeping. Zhang Tuohai ordered a waterbed online. But it would take two days for it to arrive. Smelly daddy? Lilith got into the bathroom with the toiletries. This night, Zhang Tuohai slept very soundly. He dreamed that he had a dream. In the dream, he traveled to a world of road survival, embarked on a thrilling adventure, and finally brought out a daughter from it. Opening her eyes, she opened the door and saw Lilith poking her head out of the kitchen. Good morning. It's not a dream. Zhang Tuohai walked into the kitchen with some regret. What to do? It tastes pretty good. Zhang Tuohai shrugged his nose, and a scent filled the air. Braised beef noodles. This is the first meal you treated me to. I think it tastes good. I followed the tutorial. How about it? It's not bad. Lilith covered the noodles with thick braised pork slices until the noodles were completely covered and then brought the bowl up. Not bad. I have eight points of skill. 
Zhang Tuohai stuffed a large piece of beef into his mouth and said vaguely, Show your face! Lilith rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai and ate her noodles. After eating, Zhang Tuohai rummaged through the boxes and finally found a suit to put on. This was the formal suit he bought to find a job. But it turned out that except for insurance salesmen, no one seemed to know how to wear formal attire. It just sat in the closet gathering dust. After putting on his suit and wearing the temporary title of suit thug, Zhang Tuohai felt that his strength had tripled and his physical strength had also increased. He seemed to have endless strength all over his body. Put on the anesthesia needle watch and put the Peppa Pig sticker in your pocket. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai took the computer accessories with him again, just in case there was a place where they could be used. As for other small toys and other things, Zhang Tuohai threw them all at home. As for today's card drawing opportunity, Zhang Tuohai plans to wait until he enters the game to try again. After making preparations, Zhang Tuohai took a look at the time. There were still five minutes left before 12 hours. Come on! Dad! Lilith hugged Zhang Tuohai and stuffed two packages of things into Zhang Tuohai's pockets. What? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. Paprika and peppercorns. Lilith said with a smile. Wu Cao! That's a high quality product that I had a hard time asking someone to buy. Zhang Tuohai was heartbroken. I can't worry about so much anymore. The time is coming soon. Come on! Lilith took two steps back and made a hard gesture. Wait for me to come back. Zhang Tuohai was furious. He planned to save the chili noodles to make Wanjo grilled fish. But Lilith ruined them all. We've won! I love you! Lilith said with a smile. The time is up. The first batch of players have been selected and the teleportation begins. The voice sounded again. At the same time, circles of light appeared under people's feet all over the world. Then the whole person turned into glaze and flew into the city of trials. Zhang Tuohai is one of them. When the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai opened his eyes and found himself in an apartment. A two-story building with four rooms on each floor. And he had a bunch of keys in his hand. At the same time, lines of information popped up. Copy, apartment. Type, single player copy. Identity, landlord. Task, collect rent from tenants. The basic rent is 1,000 yuan. And it is considered qualified if it collects 4,000 yuan. The more rent collected, the higher the evaluation. Note, failure in the mission will result in random punishment. Chapter 1221 Peppa Pig's Tattoo Landlord? Collecting rent? That's interesting. Zhang Tuohai found it a bit interesting. He had experienced so many worlds. And this was the first time he saw such a mission. So he couldn't help but become interested. Then, let's start with this family. Zhang Tuohai thought as he walked to the first door. He originally wanted to open the door directly with the key. But the bunch of keys in my hand is really too many. Hundreds of them. And there are no labels on them. If you want to open the door, you have to test them one by one. How long will it take to try this? Zhang Tuohai threw the key chain aside and knocked on the door. Boom. 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 After knocking for a long time, an impatient voice came from the room. Who is knocking on the door early in the morning to announce a funeral? The door was opened. And a muscular man with a height of two meters opened the door. The strong man stared down at Zhang Tuohai, his eyes full of sharp light. Landlord, collect rent. Zhang Tuohai said calmly. No money. Get out. The strong man said and was about to close the door. But the door was blocked by Zhang Tuohai with his feet. I saw the money on your desk. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the other party's room, which was a small single room with a table in the middle and some banknotes scattered on it. I told you I had no money and told you to get out. Didn't you hear me? As the strong man spoke, he clenched his fingers and made a clicking sound. I'll give you one last chance. The price won't be the same next time. Zhang Tuohai said calmly. Lori, you are so annoying. Get out, the strong man said, and smashed his huge fist towards Zhang Tuohai's face. Boom. Before the fist touched Zhang Tuohai, Zhang Tuohai's foot kicked the strong man's chest, sending the strong man flying out and rolling into the room like a ball. Zhang Tuohai adjusted his suit and stepped into the strong man's room. As soon as he entered the room, there was a smell of turbid air. There were mountains of takeout boxes on the floor, beer bottles in the corners, half-eaten roast chicken on the table, and a pile of banknotes scattered among them. Zhang Tuohai looked at the layout of the room as he walked. How dare you hit me? I'm going to kill you! The strong man jumped up suddenly, pulled out a machete from the table, and slashed at Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai grabbed it with his backhand and broke it with his right hand. 
knocking the machete from the strong man's hand to the ground. After knocking the knife down, Zhang Tuohai tripped and threw the strong man to the ground again, and then stepped on the strong man's body. Are you crazy about me? Pretending to be a social person. Right. Violent rent resistance. Right. Injuring someone with a knife. Right. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he kept kicking the strong man with his leather shoes. The strong man was stunned by the shadowless kick. He could only see the shadow of his feet. The leather shoes fell on him like raindrops. I don't know if it was an illusion. These leather boots hurt more than ordinary leather shoes. The strong man wanted to be hard for a while. But soon, he couldn't bear it anymore. This kind of pain penetrated deep into his soul. It was obviously just an ordinary leather shoe. But it was more unbearable than a knife cutting on his body. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. I'm convinced. I'll pay the rent. Isn't it okay if I pay the rent? The strong man begged. You bastard. You won't know how painful it is until you hit it again. Zhang Tuohai kicked him twice more and then let go of the strong man. This is a thousand yuan in rent. Please keep it. The strong man got up from the ground, counted a thousand yuan of rent from the pile of scattered banknotes, and handed it to Zhang Tuohai respectfully. As I said just now, it's not the price for me to do it. Zhang Tuohai put the money in his pocket, but had no intention of leaving. You? What do you mean? The strong man asked tremblingly. You have to make up for the rent you owed before. The late fees, my mental damages, and the clean cost of this room. Zhang Tuohai said with his fingers. So, how much is the total? The strong man asked cautiously. Let's count it as 10,000 in total. Zhang Tuohai flipped through his books and doubled the quotation. 10,000? The strong man's eyes almost popped out. He clearly remembered that he had only rented for four months. So why did he owe 10,000 yuan in rent? Which of the two is a social person? What? Do you have any objections? Zhang Tuohai stared at the strong man with a smile. Don't dare. Don't dare. The strong man was frightened by the kick. He quickly collected the money on the table and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. These are 4,000. That's all I have in my hand. The rest will take two days. I will definitely give it to you. The strong man said. Okay. Let's do that. Seeing that the strong man couldn't squeeze anything out, Zhang Tuohai kicked the money into his pocket and walked out of the room. When he was almost at the door, Zhang Tuohai turned back to the strong man and said, Clean the room. I'll check the hygiene later. If it's not up to standard, you'll be fined. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. But, you just said clearly that the cleaning fee is included. The strong man muttered. Huh? Do you have any objections? Zhang Tuohai stared at the strong man with a smile. No. Absolutely not. The strong man shook his head quickly. Humph. Remember, I'll stay for a while and come back to check. Zhang Tuohai turned around and walked out of the room, came to the door of the second room. Standing at the door of the room, Zhang Tuohai summarized the gains and losses of the last debt collection. Am I too kind looking and make people feel easy to bully? Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, took out the Peppa Pig tattoo paper and stuck it on his arm. It was obviously just an ordinary sticker. But when he put it on his body, he gained an aura. An aura that made people fearful. It's really useful. Zhang Tuohai liked the stickers very much and knocked on the door of the second room. The door was open quickly. The person who opened the door was a homely girl wearing a t-shirt and holding a beautiful girl's swimsuit pillow in her arms. I'm the landlord. And it's time to pay the rent. Zhang Tuohai said. Uh-huh. The homegirl quickly took out a wad of money from her pocket and handed it to Zhang Tuohai respectfully with both hands. This is the rent. Please accept it. Isn't this quite simple? Zhang Tuohai put the money in his pocket and helped the housewife close the door. When the door was closed, the house girl collapsed on the ground with a cold sweat on her face. On the floor not far from her, a hatchet fell. She didn't know why. But seeing Zhang Tuohai was like seeing a natural enemy. But she couldn't lift the hatchet she originally wanted to swing. She had a premonition in her heart that if she dared to swing the knife, she would be the one who died. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai knocked on the door of the third room. The door was opened by a scantily clad girl. The rent is collected, Zhang Tuohai said. It turns out it's the landlord. The scantily clad girl smiled. I don't have any money, but I have other things to pay for the rent. Do you think it's okay? The scantily clad girl said, erecting her 36F proudly. Chapter 1222, Clear the Pipeline? Additional money is required. What compensation will be used? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course, I will use myself. I can give you a 20% discount. How about that? Landlady? 
the scantily clad girl said, licking her lips. I think you made a mistake, Zhang Tuohai said seriously. What's going on? The scantily clad girl asked. I want to collect money, Zhang Tuohai said seriously. What? The scantily clad girl was stunned. She suspected that she had heard wrongly and picked her ears. Did I hear wrongly? No, you heard it right. It is not within the landlord's obligation to help the tenant unblock the pipes. It will cost extra. Zhang Tuohai looked serious. Moreover, if you clean up pipelines that have been old for many years, you still have to worry about the risk of contamination. So an additional 50% risk allowance is required. If it's one time, I'll accept 3,000. It's not too much. Hack your grandma. The scantily clad girl went crazy. I only pay 1,000 when I go out. How can you have the nerve to accept 3,000? I have good skills. Zhang Tuai said. Hurry up. Pay the money. Or pay more money. Give me a nice word. I'm in a hurry. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the watch on his hand. This is your money. Get out of here. The scantily clad girl took out a thousand yuan from her collar and threw it in front of Zhang Tuohai. Then, the door slammed shut. Thank you then. Zhang Tuohai took the money into his hand and counted them one by one. After confirming that there was no problem, he whistled. Then, the sound of smashing things was heard in the room. Reminder, you will be charged for damage to the facilities in the apartment. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. The movement in the room disappeared. Young man, you still want to make money from me? Zhang Tuohai went straight to the last room on the first floor and knocked on the door. Boom, 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 squeaky, with a harsh friction sound. The door was opened. A guy with rags and dirty clothes was revealed in the door. Zhang Tuohai didn't even know whether he was a boy or a girl. As soon as the guy opened the door, he hugged Zhang Tuohai's thigh and shouted, Master, Please have mercy on me. I haven't eaten in three days. Zhang Tuohai's face turned green. Why is there everyone in my apartment? He can still understand a social person and a female technician. How does this quarrel live in an apartment? However, it is understandable when you consider that they may even earn more in a day than white-collar workers in the office. You haven't eaten in three days. Right. Zhang Tuohai asked. Yes. Sir, have mercy on me. The guy hugged Zhang Tuohai's legs and cried. Okay, then come with me. Zhang Tuohai grabbed the guy's collar and walked out of the door. Outside the door is a snack street, with hawking sounds coming and going, and various fragrances filling the whole street. Zhang Tuohai carried the guy to a small stall. Here comes a hundred baked naan. The stall owner thought he heard wrongly. How much? One hundred. This is the deposit. Zhang Tuohai took out two hundred yuan and slapped it on the stall. Okay. The vendor immediately wrapped all the baked naan for Zhang Tuohai, and then started to bake it. Come on! Haven't you eaten for three days? Come on! It's still warm. Zhang Tuohai smiled and handed a piece of naan to the guy. The guy was confused and said quickly, Master, I don't want food. Just give me money. I can buy it myself. You look down on me, don't you? Zhang Tuohai handed the roasted naan to the guy. I'll give you two ways. Either eat it yourself or I'll feed it to you. It's your choice. The guy instinctively wanted to refuse, but when he saw the Peppa Pig tattoo that Zhang Tuohai inadvertently revealed, his body trembled involuntarily, feeling that there was a ferocious beast staring at him. I eat. I eat. The guy quickly grabbed the roasted naan and ate it in big gulps. The freshly baked naan is indeed delicious. But only if you chew it slowly. This thing is surprisingly dry for easy storage. If you eat it dry, your mouth will become dry after a while and all the saliva will be sucked up. Like chewing flour. The guy finally ate a piece of roasted naan and rolled his eyes while choking. Master, I'm full. The guy wanted to leave after he finished speaking. Don't leave. There are so many more here. Don't waste them. Eat them all. Zhang Tuohai said and carried the guy back. Eat. Zhang Tuohai handed a piece of naan to the guy. Master, I'm so full. The guy waved his hand quickly. Eat. Zhang Tuohai was smiling, but his tone was unquestionable. Okay, then this is the last one. The guy reluctantly picked up the roasted naan and continued to eat. This time, it took more than 20 minutes to finish the grilled naan. By the end, the guy was clutching his stomach. Master, can I go? You look down on me, don't you? You haven't eaten in three days. I will let you eat as much as you want today. Come and eat. Zhang Tuohai handed the third piece of naan to the guy. Master, I really can't eat anymore. 
Please, please let me go. The guy just couldn't take it anymore. He felt that if he took another bite, his stomach would explode. Humph, you can't eat anymore, right? Let's talk about rent and compensation. Zhang Tuohai took out his calculator. You owe me 1,000 yuan for rent. And you ate 100 pieces of cake. One piece of cake counts as 100. And the total is 100 and 1,000 yuan. Give me the money. Zhang Tuohai stretched out his hand. After hearing this, the guy turned green. Master, these baked naan are only 10 yuan each. How can it be counted as 100? Moreover, even if it is 100, 100 pieces is only 10,000. How can it be counted as 100,000? Are you doubting my IQ or that there is something wrong with my calculator? John Tuohai squatted in front of that guy and asked coldly, Or do you plan to eat all these grilled naan? John Tuohai stuffed a piece of naan in front of the guy. Can I pay for it? The guy gave in. It's late. I've already taken out the roasted naan. You must eat this. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. I really can't eat anymore. Zhang Tuohai stuffed the naan into his mouth, grabbed his hair with one hand, and dragged his chin with the other to help the guy finish chewing. But the cost was that a lot of hair was pulled out, and the jaw was dislocated several times. Three teeth were chipped. It's 120,000 now. Take the money. Zhang Tuohai spread his hands. The guy originally wanted to refuse but also wanted to ask how it went from 100,000 to 120,000. As soon as the words came out, he immediately covered his mouth. He was afraid that if he spoke again, he would be fed roasted non again. He really couldn't eat anymore. And if he continued to eat, he would really die. I give. I give. As the guy spoke, he took out 12 wads of brand new banknotes from the worn cloth bag on his body. Chapter 1223 Recruitment Order Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw the 12 stacks of brand new banknotes. Are all the gossip so rich now? He just wanted to punish the other party, and just said it casually. Unexpectedly. It was really coming out. Even the female technician probably doesn't have that much money. For a moment, Zhang Tuohai felt a sense of loss. How about some more? An idea swirled in Zhang Tuohai's mind. However, the beggar didn't give Zhang Tuohai a chance at all, and disappeared while Zhang Tuohai was counting the money. This guy runs really fast. Don't let me see you again. Zhang Tuohai took the money and returned to the apartment. The four houses on the first floor have been collected. And Zhang Tuohai has already paid 125,000. Far exceeding the stipulated total rent of 8,000. As long as Zhang Tuohai wants to. He can leave now. However, Zhang Tuohai has no intention of leaving just yet. He plans to check out the remaining tenants to see if it is possible to get more money. It's really not satisfying to get just this little from one visit. Zhang Tuohai came to the first door on the second floor. Knocked on the door. Dong dong dong. It's time to collect the rent. Please open the door. Zhang Tuohai kept knocking on the door. With a creak. The door opened from the inside. And a gun barrel protruded from the inside. Money or life? A cold voice came from inside. Who the hell are living in this house? Zhang Tuohai complained crazily in his heart. He just wanted to collect rent. So why did he take out his gun? Looking at the muzzle. The model should be a K? Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Zhang Tuohai took half a step back. No misunderstanding. Give me all the money in your pocket. The cold voice said. You actually want to steal my money? Takumi couldn't stand this anymore. He originally wanted to let the other side go. But the other side actually still wanted his money? It's easy to say. Easy to say. Just wait. I'll give it to you right now. Zhang Tuohai said, taking out a wad of money from his pocket and pretending to hand it to the man. The man was more alert, took half a step back, and said sternly, Just put the money on the ground. Don't play tricks. Okay, look at it. Just put the money on the ground. Don't let it go wrong. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he put the money on the ground. The moment he raised his hand, he pressed the switch of the watch with his right hand. An anesthetic needle shot out and entered the door along the crack hitting the tenant with a gun. The tenant felt as if he had been bitten by a mosquito. And then he fell to the ground with a thud, completely unconscious. At the same time, the watch on John Tuohai's wrist also lost its effectiveness due to the loss of the anesthetic needle, and disappeared without a trace. It's really a one-time thing, but the effect is really good. Zhang Tuohai kicked open the door and walked in. Lying in the room was a middle-aged man wearing a tactical body armor, holding an AKM in his hand and a military dagger outside his boots. The room was very tidy, with a black handbag thrown in the corner. 
Zhang Tuohai opened a handbag. In addition to 100,000 in cash, there was also a filed bag with a woman's face on the cover. Recruitment order, after using it, you can temporarily get help from the special forces leader Natasha. Number of uses, 1 slash 1. Can bring out a copy. Are there actually any restrictions on what you can take out? Zhang Tuohai picked up the AKM in the man's hand and looked at it. Inferior AKM, equipped with 30 rounds of ammunition, since it is produced by a small workshop. Accuracy cannot be guaranteed, and it may even cause the chamber to explode. Please use with caution. Rubbish! Zhang Tuohai removed the firing pin and threw the gun aside. A gun that may explode is sometimes not as useful as a knife, especially in a relatively small place like an apartment. However, this recruitment order is a good thing. I wonder if the tenants downstairs have something similar. Zhang Tuohai thought as he searched the room to see if he could find another similar thing. However, it is a pity that the rest are ordinary items similar to AKM and cannot be taken out of the game. Bah! Poor guy! Zhang Tuohai spat dissatisfied, then untied the other party's belt and shoelaces and tied him up, preparing to deal with it at the end. After he collects all the rent, he will see if he has time to send the other party to the police station to see if he can exchange for some reward money. Carrying the money, Zhang Tuohai came to the next door. Open the door! Open the door! Collect the rent! After knocking on the door, Zhang Tuohai hid aside, fearing that another gun barrel would stick out from the door. However, this time, it was not a gun barrel that stuck out, but a smiling face. This is my rent for this month. Please take a look at it. Landlord, the man said with a smile. Um, Zhang Tuohai reached out to take the money. Who knows? The man flipped his hand, and there was a scalpel blade under the money, and he cut Zhang Tuohai's wrist. Um, upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai grabbed the other person's wrist with his backhand, raised his foot, and kicked the person in the stomach. Boom! The guy was kicked out and hit the wall to stop his attack. Zhang Tuohai walked in. As he walked, he looked around the room. The room was filled with all kinds of things. Women's bags of various famous brands were piled up in the room. There were many mobile phones on the table. When the closet was opened, it was filled with all kinds of women's underwear. Hey! He's still a snitch. Zhang Tuohai walked over and stepped on the guy's hand. Click! Oh, it hurts! It hurts! My bones are about to break. Please let go. The thief screamed. Where's the rent? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. It's in the cabinet. Release your feet, and I'll get it for you. The thief shouted. Go get it. Zhang Tuohai let go of his feet. The thief got up from the ground, walked to the big wardrobe with his hands covered, and after a few fiddles, he actually opened a hidden compartment. The thief opened the secret compartment and quickly wiped it inside. Zhang Tuohai had quick eyes and quick hands and kicked the thief on the leg. He kicked the thief to his knees. Zhang Tuohai came to the secret compartment and found that in addition to cash and gold bars, there was also a small pistol. Glock in Hello Kitty pink style. There were seven yellow bullets inside. It is also just an ordinary item and cannot be brought out as a copy. Can you? Just for a little rent. Prepare to use a gun? Zhang Tuohai picked up the gun and put it on the thief's head. I was wrong. Please spare me this time. The thief said quickly. Spare you? Okay. Then it depends on whether you can give me something to buy your life. If the price is right, I don't mind letting you go. If you can't give me something that interests me, then don't blame me. You're welcome. Zhang Tuohai said and turned on the insurance. Chapter 1224 Strange Girl. Remember? It's something that satisfies me. Zhang Tuohai emphasized emphatically. Okay. Okay. I understand. The thief ran to the single bed lifted the mattress, and opened a hidden compartment from the inside. Take a bunch of stuff out of it. These are the things in my collection. Take whatever you like. The thief put a bunch of things on the table. Zhang Tuohai casually picked up these things and found that most of them were ordinary jewelry. Apart from being exquisite, they had no other value. Zhang Tuohai gradually lost his patience and threw items on the ground that could not be taken out. The thief felt distressed when he saw it, but he did not dare to say anything. Just when Zhang Tuohai had almost thrown everything to the ground, something suddenly attracted his attention. Expensive bracelet, after wearing it, you will be regarded as a member of the upper class and will be treated as a VIP on certain occasions. Copies may be taken out. This is somewhat useful. Zhang Tuohai took the bracelet into his hand. Where's the cash at home? Load it up for me. Zhang Tuohai said to the thief. What? The thief asked subconsciously. Of course it's rent. 
What else can it be? What? Do you have any objections? Sean Tuhai asked. No. No objection. The thief said quickly. The thief said as he collected the cash in the room and handed it to Jean Tuohai. Jean Tuohai counted a total of 80,500, including the previous ones. The total is 310,000. Collecting rent is really profitable. Jean Tuohai couldn't help but whistle and then knocked the thief unconscious with a knife. Then he untied the thief's belt and shoelaces, tied them up, and waited to send them away together in exchange for the reward. After walking out of the thief's room, Zhang Tuohai knocked on the door of the third room. Boom! 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 No one responded to the room for a long time. Pretending not to be there, Zhang Tuohai kicked the door open and opened it. The room was dark, and a man was sitting at the desk, mixing something with a bunch of test tubes. Finally not a criminal anymore. Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath, and then said, It's time to pay the rent. It's time to pay the rent. Rent! The guy in the white coat slapped his forehead. Then he stood up with an apologetic look on his face. I'm sorry. All my money was spent on materials. How about using this thing to pay your rent? Or, I can take the time to sell this thing on the black market. And I can give it to you in exchange for money. You? The guy in the white coat took out a test tube from his pocket and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. Oh. Zhang Tuohai took the test tube and took a look. Spider refined serum, after injection. The strength is increased by 30%. The reaction speed is increased by 50%, and the physical fitness is increased by 20%. There is a chance to gain the extraordinary ability to climb and spray spider silk, and there is a chance to transform into a spider monster. Copies may be taken out. This thing. For Zhang Tuohai, who is used to seeing good things, this thing is really unacceptable, especially the one that has a chance of transforming into a monster. He looked down upon it even more. However, just because he can't use it doesn't mean it has no value. He can take it to the market and trade it. There must be someone rushing to get it. He can exchange it for what he needs. The most important thing is that there are really not many things that can be brought out as copies. And there is no room for him to pick and choose. Okay, let's take this. Is there anything similar that I can buy at a price that exceeds the market price? Zhang Tuohai said to the man in the white coat with a smile. I'm sorry. I made this by accident. And the rest are failures. The man in the white coat scratched his head, looking embarrassed. Really? That's a pity. If you come up with something interesting, you can come to me, and I can buy it at a price higher than the market price. Zhang Tuohai said, shaking the money bag in his hand, which was filled with banknotes. Here, I have a new thing. I don't know if you want it or not. The man in the white coat rummaged around on the table, found something, and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. This is the only successful invention I've had in a while. Jean Tuohai took it over. That's a pair of gloves. Electric shock gloves, when worn. Strong electric current can be released to make the enemy incapacitated. You can take a copy with you. Note, it must be in direct contact with the enemy to take effect. That's okay. It's a piece of equipment after all. Jean Tuohai looked at the gloves and felt that they were more or less a piece of equipment and were of some value. How much? Two thousand? Or even one thousand? The man in the white coat said sheepishly, I'll give you 3,000. Just think of me when you get something good. Zhang Tuohai ordered 3,000 yuan and gave it to the other party. Then he left the room with thanks from the man. There's only one last room left. It doesn't look like this task is too difficult. Zhang Tuohai stretched and knocked on the last door. Dong, dong, dong. Is there anyone? The writ is collected. The room door opened slowly. Lord Landlord, I was recently refunded by a miner. I really have no money in my pocket and I haven't eaten for a long time. Can you give me some money so that I can eat? Thank you. The person who opened the door was a cute little girl wearing JK black stockings. She put her hands together and said apologetically, Ah, that's nothing. Zhang Tuohai took out 200 yuan from his pocket and handed it to the little girl. Thank you, landlord. The little girl took the money and quickly closed the door. Um, Zhang Tuohai looked at the closed door and felt something was wrong. He was obviously here to collect rent. So why did he give out another 200? Wrong. Zhang Tuohai knocked on the door again. Ah, landlord. I haven't had my hair done for a long time. Can you give me some money to do my hair? Okay. Zhang Tuohai took out another 200 and handed it to the girl. Boom! The door closed again. Hiss. Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air. He sensed that something was wrong. Every time he opened the door, 
he couldn't help but obey the other party's request. There's definitely something wrong with this woman. How to deal with it? Zhang Tuohai held his chin in thought. Zhang Tuohai pondered for a while, then knocked on the door, then waited for two seconds and kicked the door. The door flew out, knocking the girl who was about to open the door away. Zhang Tuohai rushed into the room with a quick step and grabbed the girl's ankle. The electric current was transmitted to the girl's body through the stockings. The girl fainted from the electric shock. No problem this time. In order to prevent the girl from waking up and talking again, Zhang Tuohai rummaged around the room and found a piece of rope and a ball. After tying the girl up with a rope and gagging her mouth with a ball, Zhang Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief and began to look for abnormalities in the girl. Chapter 1225 Copy Settlement Zhang Tuohai carefully searched the girl's body and finally found the small pink brooch on her body. Q brooch. Q people always have many privileges. After wearing this brooch and making a request, the other party will unconsciously agree and complete the request. You can take a copy with you. Note. The degree of completion of the request depends on the ability of the other party. Please do not make requests that the other party cannot fulfill. As this will be seen through. Note 2. Wear cute clothes and look cute. The cuter you look, the higher the success rate. This thing. Zhang Tuohai looked at this thing and didn't know how to evaluate it. To say this thing is good, it is really good. You can make a request to someone that is within the other person's ability. And then it will be fulfilled. As long as it is not excessive and used properly. It can almost reduce the difficulty of the copy. But there is a fatal flaw. That is, you have to dress up cute. This touches on Zhang Tuohai's knowledge blind spot. Zhang Tuohai learned a lot of knowledge and skills in the spiritual space. From hand-to-hand -hand combat to piloting a spaceship. From wilderness survival to extreme sports. But I have never learned how to pretend to be a fake girl and pretend to be cute. However, the effect of this equipment was so powerful that he couldn't give it up. Forget it. Let's take it back first and see if Lilith can wear it later. Zhang Tuohai put the brooch away. After getting the things, Zhang Tuohai did not forget the important purpose of his visit, which was to collect rent. Zhang Tuohai entered the room, rummaged for a while, and found 3,000 yuan in cash. 1,000 yuan for rent. 2,000 yuan for door repairs. Everything will be paid off. Zhang Tuohai received all the money into the bag. At this time, the game system popped up. It is detected that the rent collection task has been completed. Whether to proceed with settlement. No settlement yet. Zhang Tuohai took out the endless card drawing device from his pocket. He wants to try out the effect of drawing cards in a copy. Congratulations on getting 10,000 yuan in cash. Congratulations on getting 100,000 yuan in cash. Congratulations on getting 100,000 yuan in cash. Congratulations on getting 500,000 yuan in cash. Congratulations on getting a little yellow duck doll. Congratulations on getting a box of number 12 shotguns. Congratulations on getting a box of gas cans. Congratulations on getting a box of canned earthworms. Congratulations on getting a cult python. Congratulations on getting a designated world admission ticket. Ten items were placed in front of Zhang Tuohai. What are all these things? Zhang Tuohai flipped through those things. The cash was all cash from this world and could not be used in the real world. He could only put it in his bag as rent. That little yellow duck doll is just an ordinary doll. It's not a prop at all. I can only take it back and give it to Lilith to play with. I just don't know if Lilith will like plush dolls at this grade. As for the shotgun and the pistol, they don't match each other at all and are useless. Gas canisters can be converted into Molotov cocktails. Things like canned earthworms can only be considered a good thing in the last days. But Zhang Tuohai was living in the real world, where supplies were relatively abundant and basically useless. The only thing that seems useful is the designated world admission ticket. Designate a world to enter. Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought for a while, and then realized that this was only his first world. If you want to specify the world, you need to mix at least a few more copies. After searching around and confirming that nothing was missing, Zhang Tuohai chose to submit. Settlement in progress. Congratulations to the player who collected more than 1 million in rent in the copy of Landlord. Achievement Achievement Millionaire. Congratulations to the player for obtaining SSS rating. The ranking list has been opened. Congratulations to the player for getting a perfect treasure chest. A golden treasure box appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure chest. Waves of colorful light bloomed. And when the light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai could clearly see what was inside. That's a hip flask. Endless hip flask. A hip flask that can produce endless spirits. Every time you take a sip, the surrounding enemies will fall into a drunken state. And there will be a 30% chance that the attack will fail. 
Wearing it will automatically gain the skill. Breath of Fire. Fire Breath. With itself as the center of the circle. A 120 degree angle range in front. And a breath distance of 10 meters. This thing is quite good. Zhang Tuohai picked up the wine pot and looked at it. The wine pot was made of silver and was very beautiful. It was palm sized. Easy to carry. And not very eye catching. The effects of passive skills and active skills are also good. Zhang Tuohai is very satisfied with this equipment and feels it is worthy of the SSS level evaluation. However, what surprised Zhang Tuohai was that the system evaluation was not completed yet. Congratulations to the player for achieving the millionaire achievement. The assets obtained are enough to buy the ownership of the apartment and automatically own the property. Player gains identity. Landlord. After the player owns an industry in the copy, the player can return to his industry at any time to check the operating status of the industry. Hey, is there such a benefit? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. He didn't expect that there was such a hidden benefit. The industry within a copy seems a bit interesting. Before Zhang Tuohai could check the situation, a white light flashed and he was kicked out of the dungeon. With a flash of white light in front of his eyes, Zhang Tuohai found himself back in his living room. Lilith was wearing sharp pajamas and sitting on the sofa watching TV with her doll in her arms. The little penguin slippers on my feet are shaking. Dad is back? Thank you for your hard work. I'm hungry. Let's cook quickly. Lilith looked back at Zhang Tuohai and said with a smile, I just know how to eat. I'll give you this. You can eat it yourself. Zhang Tuohai threw the can of earthworms over. Lilith caught the can accurately. He glanced at it and pretended to be disgusted. Hey, it's so heavy. I even eat the bait. You still have the nerve to criticize others. But who drank engine oil last time? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. It was a silicon-based life form at that time. Isn't it normal to drink some engine oil? If you don't drink it, you are an alien. What did you get? Let me see. Lilith moved next to the sofa. Everything is here. Take a look. Zhang Tuohai threw everything on the coffee table. He plopped down on the sofa. How long have I been gone? One hour. 27 minutes. 56 seconds. Very fast. Although I am not the first to come out. I am currently the highest ranked. Lilith said. And there are rankings? Where can I see them? Zhang Tuohai asked. A new app has been released. It is automatically installed on every mobile phone. It is called Trial City. There are many new things in it. Take a look. Lilith threw the phone to Zhang Tuohai. Is there such a thing? Zhang Tuohai opened the Trial City. Chapter 1226 Industrial Management After clicking on the Trial City software, there are four sections. They are the irrigation area, the trading floor, the list and the personal homepage. Some personal information is marked on the personal homepage. For example, Zhang Tuohai's personal information is marked with his name, avatar, number of clearance copies, clearance evaluation and level, industry information, etc. The last option is the public option. Zhang Tuohai now only has one business. Happy apartment. Each time you recruit a tenant, you can receive a stable monthly rent of 1,000 yuan. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai chose to hide. Zhang Tuohai is still on the first level of the trial city. If you want to pass the first level and enter the second level, you need to complete three copies and obtain at least one A level or above evaluation. There is currently only one comprehensive evaluation list on the list, and the top one is Zhang Tuohai, followed by seven or eight SS level evaluations, hundreds of S level evaluations, and a series of A level evaluations. Those who reach the top 10 on the list can enjoy discounts on handling fees when trading. The 10th discount is 10% off. The 9th discount is 20% off. And so on. All the way to the first place. No handling fee. In addition, there are special treatments such as entrance effects and highlighted speeches. Zhang Tuohai looked at the trading hall. This is a place where items can be traded. You can choose to trade publicly or anonymously. All trading systems will charge a 10% commission. As for the irrigation area, that goes without saying, it is already full of posts at this time. Many players shared their concerns in it. Zhang Tuohai took a rough look around and found that the dungeons that the players experienced were different. Moreover, the types of copies are also very strange. Just what Zhang Tuohai saw was climbing a 1,000 meter tower with bare hands. Extreme skydiving from a height of 500 meters. Win the race against the bear. Hide in a sewer full of methane for one hour. Pregnant a lizard. Waiting for weird copies. After comparing them, Zhang Tuohai suddenly discovered that his copy seemed to be quite normal. In addition to the strange copy, 
The punishments are also varied. Some players drew severed limbs. Some were run over by cars. And some were thrown into open pools. Various kinds. Of course, only living people can post posts. The dead cannot share their feelings. Just at this moment, Zhang Tuohai heard the sound of ambulances ringing outside the window several times. After reading the post for a while, Zhang Tuohai threw his phone aside. At this time, Lilith had already sorted the things he brought back. Only this hip flask is okay. But the others are not so good. This is Lilith's assessment. It's just the first game. It's all transitional equipment. It will get better gradually. Zhang Tuohai said. Do you want to study the serum? Zhang Tuohai handed the spider serum to Lilith and asked. I've seen it. It's just an ordinary purified serum with a little catalyst added. It has limited effects and has no development value. Lilith handed the serum back. That's it. Then I'll call the trading house and see if I can sell it at a higher price. Zhang Tuohai put the serum on the list for sale. The rest are treated as materials and thrown into the utility room, waiting for matching items to be found. By the way, wear this and see if it helps. Zhang Tuohai handed the cube brooch to Lilith. Hey, dear dad, can you make lunch for the lovely Lilith? She is already very hungry. Lilith's hands were suitable, and she said to Zhang Tuohai with a well-behaved look. Good. Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt all the fatigue in his body dissipate, and walked into the kitchen and started cooking. The effect is so good. Lilith was also shocked. Three times, five times, two times. Zhang Tuohai prepared three dishes and one soup. Honey chicken wings. Stir-fried lotus pond. Salt and pepper prawns. Borscht soup. Full of color and fragrance. Thank you, Dad. Lilith clasped her hands together and picked up the chopsticks to eat. Go wash your hands. Zhang Tuohai held Lilith's ears and entered the bathroom. You actually dare to use your skills on me? Dad, I was wrong. I dare you again next time. Lilith begged for mercy. Huh? Zhang Tuohai accidentally let Lilith slip back to the dinner table. This guy. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to shake his head and return to the dinner table. After the two of them finished eating, Zhang Tuohai finished washing the dishes and opened the trial city. Now more and more players have come out of the dungeon. And everyone is discussing what they have seen in the dungeon. All kinds of new news are like a waterfall. And you can't see it at all. Zhang Tuohai opened the trading area. And a lot of things were listed here. However, most of them are axes, chainsaws, bandages and other miscellaneous items. And the prices are extremely high. I dare to ask for a hundred thousand for an ordinary axe. But I don't know what serious illness the seller has. Zhang Tuohai watched for a while and estimated that it would take a few days for the market to return to normal. After watching it for a while, Zhang Tuohai jumped back to his personal homepage. If it's a personal property, can I bring people in? Zhang Tuohai suddenly had a question. He decided to do an experiment. Walk. Zhang Tuohai took Lilith's hand and chose to enter the personal industry. In a flash of white light, the two of them appeared in the apartment. The apartment was still as it was before, and those who should be tied up were still tied up. The damaged door still looked damaged. If I had known better, I would have been gentler. Zhang Tuohai looked at the kicked-in door with some regret. This is your industry in this dungeon, and it's not that great. Lilith walked around the apartment and gave an evaluation. It's just that it looks a little worn now. It can be renovated. Zhang Tuohai said nonchalantly. Where did the money come from? Lilith asked. The wool comes from the sheep. Zhang Tuohai called the police and reported all the thieves, socialites, gun dealers, and thieves in the room. After verification, Zhang Tuohai received a bonus of 500,000 yuan. Look, the money is coming. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Tuohai called the decoration company, carried out simple decoration of the apartment, and posted a leasing notice at the same time. According to system regulations, there must be tenants to generate rent stably. If it is idle, not only will it not be able to generate rent, but idle tax will also be deducted. What a vampire! They charge an idle tax! Zhang Tuohai resented the harshness of the system. He really wouldn't want to run this place if he could help it. Managing tenants is really troublesome and requires solving various problems. But the benefits are not high. If possible, he just wants to use this place as a place to stay and a warehouse to store some and use things. Now, that idea has fallen through. After handling the trivial matters, Zhang Tuohai was just about to leave when suddenly a girl carrying a backpack and wearing glasses opened the door of the apartment. Excuse me, is this place for rent? Chapter 1227 Second Copy Weird Cemetery Of course, 
Do you want to rent? The rent is only 1,000 yuan per month with a deposit of 1 and 3. And you can get a 10% discount on the annual rent. Zhang Tuohai immediately welcomed him warmly. Rent is not an issue. Is it quiet here? I need to do some research. It can't be too noisy. The girl wearing glasses said uneasily. No problem. Absolutely quiet. If anyone is not quiet, you can tell me and I will ask him to physically quiet down. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. The girl wearing glasses felt that something was not right. But under Zhang Tuohai's warm reception, he was pulled closer to the room in a daze. How's it going? Are you satisfied? Zhang Tuohai took the girl around the room. To be honest, Zhang Tuohai's apartment has complete supporting facilities. Each one has its own toilet and shower room. And there's even a communal laundry room and a communal kitchen on the first floor. Air conditioning, dryer, dishwasher are complete. The rent is also very reasonable. The girl took a tour and was very satisfied. So she settled on a year's rent. I have some friends who are also looking for a house. Can they come and rent here? The girl asked after she had settled in and bowed. That's fine as long as they don't interfere with other tenants. Zhang Tuohai nodded and said, Don't worry. They are all quiet. Then I'll be fine. Zhang Tuohai stayed in the apartment for a while and then left with Lilith. Someone asked for the price of the spider serum they hung in the trading area. Someone wanted to buy it for 3 million. But Zhang Tuohai refused. Zhang Tuohai has some savings himself. Plus the tens of thousands of yuan he won from a previous lottery. It is not a problem to support two people. And his need for cash is not that big. After looking at the quotes from several people, Zhang Tuohai was not satisfied. Just as he was about to close the software, a new message caught his attention. Hello. I want to barter with you. Below is the data panel where items can be exchanged. Human burying shovel. The digging speed is increased by 100%. The critical hit rate is increased by 100%. The damage to undead creatures is increased by 100%. The damage to humanoid creatures is increased by 100%. And resurrection is prevented. This thing is pretty good. Zhang Tuohai looked at the data on this item with envy. What is the most scary copy? One is a ghost. The other is a human being. This weapon is specially designed to deal with humans and the undead. It is an excellent melee weapon. The only drawback is that there are no matching moves and routines. However, this is not a problem for Zhang Tuohai. He had practiced fighting methods with various cold weapons in the spiritual realm. The engineer shovel was also one of the key training objects. It was just right to use the man burying shovel. Zhang Tuohai tried to communicate. The other party felt that his weapons were very effective and wanted Zhang Tuohai to increase money. Zhang Tuohai was not very good at bargaining. So he threw his phone to Lilith. Just less. Ten minutes later, Lilith threw the phone back. Okay. Done. Zhang Tuohai picked up the phone and took a look. His eyes widened. He found that the other party not only agreed to the exchange, but was also willing to add two offensive grenades. A windproof lighter, a tactical dagger, a universal toolbox, and a set of pedicure tools. They can all be brought out from the copy. Zhang Tuohai, his original intention was just to ask Lilith to lower the price and ask him to add less. Lilith actually asked the other party to add money. How did you do it? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. Just chat casually, Lilith said while carving melon seeds. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. Perhaps, this is probably talent. The two quickly reached an exchange, and Zhang Tuohai exchanged a bottle of potion for a lot of things. Most of the things in here were useless to Zhang Tuohai and could only be thrown into the utility room. As for the rest, I hung it on myself and prepared to deal with the next copy. After cleaning up, the two of them sat on the sofa and watched popcorn variety shows for a while, then went back to their rooms to sleep. Early the next morning, Zhang Tuohai got up and looked downstairs. He found that after two days of fermentation, the street had returned to its former appearance. Everyone should set up a stall when it's time to set up a stall, and everyone should go to work when they should be working. As long as you don't die for a day, you have to eat for a day and have to run around for life. Some people with antisocial personalities who wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to cause trouble were imprisoned and given a big bowl of jail food two days ago. The streets are basically the same as before. Except that people's chatter has changed from family gossip to trial city and various dungeons. Do you know? The nephew of a relative's friend's classmate's second uncle entered the dungeon yesterday and took out three kilograms of gold. He immediately became rich and free. It would be great if I could enter the dungeon. Then I will have money. Drink one bowl at a time of soy milk. A strongman said with saliva flying 
while peeling tea eggs. What does this mean? My son's classmate's friend's father entered the dungeon yesterday, gained superpowers, and was directly recruited by the country. He was directly established as a civil servant and received deputy section level treatment. If you ask me, the money and everything are empty. It's better to join the establishment. You are too superficial. If I had money, I could just go abroad and buy an island on the high seas and become the king myself. That would be so cool. A group of people were talking at the breakfast stall. Chong Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head after hearing this and bought three cages of steamed buns, two cups of soy milk, and two tea eggs and went home. After returning home and having breakfast with Lilith, it was eight o'clock in the morning. The City of Trials sent out a message. All selected players can choose to rest for three days or enter the dungeon immediately. A new round of player selection will take place in three days. Can I take the initiative to enter the dungeon? John Tuohai's eyes lit up. He wanted to resume his daily life as soon as possible. If he wanted to resume his daily life, he could only work hard to clear the dungeon and reach the ninth floor of the Trial City. The first step in all this is to complete three copies and enter the second level of the Trial City. Actively enter the copy. John Tuohai chose to actively enter the dungeon. Applications have been accepted and copies are being matched. Please wait. A ray of white light enveloped John Tuohai. Copy already selected, cemetery. John Tuohai felt a white light flash before his eyes. And he appeared in a cemetery. Behind him is a small house. Which looks like the Tomekeeper's hut. There is nothing else in it except a bed. A table. And a notebook. John Tuohai opened the notes. Remember to clean up every day. Good reception and condolences to the family. Don't let children eat the tribute. Remember the night patrols. There are 601 graves in the cemetery. There are a total of 600 graves in the cemetery. If there is one extra grave, please ignore it. No one will come to express condolences at night. If you encounter them, please ignore them. If someone buys fresh meat, it's an opportunity to make extra money. That was the end of the note. And the rest was torn out. Zhang Tuohai looked at the notes and fell into deep thought. Chapter 12 28 Owners and Visitors There's something wrong with this copy. Zhang Tuohai looked at the shovel and pondered. He found that much of the information recorded in the notebook was conflicting, such as the number of graves. It seems that these rules are not entirely trustworthy. Forget it. Let's take a look at the specific situation. If there is a ghost, just bury it. Zhang Tuohai waved the burial shovel twice, wanting to see what the ghost in this world looked like. At this moment, a woman wearing a white trench coat and holding a bouquet of white roses appeared at the entrance of the cemetery. Is this the condolence family member? Zhang Tuohai glanced at this woman. There was a shadow under her body, and her walking posture was normal. She seemed to be no different from ordinary people. Zhang Tuohai walked over and wanted to inquire about the situation. Are you a family member? Zhang Tuohai asked. No, I am owner number 600. The woman shook her head bypassed John Tuohai, and went straight into the cemetery. John Tuohai, owner? John Tuohai was shocked and stared at the woman closely. The woman went straight to tombstone number 600, placed the white rose in front of the tomb, reached out to open the top cover, got in, and then closed the cover from the inside. Is it so direct? John Tuohai couldn't help but scratch his head. He didn't expect this dungeon to be so straightforward. And the first person he encountered was a ghost. This copy is interesting. Zhang Tuohai felt interesting. At this moment, a line of prompts popped up. Main mission unlocked. Survive in the cemetery for 24 hours. Survive for 24 hours. It doesn't seem to be difficult. Let's take a look at the surrounding environment first. Zhang Tuohai walked around in front of the cemetery carrying a burial shovel. The cemetery is generally very clean, with only a few leaves floating on the ground occasionally. Some of the tombstones in the cemetery have tributes placed in front of them and some do not. There are many types of tributes, including roasted duck, roasted chicken, roasted goose, braised pig, braised duck, sauce chicken, bacon, salm watch ripe, and dried meat sausage. After walking and looking around, John Tuohai found that he was shamefully hungry. No, I didn't bring lunch. John Tuohai thought of a very important question, because he was only in the last world for a few hours. He forgot about food and accommodation. In this dungeon, the area around the cemetery is deserted. Not to mention the vendor selling food and drink. There are not even houses in sight. There is only one road in front of the cemetery. And you can't see the end at either end. And you don't know where it leads. How to deal with lunch and dinner? Do we need to eat tributes? 
However, the prompts say that the tributes are not allowed to be destroyed. Zhang Tuahai felt a little troubled. Just then, a horn sounded. A car stopped at the entrance to the cemetery. A middle-aged woman led a child into the cemetery. The child was like a skin monkey. Entering the cemetery was like entering a park. Jumping up and down. Even if he was just running around. This guy was not honest with his hands and feet. He would pick up the tributes in front of the tombstone and play with them from time to time. The tributes are not allowed to be touched. Zhang Tuahai felt that he still had to fulfill his duty and strode over. I won't. Just take a short walk. The child became more energetic when he saw Zhang Tuahai coming over. He picked up an apple from the tombstone, took a bite, and then threw it towards Zhang Tuahai. Catch me if you can. After the child finished speaking, he turned around and ran away. Madam, you'd better take care of it. Otherwise, I won't be responsible for anything that goes wrong in this cemetery. Zhang Tuahai reminded. It's just a few apples. Whatever. How much is it? I'll just pay it. The woman opened her handbag nonchalantly and took out a thick wad of cash. Seeing his mother supporting him, the naughty child became even more unscrupulous. He picked up the rose chicken in front of the tombstone, tore off a big chicken drumstick and took a big bite. Hey, it smells really good. The naughty boy ate with his mouth full of oil. Just when he was enjoying his meal, the lid of the coffin behind him opened. A hand stretched out, grabbed the naughty kid by the collar, and pulled the naughty kid directly into the coffin. The coffin lid closed from the inside. There was the sound of gnawing bones in the coffin. Ah! The woman was stunned for a few seconds and then screamed. Madam! My condolences! Zhang Tuahai looked at the coffin, then at the woman, and said, You rescue my child! The woman seemed to have found a savior, pulling Zhang Tuahai and shouting loudly. Sorry! I'm just a doorman! This is a conflict between the owner and the visitor. It's not convenient for us to get involved. Zhang Tuai said. Then what are you responsible for? The woman shouted loudly. Look at the gate and collect money. Zhang Tuai thought for a moment. Then added. By the way, there is also blocking the delivery guys from entering. I don't care. Anyway, my child was arrested here. You have to be responsible and get my child back. Otherwise, I will make you lose your job now. The woman said as she took out her phone, as if she was about to make a call. Okay, let me ask. Zhang Tuohai walked over and knocked on the coffin lid. Hello, owner 308. There are visitors outside. Wow. The coffin lid opened. A claw stretched out and grabbed the woman inside. The coffin lid slammed shut again. The sound of gnawing bones came from the coffin again. This owner has really good teeth. Zhang Tuohai turned around and prepared to leave. At this moment, the lid of the coffin in tomb number 308 was opened again, and a sharp claw stretched out and grabbed Zhang Tuohai. Um? Zhang Tuohai's face darkened. He doesn't care if the owner here touches others, but if he wants to touch him, he is seeking death. Zhang Tuohai swept the man burying shovel in his hand and directly slapped the sharp claw on the ground, pressing it down. Ah! Uh, a sharp roar came from the coffin. Zhang Tuohai wiped his claws with one hand. The high voltage current is transmitted along the claws to the opponent's body. Stinging. Stinging. High voltage current flowed through. And a burning smell wafted out of the coffin. Zhang Tuahai let go of the shovel. Threw his claws back. And then used the endless wine pot's active skill drunk flame. Opening his mouth. A stream of intense flame shot directly into the coffin. Call. Raging flames burned in the coffin. Soon. Bursts of burning smell wafted out of the coffin. And then, there was no sound. Swish. Zhang Tuohai closed the coffin lid. Done! A whistle was blown. I am a security guard. I love eating bear biscuits. And I like the owner Shelly. Zhang Tuohai walked around the cemetery carrying a burial shovel. Just then, a pickup truck stopped at the entrance of the cemetery. A man dressed all in black jumped out of the car. As soon as the man jumped down, he ran towards Zhang Tuohai. Hey! Man! Have you got anything fresh lately? Some fresh meat. The price of meat has gone up recently. Chapter 1229 Madam. You don't want to either. What do you do? Zhang Tuohai pushed the man over and asked. Why are you pretending to be confused? I am Ma San. The meat harvester. The man said. I heard that you have a new batch of goods here. And I came here specially to purchase them. Let me tell you. The price of meat has increased recently. This business can bring in two points more income than last time. Brother. This is a good thing. I think of you first. How about it? It's interesting, Ma San said, hitting Zhang Tuohai on the shoulder. 
Zhang Tuoha, who the hell is your brother? He finally understood what this guy was doing. Is it really appropriate for you to do this? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. What's inappropriate about this? It's a waste for them to throw it here anyway and rot in vain. Why not give it to us and use it again? Ma Sen said with beaming eyebrows. Then you go discuss it with them yourself. If they agree, I have no objection. Zhang Tuohai said to Ma San. Hey, a bunch of dead people can still say no? Ma San smiled. I'm telling you this. If they could talk, I would take their last name. As Ma San spoke, he used a crowbar to open a new looking coffin and was just about to put the hook in and pull out the body. Suddenly a sharp claw stretched out from the coffin and dragged Ma San in, followed by the sound of gnawing bones. Help dash. Ma San was still shouting loudly. You will affect other owners rest. Zhang Tuohai frowned. He took out the wine flask, took a sip of wine, walked over slowly, and opened his mouth to the coffin. Call. A burst of flame spurted out. Soon, the coffin became quiet. This is so true. Zhang Tuohai closed the coffin lid and clapped his hands with satisfaction. Great security once again resolved owner-visitor disputes. Zhang Tuohai hummed a song and came to the entrance of the cemetery. He was going to look in Ma Sen's car to see if there was anything to eat. As a result, I rummaged through the car and found nothing except half a pack of cigarettes, two half-drank bottles of mineral water, and six lighters. Bah! You are so poor! You don't even bring a bag of instant noodles! Are you human? Zhang Tuohai closed the car door with an unlucky look. At this moment, the sound of a car came from the distant highway. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction of the sound. It was discovered that a convoy was coming from a distance. The car at the head was decorated with large yellow and black flowers. Funeral car? It should bring food. Right. Zhang Tuohai thought. At this time, the car slowly approached the cemetery. This way. This way. Down. 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 Zhang Tuohai consciously fulfilled his duties as a security guard. Reverse. This way. Go. Go. Go dash. Boom. Okay. Under the command of Zhang Tuohai. The motorcade stopped in the parking lot. A group of men in black got out of the car. He walked out of the car carrying the huge coffin and walked towards the intended grave. Zhang Tuohai accompanied him. At this moment, a middle-aged woman got out of the car. The woman covered her face with black veil and held a black folding fan in her hand. The woman looked around the cemetery and showed an unhappy look. This place is a bit desolate. Will Xiaoya be too lonely here? Madam. Why don't you stay with a few people and chat with a lady to relieve your boredom? A man who looked like a butler asked. Okay, then let's keep a few people, the woman said. As the woman spoke, she suddenly saw Zhang Tuohai and her eyes lit up. He looks very energetic. He should be the one Xiaoya likes. Come and send him down to accompany Xiaoya. Understood. The housekeeper got the order and came to Zhang Tuohai. He asked everyone to stop the coffin, then pushed open the coffin lid and said to Zhang Tuohai, you? Lie down in. Why? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the coffin. Inside lay a beautiful female corpse, wearing a gorgeous long dress, black lace gloves on her hands, and a black gauze on her face. It looks very beautiful, but no matter how beautiful it is, it is still a corpse. There is no reason. If you are asked to go in, you will go in. Otherwise, we will invite you in. The old housekeeper waved his hand and a strong man immediately pulled out a pistol from his waist and put it on Zhang Tuohai's head. Boom! Zhang Tuohai ducked down, dodged the muzzle of the gun, turned around suddenly, and hit the man's head with the burial shovel in his hand. 100% critical strike trigger. 100% increase in damage to humans. Under double superposition, the man's head was directly shot into pieces. All the people in black around him were stunned. They thought Zhang Tuohai might resist but they didn't expect Zhang Tuohai's resistance to be so powerful. He actually beat someone to death directly. How dare you do it? The steward was shocked and angry. Do you know who we are? I don't care who you are. Zhang Tuohai sneered and hit the housekeeper on the head with a shovel. Directly split the butler's head in half. Kill him! When the men in black around him saw this, they immediately rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai no longer held back his hand and started fighting with everyone with his burying shovel. Zhang Tuohai wielded a shovel like a tiger. In an instant, seven or eight people around him were chopped to the ground. Seeing this, the remaining men in black knew that Zhang Tuohai was not something they could beat. So they immediately distanced themselves 
and began to draw their guns, prepared to shoot Zhang Tuohai to death. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai took out the grenade he had received yesterday from his pocket and threw it towards the crowd. Boom! The grenade exploded in the crowd, and the shockwave shattered the internal organs of everyone within three meters. Several men in black died on the spot. Zhang Tuohai rolled on the spot, picked up the pistol that the other party had dropped on the ground, and pulled the trigger one after another at the remaining people. Bang bang bang. There was a burst of gunfire. The men in black fell to the ground. Only the middle-aged woman wearing a veil was left. Madam, you don't want to expose your body to the wilderness. Zhang Tuohai carried the burial shovel and walked towards the middle-aged woman. You? Don't come here. I am the mayor's wife. If you touch me, the mayor will not let you go. The middle-aged woman had never seen such a scene before. She was so frightened that her legs became weak and she sat on the ground, unable to move. Then, madam, you don't want your husband to see you like you are now. Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. You? What do you want to do? The middle-aged woman asked with a trembling voice. Of course you're going to get me some food. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. You? The middle-aged woman's face turned red when she heard Zhang Tuohai's words. However, everyone around her was dead, and she had no ability to resist. Then, as agreed, it's just this once. From now on, we will have nothing to do with each other. Also, no photos or videos are allowed. The middle-aged woman began to take off her clothes as she spoke. Zhang Tuohai, Chapter 1230, Buried Shovel Strengthening Zhang Tuohai was completely speechless. He just wanted to have a meal. And he just wanted this middle-aged woman to call home and order food to be delivered. What do you mean by taking off your clothes when you disagree? In the blink of an eye, I have almost finished taking it off. Why are you so skilled? At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt a strong wind behind him. Zhang Tuohai rolled on the spot to avoid the attack. A shark claw chopped off the middle-aged woman's head. The middle-aged woman's body fell to the ground. Zhang Tuohai took a closer look and saw that it was the female corpse lying in the coffin who took action. The name is Celia. Things that ruin the family's reputation. Celia sneered, stretched out her two claws, and tore the body into pieces. Broken limbs and broken arms were scattered everywhere. Hey, do you have a sense of public morality? If you do this, it will be difficult for me to clean for a while. Zhang Tuohai shouted dissatisfied. Huh? Celia slowly turned her head and stared at Zhang Tuohai. I almost forgot about you. Celia snorted coldly, swung a pair of sharp claws, and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai raised the burial shovel with his backhand and slapped Celia on the head. Celia raised her hands to block the shovel. When? Accompanied by a crisp sound. The man burying shovel was actually blocked by Celia. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. This burying shovel deals 100% increased damage to humanoid creatures. 100% increased damage to undead creatures. And has a 100% critical hit. With the blessing of so many buffs. There is no difference between killing those in black and cutting tofu. But the slash on Celia's body was like slashing on steel. This Yoya is so powerful. Zhang Tuohai activated the electric shock gloves. Stab. The high voltage current passed along the shovel and passed to Celia. Stinging. Stinging. Lighting flashed around Celia's body. The skin of her hands was burnt black. And there was a burning smell. Ah! Uh, Celia roared angrily. Threw away the burial shovel. And rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Puff! Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai directly stuffed a grenade into Celia's mouth. And then threw Celia out with a backhand flick. Boom! The grenade exploded in Celia's mouth. Directly blowing Celia's head into pieces. Bodies were scattered everywhere. Gone! You are still going to cause trouble for me even if you die. Seeing the broken limbs and broken arms all over the ground, Zhang Tuohai was speechless. However, due to the work content, he had no choice but to pick up the burial shovel and shovel the corpses together. Then, he took out the wine pot and burned the pile of corpses to ashes. After the pile of corpses was burned, Zhang Tuohai picked up a bucket and washed away the blood and ashes. After everything was settled, Zhang Tuohai looked at the time and found that it was already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Gone! Zhang Tuohai sat next to the tombstone and rested. At this time, he was so hungry that his chest was pressed against his back. I just want to have a meal. Why is it so difficult? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. He just wants to have a meal. Why do people always make trouble for him? Isn't it nice that everyone is harmonious? Just when Zhang Tuohai was thinking about where to find something to eat, someone suddenly patted him on the back. Zhang Tuohai turned around 
and saw an old man wearing a shroud. Young man, you're hungry. I'll give you this. The old man held a big elbow in his hand and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. The elbow was shiny and fragrant and looked very delicious at first sight. Zhang Tuohai instinctively wanted to get it, but he suddenly thought of what was in the notes. No tribute is allowed to be touched. Forget it. Zhang Tuohai pushed away his elbow. Eat. Eat. The old man forcefully wanted to give it to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai didn't want it anymore. Stood up and pushed back. You are looking down on me. The old man suddenly opened his mouth, revealing a mouth full of sharp teeth. In that case, I'll eat you for dinner, the old man said and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. What the hell? Zhang Tuohai flew back. Go back seven or eight meters. And the old man's neck suddenly stretched out. And his head was like a snake's head, spitting out the snake's head and biting Zhang Tuohai. What the hell? Zhang Tuohai suddenly raised the burial shovel and slapped the old man on the head. Boom! The old man's head was shot directly. Hiss! The old man was hurt by the slap, shook his head, and bid Zhang Tuohai again. Is your head so hard? Zhang Tuohai didn't believe in evil, so he waved the burying shovel and patted him again. Boom! The old man's head flew away again. Isn't this too strong? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. This was the first time that his human burying shovel had encountered an indestructible monster. It seems that this burying shovel is not omnipotent. Unable to pat his head, Zhang Tuohai decisively changed his strategy and slashed at the old man's neck with a burying shovel. Click! A gash was cut in the old man's neck. The old man seemed to be hurt by the chop and continued to bite Zhang Tuohai with his big mouth open. Effective! Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw this and slashed at the old man's neck with a burying shovel. Zhang Tuohai slashed hard and accurately, hitting the gap every time and making the gap deeper every time. After slashing dozens of times, Zhang Tuohai finally cut off the old man's neck. Although the old man's neck was cut off, he was still alive, leaving only his head rolling on the ground. The old man was very persistent. Even if his neck was cut off by Zhang Tuohai, he was still chasing Zhang Tuohai to bite him. Hey, I don't believe I can't cure you. Zhang Tuohai pressed a shovel against the old man's head and spit out flames. Call. The raging flames enveloped the old man's head. Ah, the old man roared. Zhang Tuohai was unmoved and instead stepped up his efforts. The flames burned harder. The flames lasted for 10 minutes before slowly extinguishing. The old man's head was burned off, leaving behind a blue stone. Zhang Tuohai picked up the stone and looked at it carefully. Forging stone, a magical stone that, after fusion, can increase the strength of items. So that's what happened. Zhang Tuohai showed a look of understanding. He understood why the old man's head was so strong. It's entirely due to the forging stone. In this case, can my burying shovel be strengthened? Zhang Tuohai picked up the forging stone and placed it on the burial shovel. If the strengthening stone is found, should the man burying shovel be strengthened? Yes. Zhang Tuohai chose okay. A blue light enveloped the shovel. Zhang Tuohai waited quietly. After a few minutes, the blue light dissipated and the man burying shovel fell to the ground. Zhang Tuohai picked up the shovel and found that the rust on the shovel had completely disappeared, and the surface had a bluish glow. It looked like it was new from the factory, and there was still a hint of cold air on the shovel. I wonder if there's anything I can try out. Zhang Tuohai looked around, looking for something to test. Chapter 1231 Give You a Punch Zhang Tuohai was thinking about where to find a place to bury human shovels for the experiment. At this moment, the sky turned dark, and there were bursts of chirping sounds in the cemetery. The lids of the coffins were pushed open one by one, and the owners lifted up their coffins one by one. The owners all stared at Zhang Tuohai. What are you going to do now? Are you planning to rebel? Zhang Tuohai showed his shovel. Roar! The owners came out of the coffin and surrounded Zhang Tuohai. You guys bully honest people. Right. Zhang Tuohai opened his mouth, and a mouthful of flame spurted out in a fan shape. Flame Jet finally exerted its maximum power for the first time. In an instant, with Zhang Tuohai as the center of the circle and an angle of 120 degrees in front. All the demons and ghosts within 10 meters burned. All the owners were instantly transformed into burning torches. Screams came and went. Ah! Ah! The owners were running around in panic. Some accidentally hit the owners, who were not set ablaze. Then, the owner who was not ignited was also ignited. Hu hu hu! The flames continued to spread around. Upon seeing this, many owners hid in their coffins. The farce only took five minutes to stop. 
because all the ignited monsters and monsters turned into ashes. A group of garbage. Zhang Tuohai moved his hands and feet and started knocking on the door one by one. Just because those owners don't bother him doesn't mean the matter is over. He wanted to find an explanation from those owners. He worked hard during the day standing guard, receiving visitors, and helping to take care of the takeout. How could it be unreasonable for these owners to trouble him at night? Is Zhang Tuohai a person who can bear this injustice? Obviously not. Boom. 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 Open the door. Open the door. You have the ability to complain. You have the ability to open the door. Don't pretend not to hear. I know you are at home. Zhang Tuohai knocked hard on the coffin lid. Those owners hid in their coffins and remained silent. Don't think I can't cure you by hiding inside. Zhang Tuohai picked up the burial shovel and thrust it into the gap in the coffin. Press hard. Click. The coffin lid was pried open directly. A ghost was hiding inside and shivering. Boom. A shovel hit the ghost on the head. Call. A blast of flames burned the ghost's body to ashes. Closing the coffin lid, Zhang Tuohai went to find the next target. Boom. Phew. Bang. Call. Zhang Tuohai came to the door one after another to reason, making every owner deeply realize their mistakes. Later, Zhang Tuohai generously forgave these owners, helped them warm their cold bodies, and finally closed the door politely. He is a model in the security industry. Zhang Tuohai was busy until almost early in the morning before he visited the 600 owners one by one. Make sure every owner feels his passion. After closing the coffin in cemetery number 600, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Finally finished. At this moment, he saw a new tomb faintly emerging next to grave number 600. This tomb is not made of stone. Instead, the whole body is carved from jade. The tomb is crystal clear, and there is a figure inside. How to open this tomb? Zhang Tuohai was outside studying how to open the door of this tomb. Right here, a voice sounded. Ka la la. The tomb opened on its own, and a woman in a black dress walked out of it. In her hand, she held a black scepter with a sparkling black stone on it. Stab dash. A bolt of lightning shot out from the opponent's scepter and shot towards Zhang Tuohai. You're the only one with electricity? Let you try mine. Zhang Tuohai jumped up, dodged the lightning, raised the man burying shovel, and slashed at the woman. The woman was like a piece of paper. Her breath floated far away. Zhang Tuohai failed to hit twice in a row, but instead asked her to distance herself and deal heavy damage to him. I don't believe it. Zhang Tuohai took out the recruitment order and chose to use it. A female soldier wearing a black combat uniform, holding an AK-74 in her hand, and an RPG-7 on her back appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Sir, Natasha reports to you. Kill that guy! Zhang Tuohai pointed at the woman. Clear! Natasha didn't talk nonsense. She raised the AK in her hand and fired a bunch of bullets at the woman. Duh duh duh. A series of bullets shot out, sweeping all the areas around the woman. No matter how fast the woman was, she couldn't outrun the bullet and was hit in the body by the bullet. Puff. Several holes appeared on the woman's body. No blood flowed from the hole. But scraps of paper floated out. It turns out to be a paper man. No wonder he can move with the wind. Zhang Tuohai showed a look of understanding. The paper man was injured and became furious. The scepter in his hand shone brighter and brighter. At this moment, an RPG was down in front of her. Boom. An orange fireball rose. The raging flames directly wrapped the paper man. The paper figures were running around like torches. Let you run again. Zhang Tuohai chased after him and spit out a mouthful of flames, bringing warmth to the paper man. Ah! With a sharp scream, the paper man turned into ashes. Bang! With a sound, the paper man's scepter fell down. Did you drop your equipment? Zhang Tuohai walked over and picked up the scepter. Lightning scepter can release lightning as a means of attack. With a range of 15 meters, it's somewhat useful. Zhang Tuohai took a look and found that the range of this lightning scepter was pretty good and it could be used as a substitute for a burying shovel. But the problem is that he really can't hold so many things in his hands now. Moreover, there is no storage equipment yet, so it is really inconvenient to carry it. Forget it. Take it with you first and talk about it later when you have a chance. Zhang Tuohai held the lightning scepter in his hand. At this time, Natasha's stay time was up. Sir, it's a pleasure to fight alongside you, and I look forward to our next cooperation. Natasha disappeared. A recruitment order is exchanged for a piece of equipment. And I don't know whether it's a loss or a gain. Zhang Tuohai walked around the cemetery to make sure that no owners had been missed. And then returned to his small room. The sun rose slowly. 
and a prompt popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. The task is over. The owner complaint rate is 0%. And the task evaluation is SSS. Congratulations to the player for getting a perfect treasure chest. A golden treasure box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. I hope it's a useful storage device. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and opened the treasure box. Congratulations to the player for getting the skill, punch you. Give you a punch after using the skill. As long as there is a media link between the user and the recipient, the recipient will inevitably be attacked. Note, the use of skills is limited to bare hands. Note 2, the power of the skill is related to the user's strength. Chapter 1232 Precognition Copy Zhang Tuohai read the description of this skill twice and pondered. There seems to be something to this skill. Give him some ideas. However, you need to experiment specifically. Zhang Tuohai tore open the scroll that recorded the skills. And a white light entered his body. He learned the skill and gives you a punch. The copy is completed and is being transferred. A white light flashed. And Zhang Tuohai returned to his living room. The living room was still the same as when he left. Lilith was sleeping on the sofa. Holding the little yellow duck he brought back in her arms. Why don't you go back to your room and sleep? Zhang Tuohai pinched Lilith's nose. I want you to take care of me. I'm hungry. Go cook. Lilith pouted and ran into the bathroom. This girl. Zhang Tuohai shook his head. Opened the refrigerator. Looked at the ingredients. And made a mustard pork shredded noodles. To increase nutrition. Each person was given an egg. Zhang Tuohai was so hungry that he quickly ate up a large bowl of noodles. He also licked his lips with unsatisfied thoughts. Just when he was thinking about making another bowl of noodles. Lilith suddenly pushed his bowl of noodles over. I'm full. You can eat. Don't you usually eat a whole bowl? Zhang Tuai said. I want you to take care of it. Lilith shook her head and returned to her room. Have you reached the stage of rebellion? Zhang Tuai scratched his head. He really has no experience raising children. I can't figure out what happened to Lilith. Forget it. Maybe it will be fine in a few days. Zhang Tuai ate the remaining noodles. Washed the bowl and started to sit on the sofa and check his mobile phone. Zhang Tuohai first opened a video software and started watching videos to relax. I casually clicked into a live broadcast room. The anchor inside is a player who has participated in a trial and gained superpowers from it. He demonstrated his superpower on the spot and froze an apple with ice. Did you see it? This is the power of extraordinary beings. We are no longer ordinary human beings. I think we should not abide by order and laws like ordinary people. I think we should obtain higher privileges. We are great we represent the future of mankind. I propose that all extraordinary beings unite to form a new organization that is superior to all human beings. We should show the rights that belong to us. Are you sick? Zhang Tuohai looked at it and shook his head. Isn't it good to have a stable social environment? It stands to reason that if you become a transcendent person, as long as you make good use of your superpowers, you will no longer be short of money. Wouldn't it be good to do whatever you want? achieve financial freedom, and then settle down? Why do we have to start a war? If the infrastructure is completely destroyed, your internet access will be a problem. Have you had enough of the good times? If it weren't for the network cable, Zhang Tuohai would have wanted to punch the opponent. Etc. Zhang Tuohai had a flash of inspiration. There are also media between networks, radio waves, optical cables, and air. These are all media. This condition seems to be met. How about giving it a try? Zhang Tuohai's mind became active. He took a deep breath and used his skill on the anchor. Punch you. Zhang Tuohai punched out. Boom. The anchor on the screen fell to the ground as if he had been punched. With two streams of blood flowing from his nose. The anchor was confused. He felt as if something had hit his head just now. As if he had been punched in the face. But he was alone at home. With no one around him. Who threw this punch? Could it be a ghost? In the past... If someone told the anchor that there were ghosts in the world, he would definitely laugh at the anchor for reading too many novels. But, now, the trial city has appeared. Superpowers have appeared. And the appearance of a ghost does not seem to be an unacceptable thing. Hack! Who hit me? Come out quickly! The anchor shouted in horror. What is this anchor doing? Who knows? You're just pretending to be a ghost. I thought there would be some big job. But it turned out to be like this. If I had known... I would have watched the young lady dance. Let's go. Let's go and learn fitness from my little sister. Do you want to learn fitness? I'm embarrassed to expose you. Don't leave yet. Show me the way. Let's go together. Barrage after barrage went by. But no one paid attention to the anchor. 
It seems to be quite useful. Zhang Tuohai punched the anchor's chest. Boom. The anchor suffered a heavy blow to the chest. Flew out and hit the wall. The anchor was really scared. Screamed. Crawled out of the room and disappeared. Run away now? You still want to try. Zhang Tuohai felt a little regretful. After exiting the live broadcast room, Zhang Tuohai continued to surf the internet. After watching videos for a while, Zhang Tuohai found that there are still many lively people online. Many people have begun to use their superpowers to live broadcast. How can you not die after jumping from a 100 meter high building? What a challenge to eat 100 kilograms of food. What a challenge Tintin spins the wheel. As soon as Zhang Tuohai took a look, the live broadcast room was blocked. However, in the other party's comment area, there were quite a few people asking for a face-to-face -face interview. If the female Zhang Tuohai could still understand. The problem is that there are many men inside. Zhang Tuohai couldn't understand. After watching the video for a while, Zhang Tuohai opened the Trial City app and scanned them all. He found a person who was looking for a prop that could release electromagnetism. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the other party's purchase information, looked at his scepter, and sent the attributes. The other party quickly replied, Really? That's great. Can you sell it to me? Okay. But can you tell me the purpose? The man hesitated for a moment. And then replied, Actually, it's nothing. There are many monsters in my next dungeon that are afraid of thunder and lightning. So make some preparations in advance. Can you still predict the next copy? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. If it can be predicted in advance, targeted preparations can be made in advance. And the difficulty of the copy will be greatly reduced. He knew this very well. I was also invited to enter the dungeon. He had the tools to predict the information about the monsters that would enter the dungeon in advance. The man said, Is there such a prop? It seems that I need to pay more attention to it in the future. Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to hesitate, mainly because the price offered by that person was too high. Two recruitment orders were given to recruit two umbrella soldiers to participate in the battle. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied with this and was preparing for the exchange. At this time Lilith walked out of the room. What are you doing? Ready to trade. Zhang Tuohai said. Show me. Lilith took the phone over. Lilith's fingers were flying, and she was typing quickly on her phone. After a while, Lilith threw the phone back to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai found that there were a lot of things on the other party's transaction list. In addition to the original two recruitment orders, two grenades, a broadsword mine, a firecracker, two gas stoves, two jinghua hams, and a box of spicy strips were also added. Zhang Tuohai Chapter 1233, The Burning Cauldron Treadmill. How did you do it? Zhang Tuohai looked incredulous. He talked for a long time before reluctantly reaching a reciprocal exchange. And Lilith got so many more things as soon as she took action. I didn't do anything. I just chatted casually and that's it. Lilith yawned. Okay. If nothing happens, I'll go to bed first. I didn't sleep well last night. Don't call me until dinner time. After saying that, Lilith went back to her room to sleep. This guy eats and sleeps every day. And eats every day. He's almost turning into a pig. Zhang Tuohai looked at Lilith's back with helplessness on his face. But who told Lilith to be his daughter? Just pamper me. What else can I do? Zhang Tuohai continued to sit on the sofa and browse his mobile phone. After browsing the forum for a while, Zhang Tuohai found that everyone was still discussing his first copy. Almost no one took the initiative to enter the second copy. But it's normal to think about it. For those who failed the dungeon, the punishment alone makes them fearful. How could they take the initiative to enter the second dungeon? And those who passed the copy, more or less, gained something. These people are either studying the uses of these things, or studying how these things can be realized in reality to improve their living conditions. In the eyes of most players, reality is the foundation of life. There will be some players who choose to sell some less important things obtained from the copy in exchange for some funds. Many large institutions and forces have seized on this opportunity and are making aggressive purchases. As long as they are brought out of the copy, they will buy them without restrictions. If those players with superpowers want to join, they can also provide a contract with a generous salary and a dazzling variety of benefits and subsidies. The only condition is that when they want to sell something, the organization has the right of first refusal. At the same time, some tasks assigned within the organization need to be completed. Many players have chosen to join. Zhang Tuohai can't comment on the choices of these players. As the saying goes, don't persuade others to do good unless they have suffered. Everyone makes a choice based on their own interests. Others have no right to blame. For Zhang Tuohai, 
The biggest benefit is that real life has been stabilized. Society can function normally and for a short period of time. He does not have to worry about real life. After reading the forum for a while, Liam O logged into his apartment. After some cleaning, there are now four residents in the apartment, namely a man in science and engineering who likes to study various inventions, a girl with glasses who lives in reclusion, a senior girl with hatchets, and a female technician. The remaining tenants either moved away or became Zong Tuahai's bounty. We have to continue recruiting tenants. Zhang Tuahai was about to put up posters outside the apartment to attract residents. The reclusive girl with glasses suddenly came out. Landlord, I have a few friends who want to move in. Is that okay? Of course. As long as you are not a lawless person. You are welcome here, Zhang Tuai said. Don't worry. Landlord, my friends are all good people. But they are very withdrawn and don't like to communicate with others. The girl with eyes said. It doesn't matter if you don't like to communicate. As long as you pay the rent on time. It will be fine. Then this is their rent. I'll help pay it. The girl with glasses immediately took out the money she had prepared. Zhang Tuahai nodded. It was for two people. Okay. Then they will live next door to you. No problem. Zhang Tuahai gave the key to the girl with glasses. The bespectacled girl thanked him profusely and took the key. Looking at the back of the girl with glasses, Zhang Tuahai narrowed his eyes. He felt that this girl with glasses must have a secret. But that's okay. Who doesn't have a secret yet? As long as you don't cause trouble for him. It'll be fine. Moreover, people with secrets usually bring them some unexpected benefits. Zhang Tuahai had a lot of expectations for this girl with glasses. After watching the bespectacled girl return to her room, Zhang Tuahai knocked on the door of the science man who liked to study strange things. It turns out to be the landlord. The man in science and engineering had panda eyes and looked like he had stayed up too late. Have you discovered anything interesting again? If it's interesting, I'll consider acquiring it. Zhang Tuahai said with a smile. Hearing that Zhang Tuahai was here to give money, the science and engineering man immediately became energetic. Lord Landlord, please come in quickly. The science man opened the door and invited Zhang Tuahai into the room. Lord Landlord, please look at this. This is my new invention. The burning cauldron treadmill. The science man pointed to a large iron cage in the room and said. Zhang Tuahai looked at the thing up and down. It was just a huge treadmill with a large iron cage on the outside. Moreover, the iron cage was also connected with wires, which seemed to have an electrifying function. The science man was explaining excitedly. According to my research, I found that the fundamental reason why many people buy treadmills but can only use them as clothes drying racks is that they lack motivation. And my burnout treadmill gave them motivation. Once you start the treadmill, you cannot open the cage door and leave until you complete the specified number of kilometers. Moreover, the iron cage is electrified, which eliminates the possibility of them hanging from the top of the cage to cheat. I'm sure that once this thing is launched on the market, it will definitely be welcomed by users who want to exercise but are lazy. The science man said excitedly. I have a little question. Zhang Tuahai said from the side. What's the problem? Landlady? How do you get them on the treadmill? This. The science man was stunned. He really hadn't thought about this problem. Zhang Tuahai is not optimistic about this invention. In his eyes, if this invention has some use, it will not be useless at all. Anyone who is too lazy to drive a treadmill must also be too lazy to open the cage door. Therefore, this thing is completely contrary to the original design intention. Don't be discouraged. Although this invention is useless, I believe you are still very talented. As long as you continue to invent, you will definitely develop something useful. Zhang Tuahai patted the science man on the shoulder. Zhang Tuahai said a few words of comfort and prepared to leave. Just as he was about to leave, he suddenly saw a pair of boots standing at the door. What's this? Zhang Tuahai asked curiously. These are anti-wolf boots that I researched. They rely on walking to charge. When you encounter a pervert, you can kick them with your boots. When you kick them, a powerful electric current will be released. The science man said excitedly, seeing what the man from science and engineering said. Zhang Tuahai knew why this invention could not be sold. I thought, what woman would endure wearing the same shoes two days in a row? However, this is of some use to him. Chapter 1234 Escape from the Coliseum How to sell these boots? Zhang Tuahai asked. Well, if you want it, just pay 300 for the cost of production. The science and engineering man was still in a state of shock and said with a depressed look, Keep it up. Zhang Tuohai drew 400 and gave it to the man from science and engineering. 
The extra thing is comfort for the science and engineering man. Zhang Tuohai was afraid that the man in science and engineering would be hit. So he would stop inventing again. In that case, he lost a source of equipment. Even though most of the things he invented were useless. But as long as one thing is useful, it is worth the price. Zhang Tuohai put on his boots, which were just right. Thank you for the boots. I hope you can come up with something better next time. Zhang Tuohai left the apartment and returned to his real home. Looking at the newly acquired equipment, Zhang Tuohai felt a little itchy and wanted to try out the effects of the new equipment. How about going to a new dungeon to try out the equipment? Zhang Tuohai's mind became active. Zhang Tuohai clicked on the City of Trial app and chose to enter the dungeon immediately. Copies are being matched for you. Please wait. The copy has been selected. Escape from the Colosseum. Transmitting. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. The next second, Zhang Tuohai appeared in a dark and damp room. In the corner was a pile of moldy straw. In front of it was a large iron door with a steel bar thicker than your thumb and a large rusty iron lock. Hang on it. Several heavily armed soldiers in the corridor outside were staring at him eagerly. At this time, the game prompt popped up. Copy. Escape from the Colosseum. Main mission. Escape from the Colosseum within 10 days and evade capture. Identity. Slave. Task tip. Escape is not limited to leaving the Colosseum. After the mission is completed, the evaluation will be based on the player's performance. Escape from the mission? Looking at the task prompt, Zhang Tuohai fell into deep thought. At this moment, a man who looked like a butler came over. On the 23rd, it's your turn to play. Remember to be nice. I have invested a lot in you. If you win, you can get a female slave. Go and open his door. At the order of the housekeeper, the cell door was opened and Zhang Tuohai walked down the long corridor under the supervision of several soldiers. At the end of the corridor, Zhang Tuohai saw a gate, and bursts of cheers came from outside the gate. A soldier handed over his man-burying shovel. Then, the door was opened. The sun shines in. Along with the sunshine, there is the sound of roaring mountains and tsunami. Zhang Tuohai saw clearly the situation outside. Outside is a huge circular coliseum, with dried blood stains everywhere on the yellow sand ground. A male lion was standing in the center of the field. His long mane covered in blood. Roar. The lion raised his head and roared. The spectators in the surrounding stands roared with cheers. Zhang Tuohai looked around. Surrounded by a six-meter high wall. Behind the wall are rows of auditoriums filled with spectators. Everyone wearing robes and cheering excitedly. Come on. Come in. The soldiers behind Zhang Tuohai held up the spears in their hands. Urging Zhang Tuohai to enter the venue quickly. It really is the Colosseum. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and walked towards the center of the field. When the lion saw Zhang Tuohai approaching, he roared excitedly and ran towards Zhang Tuohai. Punch you. Zhang Tuohai punched the lion in the air. Boom! The lion felt like he had been punched hard in the head. My head was buzzing and stars were shining in my eyes. The lion shook his head in confusion and looked around. There was obviously nothing around. So why was he hit by something out of thin air? The lion was extremely puzzled. It stretched out its paws and tested the surroundings. After confirming that there was no object, it continued to trot towards Zhang Tuohai. Punch you. Boom! The lion received another blow on the head. The lion was completely confused. There was obviously nothing in front of me. So why was it hit by something again? What on earth hit it? The lion looked around in confusion and kept testing with his paws. But nothing. Punch you. Zhang Tuohai saw the opportunity and attacked the lion again. Boom! Another punch hit the lion. This time Zhang Tuohai's fist hit the lion's nose directly. The lion's nose is a sensitive part. After being hit by a punch, he screamed, turned around and ran away. Don't run. Come back. How could Zhang Tuohai let the lion run away like this and pursue him closely? The audience around the scene was stunned. They have watched so many games and have never seen anything like this. The lion was actually being chased. This is completely beyond their knowledge. A group of people watched in amazement as Zhang Tuohai picked up a shovel and chased the lion. Don't run. Stop. Zhang Tuohai ran a few steps and caught up with the lion. Then he fell to the ground and kicked the lion on the butt. If it's just a kick, it won't be a big deal. A lion's skin is rough and its flesh is thick. So a kick won't be a big deal. But Zhang Tuohai's boots can release electricity. Having run so far just now, I have accumulated a lot of power. After the kick hit the lion, the accumulated power was directly released. A large amount of electricity hit the lion. 
Ouch! The lion screamed, and all the fur on its body stood on end. Both hind legs were numbed by electricity, and were so stiff that I couldn't walk. The effect is good! John Tuohai rushed forward and hit the lion on the head with a shovel in his hand. Electricity was released from the glove. Two consecutive electric shocks caused the lion's heart to stop immediately, and the lion's body fell to the ground with a thud. Wow! The surrounding audience became noisy. They were all unhappy with the match. There was no scene of blood splattering and flesh flying everywhere as they had expected. More and more people were shouting for a rematch. The person in charge of the Coliseum held an urgent discussion and decided to respect the guest's decision and add an extra game. As for who the opponent is, it puts them in a difficult position. After all, the game just now was too weird, and they didn't want to send their slaves to take risks. After all, slaves are their personal property, and they rely on these slaves to make money. If they lose, they have to pay for it out of their own pockets. No one wants to. At this moment, a woman wearing a gorgeous gauze skirt stood up. Since no one is willing to take action, then I will send someone. Urdu, you go and try. The woman said to the nigga behind her. As you command. Master. The nigga put on all his armor, picked up a two-handed sword as tall as a person, and entered the Colosseum under the guidance of the soldiers. Chapter 1235 More money is needed. Foreigner. I don't know what method you used to kill the lion. However, I will tell you with the sword in my hand. You may be able to deceive the beast, but in front of a real fighter, your little all tricks are useless. I will chop you into pieces piece by piece and give the glory of victory to my master. The nigga named Urdu said loudly. Are you done? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. It's finished. What? Urdu was stunned for a moment. I'll give you a punch after I finish speaking. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand. Urdu felt as if his nose had been hit with a heavy punch and the entire bridge of his nose was directly collapsed. Two lines of blood flowed out. How dare you hit me? I'll kill you. Urdu didn't know how Zhang Tuohai did it, but he was sure it was Zhang Tuohai's fault. As long as Zhang Tuohai is killed, everything will be solved. Roar! Urdu roared and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai with a long sword in his hand. Kill you! Puff! Zhang Tuohai raised the man-burying shovel in his hand and blocked Urdu's sword with his backhand. Then struck Urdu's helmet with his backhand shovel. Urdu's helmet was not strengthened by the strengthening stone and was directly flattened by a shovel. With a pop, the body fell to the ground. Ho ho dash! The surrounding audience cheered. They finally saw what they expected. A real fight with swords and guns. The blood boils. Many people stood up and cheered loudly. Some who made the wrong bet cursed angrily. Tore up their bet slips and trampled them under their feet. He's mine! He's mine! Seeing Zong Tuohai's bravery, Urdu's master became excited. Miss Emma, this person is my slave. A fat man said a little aggrievedly. However, he killed my slave. According to the rules, he is mine now, and I have the final say on how to deal with him. Emma said nonchalantly. But, this is a gladiatorial arena. The fat man still wanted to argue. He also saw Zhang Tuohai's bravery. This was definitely a cash cow. If he did it right, he could make a lot of money from it. If possible, he really doesn't want to give up the fat that reaches his mouth. However, Emma did not give him any face. Don't want to pay. You can. Just pay me the compensation for Urdu's death. Emma said calmly. How much is the compensation? Fatty asked through gritted teeth. Silver coins of the same weight as Urdu. Emma said with a smile. This is impossible. The fat man said as if someone had stepped on his tail. How can a slave be so expensive? The ransom of a noble is not so expensive. Urdu is not just a slave in my eyes, but my friend, my relative, and my beloved brother and sister. I am extremely saddened by his death, so I have to pay more. Either give me and Urdu silver coins of equal weight, or give me that slave and give you an hourglass time choice. Emma waved her hand, and immediately a maid had an hourglass ready. Watching the fine gravel falling rapidly, big beads of sweat appeared on the side of my head. From the bottom of his heart, he really didn't want to let go of Zhang Tuohai. But reason told him that letting go was the right thing to do. Although Emma is a woman, she is able to gain a foothold in this city as a woman and has a considerable amount of assets. Without strong skills and strength, it is impossible to hold on. Just last month, a foreign maritime businessman took a fancy to Emma and wanted to marry her. A whole boatload of betrothal gifts was prepared. As a result, one day later, the body of the sea merchant was found in the gutter. Also dead were several Indies guards he hired. 
One day later, the merchant's property and fleet fell into Emma's hands. However, the city lord's mansion gently revealed this matter, as if it had never happened. The fat man thought of the tragic situation before the death of the sea merchant. His whole body was filled with excitement. Finally, he sighed helplessly. Okay, I agree. Choose wisely. Your wisdom allows you to see the sun tomorrow. Emma stood up, turned around and walked outside. Soldiers entered the field and escorted Zhang Tuohai outside. Zhang Tuohai doesn't want to just rush out just yet. He doesn't know the structure of the Colosseum yet. So he plans to wait and see for a while before talking. Zhang Tuohai originally thought that he would be escorted to a prison cell. But the soldiers escorted him out of the Colosseum and into a carriage. Where are you sending me? Zhang Tuohai was full of curiosity. But looking at the luxurious decorations in the carriage, Zhang Tuohai guessed that his subsequent treatment might not be bad. So he suppressed the idea of escape and prepared to take a look before talking. The curtains of the carriage were lowered, and Zhang Tuohai could not see the scenery outside. However, he can measure time by counting silently. About 20 minutes later, the carriage stopped, opening the door. Zhang Tuohai was pushed out of the carriage. Zhang Tuohai looked around and found that he was in a manner, surrounded by servants. Under the grapevine not far away, a luxuriously dressed woman was lying on a recliner. Several servants helped the woman gently fan herself. Two soldiers escorted Zhang to a high over. You are very good, Emma said with a smile. I just don't know if you can be as brave in bed as you are in the Colosseum. Cough, cough, cough. Zhang Tuohai choked on Emma's words and coughed. He has had confidence in many worlds. But no one has ever spoken so frankly to him. Now I give you two choices. Either make me comfortable, and you can be my personal servant. Or send you to death row. The people there will definitely not give up on a new person. They will definitely like you very much. Maybe I'll eat you apart. Emma said calmly. As if she was talking about a very ordinary thing. Well, it seems I don't have much choice. Does it? Zhang Tuohai was a little helpless. Then come up. What are you waiting for? Following Emma's words. The two maids personally helped Emma take off her clothes. Emma was still lying on the lounge chair motionless. In front of so many people? Zhang Tuohai looked at the dozens of pairs of eyes around him and felt a little uncomfortable. He doesn't like to be watched. What? You regret it? Emma asked coldly. I have no regrets. I just wanted to clear out the idle people first. Zhang Tuohai said. Then what if I don't want to? Emma stared at Zhang Tuohai. Then I'll do it myself. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Oh, how do you do it? Emma didn't believe it. She was surrounded by his trusted guards and mercenaries who paid a lot of money. Who could touch her under these layers of protection? Just do it. Zhang Tuohai's figure moved. Chapter 1236 Leaving the City Zhang Tuohai's movements were not fast. But no one could stop him. Zhang Tuohai grabbed his burial shovel from a soldier and then rushed into the crowd. The burying shovel flew up and down. And blood splashed. If it were in the Colosseum at this time, the surrounding spectators would definitely scream with excitement. However, those servants and soldiers could only scream in terror. Especially the maids, running around like headless flies. Swish, swish. With a bright light, a person fell down and turned into a corpse. That Emma was so dumbfounded that she was half lying on the recliner, not knowing whether to run away or continue to lie here. By the time Emma came to her senses, Zhang Tuohai was already standing in front of her again, holding the burial shovel in his hand. Blood was dripping down from the shovel, with a smile on his face. Behind him, there were dead bodies everywhere, and the yard was full of broken limbs, full of blood. Ah! Emma screamed in horror. However, the next second a sharp shovel was inserted into her recliner. It was inserted close to her face. Just a little tilt, and her head could break in half. Emma was like a duck whose neck was pinched, unable to make a sound. It's finally quiet. Zhang Tuohai took out his ears. Do you want to live? Zhang Tuohai asked Emma with a smile. Yes, of course I do. You can ask me to do anything you want. As long as it keeps me alive. Even I can do it. Emma stammered. The guard she was once proud of and the mercenaries she hired with huge sums of money were all turned into corpses. The vast wealth has no use at all. And the only thing that can keep her alive is herself. She didn't even think about getting dressed. In her opinion, her body is the best weapon she can bring to the table. It is also her greatest asset for survival. In order to survive, she didn't care if she committed herself to the man in front of her. It's like committing yourself to other men before becoming rich. However, Zhang Tuohai was not very interested in her. Emma, an old lady, 
is really not attractive to Zhang Tuohai. If you want to survive, do as I say. Otherwise, you will become just like them. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai said and approached Emma. I understand. I understand. I will definitely do it. Emma nodded quickly in response. My request is simple. Put your clothes on first. Zhang Tuohai said. Okay. Emma was a little disappointed when she heard this. But she still put on her clothes obediently. Very good. We have established initial trust now. Let's start the second step now. Find a few servants who are still alive to live in the carriage that is ready to leave the city. Zhang Tuohai said. You want to escape from the city? Emma immediately guessed Zhang Tuohai's intention. You're talking too much again. Zhang Tuohai placed the shovel across Emma's neck. Emma felt a cold feeling on her neck. And she felt that her neck would be cut in two in the next second. Please, give me another chance. I promise not to talk too much. Emma begged. Remember, this is your last chance. If you do it next time, you know the consequences. Zhang Tuohai said with a cold face. I understand. I understand. Emma immediately went to call the servants to prepare the carriage. I have to say that Emma is still very good at managing servants. Although so many servants died in the manner at once. The remaining servants did not mess up and respectfully helped her prepare the carriage. No unnecessary questions were asked. Maybe it was Emma's usual cruelty that made them afraid to say anything. But at this time, it helped John to a high a lot. Get in the car and leave the city. If I find out what you do, don't blame me for being rude. John to high said. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. Get out of the city. Emma ordered the coachman. The coachman drove the carriage towards the outside of the city. The streets in the city were narrow and crowded. But Emma's carriage moved smoothly. As soon as the pedestrians in front saw Emma's carriage approaching, they all hid on both sides of the road. No one dared to get within one meter of Emma's carriage. It seems that your usual reputation is not very good. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the civilians hiding on both sides and said with a smile. Actually, I'm usually very kind. Not evil at all. Emma stammered in explanation. You don't need to explain this to me. Someone will listen to your explanation in the future. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to listen to Emma's nonsense and just drove the coachman to speed up. He had been out for a while and it was time to go back and make lunch for Lilith. If Lilith woke up and found that he was not at home, she might be very angry. However, seeing the city gate approaching, the carriage suddenly stopped. Why did the carriage stop? Zhang Tuohai quietly opened the car door and looked out. Suddenly an army appeared in front. This army was flying an eagle flag, wearing armor, shields and short swords, and was advancing in a knee queue. A man who looked like an officer was riding on a horse, gesturing to the surroundings frequently. Girls kept throwing flowers in front of his horse. It's the people from the 7th Legion who are back. All carriages must give way, Emma whispered. Although Zhang Tuohai was anxious, he did not dare to confront the Legion head on. So he had to stop the carriage on the side of the road and wait for the Legion to pass by. Fortunately, we are not far from the city gate now. We just need to wait a little longer. However, at this moment, the officer on horseback saw Emma's carriage, showed an excited look, and rode towards Emma's carriage. Do you know him? John Tuohai's expression changed. He is one of my patrons. Emma stammered. Gone! John Tuohai didn't know what to say. Even a fool knows what's going on in this situation. Sure enough, the officer rode up to Emma's carriage. Dear Miss Emma, I'm glad to see you here. May I have the honor to share the glory of victory with you? If Emma were normal, she would definitely go on happily. Being able to tour the city with honor with the officers would be the best way to show her strength. With this tour, her power will be qualitatively improved. But at this time, she didn't dare and could only look at Zhang Tuohai tremblingly. Get down! Zhang Tuohai pushed Emma. Emma opened the car door and walked out. As soon as she got off the carriage, she ran quickly towards the officer, shouting loudly as she ran. Help me quickly! There is a fugitive in the car! He wants to kill me! What? When the officer heard this, his expression changed. He pulled out the dagger from his waist and rushed towards Emma's carriage. Chapter 1237 Storing the Windbreaker Kill! The officer holding the long sword shouted and rushed towards the carriage. Court death! John Tuohai had originally planned to let Emma go but he didn't expect this guy to actually get off the carriage and snitch on her. In that case, don't blame me. Zhang Tuohai took out a few grenades and threw them out. Boom, boom. The grenade exploded in the crowd, causing the surrounding soldiers to fall over. 
the horse was frightened and stood up, raising its front hooves high. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai took out the broadsword mine he had obtained and threw it to the landing point of the horse's hooves. Then he jumped out of the carriage and lay down on the ground. The horse's hoof accurately landed on the broadsword mine. Boom! There was an explosion. Thousands of steel balls shot out around like a goddess scattering flowers. It instantly enveloped all surrounding areas. Those steel balls penetrated the soldiers' bodies with their powerful kinetic energy. Even though they wore breastplates. But the thin iron armor was okay for blocking the cold weapons. But it was not good when faced with the steel balls with strong kinetic energy. And was directly punched through. The officer was the first to be hit. And was directly beaten into a pulp by steel balls. Mrs. Emma was in a similar situation. Her upper body was hit by steel balls. And only two legs were left. Lying in a pool of blood. The whole street is like a Shura field. People watching on both sides panicked and ran away. Making the already chaotic scene even more chaotic. Zhang Tuohai saw the opportunity and immediately rushed out of the city. Anyone who dares to block the road will be given a shovel. Seeing such a brave Zhang Tuohai, the panicked people all dodged to both sides, forcibly making way for Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai passed the city gate unimpeded and rushed all the way outside the city. At this time, a line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player for successfully escaping. Pass rating, A. Congratulations to the player for getting a sophisticated treasure chest. Is the evaluation just A? Zhang Tuohai curled his lips. He thought he could at least get to S. It seems that there are still many branches that have not been completed. If we rescue all the people in the Colosseum, we can probably reach S. Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. However, there is no use thinking about it now. Forget it. Let's just say A-level evaluation. As long as it can pass the test. The most important thing now is to wait to be promoted to the second level of the trial city and see how it goes. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure chest. A book jumped out. Master Grappling Technique, Skill Book. After using this skill book, you will automatically obtain Master Grappling Technique. It's of no use. Zhang Tuohai looked at the skill book in his hand and was speechless. This thing is a treasure for ordinary people who have no fighting experience. But he has already practiced all kinds of fighting to the master level in the spiritual space. Grappling is also included. It was repetitive for him. Let's go back and see if we can get anything useful in exchange. Zhang Tuohai took the skill book and returned home. Wrapped in white light. Then, Zhang Tuohai saw the angry Lilith. Lilith was standing in the kitchen. Washing rice. After seeing Zhang Tuohai, he put the inner pot of the rice cooker away. You still know how to come back. Look for yourself what time it is. Okay. It's all my fault. You go and rest for a while. And you'll eat soon. Zhang Tuohai put Lilith on the seat. Then took out the braised beef from the refrigerator and made a large pot of braised beef noodles. Looking at the noodle bowl piled with meat like a hill, Lilith's little face turned from gloomy to sunny. What I'm angry about is not that you don't leave because you're not good enough but that you don't eat on time. Do you know how harmful it is if you don't eat on time? Lilith held the chopsticks and scolded Zhang to a high continuously. Okay, I understand. Eat, eat. Zhang to a high picked up the bowl and slurped down the noodles, deliberately covering his face with the huge bowl. Humph. Seeing Zhang to a high's appearance, Lilith lost a lot of her anger and lowered her head to eat the noodles. In fact, she also knew Zhang to a high's purpose in rushing through each dungeon but I just couldn't help it and wanted to let Zhang Tuohai stay with me for a while. After the two of them finished their meal, Zhang Tuohai handed Lilith the master level grappling technique with a smile. I'll leave this to you. Go wash the fruits. Lilith picked up the skill book and looked at it twice, then picked up Zhang Tuohai's mobile phone. Zhang Tuohai rushed to wash the cherry tomatoes. After washing the fruits, Zhang Tuohai handed a cherry tomato to Lilith's mouth. Lilith ate the cherry tomatoes in one gulp, then handed the phone to Zhang Tuohai. Done. Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and saw that Lilith had exchanged a skill book for two recruitment orders, a weapon attack enhancement stone, two boxes of gas, and a box of grenades. The call-up is also for umbrella security personnel. When you are gathering wool, don't always do it on one person. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. There's no other way. They're the ones who bid the highest. Lilith was eating cherry tomatoes and said, how about I go back and find the second highest bidder? Forget it. Let's leave it like this for now. Their things are no longer practical. Zhang Tuohai feels that the weapons provided by these people are good. The only drawback is that they are expendable and cannot be used all the time. By the way, today's cards haven't been drawn yet. 
Zhang Tuohai slapped his head fiercely. I passed two missions today, and didn't even think of drawing cards. Zhang Tuohai immediately picked up the endless card drawer, and drew ten cards from it. Congratulations on receiving 5,000 yuan in cash. Congratulations on winning a lottery ticket worth 20,000 yuan. Congratulations on getting a collector's edition Winchester shotgun. Congratulations on getting a silver-plated scimitar. Congratulations on getting a grass god swimsuit pillow. Congratulations on getting a collectible figure of Sister Bauer. Congratulations on getting six frag grenades. Congratulations on getting a box of number 12 shotguns. Congratulations on getting a brand name wallet. Congratulations on getting a storage windbreaker. Storage windbreaker. Spatial storage equipment. With a built-in space of 3 cubic meters. As long as the clothes are not damaged. The contents will not fall out. Finally, we have storage equipment. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed. During this period, because he had no storage equipment, he had to be careful and pick and choose every time he brought something. For example, he was always unable to carry useful things, like gas cans, because of the lack of carrying space. Now, with the affluent equipment, he can finally carry things as much as he wants. Zhang Tuohai picked through the items and put all the useful things into his windbreaker. The only drawback is making sure the windbreaker doesn't get damaged. Zhang Tuohai decided to regard this windbreaker as an excessive substitute and would replace it when he found a suitable one. Chapter 1238 Castle Zhang Tuohai, who got the new equipment, was eager to test the effect of the new equipment. But seeing Lilith standing by, she held back. Lilith glanced at Zhang Tuohai and sighed. I knew I couldn't keep you anyway. So just go and remember to come back early. I will remember to bring you specialties and I will try to be back before dinner to cook. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and chose to enter the dungeon. It has been detected that the player has successfully passed three dungeons, with the highest rating exceeding S level, and is allowed to enter the second level of the City of Trials. Would you like to enter? Tip. After entering the second level of the City of Trials, the difficulty of the copy will increase, and the quality of the items obtained will also increase. Confirm entry and enter immediately. Is this giving a choice? Zhang Tuohai chose to confirm speechlessly. Entering the copy. Please wait. Copy is being selected. Selected copy. Castle. Main mission. Survive in the castle until dawn. There's no way I can make it home in time to make dinner. This was Zhang Tuohai's first thought. In a flash of white light, Zhang Tuohai appeared in front of the gate of an ancient castle. Zhang Tuohai looked around. At this time, the moon has slowly risen. And a full moon hangs in the sky. From time to time, Dark clouds drifted by, covering the moon from time to time. In front of him was a huge castle. The outer walls of the castle are all made of huge black rocks, standing tall and majestic, like a sharp knife piercing the sky. In front of the castle gate, there is a scarlet carpet. Several waiters stood on either side of the carpet. Mr. Zhang, please come in. It's almost dinner time. Please don't keep other guests waiting too long. What will happen if I don't enter the castle now? Zhang Tuohai thought so but he soon discovered that he had nowhere to go without entering the castle. The castle was surrounded by thick darkness that could not be broken away, and it was impossible to know what was in the darkness. Compared with the unknown, the bright castle seemed safer. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai followed the butler into the banquet hall. There is a long table in the hall, with guests already seated on both sides. Zhang Tuohai took a quick glance and saw eleven people sitting on both sides of the long table, a total of five men and six women. Everyone was wearing various clothes. Some were dressed as hunters. Some were dressed as pirates. Some were dressed as knights. Some were dressed as musketeers. And a few were obviously COS, compared with these people. Zhang Tuohai felt that his the dressing up turned out to be relatively normal. Zhang Tuohai pulled out a free chair and sat on it. Immediately, waiters filed in and brought plates one after another. The plates were not filled with delicacies, but pieces of fresh meat, each piece weighing a kilogram. The meat is very fresh. And you can even see blood hanging on it. Please use this. Everyone. This is your only supply until tomorrow morning. The remaining 11 men and women quickly picked up the fresh meat in front of them and started to chew it. It seemed like I was eating a rare delicacy in the world. Zhang Tuohai looked at everyone and felt that something was strange. Sir, why don't you eat? The housekeeper came to Zhang Tuohai and asked. I just ate, and I don't have much appetite. Zhang Tuohai shook his head. He didn't really want to eat these things of unknown origin. Since it's your decision, we won't bother you. Unexpectedly, the housekeeper did not embarrass Zhang Tuohai. Instead, he asked the servant to take away the fresh meat 
and replace it with a cup of black tea. This scene made Zhang to a high frown. He felt that there must be something he didn't know. From the time he entered the castle to now, everything has been weird. He carefully looked around, trying to find out the situation. After about 15 minutes, almost everyone had finished eating their meat, and some seemed to be licking their fingers with unsatisfied taste. Now that everyone has finished eating, please choose your location. Remember, you can choose any location in the castle. You can choose to form a team, or you can choose to fight individually. Except for yourself, everyone in the castle will become your enemy. The game lasts until the first ray of the sun shines through the window. If there are no doubts, you can move freely. The butler said with a smile, If we win the game, will any wish really come true? A man dressed as a pirate suddenly asked, This needs to be judged by the owner. If you want to wish for three more wishes, you can choose the style of the coffin for yourself. What about the peerless appearance? A person dressed as a witch asked, This is achievable. Listening to their conversation, Zhang Tuohai slowly figured out the true meaning of the matter. They seemed to be players brought by the owner of the castle from various worlds to play a game of hide-and-seek in the castle with him. Before daybreak, if found, they will be killed. But if you are not found, or you escape pursuit, you can make a wish to the owner of the castle. During the game, everyone in the castle will be enemies. It sounds interesting, but I don't know who the owner of this castle is. He can actually grant other people's wishes with such a big voice. Zhang Tuohai thought. The butler clapped his hands. Okay. The question time is over, and the countdown has begun. Everyone can go find your place. Following the steward's words, the people immediately dispersed and went to find hiding places. Only Zhang Tuohai sat where he was and didn't move. Guest, why don't you move? The butler looked at Zhang Tuohai. I'm thinking about a question. That is, deterrence has to wait for a while before it officially starts. Why not start it immediately? Zhang Tuohai asked. That's because I want to give you time to prepare and find your hiding place. The butler said with a smile. It's a joke. You are the masters here. How can outsiders like us be more familiar with the terrain here than you are? Plus there are so many of you. Even if you pull a net to screen, it will be easy to find us all. Right? Zhang Tuohai sneered. Guest, please be aware that there is not much time left. The butler's expression changed slightly. So, I have a guess. Zhang Tuohai did not answer the call, but continued. My guess is that you are not kindly giving us time, but that before the time is up, you are limited by the rules and cannot take action. Of. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile, I want to verify whether you can resist if I attack you before time starts. Chapter 1239 Roll Reversal I'm warning you not to mess around. People who break the rules are not allowed to exist. The butler's face changed greatly when he heard this, and he said in panic, Really? Then let me see what the rules are. When Zhang Tuohai saw the butler's face, he knew that his guess was 80% correct. He suddenly pulled out a burial shovel from his pocket and slapped the butler on the head. The housekeeper yelled and ran towards the back. However, he was still not as fast as Zhang Tuohai after all and was slapped on the leg by a shovel. The housekeeper fell to the ground with a thud and dark green mucus flowed from the wound. It's actually an inhuman creature? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows stepped on the butler's back, and slammed down the shovel in his hand. Boom! The butler's head was smashed to pieces. Congratulations to the player for killing the predator. Your rating has been improved. Can it also improve the evaluation? Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed. Can we end the game early by killing all the waiters? Then we can go home early? Zhang Tuohai felt full of energy, holding the shovel and looking around, looking for the next target. However, after seeing Zhang Tuohai take action, the waiters ran out of the hall. Don't run away. Zhang Tuohai took out the collector's edition Winchester from his pocket and stuffed the number 12 shotguns into the magazine. Boom. With a loud noise, a handful of projectiles scattered in the small room, shattering the wooden door and breaking the two slowest running waiters into pieces. Congratulations to the player for killing the predator. Your rating has been improved. A similar prompt pops up again. Sure enough. My guess was right. Zhang Tuohai regained his energy loaded the Winchester gun again with a click, and walked out of the hall in a swagger. After leaving the hall, Zhang Tuohai was like a god of death, searching every room and shooting whenever he saw someone. For a moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt that he was the hunter, and those waiters were the ones who should hide. Just when Zhang Tuohai cleaned up the first floor and was about to enter the second floor, the self-ringing clock on the first floor suddenly rang. The melodious bells spread throughout the castle. 
The waiters who were escaping in a hurry suddenly stopped and turned to look at Zhang Tuohai with a strange smile on their faces. Silly? Zhang Tuohai followed a waiter and pulled the trigger. Boom! The shotgun blasted the waiter's chest into a sieve. But the injury on the waiter's chest healed in the next second. If it weren't for the holes in his clothes, the injury just now would have been an illusion. Huge bat wings began to grow on the backs of those waiters. Fluff grew on their faces. Fangs grew in their mouths. And their hands turned into sharp claws. They looked quite like vampires in fairy tales, who had not fully mutated. Zhang Tuohai didn't believe in evil. So he raised his Winchester and fired another shot at the monster. Boom! The bullet penetrated the opponent's wing. Then the next second, all the holes in the opponent's wings were restored. A mocking smile appeared on the monster's face. Then it spread its wings and pounced towards Zhang Tuohai. Do you think I can't deal with you like this? Zhang Tuohai put away the Winchester and replaced it with the silver-plated long knife he had received. A flash of silver light flashed, and the long knife directly split the monster into two pieces from head to tail. The monster's body fell to the ground, and green slime spread all over the floor. But the body never healed. I thought that no matter how strong I was, I would still be killed. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and continued walking towards the group of waiters with a silver-plated knife. The group of waiters looked at each other with panic expressions on their faces. The reason why they are so rampant is their ability to recover quickly. Now, their ability has been broken and they can still be killed. So they are scared. Two waiters were not convinced. They glanced at each other and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. But just as he approached Zhang Tuohai, he saw two silver lights flashing past, and they were split in half by Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the death of their companions again, these waiters were finally sure that Zhang Tuohai had a way to kill them. They swarmed towards the second floor. He didn't dare to stay on the first floor for a while, for fear that he would catch up with Zhang Tuohai if he walked slowly. Don't run away. I'll take you to meet your ancestor. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he walked slowly holding a silver-plated knife. Check every room you pass by like on the first floor. If you find someone hiding inside, kill them. Zhang Tuohai just walked all the way, killing all the way. Cleaning every room, he encountered room by room. Later, Zhang Tuohai felt that it was a little too slow and took out the gas can directly. Zhang Tuohai lit the gas can as if he were holding a flamethrower. Zhang Tuohai began to set fire to the castle. Everything that could be lit was set on fire by them. Whether it's the castle's wooden doors, curtains or stairs. The raging fire burned and spread upwards. The entire castle was like a huge oven, with black smoke and flames rising. In order to allow sufficient oxygen in the room, Zhang Tuohai also thoughtfully opened the door to the castle. The cold wind blowing from outside the door not only brought enough oxygen, but also made the fire in the castle burn more vigorously. Zhang Tuohai even kept throwing lit gas cans upstairs to arrange new burning points. When the waiters hiding on the upper floor saw this situation, their eyes widened and they began to wonder whether they were the devil or Zhang Tuohai was the devil. Is the role reversed? However, they don't have much time to think about these issues. There were only two paths before them. One was burned to death by fire or smoked to death while hiding on it. The second is to rush down and fight Zhang Tuohai to see if there is a chance of survival. Several waiters rushed to the stair railing, spread their wings, covered each other, and dived towards Zhang Tuohai. Coming? Zhang Tuohai started hunting with a long knife in one hand and a shotgun in the other. Although the shotgun cannot cause effective damage to these monsters, it can destroy their wings. Although they can recover on their own, it takes time. And this short time difference is enough for them to deviate from their target and then stall and hit the ground. After that, Zhang Tuohai was cut off in the head with a knife. Okay, now the two roads have become one is to be smoked to death and the other is to be hacked to death. Just when the waiters fell into despair, the door to the top floor that had been closed was opened. A beautiful woman wearing a scarlet cloak walked out of the door. Who is disturbing my sleep? The woman asked coldly. It's like walking out of endless ice. The whole body is covered with the breath of frost. Even at such a distance, Zhang Tuohai could feel the coldness on the other person's body. Chapter 1240 The prodigal son turns around and punches in the face. It's the queen. The queen is awake. Seeing the woman's appearance, the waiters were so happy that they almost cried. The person who appeared was none other than the head of the family, who turned them all into inferior vampires. Countess Blood rose. Master, we have been invaded. The housekeeper is dead. The other vampires have suffered heavy losses. Even their homes will be burned down by him. You have to stand up for us. The waiters cried. What? Countess Blood Rose's eyes flashed with anger. And then she saw the burning castle. 
Who did it? Countess Blood Rose asked coldly. That's him. He has a silver weapon in his hand. Master, please be careful. The waiters all pointed at Zhang Tuahai on the first floor. You dare to burn my castle down. You are seeking death. Countess Blood Rose raised her scarlet cloak behind her back and turned into huge red bat wings, swooping down towards Zhang Tuahai. But before she was halfway through the charge, the number 12 shotgun arrived to greet her. Bang, bang, bang. Several scattered bullets hit the countess like a goddess scattering flowers, enveloping the entire space. No matter how the countess dodges, she will definitely be hit by some shotguns. This is a trajectory carefully designed by Zhang Tuahai. However, when the countess saw it, a sneer appeared on her face. The bat wings behind him flashed fiercely, and a biting cold wind blew by. The projectiles all stopped less than one meter away from the countess. And then, they exhausted their kinetic energy and fell down. So smart! Zhang Tuohai took out four offensive grenades with his backhand, opened the safety cover, and threw them towards the countess. The grenade exploded in midair, and a red shockwave swept towards the countess. However, less than half a meter away from the countess, a line of ice blocked the path of the shock wave and directly blew it away. The countess stayed in midair, snorted coldly, and flapped her huge bat wings, causing a large amount of water vapor to condense into ice cones and fall downwards. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuahai quickly retreated to the gate to avoid the attack of dense icicles. Dare you run? The countess folded her wings and rushed towards Zhang Tuahai. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuahai rolled on the spot and escaped the countess' attack. The countess pulled out the stabbing sword from her waist and stabbed Zhang Tuohai in the chest. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly dodged and avoided the stabbing sword. The stabbing sword grazed Zhang Tuohai's coat and stabbed it, almost tearing the coat. It's okay to hit me, but not my clothes. When Zhang Tuohai saw that his space equipment was almost broken, his expression turned ugly and he kicked the countess with a sliding shovel. The countess did not expect that Zhang Tuohai would be so careless about his identity. He lay on the ground fighting, tapped his feet on the ground, and jumped up suddenly. The bat wings behind him spread out to maintain a suspended state in the air. At this time, Zhang Tuohai had already rushed under the countess. A cold smile appeared on the countess' face, and ice picks condensed under her bat wings. She wanted to nail Zhang Tuohai to the floor. However, Zhang Tuohai beneath her also seemed to be smiling. Zhang Tuohai opened his mouth, and a stream of flame spurted out, sweeping towards the countess. The countess felt that the flames were unusual, and she tried her best to gather ice in front of her body, trying to block the blow. However, the distance between them is too close. By the time she found out, it was already too late. The raging flames enveloped her. Ah! Screams came. The countess fell heavily to the ground. Zhang Tuohai rolled on the spot to avoid the falling countess. The countess rolled around, trying to break away from the flames. But how could the flames of the endless flagon be extinguished by ordinary methods? The countess's efforts were destined to be in vain. And with Zhang Tuohai constantly breathing flames beside her, the countess soon became silent. It was reduced to ashes in the raging flames. Finally killed. This is the final boss. Right. Is there anything else? Zhang Tuohai looked up at the top of the castle. He found that after the countess death, the flames seemed to be three times stronger. Fire has covered the entire castle and things have begun to fall. Waves of heat swept through, and the entire castle was like a blazing furnace. Zhang Tuohai leaned near the gate. Firstly, it would be cooler here. Secondly, if anyone wanted to escape from the castle, he would be able to find it. However, Zhang Tuohai waited for several hours, but no one came out of the castle. After almost all the things that could be burned in the castle were burned, wisps of sunlight finally shone into the castle. The copy of the castle ends. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for completing the main mission. Task Evaluation, SS. Learned that the player received a flawless treasure chest. An equally golden treasure box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. However, Zhang Tuohai could feel that the golden light of this treasure box was dimmer than that of a perfect treasure box. Is it just an SS level evaluation? What's the difference between not getting an SSS level? Is it because you didn't help other players? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. If he had known this was the case, he would have rescued those people in advance. The main reason is that he has gradually become accustomed to doing everything by himself. He rarely thinks about forming a team to complete things, and subconsciously treats those players as passers-by. Forget it. Just SS. It's not a low rating. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure chest. Inside is a skill scroll. The prodigal son slaps you in the face, 
a legendary punch. After it is used, there is a probability that the opponent will realize his mistakes and correct them at the same time. The correction probability for each punch is 1%. This skill is quite useful. It seems that it can be used to persuade prisoners to surrender. Zhang Tuohai held the skill scroll and looked thoughtful. Zhang Tuohai thought this skill was quite interesting. So he clicked to learn it. At this time, he already has two skills. Give you a punch and the prodigal son's face punch. Zhang Tuohai wanted to find a place to test his skills. But considering that he had not returned home all night, Lilith might have been impatient. So he suppressed the idea. In a flash of white light, Zhang Tuohai returned home. As soon as he returned home, Zhang Tuohai saw Lilith wearing an apron and frying eggs in the kitchen. Sure enough, fireworks are the most heartwarming thing in the world. What's the point of beating and killing? Zhang Tuohai walked over and prepared to help. Stop making trouble and get hot water. Lilith slapped away Zhang Tuohai's hand that wanted to eat. Oh! Zhang Tuohai brought hot water and poured it into the pot. Under the action of hot water, the hot oil gradually turned the soup into milky white. Lilith began to adjust the soup base, adding salt, pepper, blanched vegetables, frozen meatballs, and asparagus noodles. Soon a bowl of vegetable noodles was completed. She flipped the omelette over and took a bite. It was something special. Flavor. Chapter 1241 Temporary Copy After breakfast, John Tuohai lay on the sofa and checked his mobile phone. After swiping and swiping, the game suddenly popped up a prompt. Temporary Copy School of Horrors Task Description Horror School discovered a ghost that exceeded the limit and invited five players to enter the dungeon to kill the ghost. Note, this task is an open task with no hard requirements. Tip, ghosts only appear at night. Progress, two-fifths. Temporary mission? It's interesting. Zhang Tuohai looked at the rising progress bar with interest. Since entering the dungeon, he has never seen other players. This opportunity may be to see how other players are doing. I clicked agree immediately. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself on a playground. For people stood in a circle near him. Zhang Tuohai looked left and right. On the left is a young man and woman. Cuddling together. They look like boyfriend and girlfriend. Both of them are wearing school uniforms. Which are exactly the same as those of the students around them. They seem to be acting as students. On the right are two middle-aged men and women in uniforms. Holding lesson plans in their hands. They identify as teachers. What about my identity? Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and glanced at his identity card. Director of Education. This. After seeing this identity, he felt that it didn't matter whether he completed the task or not. But living the addiction of being a dean was the real thing. Being a dean has always been his long-cherished wish in life. If his family hadn't brought him back to inherit the family business, he would have gone to the school to take the exam. The middle-aged man in a teacher's uniform looked around, coughed slightly and said, Everyone should be clear about the main mission. How about we discuss how to get through this mission? You can discuss it among yourselves. I won't keep you. Just don't make trouble for me. That's fine. The player who was a female teacher turned around and left immediately, not even interested in discussing it together. The female teacher's appearance made the male teacher a little embarrassed. He turned to look at the couple dressed as students. Who knows? The couple had no intention of staying and walked hand in hand towards the teaching building. Everyone depends on his ability. When Zhang Tuohai saw this scene, he knew that it was impossible for the players to unite. It seems like it would be nice if they don't hold each other back. However, this is to be expected. It's better to go and see the situation before we talk. See you again when we are destined. Zhang Tuohai said and walked towards the teaching building. The middle-aged male teacher stayed where he was, with a somewhat unsightly expression on his face. After Zhang Tuohai walked into the teaching building, he suddenly felt that the temperature was a little low. He looked up and looked around. But there was nothing strange. There were students walking back and forth all around. And many people were chasing and fighting in the corridors. It looked like a daily campus. And it seemed no different from a normal school. However, when those students saw Zhang Tuohai, they immediately stopped and turned aside to let Zhang Tuohai leave first. The students who were running now also became well behaved. And they were all walking obediently. Zhang Tuohai felt very happy. It would be even better if he could find a few more disobedient students and confiscate something. At this time, the bell rang, and the students quickly returned to their classes, and the originally noisy corridor suddenly became quiet. Zhang Tuohai walked to the back window of a class and stood there. Looking inside, all the students looked at the blackboard seriously. 
Zhang Tuohai left a little disappointed. He walked through several classes without finding any students who were playing with mobile phones in class. Why not? Zhang Tuohai felt a little regretful. After inspecting half of the class, Zhang Tuohai felt a little bored. Lu Dada returned to his office and sat down. Zhang Tuohai was about to make a cup of tea. When he opened the drawer, he found that it was full of mobile phones. Good guy! Zhang Tuohai took out one and played with it a few times. But it was still brand new. Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked around. There were two display cabinets next to his desk, filled with the dean's trophies. From various regulated knives to comic books, from game consoles to toys. Almost everything you can think of is here. Zhang Tuohai spent the whole morning just admiring the trophies. It wasn't until the bell rang that he came back to his senses. Zhang Tuohai looked at the time and saw that it was already noon, then took out his meal card and wallet from the drawer and slowly went to the cafeteria to eat. Zhang Tuohai did not go to the first floor to queue up to buy food with the students, but came to the staff window on the second floor. I have to say that the food here is much better than the one on the first floor. The ant spoon didn't shake, and she even poured an extra spoonful of broth to help pour it on the rice. It was said to be broth, but there were three or four pieces of meat in it. The faculty and staff just enjoy the food. Zhang Tuohai found a seat by the window and ate happily. While eating, he looked for the two teacher players in the crowd. Unfortunately, it was not discovered. Why don't these two people come to dinner? Or are they so selfless looking for mission clues that they forgot to come to dinner? Zhang Tuohai guessed. However, he just gave up after thinking about it casually. He came to this world on vacation. So if he could get through by paddling, it might be a good choice. After returning to the office, Zhang Tuohai randomly found a mobile phone, charged it up, and started to watch videos. After he felt sleepy, he lay down on a chair and fell asleep. He hadn't slept properly for several days and was feeling a little tired. When he opened his eyes, he found that it was already dark. Is this the end of school? Zhang Tuohai stood up and prepared to leave. Suddenly, there was a strange sound outside the door. Click, click, as if someone was picking the lock with something. Zhang Tuohai became energetic instantly. The burial shovel appeared in his hand. He quietly came behind the door, raised the shovel, and prepared to give the other party a surprise when the door opened. Click, click. The sound of picking the lock became louder and louder. But the other party did not open it for a long time. This made Zhang Tuohai anxious. You should come in quickly. My hands are sore when I lift the shovel. Seeing that the door lock hadn't been open for a long time, Zhang Tuohai became impatient. Simply helped the people outside and unlocked the door directly. Crunch. The wooden door made a screeching sound. Look. Let me just say that I didn't learn my lock kicking skills in vain. Along with the sound of talking, Zhang Tuohai heard the footsteps of two people. Zhang Tuohai rushed out from behind the door and beat him out with a shovel. The person who came in from outside obviously didn't expect that there was someone in the room and was photographed without any precautions. Boom! The man burying shovel hit the man's head firmly. Plop! A muffled sound sounded. Chapter 1242 One person is out. After seeing the success of a shovel, Zhang Tuohai picked up the shovel again and was about to continue his attack. But the person opposite said, Don't slap me in the face! One of your own! Huh? Zhang Tuohai took a closer look and found that the player who was speaking was the female student. The person on the ground was the suspected boyfriend. Why is it you? Zhang Tuohai frowned. But he didn't expect that after waiting for a long time. It was two players. We inquired in the class for a long time, but couldn't find any clues. So we thought of going to the teacher's office to see if there were any clues. But as soon as we opened the door, you knocked him down with a shovel. The female player said, This is my office. I have already rummaged through it. They are all ordinary things. There are no valuable clues. That leaves only the teacher's offices. The male player rubbed his head and got up from the ground. At this time, there was a mark of a shovel on his face. Zhang Tuohai felt that there was little hope. But since he was already here, there was no reason to let him go easily, and he had to look for it. What if there is an unexpected discovery? The group of people arrived at the door of the teacher's office. I'll unlock it. The male player took out the wire and was ready to take action. Forget it. I'll do it. Zhang Tuohai said, and kicked the door lock. The door was kicked open directly. This, this is not good. The male player looked a little unnatural. What's wrong with this? Just ask the people from the general affairs office to repair it tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai walked in with an indifferent expression. The two players looked at each other and walked in. 
The three people rummaged around the teacher's office and found nothing. Everything is almost the same as an ordinary school. There's nothing special about it. This is strange. How come there are no clues at all? How can we find this? The male player scratched his head, a little at a loss. At this moment, the female player suddenly pointed to the building opposite and said, Look! Zhang Tuohai walked to the edge of the window. Opposite the office building is the dormitory building. Most of the dormitories in the dormitory building were dark with lights. Only one window was lit. And there was a black silhouette in front of the window. It staggered up to the window. And then jumped down. Someone jumped off the building! Go over and take a look! Zhang Tuohai instinctively felt that something was wrong and quickly ran towards the opposite building. The two players followed closely behind. The three people soon arrived at the scene of the incident. Zhang Tuohai stood there stunned. Because it was the middle-aged male player playing the teacher who jumped off the building. By this time, the bodies were already cold. His eyes were full of fear. What happened? Zhang Tuohai wanted to go to the room to check. At this time, a group of school employees ran over. When a group of people saw Zhang Tuohai, they asked, Director Zhang, what's going on? I was conducting a spot check at the school and found that these two students stayed away from home at night. I was about to take them back to teach them a lesson. But this happened. Which of you has a phone? Call the police immediately. My phone is out of battery. Zhang Tuohai said casually, the two male and female players following him. We are obviously all players together. Why did you turn around and sell us out? However, when they looked at the scene in front of them, it seemed to be the most reasonable explanation. Otherwise, it is really difficult to explain why the two of them appear here. The two could only remain silent. Someone immediately called the police. Which of you come up with me to seal off the scene? Don't let anyone destroy the scene before the police come. Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked. The faculty members looked at each other. But no one spoke. No one wants to do this obviously thankless task. Just you two. Come up with me and remember not to move around. Zhang Tuohai turned to the two players and said. Oh. The two players also understood what Zhang Tuohai meant and immediately followed Zhang Tuohai upstairs. At this time, there were already many students in the corridor looking out. Everyone looked at something. And they all went back to sleep. If they let me see it again, they all went to run laps on the playground. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, the doors on both sides were immediately closed. This identity is quite useful. Zhang Tuohai came to the brightly lit bedroom door. He looked inside and saw that it was a single dormitory with a bed, a table, and a cabinet. That's all. There is nothing superfluous. In addition, Zhang Tuohai also discovered that there was another person in the room, the female player, who was a teacher. Why are you here? Did you kill that person? Zhang Tuohai asked with a frown. He doesn't like infighting among players. Obviously everyone has a common mission goal. And as long as they complete it together, they can get rewards together. So why do they have to do it to each other? It's really none of my business. I just came to him to ask for clues. As soon as I opened the door, the guy ran to the window and jumped out. I didn't know what happened. I thought he was mentally ill. Woolen cloth. The female player shook her head, also looking innocent. Zhang Tuohai took a closer look at the female player's expression. And she didn't look like she was lying. Forget it. It's useless to say anything else now. Let's wait until the police arrive. The police arrived at the scene quickly. After a detailed investigation, they confirmed that the deceased died from a fall. He suffered great fear during his lifetime. There were no other external injuries on the body, and there were no signs of fighting in the room. Zhang Tuohai and others were removed. After an interrogation, no clues were found. So people could only be left to continue the investigation. As witnesses, Zhang Tuohai and other people were restricted from leaving the city. Zhang Tuohai didn't really care about this. In fact, he could barely get out of school. And he didn't care if he could leave the city. What he cared about was the cause of the player's death and what the ghost that appeared in the middle of the night was. Hey, do you think it was the female player who did it? The female student player asked Zhang Tuohai. It doesn't look like it. Mainly because there is no motive. However, you can't believe everything she says. It is necessary to maintain limited contact. The most important thing at the moment is to find the ghost. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said, Maybe it was done by students in the dormitory. After all, they are all on the same floor. So it is very convenient to do what they want to do. The male student player said. Also, when the incident happened, only the three of us were together. In other words, only the three of us had no time. Therefore, only the three of us are credible. And everyone else is suspect. 
The female student player said. Where is that ghost hiding? Zhang Tuohai looked at the dark dormitory building and fell into deep thought. Chapter 1243 The Fierce Ghost Appears Several people stayed outside the dormitory building until dawn. And everything turned out to be calm. Nothing happened. Along with the wake-up bell. The students walked out of the dormitory building one after another and ran towards the cafeteria. They could still catch up with breakfast. For more students, they would rather sleep a little longer and then go to the classroom. One of Zhang Tuohai's jobs is to catch students lingering in the dormitory. Get up! Get up! If you stay in bed again, you will lose points. Zhang Tuohai greeted. Ping 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 pong. With a burst of noise, a group of students rushed out of the dormitory wearing school uniforms. Zhang Tuohai walked leisurely in the corridor of the dormitory. After confirming that all students had left the dormitory, Zhang Tuohai found an unoccupied dormitory, found a bed, and laid down on it. It wasn't that Zhang Tuohai had any special hobbies, but that he was waiting for that ghost to appear. As a result, nothing abnormal happened until noon. On the contrary, I was hungry. Bad luck. Zhang Tuohai stood up helplessly and walked towards the cafeteria. Zhang Tuohai saw the two student players in the cafeteria. Any clues? Zhang Tuohai asked. No. I've been in class this morning and can't get out at all. The two students said helplessly. Zhang Tuohai sighed and could only eat in silence. In the afternoon, Zhang Tuohai used his authority to walk around the school, but still found nothing. When night fell, Zhang Tuohai returned to the dormitory building, found a room and continued to lie down and wait for the ghost to come. At midnight, Zhang Tuohai suddenly heard a muffled sound outside. He hurried to the window and found a body looming under the window. Grass! Zhang Tuohai rushed downstairs in a hurry. On the cold concrete floor, Zhang Tuohai saw the female player who was a teacher. At this time it has turned into a corpse. Many faculty and staff rushed over in a hurry. Call the police! Zhang Tuohai was helpless. The police came quickly and checked as usual. The deceased was still frightened. But the room was very clean and there were no signs of trauma or struggle. What to do? The two student players were obviously panicked. This invisible enemy is the most terrifying. There is no other way. Now we can only wait for the ghost to come to us. Zhang Tuohai didn't have any good ideas. He couldn't find the ghost. And he couldn't use any of his strength. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai returned to the room. According to the previous situation, from now on, the ghost should not appear again tonight. Zhang Tuohai covered himself with a quilt and prepared to sleep. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt something standing in front of the bed. The thing squatted down and blew into his face. It's so painful! It scares me! Right! Zhang Tuohai raises his hand and punches you. Boom! There was a muffled sound. And Zhang Tuohai felt his fist hit something. Then something hit the wall with a muffled thud. Zhang Tuohai turned over and jumped up from the bed, using the moonlight to see clearly the scene in front of him. In front of him was a fierce ghost with a mouth full of fangs, staring at Zhang Tuohai, his teeth making a crunching sound, as if he was going to eat Zhang Tuohai. You still want to eat me? Right. Zhang Tuohai took out the burial shovel and pointed it at the fierce ghost. Boom. The burial shovel hit Li Gui hard on the head. The fierce ghost's body suddenly shattered. It turned into a plume of black smoke and disappeared without a trace. Deal with a fierce ghost clone. The game system popped up a prompt. Is it just a clone? Zhang Tuohai frowned. He walked around the corridor and found that the outside was still the same as before. Nothing strange. He went to the student dormitories and checked them one by one, but did not find any other ghost clones. Finally, we have some clues. Let's check them with them tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai returned to the dormitory and lay on the bed. Just as he closed his eyes, he suddenly felt as if someone was blowing on his face. Are you coming again? Zhang Tuohai was angry and punched out. However, this time it is not a punch to you, but a slap in the face from the prodigal son. Bang! A heavy punch hit the fierce ghost in the face. Ouch! The fierce ghost groaned and squatted on the ground, holding his face. When Zhang Tuohai saw that he was riding on the fierce ghost, he punched the fierce ghost in the face. I told you to scare me! To keep you up in the middle of the night! and to tell you not to learn well. Bang, bang, bang. The fists hit the fierce ghost's face like raindrops. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. The fierce ghost shouted loudly. But Zhang Tuohai ignored it at all. And the fists in his hands continued to hit the fierce ghost like raindrops. After playing for almost 10 minutes, a line of game prompts popped up. A person with a strong ghost clone realizes his mistake, decides to correct his evil ways, 
and becomes a ghost again. It's really useful. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and rubbed his sore arms. The old punch just now had exhausted him. The probability is a bit low. It took ten minutes for the education to succeed. Zhang Tuohai muttered and pulled the fierce ghost clone up from the ground. Tell me, where is your local area? In the basement of the dormitory building. The fierce ghost clone said timidly. It was obvious that the old punch just now was not gentle. And it actually made it feel fearful. The basement. Where is it? Why didn't I find it? The passage in the basement is sealed. I will take you to the original location of the passage. The fierce ghost said and led the way to a concrete floor. This was originally the entrance to the basement. But it was sealed later. It turns out to be here. No wonder I can't find it. Zhang Tuohai took out the burial shovel and started digging. Although this piece of cement is very strong, it is only slightly harder than ordinary soil under the shovel. Zhang Tuohai didn't spend much time digging a hole that could be passed by one person. Under the cave, a staircase was exposed, winding downwards. There really is a basement. Zhang Tuohai took out a bright flashlight from his windbreaker and walked forward with a burial shovel in his other hand. Because this basement has been closed for a long time. The air is turbid and there is a musty smell in the air. Zhang Tuohai frowned and continued walking forward. The basement seems to be a water station structure. There are various thick water pipes everywhere, which are full of rust. The various dashboards are full of dust. From time to time, one or two huge machines can be seen. I don't know what they are for. Use. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly heard a harsh friction sound. As if someone was rubbing something against the water pipe. Crunch. Zhang Tuohai turned around sharply and found that at the corner not far away, a black figure slowly walked towards him. The other person's hands seemed to be sharp claws. Resting on the water pipe. Sliding gently. And making a harsh sound. Sound. Chapter 1244 Reward Dungeon Ticket. Is this guy the real owner? Zhang Tuohai became energetic. What he worries most about is not finding the enemy. Now that the enemy has appeared, there is nothing to say. It was done directly. Zhang Tuohai didn't even give the opponent a chance to speak. He punched you directly. Boom! The man was walking when he suddenly felt as if his stomach had been hit hard by a hammer. The man bent down suddenly. Like a prawn. Zhang Tuohai rushed over quickly, raised the man burying shovel, and smashed it down at the opponent. Boom! The man's figure was smashed directly. And Zhang Tuohai's shovel hit the ground with a muffled sound. Where have you gone? Zhang Tuohai looked left and right. Suddenly, I felt a strong wind coming from behind. He turned around suddenly, and the man burying shovel in his hand slashed behind him like a whirlwind. Brush! A figure suddenly shattered. The shovel in Zhang Tuohai's hand was empty again. Huh? Zhang Tuohai glanced around. That ghost. Come here and tell me what's going on. Zhang Tuohai asked the educated fierce ghost clone. This is the special ability of my body. It can change the shadow in myself. However, there is a drawback. That is, it can only be used not far away from the corpse. If the body is destroyed, not only will the special ability be unusable, but the body will also be severely damaged. Die. The surrendered fierce ghost clone said immediately, Where is the burial place? John Tuohai asked, Here. The fierce ghost clone immediately led the way. Seeing this seat in the shadow, the main body of the fierce ghost had its nose crooked with anger. It never thought that its true identity would be betrayed by its own clone. Is there something wrong with this clone's brain? Doesn't it know that if the body is destroyed, the clone will also die? However, the clone just took John to a high there. This made him anxious and angry. But it had no choice but to try to sneak attack from behind to prevent John to a high from passing by. But yes, John to a high is very sharp. Every time he gets close, he will be slapped back with a shovel. I almost had my real body photographed several times. The fierce ghost himself broke out in a cold sweat. Under the leadership of the fierce ghost clone, John Tuohai quickly found a red coffin with black lines drawn with an ink fountain, which looked very strange. This is where the main body is. The fierce ghost clone said, Yes. John Tuohai took out two barrels of gasoline from his windbreaker and poured it on the coffin. Then a storm match was lit and thrown onto the coffin. Call. The raging flames burned. Ah. As the coffin burned, the fierce ghost body and the fierce ghost clone also let out sharp roars. As if suffering great pain, the fierce ghost knew that if it hit any longer, the only thing waiting for it would be death. So it immediately stopped hiding and rushed directly towards John to a high. Come out? Don't you think it's a little late? 
Zhang Tuohai raised the man burying shovel and slapped it on the fierce ghost's body. Boom! Stab! Accompanying the shovel attack is high voltage current. A stream of electric current followed the shovel and hit the fierce ghost's head. Waves of blue electricity rushed along the fierce ghost's body, and a burnt smell wafted out of the fierce ghost's body. When Zhang Tuohai saw that it was effective, he stepped on the fierce ghost's foot, and the boots began to release electricity. The fierce ghost is like a dancing zombie, constantly trembling, as if dancing a postmodern disco. The burnt smell is getting stronger and stronger, and the black smoke is getting stronger and stronger. Zhang Tuohai's electricity has been releasing. When the coffin was burned to ashes, the fierce ghost turned into a wisp of smoke and disappeared without a trace. Congratulations to the player for killing the fierce ghost. The special mission is over. Task Evaluation, SS Level Congratulations to the player for obtaining a flawless treasure chest. A somewhat dim golden treasure box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. It's SS Level again! A bit weak! Zhang Tuohai touched his chin and thought about the reason for the deduction of points. Is it because there were casualties? Or is there some hidden plot that we haven't uncovered? Or the source of this thing that we haven't found? Zhang Tuohai guessed. But because there are too few clues, what can be analyzed is really limited. Forget it. Never mind it. Let's wait until next time. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to worry and opened the treasure chest directly. Congratulations on getting a special reward copy ticket. Special reward copy ticket with a ticket. You can enter a special reward copy and obtain a large amount of materials and resources from it. Reward copy? It seems pretty good. Zhang Tuohai picked up the copy ticket and hesitated to use it directly. As soon as he thought about it, the copy of the ticket immediately burned. Then a white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. When Zhang Tuohai could see the surrounding scenery clearly, he found that he was on the rooftop of a school. It seemed to be night at this time, and there was no one on the playground. Didn't you say the reward copy? We're on the rooftop of the academy again! Just when Zhang Tuohai was confused, footsteps came from behind. Students are not allowed to walk around at night. Please return to the dormitory immediately. A cold voice came from behind. Zhang Tuohai turned around suddenly and found that it was a girl. The girl wears a beige slim-fitting uniform on the upper body and a black skirt on the lower body. Her long silver hair is spread over her shoulders. There is an armband on her right arm with the words Commissioner of Discipline Inspection written on it. Zhang Tuohai recognized at a glance that this was not the uniform of the school just now. It turns out that the place has changed. It's just a school again. Zhang Tuohai quickly looked at his clothes. The dean's badge is gone. Under the windbreaker is a school uniform similar to that of a girl, except that the short skirt is replaced by trousers. Under his feet was a pair of leather shoes, and the boots were stored in the storage space of the windbreaker. However, there is no identity-related information. Now, he couldn't even go to the dormitory. Sorry! I have lost my memory and forgot where the student dormitory is. Can you help me find the dormitory? Zhang Tuohai said. The girl didn't expect that Zhang Tuohai would give such an answer and was stunned on the spot. She tilted her head slightly, thought for a while, and finally said, I can check it for you. Come with me. After saying that, the girl turned around and walked downstairs. The long silver hair drifted to the tip of Zhang Tuohai's nose in the wind, and the smell of jasmine filled the air. This smells good? I'll try a jasmine-scented shampoo next time. Zhang Tuohai thought as he walked up quickly. The two people entered the student union office and turned on the computer. The girl sat in front of the computer and opened the student information database. She turned to look at Zhang Tuohai. Your class and name. Sorry. I have forgotten these two. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly, spreading his hands. Chapter 1245 Lily. Zhang Tuohai originally thought the girl would be angry. But unexpectedly, the girl was not angry, not even a little bit angry, and just kept looking at Zhang Tuohai with her bright eyes. After a moment, she turned back, opened all the student files, and compared them one by one with the photos. Are you so dedicated? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He has never seen anyone with such a good temper. If he were an ordinary person, even if he didn't fall out, he probably wouldn't have a good temper. However, this girl acted as if nothing had happened and just helped Zhang Tuohai check his identity. Zhang Tuohai has been standing behind the girl, looking at the files. Looking at it, Zhang Tuohai discovered a problem. That is, all the files and photos used were in black and white. His. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and felt that the world might not be as simple as it seemed. After who knows how long, the girl finally found Zhang Tuohai's file. 
There is a photo of Zhang Tuohai posted on the file. Also in black and white. And he is an exchange student. I found it. Your dormitory is room 403 of dormitory 1. You must not remember where the dormitory is. Come on. I will take you there. The girl stood up. Thanks for the help. By the way, I don't know your name yet. Zhang Tuohai asked. Luli. The girl stood there. Paused. And then said. My name is Luli. Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he heard this. He took another careful look at the girl to confirm that she was not the Lili he knew. After all, he had had in-depth communication with Lili, especially the position behind him, and he knew it very well. He was certain that the two were not the same person. What? The girl turned back. It's nothing. It's just that your name is very familiar and reminds me of someone. John Tuohai said casually. Lili didn't say anything, but led the way. The two walked through the quiet playground and arrived at dormitory building number one, where they found the spare key in the guard room. I won't go up. Remember to go to class tomorrow. After Lioli finished speaking, he turned around and left. This world seems very interesting. John Tuohai became interested and went upstairs with the spare key. I found my dormitory by the house number. Just as I was about to open the door, I felt a strong wind coming from the side. The shovel suddenly appeared in Zhang Tuohai's hand and he blocked it from the strong wind. Boom! There was a muffled sound, and a big axe was stopped. Zhang Tuohai looked around and found that the attacker was also a young man wearing a school uniform. The most eye-catching thing was his blue hair. Who are you? Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes and asked coldly, Angel accomplice, suffer death. The young man in school uniform drew his axe and struck Zhang Tuohai on the head again. Ill? Zhang Tuohai slapped the boy on the head with a backhand shovel. This time, because he was angry and couldn't control his strength, he directly smashed the boy's head. Brains were flying everywhere. With a pop, the body fell to the ground and the axe flew far away. It's too strong. John Tuohai frowned. When he first arrived, he shot someone to death. It's okay to kill people, but it's mainly troublesome to deal with the corpses. And it's not easy to clean up after filming like this. I don't know what bad consequences it will cause. Just when John Tuohai was thinking about how to deal with it, the body suddenly turned into a glimmer of light and disappeared. The scattered blood and brain matter also disappeared. The floors and walls that were originally stained with blood became very neat and clean. It's like none of this ever happened. Moreover, not only the body, but also the weapon disappeared. To be precise, the weapon turned into dirt and retained the shape of an axe. John Tuohai picked up a handful of dirt, bounced it in his hand, and examined it carefully. It is indeed a handful of ordinary soil. Nothing special about it. Interesting. Zhang Tuohai threw the dirt to the ground. Looking at both sides of the corridor, he waited for a while to confirm that there was no second person, then opened the door and entered the dormitory. The dormitory is a single dormitory with a table, a bed, and a small bathroom. There are several sets of school uniforms of the same style hanging in the closet. There is a class schedule posted on the table. There are some textbooks on the bookshelf. Nothing else. What kind of aristocratic school is this? Each person has a dormitory. Zhang Tuohai looked around and felt that it was better than the single room he lived in before. Zhang Tuohai took a simple shower, then lay on the bed, thinking about the situation he encountered today. A disciplinary committee member named Lioli. A strange guy with an axe. A file of black and white photos. Dead people disappearing. Weapons turning into soil. It always feels like some kind of game. The weirdest thing is, that guy called me an accomplice of Angel? Who is Angel? I really don't think I've helped anyone. Zhang Tuohai thought for a long time, but had no idea. The intelligence is still too little. We need to collect more information tomorrow. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai fell asleep on the bed. In the early morning of the next day, Zhang Tuohai was awakened by the ringing of bells. After simply washing his face and changing clothes, Zhang Tuohai came to the corridor. He found that the doors of other dormitories were open, and the students were walking outside in twos and threes. They seemed to be no different from ordinary students. Zhang Tuohai followed those people all the way to the cafeteria. Then I saw many people queuing up at the window to order food with their meal tickets. Zhang Tuohai touched his pocket, which was cleaner than his own face. Where are we going to eat here? How about borrowing some meal tickets from someone? Zhang Tuohai searched for the target in the crowd. Scanned twice and saw Lioli sitting in the corner of the cafeteria eating a maple tofu rice bowl. Lioli opened her mouth slightly, like a kitten, 
and blew gently for a few times before putting a full spoonful of tofu into her mouth. Well, Lioli made a satisfied sound, her face full of intoxication. The tofu is a bit old, not so tender, and too much brine was added. Zhang Tuohai is an expert when it comes to tofu. He can tell the quality of the tofu just by looking at it. In Dong Tuohai's eyes, this tofu is only at the passing level, apprentice level. The chef's skills are also average, at most 60 points and cannot be any higher. But the girl looked satisfied. Obviously, she had not seen much of the world. Hearing Zhang Tuai's comment, Lioli opened her eyes. Although she didn't speak, her calm gaze expressed her attitude. She seemed a little angry. You don't believe it. Do you? If I have a chance, I can make it for you once. Then you will know what real Mapo tofu is like. By the way, do you have any extra meal tickets? Lend me two. Chapter 1246 Angel Looking at Zhang Tuai's smile, Lioli stared at Zhang Tuai for a while, and finally sighed helplessly, and took out a stack of meal tickets from his pocket. Zhang Tuai scanned around and found that almost all of the meal tickets in the girl's hands were Maypo tofu rice bowls. The girl selected from them for a long time before choosing a meal ticket of udon noodles and handed it to Zhang Tuai. A meal of kindness will never be forgotten. Zhang Tuai quickly picked up his meal ticket and ran to the window to queue. Fortunately. A lot of udon noodles have been pre-made in the kitchen. They only need to be heated before serving. There is no need to cook them freshly, which saves a lot of time. It only took Zhang to a high five minutes to come back with udon noodles. However, at this time, Lioli had already finished eating and left. Eating so fast? Zhang to a high was a little surprised that Lioli finished the maple tofu rice bowl in less than five minutes. He thought it would take him at least 20 minutes. To be honest, Zhang Tuahai doesn't like the taste of udon noodles. In comparison, he prefers rice noodles. Unfortunately, there aren't many choices here. Zhang Tuahai ate all the udon noodles. Just as he was about to leave with the bowl, suddenly a girl in school uniform with burgundy hair sat in front of Zhang Tuahai. In addition to the school uniform, the other party wore a pair of semi-transparent black stockings on his legs. It makes a pair of long legs more slender and straight. The slight pinching feeling at the edge of the stockings makes people feel itchy. Are you new here? I'm sorry for my subordinate's recklessness yesterday. The girl said. Yesterday? You mean the guy with the axe? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. Changed the way I hold the chopsticks. At this time, the chopsticks became a dagger in his hand. If the girl opposite made the slightest move, he could insert the chopsticks into her throat. Yes. Morshu is always impetuous when doing things. But how about you kill him once? and make it even this time. The girl leaned on the chair and said, Killed once? This guy survived? Zhang Tuohai caught the information in the other party's words. Yes, right over there. The girl pointed into the distance. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction of the girl's finger and found a table in the diagonal corner of the cafeteria. A blue-haired guy was eating a burger with his head down, although far apart. But Zhang Tuohai was sure that it was the guy whose head he shot last night. It's really a magical world. Zhang Tuo aside, if everyone could be resurrected quickly, then they wouldn't be able to kill it well like in other worlds. You have to figure out the mechanism. I accept your apology. I think you are here not just to apologize, but tell me your purpose. Zhang Tuo I asked with a smile. If I guess correctly, you are new here. Right. You arrived probably from yesterday afternoon to evening? The girl asked. Yes. Can I ask how you saw it? Zhang Tuohai felt that the other party seemed to know a lot of information, and there was no point in lying. So he simply admitted it. It's very simple. We come here to eat every day. This is your first time in the cafeteria. It's so easy to determine the time of your arrival. The girl said. Isn't that right? There are at least several thousand people in this cafeteria. It's not that easy to find a new face among thousands of people. Could it be that you know all these thousands of people? Zhang Tuohai asked. There are only a few thousand people here. If you could live here for decades, you would know everyone here. Decades? So you were already in a basin? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. Don't you think it's rude to say such things to a young girl? The girl slapped her hands on the table and stood up. Zhang Tuohai could see the stretched veins on the other person's forehead. It's just a bit of truth. Tell me your purpose. Zhang Tuohai leaned back slightly and opened the distance. Stay away from the angels and join us. The girl said word by word. Who is the angel? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. He heard this word from last night. That's the woman you were eating with, the girl said. It turns out she is an angel. She is indeed very cute and deserves the title of angel. 
Zhang Tuohai recalled Lili's face, which was cold and touching. Indeed a bit angelic. Hey, is this the point? The veins on the girl's forehead became higher. If you follow her, she will disappear. The girl almost growled. Disappear? What does that mean? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course it means literally. Disappearing from this world. Completely disappearing. Leaving no trace behind. The girl said. Like that guy last night? More thorough than that. The girl took a deep breath. Do you know why she helped you so kindly? Just to make you disappear. She helps you just to let you integrate into normal campus life like a normal person. In this way, it will disappear completely. Don't let her cute appearance fool you. So what? So, if you don't want to disappear, you can't live a normal campus life like ordinary students. Join us as we fight against the tyranny of the angels. Take back what is ours. The girl stretched out her hand. Do you have a meal ticket? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked. Of course. What's wrong? The girl took out a handful of meal tickets from her pocket. Thank you. Zhang Tuohai grabbed the meal ticket and stuffed it into his pocket. Food for the next few days has been secured. Hey, where are you going? The girl shouted at Zhang Tuohai's back. Go to class. Of course. Zhang Tuohai said without looking back. Stupid guy. The girl was going crazy. It was in vain that she had been talking for so long. And it turned out to be all in vain. The most hateful thing is that Zhang Tuohai actually took away all her meal tickets. She doesn't have a meal ticket in her pocket now. Sister, what should you do if you don't have a meal ticket? A strong man walked up to the girl and asked. Notice down. Operation Hurricane will be held tonight. However, it has been less than a week since the last operation. If it is too frequent, will it attract the attention of the angels? Huh? The girl turned her head coldly and stared at the strong man. Okay. I'll make arrangements right away. The strong man hurriedly went to inform. Damn guy! The girl looked at Zhang Tuohai's back. At this time, Zhang Tuohai walked out of the cafeteria. He followed the students towards the teaching building. He didn't really want to go to class, but directly grabbed a student and asked, Do you know which class the discipline committee member is in? Chapter 1247 Physics Repentance From the mouths of those students, Zhang Tuohai soon learned about Liuli's class. Zhang Tuohai entered Liuli's class leisurely. The class was very quiet. Everyone was immersed in self-study. Zhang Tuohai saw Liuli at a glance. He was sitting in a corner reading quietly. Zhang Tuohai walked over and sat next to Liuli. Why are you here? Liuli looked at Zhang Tuohai curiously. I have a disease. A disease where I can't learn without you. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Is it a mental illness? If diagnosed, I can help you apply for class adjustment. Liuli looked at Zhang Tuohai and said seriously. She actually believed it. Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he looked at Liuli's serious eyes. He could confirm that Liuli really believed the low-quality lies he told casually. This. Zhang Tuohai felt a sense of guilt that he hadn't felt for a long time. Then, please. Zhang Tuohai opened his mouth. But in the end, he couldn't bear to tell the truth to Liuli. It is still necessary to protect an innocent child. After a while, the class bell rang, and a middle-aged man with shaky hair entered the classroom and began to lecture. Zhang Tuohai listened for a while and felt a little bored. After all, it has been many years since I graduated, and I will definitely feel bored when I return to class. With nothing to do, Zhang Tuohai turned to look at Liuli beside him. Liuli was holding her cheek with one hand and listening to the lecture carefully with a pen in the other hand, writing down knowledge points in her notes from time to time. The handwriting on the notes was neat and elegant, and a strand of silver hair hung down from behind the ear, falling to the long table. Lioli skillfully tucked her long hair behind her ears and continued writing on the blackboard. In a daze, Zhang Tuohai had the illusion that he was back in school. At that time, he had a deskmate who also had long hair. Although, he can no longer remember the other party's appearance. But the action of pulling up the hair is the same. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly saw a red laser point shaking on Lioli's head. Get down! Zhang Tuohai pressed down on Lioli's head and squatted down. Boom! A bullet flew over the two men's heads, shattering the glass on the window. Zhang Tuohai turned his head and looked in the direction of the bullet. A man in school uniform was holding an M16 with a laser sight. Court death! The dreams of the past were shattered, which made Zhang Tuohai very angry. Then he grabbed a pen that fell on the ground and threw it towards the man. Puff! The pen penetrated directly into the man's skull, bringing out a pool of blood. Plop! The body fell down. Are you okay? 
Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked with concern. It's okay. Liu Li nodded, then stood up from under the desk and walked towards the door. Come back. They have guns. Zhang Tuohai grabbed Liu Li. I'm the disciplinary committee member. Liu Li said and walked out of the classroom. Uh huh. A man with blue hair and a giant axe suddenly jumped out from the corner and struck Liu Li with a giant axe in his hand. Liu Li held the giant axe with one hand, lifted the blue haired guy up, and then threw it to the ground with his backhand. Illegal use of weapons on campus. Violation of school rules. Weapons confiscated. I entered the solitary room to think about my day, Liu Li said, grabbing the giant axe and using one hand to force the giant axe into two pieces. The giant axe turned into dirt all over the ground. Liu Li pressed the blue haired guy to the door of a room with a steel door and locked the guy in. He just attacked you with a weapon. And he was only detained for one day. Zhang Tuohai was a little confused. That's what it says in the school rules. All right. Looking at Liu Li with a serious look on his face, Zhang Tuohai felt that the argument was fruitless. It's class time now. We should go back to class. Liu Li said. I just have a stomachache and want to go to the toilet. You should go back first. I will go back later. Although it was wonderful to reminisce about the school days with Liu Li, Zhang Tuohai felt that it would be better to ask for some information. Do you need to see the school doctor? The medicines there are very complete. Liu Li asked. No. Thank you. I just need to go to the bathroom. You can go back to class quickly. Zhang Tuohai was a little helpless. Okay. Then be careful. If you feel uncomfortable, you must go to the school doctor. If you don't know the way, you can come to me. After Liu Li finished speaking, she thoughtfully took out a pack of tissues from her pocket and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. Watching Liu Li disappear around the corner, Zhang Tuohai entered the password and opened the door to the confinement room. There was nothing in the solitary room except a single bed, surrounded by bare walls. There was a small transom window with thumb-thick iron railings, and the shadow of the fan slowly rotated on the wall. The blue-haired guy was lying on the single bed in a daze. Seeing Zhang Tuohai come in, the blue-haired man was stunned. You were also imprisoned by that damn guy? The blue-haired man asked. No, I came here specifically for you. Zhang Tuohai walked up to the blue-haired man with a smile and punched him in the face. Boom, with a muffled sound. The blue-haired nose bone was broken. What are you doing? The blue-haired man was sitting on the ground with his head buzzing. What are you doing? Just beat you and don't study hard. Boom, Zhang Tuohai punched the blue-haired man in the face again, and the other man's face swelled instantly. I'll beat you for openly armed with weapons and hurting people on campus. Boom. Zhang Tuohai punched the blue-haired man on the left side of his face, which also became swollen. It's asymmetrical. It's a little bigger here. Zhang Tuohai slapped the blue-haired man on the right cheek with his backhand. It's bigger here again. Zhang Tuohai slapped him again. The blue-haired man was beaten blind, and he wanted to stand up to resist. But Zhang Tuohai punched him to the ground, then straddled him and pinned him to the ground and beat him. After hundreds of punches, the blue-haired head was swollen like a pig's head, and a line of game prompt slowly appeared. Jax's inner conscience has been awakened, and he has regretted his previous mistakes. Wouldn't it be fine if I had repented earlier? Zhang Tuohai grabbed the blue hair and pushed it against the wall and asked, Tell me why you are attacking Liu Li. Liu Li? Who is Liu Li? The blue-haired man looked confused. It's an angel. Zhang Tuohai was speechless. After fighting for so long, these guys didn't even know each other's names. I don't know what to do. Angel. Because she wants us to disappear. That's why we keep attacking her. Disappear. How to disappear? Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes. It just disappeared from this world without a trace. Without any trace. The blue-haired person said. Chapter 1248 The Truth of the World Disappear completely from this world? That's right. It just disappeared completely. The blue hair affirmed. How long have you been here? Zhang Tuohai suddenly remembered the words of the girl in black stockings. The woman seemed to have said that she had been here for decades. He thought it was a joke. Is this true? It's probably been a few decades. Because it restarts every year. Although the memory will not be reset. All the facilities will be restored. Even if they are carved on stone. They will be restored to their original state. Therefore, I can't remember how many times I have been reincarnated. But it will last for decades. The blue-haired man said, has the world always been like this? Zhang Tuohai asked. This has always been like this since I got here. From what my senior said, it seems to be the same. Come here. You are not an aboriginal here? How did you get here? 
Zhang Tuohai felt that he had grasped important information. I came here after death. This is the world after death. Only death can come. The blue-haired man said matter-of-factly. The world after death. No wonder. Zhang Tuohai nodded clearly. No wonder I use black and white photos to make the file. Everything is explained clearly. Where do your weapons come from? Why do they turn into dirt after being broken? Zhang Tuohai continued to ask. My weapon was made in a factory. As for the fact that it turns into clay. It is because it is made of clay. The blue-haired man said. Not only axes. But also guns. Swords. And all kinds of weapons are made of clay. It's interesting to be able to make weapons out of clay. Take me to see it. Zhang Tuohai became interested and pushed the other party out of the confinement room. Here, Blue Hair led Zhang Tuohai to an old warehouse. This is a forbidden area for students. We found that angels would not come. So we built the base here. The blue haired man said and pushed open the door of the old warehouse. The inside was very clean. And there were many small carts in the corner, which looked like they were frequently used. In the center of the old warehouse, there is a ramp going down with electric lights installed on both sides of the ramp. It's right here. Just keep walking. The blue haired man led the way and John Tuohai followed behind. When we reached the bottom of the ramp, the front suddenly became clear. Ahead is a large open area with dozens of huge machines placed and huge machines are being manufactured one after another. Several were gun production lines. John Tuohai saw pistols, shotguns, submachine guns, and even M16 assault rifles. In addition, there are C4 explosives, large generators, excavators, and giant electric fans. Various items were manufactured like running water and piled up in the open space. And there were more and more various things. Everything here is made of dirt, including the machines. The blue-haired man said, What about the original machine? Who made it? Zhang Tuohai became interested. If he could obtain similar technology, would he be able to have unlimited resources in other worlds? Whatever is needed. Just change it with soil. Only the eldest sister knows this. The eldest sister personally presides over the restart work every year. Who is the eldest sister? Zhang Tuohai asked. The eldest sister is the one who talked to you in the morning. It turned out to be her. Then where is she now? Zhang Tuohai asked. It should be in the principal's office. That's the eldest sister's headquarters. If nothing happens, she will be there. By the way, there are surveillance cameras in various places in the principal's office. Including here. The blue-haired man said pointing to the surveillance camera not far away. So, she is looking here? John Tuohai asked. Indeed it is. Then I'll give her a big gift. John Tuohai picked up a small cart. Picked up a cart of C4 bombs. Pushed them to the entrance of the tunnel. And then lit them. Boom! A mushroom cloud rose from the ground. Huge smoke and dust swept across the campus. And the violent explosion directly collapsed a large section of the tunnel. At the same time, in the principal's office, a pair of slender legs wrapped in black silk were placed on the principal's huge desk without any image. The girl with burgundy hair was lying lazily in the gaming chair, holding a comic and reading it with gusto. Suddenly, a violent explosion shattered the windows of the principal's office. Strong wind blew in and blew the gaming chair out, causing her to almost lose her legs. What happened? The girl jumped up from the chair, stepped on the thick carpet with her feet, and walked towards the window. As soon as he came to the window, he saw a fist coming towards him. Boom. The girl fell to the ground with her head up. Before she could react, John Tuohai climbed in from the window, sat on her body, and pounded his fists like raindrops. After being taught a prodigal son slap in the face, the girl finally realized her mistake. Infinite regret arose in my heart. A line of game prompts popped up. Fei Yu realizes her mistake and is determined to correct her mistake. Tell me where you went wrong. John Tuohai asked coldly. I shouldn't use others to fulfill my wish of immortality. Feiyue burst into tears. What's going on? Tell me in detail. Feiyue told the story of the past. It turns out that this place was originally a paradise to fulfill the last wishes of the dead. And the purpose was to fulfill the final wishes of those souls. As long as someone's wish is fulfilled, he will transcend into reincarnation. Feiyue is unwilling to enter reincarnation and wants to stay here forever, achieve immortality, and maintain eternal youth. But she was also worried that she would be too lonely. So she made up reasons and lied to others. If they followed the rules, they would disappear. Leaving those people without relief and could only stay here and accompany her all the time. As for the angel, it is an imaginary enemy created by her. 
Lioli was originally just an ordinary student. But he could use computers to modify himself and make himself more powerful. Coupled with simplicity and the habit of adhering to rules. They US set them as a common enemy. Surround yourself closely with other people. You are really... Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. Call your team members here. One by one. Zhang Tuohai said. Good. The Yue began to call the members. These people entered the principal's office one by one. And were taught physics by Zhang Tuohai. And they all successfully realized their mistakes. You are all suggesting to yourself in your heart that there is nothing left to miss in this world. And you can enter reincarnation. Zhang Tuohai issued orders to those people. These people began to hypnotize themselves. And then one by one, they turned into glaze and disappeared without a trace. So, what is that thing that can make weapons out of soil? Zhang Tuohai turned his head and looked at Fei Yue who stayed here. Chapter 1249 Copying the Ring Heart of Glazed Glass Zhang Tuohai looked at the place where Fei Yue disappeared, leaving behind a crystal red ring. Copy ring, as long as the entity is injected. The item can be manufactured in batches. Note 1. Raw materials are needed to make items. Note 2. Depending on the raw materials, the actual performance of the product will also vary. Currently copied samples, zero. Every time the owner changes, the replica will be cleared? What a scam. Zhang Tuohai was a little helpless about this. However, the effect of this ring is really good. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and put Winchester and number 12 shotgun into the replica ring. Winchester and number 12 shotgun appeared in the replica sample. Zhang Tuohai tried to use clay to make line. The mound of dirt disappeared, replaced by a Winchester shotgun. Zhang Tuohai tested the effect of the new gun on the sofa. There seems to be no shortcomings except that the structural strength of the firearm is a bit poor and the accuracy of the firearm is a bit low. This thing seems to be very useful. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he looked at the replica ring. The significance of this thing is not only that it can copy and manufacture various weapons anytime and anywhere. It can even be used to demolish buildings and various war machines. For example, he encountered a battle fortress or a strong building. And he could not defeat the opponent by normal methods. Then he can completely use the characteristics of the replicating ring to use the opponent as raw materials. Directly copy a bunch of items. And directly dismantle the opponent. I just don't know if it has any effect on living objects. It would be interesting if it worked. John Tuohai put the replica ring on his hand and walked out of the principal's office door. At this time, the school was completely empty. With not even a single person in sight. The setting sun hangs in the sky, stretching people's shadows very long. Zhang Tuohai walked aimlessly on campus. Unknowingly, Zhang Tuohai came to Lioli's class. The class was empty except for Lioli, who was still sitting at the table, taking notes. Under the shining of the setting sun, a golden edge was outlined on Lioli's body. The afterglow of the setting sun shines on Lioli's long eyelashes, dancing up and down with her gently blinking eyes. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but stop breathing. For fear of breaking this beautiful moment, it seemed that he was aware of Bong Tuohai's gaze. Lioli raised her head. Lioli smiled slightly and arranged the books. Thank you. Everyone has left. I have to leave too. No. I still have one wish that I haven't fulfilled yet. Can you wait a little longer? After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he grabbed Lioli and walked towards the cafeteria. At this time, there was no one in the cafeteria. Zhang Tuohai entered the kitchen and found all the ingredients he needed. Clean a frozen chicken. Blanch it. And make soup. Pour the tofu into water with chicken stock so that the tofu is soaked with the flavor of the chicken stock and get rid of the beany smell. Stir fry the Sichuan peppercorns until fragrant. Remove the base ingredients. Add the minced meat. Add the tofu. Add a little chicken broth. Reduce the soup with water starch. And finally top with a touch of minced meat. Sichuan peppercorn oil and coriander. This is the way to make maple tofu that Zhang Tuohai himself thought up. Although it may be said to be unauthentic. He likes to eat it very much. Zhang Tuohai brought a plate full of maple tofu to Lioli. This is the maple tofu I promised you. Try it. Zhang Tuohai said. Thanks. Just smelling the aroma. Lioli swallowed involuntarily. Lioli picked up the spoon. Gently scooped up a piece of tofu. Blew on it slowly. And slowly put it into her mouth as if she was enjoying the most exquisite delicacy in the world. A numb and spicy feeling filled the mouth. However, these numbness and spiciness became less intense and became mild after being neutralized by the juice. The tofu is no longer plain and bland, but has a salty and fresh taste. Several flavors spread out in the mouth at the same time, but they are not messy. 
making people have endless aftertaste. Hmm, delicious. The spoon in Lioli's hand moved quickly, bringing piece after piece of tofu to her mouth. A drop of sweat appeared on the tip of her small nose, which reflected the colorful light under the sunset. Eat slowly. John Tuahai took out the tissue Lioli gave him and wiped the sweat from Lioli's nose. A plate of maple tofu was not much, so Lioli finished it quickly. I'll help you serve some more. John Tuahai stood up. As soon as he turned around, he felt a soft body hugging him from behind. Thank you. Goodbye. Zhang Tuohai felt something hot inside his body. Get the heart of glass. A crystal clear heart. Effect, warmth. Everyone who is close to you will feel warm and relaxed. Your favorability will be plus 10, and your recovery speed will be increased by 100%. The soft body turned into glaze, and disappeared together, with the last ray of the setting sun. Darkness enveloped the cafeteria. This was the first time that Zhang Tuohai felt that equipment was not that important. If possible, he would rather not have this piece of equipment in exchange for the opportunity to pick up Lioli. Perhaps there will be a solution when we reach the ninth floor. Zhang Tuohai looked towards the endless darkness. At the end of that darkness was the ninth floor of the City of Trials. Once there, everything would come to an end. The copy is over, and the evaluation is being settled. Copy Evaluation, SSS Level Player Zhang Tuohai has obtained a perfect treasure chest. Please check it. A treasure box shining with golden light fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure box. Inside is a pure white wing. Angel feather, after use. An angel will be summoned to come. Is it you? Zhang Tuohai picked up the angel feather, looked at it for a while, and then silently put it into his windbreaker. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai appeared in the living room of his home again. It was already night, and outside the window were the bright lights of thousands of houses. Lilith poked her head out of the kitchen. You're back? You just finished cooking. Go wash your hands. From now on, go play on the shoe mat at the door. Don't always stay in the living room. The floor I just mopped is full of dust again. Lilith gave a kick, and the sweeping robot ran over and started working. Zhang Tuohai was rushed to the bathroom by Lilith, and his coat and pants were thrown into the washing machine. What did you do to make it smell so good? Zhang Tuohai washed his hands and asked curiously. Mop a tofu. I'm new to this. Come try it, and give me your review. Lilith brought up maple tofu, white tofu, red chili oil, brown mince meat, and green coriander. Although it is not as particular about the presentation as the hotel, it has a touch of home-cooked warmth. Zhang Tuohai took a sip, and the spicy, salty, and fresh flavors blended into one in his mouth, just like what he made. How about it? Lilith held her face in her hands, and looked at Zhang Tuohai with a smile. Delicious! Chapter 1250 Sorry. I didn't mean it either. After dinner, the task of washing dishes was naturally handed over to Zhang Tuohai. After washing the dishes, Zhang Tuohai washed the fruits, took another plate of nuts, and sat on the sofa with Lilith to watch TV. Neither of them looked at their phones, and Lilith didn't ask Zhang Tuohai what was going on in the copy. After casually watching two episodes of the popcorn variety show, the two said goodnight to each other and went back to their rooms to sleep. The next morning, Zhang Tuohai woke up at dawn. I went out and ran around the community twice to stretch my muscles and feel better. I bought two bowls of wontons at a breakfast stall with extra pepper, and bought a cup of soy milk with extra sugar for Lilith before I returned home. As soon as he returned home, Zhang Tuohai saw Lilith holding the bedroom door and looking at him. Seeing him holding breakfast in his hand, he smiled. I was planning to make scallion noodles. But why did I remember to buy breakfast? Lilith took out a big bowl and helped Zhang Tuohai pour the wontons into the bowl. I often ate it when I was a kid. When I saw it, I thought, how does it taste? Zhang Tuohai pushed Lilith's share over. It's very good. I'll study how to do it later. When the time comes, if you want to eat, you can eat it anytime. After breakfast, Zhang Tuohai picked up his phone and started browsing the forum. The popularity has dropped a bit today, but there are still many people sharing their first experiences in the dungeon. There are also some people who boast that they have obtained new jobs through the superpowers they obtained in dungeons, or they have exchanged things for large sums of money and achieved financial freedom. It attracts the envy of many people. In the eyes of many people, they don't care how far they can go in the trial game. What is real is what they can catch in time. There is also a part of me that simply feels that I can't go far and just wants to leave some protection for my family. Zhang Tuohai didn't want to comment on what these people thought. Everyone had their own ideals and beliefs and he couldn't say much. 
however. Zhang Tuohai noticed one thing. That is, few people disclose their second copy information. Even relevant posts are few and far between. However, the trading market is very prosperous. And many societies and organizations offer large sums of money to acquire everything produced in the copy. Many things have price lists. The big clubs have strong information. How about finding a club to get some information? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. He can be sure that with his current strength, if he wants to find a club to join, it will definitely be an elite member level. And maybe he can be promoted to management. But when he thinks about the trivial matters of the management, Zhang Tuohai becomes lazy. Forget it. It's too much trouble. Let's talk about it later. Zhang Tuohai postponed joining the club indefinitely. Although he had no intention of joining the club, a piece of news caught his eye. Bring a dungeon. A battle royale world. A team led by an SS level evaluation master. Guaranteed to get at least an A level evaluation. Three tenths of the team's quota. And the ticket price will be discussed privately. A series of comments below the post. Damn it. It's rated SS. And it only has a B level rating. I shed lemon tears. Guaranteed A level rating? The price is not low. Right? The mortality rate in a battle royale is very high. My dungeon is a battle royal type. And less than 10 of the more than 100 companions survive. How do you ensure the safety of the boss? Who will be responsible if he dies? How will the pension be compensated? Soon a large number of comments accumulated under the post. Questioning the post. However, the owner of the post remained silent. Zhang Tuohai is very interested in the post. Are battle royal type dungeons so easy to clear? Can anyone give an SS level rating? Zhang Tuohai wanted to try it. He took out his designated copy of the ticket. After thinking for a while, I wrote the words, Battle Royale, on it. The selected Battle Royale type copy is being selected. Select successfully. Start transmission. Etc. Before Zhang Tuohai could finish his words, he was enveloped in white light. It's broken. I didn't go to the foyer to teleport. I will be scolded by Lilith again when I come back. Zhang Tuohai thought with some annoyance. The white light dissipated, and Zhang Tuohai found himself in front of an ancient castle. In an open space, there were more than 30 people wearing gray clothes standing, and Zhang Tuohai was one of them. But outside, he also had a black coat. In front of them was a middle-aged man wearing a putty coat and a hunter's hat, holding a double-barreled shotgun in his hand. The middle-aged man's eyes are as sharp as an eagle's. Behind him stood a man in fine clothing. The man was also wearing a hunting suit. He had an eye patch on one eye and turned out to be a one-eyed dragon. At his feet were five or six hounds, all of them staring eagerly at everyone and baring their teeth at them. On the other side, there was a girl in a tight leather jacket with a black veil and a beautiful dagger in her hand, looking at everyone with interest. At this time, the middle-aged man at the head spoke. Now I will give you half an hour to escape. After half an hour, we will start to pursue you. The time limit is three days. If you can escape my pursuit within three days, not only can you get the promised reward, but you can also ask me for help. Make a wish. I hope you can give me an interesting hunt. Then the hunt begins now. Boom. The middle-aged man fired a shot into the air. The other 29 people all turned around and ran towards the jungle. Only Zhang Tuohai stood there. You won't run? The middle-aged man asked while loading the shotgun in his hand. Boom. Gunfire rang out. It was not the shotgun that went off but Zhang Tuohai's Winchester. A Winchester freshly made from clay. The middle-aged man's upper body was beaten into a sieve and fell into a pool of blood. That's it? Zhang Tuohai almost laughed. Just for a moment. He was still here. How dare you kill Mr. Hall? The one-eyed dragon was shocked and angry when he saw this and let go of the rope in his hand. The five hounds stood up suddenly and pounced on Zhang Tuohai. Bang, bang, bang. Zhang Tuohai retreated pulled the bolt of the gun, and pulled the trigger. The number 12 projectiles formed a steel barrage, covering all the places in front of Zhang Tuohai. As soon as the five hounds rushed over, they were swept away by the overwhelming bullets. And in the blink of an eye they turned into seas. You're the only one who lets the dog bite people. Right. Zhang Tuohai walked over and put Winchester on the one-eyed dragon's head. The one-eyed dragon trembled all over and fell to his knees with a thud. Please, don't kill me. Then tell me. Why did you let the dog bite me just now? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. I... I didn't mean it. The one-eyed dragon stuttered. Boom. Winchester's gunfire rang out. And accompanied by smoke, the body of the Cyclops fell to the ground. Sorry. I didn't mean it either. 
Chapter 1251 Sliding Shovel Hey! There's one last one left! Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked for the last woman wearing a close-fitting leather coat and veil. But the woman had disappeared. But there was a vague figure flashing past the gate of the castle. Hiding in the castle? Let me see where you will hide. Don't let me find you. Zhang Tuohai pulled the gun bolt and carried Winchester into the castle. The castle is very gorgeously decorated. With velvet curtains, handmade carpets, sterling silver crystal chandeliers, and huge famous murals, which look very majestic. But there is no trace of anyone. Where is it? Zhang Tuohai had a headache looking at the huge castle. It would be unrealistic to search such a big castle by himself. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai took out two recruitment orders and released two protective umbrella security guards. Each one was equipped with a full set of combat uniforms and submachine guns, which was very suitable for indoor operations in such a complex and small area. Find everyone here and kill them! Zhang Tuohai ordered. Yes! The two umbrella security guards accepted the order, went up the stairs to the second floor, and began searching upwards. Two people are still too few. How about summoning two more? When Zhang Tuohai was about to summon again, he suddenly had an idea. Can this kind of recruitment order also be used to copy? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai took out another recruitment order and placed it on the replica ring. The recruitment order was actually absorbed. It really works. Zhang Tuohai was a little surprised. Then how to make it? Can it be made of clay? Or wood? Zhang Tuohai put his hand on the long wooden table. The long table turned into raw materials and disappeared. Then, a security guard wearing a black combat uniform and an umbrella appeared in front of him. The equipment was the same as the previous security guard. You also go to the second floor to search. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The security guard immediately turned around and climbed to the second floor with his gun raised. It's really good. Seeing that the method was effective, Zhang Tuohai had an idea. He began to walk around the hall on the first floor and everything that could be seen with the naked eye turned into raw materials, not to mention ordinary furniture decoration. Zhang Tuohai even demolished all the floor tiles and non-load-bearing walls. The entire castle was completely demolished, leaving only the bare load-bearing walls. And Zhang Tuohai also accumulated dozens of umbrella security guards. When Zhang Tuohai wanted to continue manufacturing, he found that his strength was no longer enough to support it. No wonder the Crimson Guy just built a bunch of machines and let others produce them. It turns out that power has limits and cannot be used without limit. Zhang Tuohai had an idea in mind. However, it is enough for dozens of heavily armed security guards to search a castle. They formed a tactical team, blocked all entrances and exits of the castle, and entered every room to conduct searches. Smash everything in sight. In the face of this kind of violent search, there is no way to escape. The woman in the tights was quickly caught. This woman had good hands and nimble movements and she was able to kill six umbrella security guards in the room with just a short sword. If she were allowed to enter the jungle, she would probably be difficult to deal with. But unfortunately, she was blocked in the castle. Although she was very fast, she couldn't dodge the covering fire from the submachine gun. It was directly beaten into a sieve by bullets. Zhang Tuohai walked over and shot the opponent's head to pieces. This should be the fastest dungeon to clear. Right. Zhang Tuohai calculated that it took him less than half an hour from entering the dungeon to completing it. Most of the time was spent on finding people. The fight was short. Less than a minute in total. It is indeed a very good copy. Zhang Tuohai gave a very pertinent evaluation. The copy is over and the evaluation is being calculated. Copy evaluation, SSS level. The player gets a perfect treasure chest. A golden treasure box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure chest. A scroll appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Acquire skills. Slide shovel. Sliding shovel. After using this skill, you will definitely be able to kick the opponent in the mouth. By activating the distance, you can visually see the opponent's mouth. Concept level skills? It's a bit strong. Zhang Tuohai read the skill description and felt that this skill was very interesting. Especially since it must hit the opponent's mouth. There are many tricks that can be done here. Not only can it be used for attack, but it also seems to be good for displacement. I just don't know if I grab the railing and use a skill, whether I should kick it out with the railing, or suck the opponent over and let the opponent hit his feet. Zhang Tuohai thinks this is a necessary attempt. However, the stay was over. A ray of white light brought Zhang Tuohai home. Walking around in the living room with shoes on again. As soon as Zhang Tuohai appeared, he heard Lilith's roar. Lilith was wearing an apron and a dust hat on her head, and was sweeping the dust with a broom in her hand. 
I saw Zhang Tuohai waving the broom helplessly. Next time. Definitely next time. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly ran to the hall, put on his slippers, then took the broom and helped Lilith clean the room. Humph. You know what's going on. Lilith picked up the rag and stood on the stool to wipe the lampshade. The two of them worked all morning to clean the room. After finishing it, both of them were sweating. Lilith took her clothes and went to take a shower. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to cook anymore. Turned on his phone, ordered a takeaway, and took a bite. Wait until evening to make a good meal. While waiting for the meal, Zhang Tuohai lay on the sofa and browsed the forum. Originally, he was preparing to eat salted fish for a few days. After all, in less than three days, he had already cleared six dungeons and received three SSS level evaluations. At this stage, the vast majority of players have not even started their second copy. Zhang Tuohai's record is enough to stand out among the heroes. Zhang Tuohai also felt a little tired and wanted to rest for a while. But a job posting on the front page piqued his interest. The zombie genre world recruits mercenaries. Task description, clean up zombies. Mission requirements, bring your own weapons and ammunition. Powerful weapons against zombies are preferred. Mission reward, everything you can take away. Zhang Tuohai read the recruitment request several times with a playful look on his face. This recruitment requirement actually requires you to bring your own weapons and take care of your own ammunition. But you need to get the rewards yourself. This is obviously a recruitment scam. But it is different for Zhang Tuohai. He has a replicating ring that can replicate a large number of umbrella security guards. If he can't do anything else, clearing out a territory will not be a problem. Moreover, the ammunition consumed was local soil. So this business was a sure profit for him. Try it! Zhang Tuohai casually clicked to join. Chapter 1252 Tearing Down the Wall In Zhang Tuohai's opinion, this recruitment will not succeed at all. And even if it succeeds, it will take at least a few days. He could totally use this time to rest and show off. However, he underestimated the number of great injustices in this world. The 100 recruitment quotas were filled up in an instant. Recruitment completed. Transmission is about to begin. Please be prepared. Zhang Tuohai, after seeing the system prompt, Zhang Tuohai was stunned for a moment. Shocked by the number of wrongdoers in this world. Then, the second reaction was to rush to the shoe changing area at the door. As soon as Zhang Tuohai rushed to the place, the teleported white light enveloped him. When Zhang Tuohai could see the situation clearly, he appeared on the roof of a tall building. A hundred players gathered around. Most of these players hold a variety of cold weapons in their hands, including crowbars, machetes, baseball bats, fire axes, and chainsaws. There are also some people holding firearms. But these people are rare. Maybe there are some people who have it, but haven't taken it out yet. However, considering that this is the second time many people have joined the dungeon, it seems understandable that the equipment is rudimentary. In the center of the crowd was a team of five people. This team wore black combat uniforms, with helmets on their heads. No skin was exposed on their bodies. Everyone held a submachine gun in their hands. The more Zhang Tuohai looked at these people, the more familiar they became. He slapped his thigh suddenly. Isn't this the equipment of an umbrella security guard? He was sure that the last copy of these people must have been the umbrella. Otherwise, how could they explain that they got so many original umbrella equipment? At this moment, the game prompt popped up. Copy, zombie world. Main mission, clean up the zombies. Enter the umbrella laboratory. And obtain the virus antidote. After seeing the mission, the unmanned team started to move. They pointed their guns at everyone. Everyone obeyed the order and lined up to rush down the stairwell. We don't have suitable weapons. So you should charge. A player holding a baseball bat said. Boom. There was a gunshot. And there was a bullet hole in the player's head. The body fell to the ground. The surrounding players dispersed instantly. Holding weapons and looking at the person who fired the gun with vigilance. The man sneered. I'm not joking with you. You should leave immediately. Either go out or die here. The rest of the team also raised their submachine guns. Everyone finally understood that the so-called recruitment was just a scam. They were obviously tricked into using them as cannon fodder to attract the zombies' attention. They want to escape from here. However, they were at the top of a tall building with nowhere to escape. It's actually a fishing post. It's unlucky. Zhang Tuohai was a little angry. However, he did not intend to confront these people head-on. Although it can be fought, it requires some preparation time. Zhang Tuohai was ready to take a break and see what other unused skills these people had. He quietly retreated to the edge of the building and looked outside. 
Underneath the building were strewn with car wrecks and watering zombies. It looks like it has been run down for a while. 20 meters away. There was another building. That building was only a few meters lower than this building. There were also several zombies wandering above. Others can't leave. But that doesn't mean he can't leave. He selected a zombie and then used the sliding shovel skill. Then, he flew out directly and kicked the zombie in the mouth. Boom! The zombie was kicked and flew out directly. Zhang Tuohai rolled on the spot, raised his hand, and shot the zombie's head open. Then hid behind the water tower, blocking the view of others. The other zombies wandering on the roof heard the sound and walked towards Zhang Tuohai's direction. But within a few steps, they were shot in the head one by one by Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai was in the last row of everyone, and everyone's attention was focused on that team. No one paid any attention to Zhang Tuohai in the last row. By the time there was a commotion, Zhang Tuohai had already hid behind the water tower. That team also discovered something unusual and rushed over to check the situation. But looking at the distance between the two buildings, they were in trouble. They were not prepared to zip line over such a tall building. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai obviously had a gun. If they rushed over like this, they would probably be ambushed by Zhang Tuohai. Brother, what should I do? One team member asked. Ha! Huh? There's only one person left and right. The city is so big that it can't interfere with our plans. The leader said. Let them move quickly. And we must hurry up with our plan. Yes. The remaining people began to drive other players away from the stairwell. Those players did not dare to resist. So they had no choice but to bite the bullet and enter the stairwell. There were many zombies in the stairwell. And they immediately rushed up excitedly when they saw the living people. The bloody battle between players and zombies begins. Blood splattered. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. Players kept falling down. And zombies were knocked over by players like wheat. Cries of death filled the stairwell. Ping 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 pong. The violent sound attracted more zombies. And the intensity of the battle became even greater. The people in that team frowned. Their purpose of recruiting people is to let other players attract the attention of the zombies and take the opportunity to help them open a channel so that they can smoothly enter the Umbrella Company laboratory. However, the players only accomplished the first point, which was to attract the zombies. But the road was not open. Not only was the road not open, but they themselves were also blocked here. Fark! The leader of the team cursed. However, there is nothing they can do now. You can't kill all the players. Just rush out by yourself. Not to mention how many zombies are gathered outside now. The number of bullets alone is a big problem. If I had known earlier, I would have recruited some powerful characters. The leader of the team groaned secretly. However, as of now, he has no solution and can only continue to wait. At this time, Zhang Tuohai, who was hiding behind the water tower, quietly looked around. And after confirming that there were no zombies, he turned the cement under his feet into raw materials. A large hole suddenly appeared on the originally flat roof. Zhang Tuohai looked around and found that there were no zombies around. So he jumped down. Then, continue to turn the cement floor slab under your feet into raw materials and make holes in the floor slab again. Zhang Tuohai used this method to go down to the bottom of the building layer by layer and avoided most of the zombies. Even if they occasionally encountered one or two, Zhang Tuohai would kill them with a man burying shovel. After arriving on the first floor of the building, Zhang Tuohai looked outside. There were many zombies wandering on the street. And there were also many zombies gathered at the door. Obviously inseparable from the gate. This obviously does not trouble Zhang Tuohai. If the main door cannot be opened, just open a small door in the wall. Zhang Tuohai walked to the side of the building, turned a piece of wall into raw material, and a circular hole appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 1253 Savior Outside the wall is a small street, which is relatively remote and has no people. There is a lot of garbage piled on both sides, and even stray cats are too lazy to visit. Zhang Tuohai sneaked in quietly, seeing that the skill was useful. Zhang Tuohai used the characteristics of the replica ring to continuously dig holes in the city. The destination is also clear, which is Umbrella's laboratory in this city. The target is easy to find. It is the tallest building in the city. The huge sign is hard to find. When Zhang Tuohai pushed all the way to the gate, he found that the outside of the laboratory was full of zombies. There are even a few unusually tall zombies, like mountain giants, which make people doubt whether ordinary firearms are useful. Zhang Tuohai took a few glances at the huge zombie, gave up the attack, and instead started digging downwards. Zhang Tuohai dug all the way down to a large pit 20 meters deep, and then dug towards the laboratory. 
I estimate that after digging about 150 meters. A cement wall suddenly appeared in front of me. Zhang Tuahai knew he had made the right dig. Keep going inside. The cement wall was very thick. Two meters long. And there was a 30 centimeter metal wall behind it. Which was difficult to explode even with explosives. It seems that when it was first built, it was thought to prevent someone from digging tunnels from below to enter the laboratory. This wall was okay for blocking those people. But for Zhang Tuahai, it was useless and soon turned into raw materials. Behind the metal walls are cubicle-like offices, all with transparent glass doors and glass walls. You can see some zombies in white coats wandering around inside. Zhang Tuohai took out the man-burying shovel and walked into the office area. He walked around inside and finally found the floor plan. According to the instructions on the floor plan, his current location is the core office area, which is responsible for processing core test data. And the core laboratory he needs to find is 10 floors down. Why does a cracker have such a deep cache of medicine? Zhang Tuohai found the stairs leading down. However, there are already a few zombies wandering on the stairs. Zhang Tuohai was not afraid and walked up directly, tackling them all with a shovel. Continued down. After killing dozens of ordinary zombies along the way, Zhang Tuohai successfully appeared in the underground core laboratory. Zhang Tuohai was shocked as soon as he entered the core laboratory. Because, a huge monster appeared in the center of the laboratory. This monster was made up of a large number of corpses, and looked like a wriggling mountain of flesh. After seeing Zhang Tuohai, he crawled towards him. What the hell? Zhang Tuohai immediately picked up the shotgun, and shot the meat mountain. But the number 12 shotgun was like a mud cow thrown into the sea. It didn't work at all. He couldn't even slow down the monster. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and opened his mouth suddenly. A mouthful of flame spurted out from his mouth. And then swept across a 120 degree fan shaped area within 10 meters. Everything in this area was on fire. The body that the monster partially entered also burned. Giving off a burnt smell. The monster also let out a high pitched scream. Which made people have goosebumps all over their bodies. It really works. Zhang Tuohai felt happy and continued to use the skill flame breath. Call. The blazing flames burned the monster again. Another part of the monster's body was ignited. And large pieces of flesh were turned into ashes in the flames. The monster has also completed its initial weight loss. The monster knew that he was no match for Zhang Tuohai. So he turned around and ran back. Trying to leave Zhang Tuohai. However, how could Zhang Tuohai allow it to run away like this? He immediately followed up and burned after the monster. The monster found that it couldn't outrun Zhang Tuohai and was ready to turn around and fight Zhang Tuohai. But at this time, Zhang Tuohai did not confront the monster at all. When the monster turned around, he immediately turned around and left. The monster was getting smaller and smaller in the back and forth, and finally turned into ashes in the flames unwillingly. Finally solved. Zhang Tuohai unbuttoned a button and let out the heat in his clothes. Although the battle just now seemed easy, it actually took a lot of effort from him and consumed a lot of his energy. There shouldn't be any monsters behind. Right. Zhang Tuohai walked forward cautiously. After walking a few hundred meters further, Zhang Tuohai came to a laboratory that required Iris unlocking. Zhang Tuohai directly turned the door into raw material and walked in. Inside, there is a sealed freezer with a potion stored in it. Zhang Tuohai opened the ice cube and took out the potion. Obtain the virus antidote and complete the copy after using it. How to use? Zhang Tuohai opened the virus antidote and considered whether to drink it directly. However, as soon as the bottle was opened, the antidote evaporated and disappeared without a trace. The antidote has been released. The zombie virus is extinct. And the surviving humans will rebuild civilization in the ruins. Congratulations on completing your mission. Task Evaluation, SSS. Congratulations to the player for getting a perfect treasure chest. A golden treasure box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. Is this the end? Zhang Tuohai didn't expect that this mission would end so quickly, and he might be able to go back for takeout. He hurriedly opened the treasure chest. Get the title, Savior. Savior, you are the savior of mankind. In disaster type copies, the reputation of the human camp will be automatically increased. The specific increase depends on the type of disaster. Amplifying props for a specific type of world? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and looked at the title. I feel that the effect is okay, but the restrictions are a bit too big. It would be better if the world type could not be limited. However, for Zhang Tuohai, it was completed with almost no effort. So it was a free pick. Of course, all this is a story later. For Zhang Tuohai now, the most important thing is to go home and eat takeout. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. 
Zhang Tuohai returned home and showed up at the shoe changing place. There was still the sound of gurgling water in the bathroom. And it was obvious that Lilith was still taking a bath. Call! Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief and was glad that he secretly participated in the dungeon without being discovered this time. At this time the doorbell rang. It was the takeaway. It's time to go out for dinner. Zhang Tuohai shouted into the bathroom. Then he carried the outside into the kitchen. Outside is braised chicken and rice. One of Zhang Tuohai's favorite takeaways. Lilith came out and handed the hair dryer to Zhang Tuohai. Help me dry my hair. Good. Zhang Tuohai gently fiddled with Lilith's long hair and blew it gently. At the same time, the form area of Trial City exploded. A large number of players, who had narrowly escaped death, entered the forum and exposed the security team's fishing and using other players as bait. This time, it caused an uproar among the players. Chapter 1254 Kill Five People with Warm Rice The city of Trials has just appeared, and players are still used to being honest with each other. They share their experiences in the dungeon with each other, help each other, and overcome difficulties together. However, the security team's actions got off to an extremely bad start. Since then, others may have followed suit. It failed this time. But what if it succeeds next time? Maybe more people will follow suit. This can lead to estrangement among the player community and mutual distrust. I'm afraid no one will take the commission in the future. At that time, when players want to find help, they will have no way to turn to them. This distrust may even be transmitted offline, causing a crisis of trust. The behavior of the security team was extremely egregious. Major organizations have also seen the drawbacks. It's not easy for them to recruit people right now. When the security team did this, they also faced a crisis of trust. Many players will be suspicious of big organizations like them, and whether they will also use ordinary players like them as bait. Although it hasn't broken out yet, a dark cloud has already hung over the players. Those big organizations discussed with each other and came up with a joint statement, declaring the security team as the common enemy of all players. Those who can kill them will receive a set of rewards jointly put together by the major organizations. It includes three skills, two exercises, five pieces of equipment, plus a 10 million bounty. Every piece of equipment and skill is of high quality. Compared to that, the 10 million bounty is more like a tack. After seeing the bounty order, the players became excited and hoped that they would encounter the security team in the next copy and annihilate them in one fell swoop. By then, they would be able to soar into the sky and become a dragon or a phoenix among men. The security team who became the target of the bounty was naturally not happy. They gathered together and cursed the guy who quickly cleared the dungeon while studying a plan to deal with the pursuit. As for Zhang Tuohai, the instigator of all this, he didn't know anything about it. He had just helped Lilith blow dry her hair and was about to sit down and eat takeout. This is his favorite braised chicken rice. It was still steaming. Zhang Tuohai poured the soup on the rice, mixed it well, and was about to eat it, when suddenly a message popped up on his phone. You have been locked by player Allen and marked as a mortal enemy. After one minute, you will be dragged to the duel arena. As the chosen one, you have the opportunity to choose the duel venue. Note that there are five challengers. But in order to ensure fairness, they will only enter the field with this. Five people are challenging me to duel? Are you sick? Didn't you see that I was eating? John Tuohai was very angry. He glanced at the many alternative venues. Arena. Adventure Ruins. Dark Hell. Maze. Ice and Snow Arena. Death Dunes. The venues are listed one by one. With a countdown next to it. One by one. Right. Just pick the fastest one. Zhang Tuohai found the smallest venue the octagon. This is a commonly used venue for underground black boxing. Where two boxers are put into a cage to fight. The venue is the smallest and the most intense. You have chosen the venue and started teleporting. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. Through the white light. Zhang Tuohai saw Lilith's somewhat resentful eyes. Wait for me. I'll be back soon. Zhang Tuohai said. The white light dissipated and the cozy living room turned into a dark iron cage. The cage was covered with dried blood. It was unknown how many people died here. There were faint sounds of shouting all around. Opposite him was a guy wearing an umbrella security uniform. It is indeed you. How dare you choose this venue? I will let you know, uh... Before the man could finish speaking, he felt a heavy punch in his chest. The whole person hunched up like a prawn. Boom! Zhang Tuohai rushed over with a vigorous step, raised his leg and hit his vaginal foot. Ouch! The man covered his lower body and knelt down. This kick is obviously not light. At least it makes people beat up. 
before the man could calm down. Zhang Tuohai hit the man in the head with a side kick. Click. There was a sound of bones breaking. The man's neck twisted into a strange shape. The dead body fell to the ground. Hurry up. I'm in a hurry. Zhang Tuohai said while moving his fists and feet. In a flash of white light, a second person appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Same umbrella security outfit. The man obviously didn't expect that he would appear so soon. And he didn't react for a while. For a moment, I saw a size 44 shoe getting closer and closer. Boom! Zhang Tuohai's boot smashed the man's mask and kicked him in the mouth. The huge force directly broke his neck. The body hit the cage. The second, the white light flashed again. The third man in black appeared on the spot with a confused look on his face. He never expected that he would appear. The one who appeared just now was the strongest in close combat among them. Why did he die so quickly? Even a pig could hold on for a while. Right? However, before he saw the enemy's figure, he felt a strong wind on the back of his head, and a sharp shovel directly shattered his helmet. He also smashed his head into pieces. White light flashed and a fourth man in black appeared. Then he saw a shotgun pressed to his head. Boom! Along with the gunshot, a bullet penetrated his head directly. The fifth man in black appeared. Zhang Tuohai raised his gun as usual. But what was unexpected was that the man in black knelt down after entering. Brother, I was wrong. We shouldn't have wrong thoughts about you. Please forgive me. As the man in black spoke, he took off his helmet, revealing his beautiful face. Brother, please let me go. As long as you let me go, I can do whatever you want. I know many tricks, including COS, yoga, and spinning horses. The man in black took off his clothes as he spoke. Boom! Gunfire rang out. The woman's body fell to the ground. The woman's eyes were full of questions. She didn't understand why there were men in the world who didn't like her body. Just you will accompany me. John Tuohai snorted coldly. When he was in the adventure world, who could be his woman? It must be at least the level of Mother of Dragons as well as demigod and world will. A vulgar fan simply feels too good about himself. All five challengers are dead. So we should be able to go back. Right. John Tuohai asked. All challengers die and the challenge ends. According to the rules, you will receive the challenger's entire inheritance. It is detected that the player has completed the bounty and automatically receives the bounty. All items have been distributed and the transfer begins. Along with a white light, Zhang Tuohai reappeared in the kitchen with a lot of items. At this time, the braised chicken and rice on the table were still warm. Chapter 1255 Reward Are you going to pick up the express delivery? Lilith looked at Zhang Tuohai who reappeared in front of her. And then at the pile of boxes next to her. I didn't expect that there would be so many things. If you have to give them to me, I won't accept them. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. After lunch, Zhang Tuohai started to open the box. The first is the family property of the five-person team. Five submachine guns. Five sets of security equipment. Some bullets. A box of grenades. Most of them are ordinary things. Nothing valuable. Although they are not valuable. The rewards offered by major organizations are not low. The 10 million was directly transferred into the bearer account. And all the account passwords were sent to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai was still very happy about this windfall. Although his family also has some savings. With this extra money, it will be enough for him to support himself in his old age. After putting the money away, Zhang Tuohai began to check other prizes. The first thing I focused on were the two exercises, Taizu Chang Quan and Wu Qin Shi. Although it looks ordinary, the effect is not weak at all. Taizu Chang Quan is simple and easy to learn, and its power increases with the strength of the user. In the hands of a strong person, it can be comparable to a peerless magical skill. But in the hands of a weak person, it may not even be able to defeat a dog. Wu Qin Shi is a bodybuilding exercise. Long-term practice can strengthen the body, enhance physical fitness, and enhance comprehensive attributes such as strength and agility. Zhang Tuohai was very happy and learned both techniques. After the exercises are the skills. The first skill is deep diving. To put it simply, it is a skill for hand diving. After using it, you can dive into the 200-meter deep seabed with bare hands and stay there for more than 30 minutes. Zhang Tuohai checked online and found that this was beyond the limits of normal humans. The second skill is diving. The effect of the skill is that no matter how high you jump from, you can survive as long as there is water on the ground. This skill is much more powerful. It is simply a simplified version of Leap of Faith. As long as there is water, you can survive. 
in combination with a deep diving technique. They complement each other perfectly. The third skill is parkour. The effect of this skill is to be able to run quickly in various complex terrains, climbing over walls, and walking on flat ground. It is comparable to some light skills. This skill is probably the most widely used skill in Dong Tuohai's eyes. Zhang Tuohai learned all three skills in line with the philosophy of having multiple skills and not being overwhelmed. Although these skills cannot increase combat effectiveness much, they may play a key role at certain critical moments. As for the five pieces of equipment, they are a complete set of armor, contains helmet, breastplate, arm guards, leg guards and shield. The armor is in the style of the Roman Praetorian guards. The shield is thick and simple and looks very strong. This set also has a special feature. That is, after wearing a complete set, you can automatically obtain the plot identity of a centurion in a copy of the Roman Empire. The most important thing is that when wearing this equipment, it will increase the probability of entering a dungeon with the Roman Empire. This seems interesting. Zhang Tuohai has never participated in a copy of the Roman Empire. His most intuitive impression of Rome is Spartacus, the Colosseum, and the Great Bath. As a bathing enthusiast, Zhang Tuohai is still very curious about those things. If he had the chance, he would still like to try the difference between the baths in Roman times and now. They're all pretty average. Lilith walked around with her hands behind her back and curled her lips. Don't look at what time it is. This trial city has only been open for a few days. It's already good to have these things, John Tuohai said. That's right. When I have the materials later, I'll help you get a set of equipment, Lilith said. John Tuohai put everything away, practiced his physical fitness for a while with a super fitness ring and then started practicing Wuqin Shi and Taizu Chongquan. When practicing Wuqin Shi, Zhang Tuohai felt his body was slightly warm. After practicing, he felt that his physical strength and strength had increased to a certain extent, although it was not much. The increase was real. If you practice for a long time, maybe you can actually become a superman. Zhang Tuohai is full of confidence. Zhang Tuohai was exercising at home, but the forum exploded because the rewards from several major organizations were claimed. You know, this reward has just been posted. And the five security guards are not fuel efficient. Everyone has a submachine gun and grenades. In this era when people are still unable to resist heat weapons, submachine guns and grenades can kill most people, coupled with the cooperation of those five people. It is not easy for even an elite team to eliminate the opponent. Otherwise, it would not have happened that more than a hundred players were ordered by five people to fight zombies. It's impossible to do without some ability. However, such a small team was actually killed in a short period of time. Of course, this is not the most important thing. The most important thing is that they want to know how the person who completed the mission found the five-person team. You must know that the City of Trials protects player information very strictly. As long as you don't actively leak it, it will basically not be traced. Players started a crazy discussion about how Zhang Tuohai found this group of people. Some people think that Zhang Tuohai has some skills that can directly position him. Some people think that the two sides accidentally bumped into each other in the dungeon. Some people think that they may know the other person's identity in reality and block the door in reality. There is also a player who thinks he has been cursed to death because he was cursed yesterday. He was scolding people online and was beaten up through the network cable until his nose was bruised and his face was swollen. The forum was noisy. Those big organizations also held meetings overnight to study the possibilities. However, because the forum is highly confidential, they only know that their bounty has been taken away and their mission has been completed. But they don't know who completed it. They themselves have no way of knowing who completed the task. There is no way to inquire. In the end, the major organizations finally came to the conclusion that in the future they should try their best to make friends with those who used Taizu Chang Quan and wear Roman Praetorian Guard uniforms. Try not to antagonize them. It is best to recruit into the organization. The order was passed on. Then, major organizations took action. Everyone has one more task, which is to find people wearing similar clothes. If it can be found, a generous reward will be given. The enthusiasm of the players has also been mobilized, and many players have even begun to enter the dungeon in advance, trying to get lucky and find Zhang Tuohai. Of course, Zhang Tuohai knew nothing about all this. He didn't look at his phone all afternoon and kept exercising at home. In the evening, he and Lilith had barbecue and watched a movie to relax. The two said goodnight to each other and went back to their room to rest. Chapter 1256 Roman Empire Early the next morning, Zhang Tuohai went out for a run and practiced Wuqin Shi in the park. This set is a real skill. 
and the fighting is majestic. When you reach the tiger style, there is really a sound of tigers roaring and dragons roaring. It attracted many old men to watch. Fortunately, not many young people were photographed. Zhang Tuohai saw that the momentum was not right and ran away quickly. Although it was not photographed, Zhang Tuohai felt that he would have to restrain himself in the future and just practice at home. Back at the morning market, Zhang Tuohai bought a few cages of steamed buns, a few egg burgers, and two bowls of preserved egg and lean meat porridge. After taking it home, Lilith just got up and took a shower. Going out so early? Lilith said with a yawn. From now on, you will also exercise. You will gain weight if you stay at home every day. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Lilith's face, which was visibly rounder. I do. Lilith rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai and entered the bathroom. After the two of them had breakfast, Zhang Tuohai dressed up and prepared to finish the copy first to calm down his shock. Enter the copy. Zhang Tuohai opened the app. Selecting copy. The copy is selected and transmission begins. White light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself in a military camp, surrounded by Roman soldiers with bronze helmets, bucklers and short swords. At this time, the game prompt popped up. Copy, Roman Empire. Main Mission 1, Defeat the Barbarian Attack. Hey, is it still a long-term copy? When Zhang Tuohai saw the main mission 1, he knew that this mission was not easy, and he would definitely follow up. I hope there won't be too many enemies. Zhang Tuohai knew that this kind of battle level melee was the easiest place for people to die. Compared with big battles, small one-on-one -on -one dungeons may look scary, but the enemies are limited after all. As long as tactics and wisdom are used properly, the enemies can always be killed. But the battle is different. There are almost unlimited enemies, coupled with various weapons of large-scale destruction. It is very likely that you will be killed without even knowing who the enemy is. On the battlefield of such a large-scale battle, in addition to combat power, there is also luck. Only those who are lucky enough can survive. Woo! Suddenly, the horn sounded. The soldiers started running and quickly lined up. John Tuohai found his team. Because, in front of every centurion, there is a centurion organizing the formation. The only one without a captain is his own team. John Tuohai ran over quickly. Fortunately, the quality of the soldiers in his team was pretty good. And they quickly formed a square formation. In front is a phalanx of swords and shields and those behind are holding throwing spears, and a murderous aura rushes towards them. The legion commander stood on a high platform, wearing a red cloak, pointing to the outside. The barbarians have already rushed over. Our task is to destroy them. Today, we only need to hand over 10% of the loot. The rest will be yours. Do you want wealth? Use your swords. Get it! Roar! Many Roman soldiers cheered. They went to war not because they loved the empire, but because they could make money. Only by fighting can you make money, and make a lot of money. If you can loot the city, you will make more money. However, usually, they need to hand over 30% of what they get. This time, you only need to hand over 10%. For them, it is a golden opportunity. If they don't seize it, they will not let it go. The hawkers who followed the army behind were also gearing up and preparing to purchase various goods. Zhang Tuohai didn't care much about this. He didn't care much about the money. He only cared about how to survive this battle and complete the mission. Go ahead. After seeing that morale had been mobilized, the legion commander drew his bronze sword and pointed it in the direction of the barbarians. Roar! The Roman soldiers lined up in a neat phalanx and pushed towards the barbarians. The barbarian soldiers also changed from brisk walking to trotting and rushed towards the Roman soldiers' camp. Stop moving forward! The phalanx stopped. Get ready to throw your spear! The soldier holding the throwing spear was ready to throw. Attack! Whoosh whoosh. A series of spears hit the barbarians like raindrops. Puff puff. Since the barbarians were arranged in a dense formation, this gave spear throwing a lot of room for use. Many spears missed. Heavy spears fell from the sky, piercing the bodies of each barbarian and pinning them directly to the ground. Although many barbarians did not die on the spot, they would not survive. Death was only a matter of time. This wave of throwing directly caused the death of a large number of barbarians. Get ready to throw your spear. Attack! The various centurions issued orders again. Throwing spears once again killed a large number of barbarians. The barbarians were no better than Roman soldiers in terms of combat effectiveness alone. And it was even possible that they could not defeat Roman professional soldiers with rich experience and training. What they relied on was their numbers. However, two rounds of spear throwing directly killed a large number of their men. 
leaving a hole in the assault camp. This also resulted in that although the vanguard of the barbarians rushed in front of the Roman phalanx, but because the troops in the middle were killed, the follow-up manpower could not keep up. When the following people rushed up, the barbarians who arrived first had been killed by the Roman soldiers using their formation. Then, those barbarians who rushed up followed the footsteps of the previous barbarians and were beaten to death by Roman soldiers using a phalanx. The numerous barbarians were annihilated in batches. On the contrary, the smaller Roman legion still maintained its formation, and its casualties were significantly lower. Zhang Tuohai also learned how to command a battle like other centurions. Not to mention, it's really decent. This group of barbarians was quickly wiped out. Seeing that the remaining barbarians began to flee, the legion commander began to order the cavalry to pursue, leaving the infantry to clean the battlefield. Those soldiers had been eagerly waiting for this moment. After the order was conveyed, the soldiers immediately took action and began to search the battlefield, skillfully finding valuable property from each corpse. Zhang Tuohai has no interest in these properties. Just let the soldiers find it themselves. When there are a lot of people there are bound to be disputes. Especially when money is involved. Zhang Tuohai hadn't even taken two steps when he heard a quarrel. He turned around and saw two Roman soldiers arguing, one of whom seemed to be his subordinate. Two soldiers held a money bag in their hands and were fighting over who owned the money bag. I discovered this first. It should belong to me. I killed him. He still has my throwing spear stuck in his body. He should belong to me. The two soldiers couldn't argue and were about to fight. Put it all down. What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai frowned and walked over. Chapter 1257 Task Branch What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. I discovered this wallet first. His soldier shouted. Nonsense. I was the one who killed him. The throwing spear stuck in his body is also mine. The soldier on the opposite side was not to be outdone. The throwing spear on my body belongs to you. So I'll give you the throwing spear. Zhang Tuohai sneered, pulled out the spear from the corpse, and stabbed the soldier. The soldier hurriedly backed away and let go of his grip on the money bag. The throwing spear was inserted into the soldier's feet, buzzing. After doing all this, Zhang Tuohai said to the stupid subordinate next to him, what are you still doing? Put away the trophies and deal with this kind of thing yourself next time. If you can't even protect your own trophies, go out and leave. He is said to be one of my men, and I can't afford to lose this person. Yes, sir. The subordinate's face turned red, and he said excitedly, For Zhang Tuohai, it doesn't matter who is right or wrong in this matter. What matters is whether he can protect the interests of his men. As the leader, your duty is to let your subordinates live a good life. You must get the trophies you deserve. If you can get extra trophies, you will be especially popular. If you can't even protect the interests of your subordinates, why should others mess with you? From now on, how can he be the centurion, and how can he make his men fight to the death? Therefore, Zhang Tuohai had no choice in this matter. Seeing the throwing spear swinging in front of him, the soldier didn't dare to say anything. He picked up the throwing spear and changed its position. He was just an ordinary soldier and it was too much to argue with Zhang Tuohai. A centurion. The other phalanx soldiers who saw this situation also took a few steps back and distanced themselves from Zhang Tuohai's men. This concession allowed each of Zhang Tuohai's men to loot one or two more corpses, and their income increased out of thin air. The soldiers under Zhang Tuohai supported Zhang Tuohai even more. As for the other centurions, they just glanced at it and didn't bother to pay attention. They are from the aristocratic class and consider themselves to be the upper class elite. And they don't think much of the lowly people below. In their eyes, these soldiers are just tools for their upward climb. Except for the need to reward before a big battle. There is no need to pay attention to it at ordinary times. Against the background of other centurions, John Tuohai became even more wise and powerful. And became more and more loved. Just as everyone was cleaning the battlefield. A cavalry galloped from a distance. Almost falling off their horses and delivered a military order to the legion commander. The legion commander glanced at the military order and frowned. Call everyone over for a meeting. After a while, a group of centurions and thousands of captains gathered in the camp of the legion commander. Now, there is an important task, which is to select a team of elite soldiers and escort a team of important people back to Rome. Which of you is willing to follow? You can sign up voluntarily. The game prompt pops up. Task branch. Main mission 2. Escort the consul's daughter Sophia back to Rome. Main mission 2. Resist the attack of the main barbarian force. Looking at the two tasks. Zhang Tuohai understood that now was the time to make a decision. 
according to the two tasks. Completely different task directions will appear. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, and felt that the first task was better. After all, Rome was the ruling center of the empire, and the escort was the consul's daughter. So maybe it would be of some benefit. The second mission was obviously very risky. That was the main force of the barbarians. Although there is a legion stationed here. Who knows how many barbarians are coming. Although Roman soldiers were brave. They were also ordinary people, and not invincible. If you are surrounded by a barbarian army, it will be difficult to escape. As for the escort mission, no matter how you look at it, there is only one target. If it doesn't work, Zhang Tuohai can abandon the large army and lead directly with Sophia. It is still easy to escape with his life. Simply speaking from the retreat route, it is easier to escort. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai immediately raised his hand. I am willing to participate in the escort mission. The surrounding centurions looked at Zhang Tuohai as if they were a fool. They are all here to do military service and make money. It is obviously more convenient to stay in the frontline camp. Moreover, they had just defeated the barbarians and were taking a break. So they actually had to participate in an escort mission. When they come back, I'm afraid all the barbarians will be wiped out. And the gains outweigh the losses. However, no one spoke out to stop it. Anyway, someone has to take the responsibility. And since Zhang Tuohai is willing to take on such a thankless job, they will naturally be happy to have some leisure time. The Legion commander was also very satisfied. He was unwilling to do this kind of work of interfering with people. If it weren't for Sophia's extraordinary status, he wouldn't bother to take care of her. Now, since someone is willing to help him share his worries, he is naturally happy. You should go to the logistics camp immediately to get double supplies. Set off immediately without delaying your trip. The Legion commander couldn't wait to drive Zhang to a highway, for fear that he would regret it. With the receipt in hand, Zhang to a high and his men came to the logistics camp. Although many of his subordinates did not like to leave the front line, Zhang Tuohai was the chief officer after all, and the military orders were overwhelming. So they had to start packing and preparing to leave. I feel happier when I keep seeing their supplies. Zhang Tuohai also saw Sophia, who was about to be escorted. A proud-looking young woman wearing a gorgeous dress. Wherever she went there were two maids by her side. The fleet is also huge. There were six carriages, each with two horses except for the one Sophia was riding in. There were five flatbed trucks. In addition to basic supplies, there was also a truck filled with huge boxes. Several guards stood around the carriage to prevent anyone from approaching. Judging by the depth of the ruts, the carriage must have been heavy, and both horses were struggling. What's in the box? Zhang Tuohai drew a question mark in his mind. He was sure that the contents of this car were unusual, but the opponent's defense was very deep, and even Zhang Tuohai was not allowed to get close. Zhang Tuohai took a deep look at the carriage and began to pay attention. Miss Sophia ordered. The whole team set off. A maid got out of the carriage and said. He looked like he was giving orders. Are you very high-minded? Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly, but suppressed his inner dissatisfaction and ordered his men to set off as a team. One hundred Roman soldiers stood up and lined up outside the camp. The soldiers around looked at these people with sympathy. Think they have lost a valuable opportunity to make money. Zhang Tuohai also cast the same gaze on these soldiers. We are about to face the main attack of the barbarians. I hope you can survive by then. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai urged his horse and walked forward. Chapter 1258 Weird Carriage In a patch of grass on the top of the mountain not far away, several barbarians were squatting in the grass and looking towards the direction of the camp. A team of people has come out. Do you want to send someone to chase them and kill them? Asked a barbarian. No. The most important goal now is to eat these people in front of you. Don't divide your troops until you succeed. It's not too late to send people to chase after you kill these people in front of you. The leader of the barbarians snorted and said, Yes. It was getting late. And Zhang Tuohai's hundred-man team was still marching on the mountain road. It's getting late. Miss Sophia needs to rest. The maid came out and ordered. Zhang Tuohai looked around at the environment. They were at the top of a mountain with a wide field of vision. Although the wind is relatively strong, it is still a place where you can camp. Set up camp and cook. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The soldiers began to pack their belongings. Those who pitched tents. And those who cooked the meals. The meals at this time are also very simple. Consisting of soup stewed with bacon mixed with various grains. Beans and wild vegetables. The staple food is also a very hard cake. Zhang Tuohai was not very used to this kind of food. So he reluctantly took a bite. I mainly rely on the energy bars carried in my coat to replenish my energy. Sophia did not get out of the carriage. 
but the smell wafted from the carriage, and she didn't know what she was eating. At this moment, a Roman soldier suddenly shouted, Look! What is that? Everyone looked in the direction he pointed. Suddenly, there was a burst of fire. The flame was so big that it ignited an entire area, and black smoke billowed into the sky. That's the direction of the camp. The main force of the barbarians is attacking the camp. Zhang Tuohai immediately thought of the branch of the task. If the task of guarding the camp is this difficult, the task of escorting Sophia will not be easy either. It will certainly not allow us to escape so easily. Zhang Tuohai immediately had concerns in his mind. Everyone, set out immediately. Abandon all tents and only carry food and weapons. Immediately, Zhang Tuohai ordered. The Roman soldiers immediately took action, began to organize their things, and crazily stuffed edible food into their mouths, trying to gain a little more strength for themselves. What happened? Miss Sophia is already going to rest. Why did she set off suddenly? The maid asked angrily. Look what that is. Zhang Tuohai grabbed the maid's collar and pointed at the fire in the distance. Do you know where that is? That was the camp where we set out. There was a whole legion station in the camp. And now it looks like this. Only the barbarians can do all this. And they must be the main force of the barbarians. Now that they have breached the camp, they will definitely be able to see our smoke rising from the top of the mountain. Do you think they will let us go? They will definitely send someone to attack us. So, we have to leave immediately. Do you understand? If you want to stay and give birth to little barbarians for those barbarians, then you can stay. We have to leave anyway. Zhang Tuohai said and mounted his horse. The maid was frightened when she heard Zhang Tuohai's words. Even though she usually looks aloof. That's because there are rules. Hearing the word barbarian. His legs have already become weak. I will inform Miss Sophia to prepare. There's no time to prepare. Let's go now. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. The convoy set off immediately. In addition to food and weapons. Many supplies were abandoned. There's even a lot of bulky loot included. But when their lives were at stake. They couldn't care less and immediately ran down the mountain. At the same time, the originally neat camp had been plunged into a sea of fire. A large number of barbarian warriors rushed into the camp and fought with the Roman soldiers. Although, Roman soldiers were brave and well-equipped. But in front of the massive barbarian warriors, it was as fragile as a bubble. Soon they were divided and surrounded and defeated one by one. Finally, we can remove this sting. Brother, let's go plunder those guys' cities. I heard there is endless wine and endless meat. The people there are as weak as sheep and the women's skin is like milk. Creamy. A barbarian shouted excitedly. The bronze axe in his hand was stained with blood. Don't worry. Kill those who escaped before. Don't let them pass the news back. I will choose the 300 people who are the best at long distance running. The man holding the bronze axe had a cruel smile on his face. Victor, come back with their heads. The leader patted him on the shoulder. Victor set off with his people. He chose 300 people who were good at running. They were all hunters before. And chasing prey in the mountains and forests was commonplace. In their eyes, this is a hunt for prey. Victor led his men and chased in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai led people all the way down the mountain. He found that Sophia and her group also threw away a lot of things, including several gorgeous tents. However, the carriage that was most closely guarded was not abandoned and not a single box was missing. There were even more guards around it. There must be something wrong with this carriage. We need to find a way to figure out the situation. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind. The team walked forward. The group of people walked all night. And when the sky became brighter, the carriage slowly stopped. Miss Sophia really can't stand it anymore and needs to take a rest. The maid ran out and said, No, we are not out of the attack range of the barbarians yet. We must leave immediately. Every minute we stay. There will be more danger. John Tuohai shook his head decisively. Also, I suggest you abandon those carriages. They are too slow and are slowing us down. John Tuohai said with an unkind expression. No, these carriages must not be abandoned. We need them. And Miss Sophia needs them too. The maid was very tough and refused to give up the carriage no matter what. At this moment, a strong wind sounded. A stone shot from a distance. Hit the maid in the head directly beat the maid's head to pieces. With a pop, the maid's body fell to the ground. Enemy attack! Form formation! Zhang Tuohai turned over and jumped off his horse, using the horse as a cover to avoid being targeted by fire. The Roman soldiers reacted quickly and immediately formed a phalanx with Zhang Tuohai as the core. They surrounded the city with bronze shields and a bronze dagger flashing with cold light. 
This was a large group of barbarians rushing out of the woods. The leader was Victor who had been chasing them all the way. Victor shouted excitedly. Kill them! Don't spare any of them! Kill! The barbarians collided with the shield wall of the Roman soldiers. And a brutal fight broke out in the wild. Chapter 1259 No More Pretending Zhang Tuohai glanced around and found that although the barbarians were ferocious, they were not many in number. There were only a few hundred people, and they were probably just a chasing team, although the number was several times that of his own. The Roman soldiers under him could withstand it for a period of time with their superb fighting skills and battle formations. Even who wins and who loses is still in doubt. The worst was Sophia's side. Although the dozen or so strong men looked brave, they were obviously good at single combat and had little coordination with each other. Their style may have great advantages in normal one-on-one -on -one challenges. But in such large-scale battles, they can easily be surrounded and killed by several people. Especially when the number of barbarians is three times theirs. Those with higher martial arts skills were directly taken care of and killed in the first round. The manpower was already small. And now it was even more insufficient. The barbarians intensified their attacks on the carriages. What's surprising is that those strong men actually focused their protection on the box instead of Sophia's carriage. What is this for? Their anomalies aroused Shang to a high's interest. Are the things in the box more precious? Or is there a more powerful person in Sophia's carriage? Zhang Tuohai focused his attention on Sophia's carriage. There were only four people defending the carriage. A barbarian saw an opening and rushed into the carriage. Then, there was a scream from the carriage. That's it? Zhang Tuohai almost spit out a mouthful of blood. Fortunately, he thought there was some peerless master in the car. Is this the result? It seems that there is really a shortage of manpower. However, this also made him care more about the carriage filled with boxes. What on earth is it? It's worth more than the Archon's daughter. However, his main task now is to rescue Sophia. After all, his mission was to escort Sophia, not the carriage. Zhang Tuohai used his hands hard and stepped on the soldier's shoulders to rush out of the square. When the barbarians saw someone rushing out, they all raised their weapons and prepared to intercept and kill Zhang Tuohai. But the parkour that Zhang Tuohai had just learned was not a vegetarian. He stepped on the heads of these barbarians and rushed towards the carriage. In three scurries, he arrived at the roof of the carriage. He punched it downwards, directly punching a big hole in the roof of the car. At this time, in the carriage, a gorgeously dressed woman fainted in the carriage, and the barbarian who rushed in earlier was tearing off his clothes. The barbarian heard the movement above his head and looked up in surprise. Goodbye! A black shovel hit the barbarian on the head. Boom! The head of the barbarian was smashed into pieces. And the body was kicked out by Zhang Tuohai. The surrounding barbarians saw this and rushed over. Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes slightly and activated the replica ring. Several large pits suddenly appeared on the ground. And several umbrella security guards emerged from the pits. Each holding a submachine gun in their hands. Da da da. Bullets swept around. Even an ordinary flintlock gun would have an overwhelming advantage over the barbarians in this world, let alone a more advanced submachine gun. Moreover, those security guards even had grenades in their hands. Under the baptism of a steel storm, all the barbarians who besieged the carriage were knocked down. Immediately afterwards, the security guards turned their guns and launched an attack on the barbarians besieging the phalanx. The security guards didn't interfere much. After firing two magazines of bullets, Zhang Tuohai took them back. However, this alone has already disabled the besieging barbarians. The numerical advantage suddenly reversed. Come on with the entire army and quickly annihilate the enemy. Zhang Tuohai got out of the carriage and gave the order. Roar! After hearing the order, the Roman soldiers began to change their formation. From a defensive square formation to an encircling circular formation. Squeeze some slow-running barbarians into the center and hack them to death with random swords. Clean the battlefield and evacuate immediately. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. After the barbarian attack, the remaining people moved much faster. They immediately packed up the valuable soft goods and food and quickly set up camp. Seeing that it was almost done, Zhang Tuohai was ready to go back to the carriage to see Sophia. At this time, two strong men who had been guarding the carriage blocked Zhang Tuohai. Sorry! This is Miss Sophia's carriage! You can't enter! Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows and a silver-plated scimitar suddenly appeared in his hand. With a sweep of the machete, a gash appeared on the necks of the two men. The two strong men did not expect that Zhang Tuohai would attack suddenly, and were caught off guard and killed with a knife. Two bodies fell to the ground. Until they died, their eyes were full of surprise. 
and they couldn't believe that Zhang Tuohai would do it openly. When Sophia's carriage was attacked just now, I didn't see you guys on the stage. Now you're here to take credit? A sneer appeared at the corner of Zhang Tuohai's mouth. Seeing this, the remaining strong men in the caboose clenched their weapons and stared at Zhang Tuohai in surprise. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to pretend and summoned two more security guards to kill all the remaining strong men. At this time, apart from Sophia, who was still unconscious, only Zhang Tuohai's hundred man team was left on the field. Don't worry. These are the guardian spirits given to me by the moon god. They will only appear when I am in danger. As long as they don't do anything detrimental to me, they will not be attacked. John Tuohai said calmly. Hearing what John Tuohai said, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. As long as John Tuohai didn't take the initiative to attack them, they have no other thoughts now. They have only one idea, and that is to return home to Rome. They no longer care about those who are rich but not wealthy. Let's set off immediately. John Tuohai waved his hand, and everything on the carriage was put into his coat. The soldiers were numb, and they all pretended not to notice, and were busy with their own things. Without the drag of the heavy carriage, the team moved much faster. Zhang Tuohai sat in the carriage, waiting for Sophia to wake up. When the moon reached its zenith, Sophia slowly woke up. Miss Sophia, you are awake, Zhang Tuohai said quickly. After waking up, Sophia climbed up nervously, checked first to make sure there was nothing unusual, and then breathed a sigh of relief. How's the situation with the team? It's very bad. We were attacked by a large barbarian force and suffered heavy casualties. All your guards died heroically, and all the goods they escorted were lost. Fortunately, we finally rescued you. Don't worry. We will definitely escort you to Rome. Zhang Tuohai said with a sincere expression. Who knows? After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Sophia's face changed drastically, and she shouted loudly. No! You can't go to Rome! Chapter 1260 Holy Mountain Why? Zhang Tuohai was curious as to why the other party looked like this as if he had seen a ghost. We must not go to Rome. If we lose that thing, the only thing waiting for us when we go to Rome is the death penalty. There is no leeway. We still have time to run. Let's go to the west and cross the strait to Britannia. That is the border of the empire. We might survive there. The commander of the 9th Legion Station there is my biological brother, Sophia said. Seeing Sophia's panic, Zhang Tuohai became more and more curious about what was in the box. What could possibly make the consul's daughter so panicked that she might even be killed? If things are really as bad as you think, are you sure that your biological brother will not betray you? And even so, we can't get through because the barbarian army is to the west. We managed to escape with great difficulty. If we go that way, we will run into the barbarian army head on. John Tuohai asked tentatively. No. Sophia was about to say no. But she swallowed her words halfway. She knew the importance of that thing better than anyone else. If she lost it, her brother might be the first to report her. I can't go to Britannia. Let me think about where else to go. Sophia held her head in her hands. Zhang Tuohai didn't say anything, just waiting quietly. After a while, Sophia suddenly had an idea. Since we can't go west, we can go east, to Byzantine Polis, which is also the border of the empire. However, it is a transportation hub and there are many pagans there. It will be difficult to find us if we hide there. If it doesn't work, we can hide in the lands of the infidels. At this time, the game popped up a prompt. Task Branch appears. Main Mission 3. Escort Sophia to the headquarters of the 9th Legion of Britannia. Main Mission 3. Escort Sophia to Byzantine Polis. Main Mission 3. Send Sophia to Rome. This. Looking at the task branches, John Tuohai thought deeply. The first one is definitely not an option. There is an army of barbarians on the road to Britannia. In addition, there is an unstable 9th legion in the local area, and there are too many variables along the way. Sending Sophia to Rome was not a good option either. After all, he was also a member of the escort, and if something was lost, he was also closely related. After going to Rome, the credit may not be there, but the guilt is certain. In particular, even the consul's daughter couldn't resist, let alone a little centurion. After thinking about it, it seems that only going to Byzantinopolis is the best choice. Zhang Tuohai made a decision. I will take you to Byzantine Polis. But there is one condition. That is, you must listen to me on the way. Otherwise, don't blame my ruthless men for sending you back to Rome. No, as long as you don't send me back to Rome, I can do whatever you want. Please, I don't want to go back to Rome. 
Sophia cried. Seeing Sophia's appearance, Zhang Tuohai became more and more sure that those boxes were not simple. Control your emotions, and don't mess up if nothing happens. Zhang Tuohai got out of the carriage, and continued to move forward with his men. Zhang Tuohai looked back at these men, and it was not appropriate to continue taking them with him now. With so many people, they are a big target wherever they go. In addition, many people are not strict with their mouths, so it is easy to expose their whereabouts. The best way is to kill all these people. Definitely able to keep secrets. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't want to be so awesome. After all, these people followed him, didn't do anything excessive, and were very dedicated. Zhang Tuohai decided to find an opportunity to leave them behind and settle down with their destiny. After all, not killing them would have been his greatest mercy. Near Rome, Zhang Tuohai chose a dark and windy night to take Sophia away from the large army. They won't betray us. Right? Sophia asked worriedly. Don't worry. They don't know where we are going. And they can't do anything to betray us if they want to. Zhang Tuohai took Sophia all the way west along the road. The two of them encountered no danger on the road. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to take action against some unsighted thieves. So he just called a security guard to deal with them directly. The only problem is that the food in this world is not very good. The meat is not delicious. And you have to go to the toilet in the open air. Zhang Tuohai was almost bitten by a snake once. From then on, Zhang Tuohai would summon a security guard to clean up the nearby area every time before going for a convenience. In this way, the two came all the way to Byzantinopolis. Although he heard Sophia talk about the majesty of Byzantine polis more than once, Zhang Tuohai still marveled at its prosperity when he saw it for the first time. The towering city wall is 20 meters long, and the roads leading into the city are full of caravans. In the distant harbor, masts were as dense as trees, and the city was bustling with people. Businessmen from all over the world trade here with accents from all over the world. It does seem like a good enemy to hide in. Zhang Tuohai took a look at this big city. With the current means, it is indeed not easy to find someone in such a big city. Zhang Tuohai was about to take Sophia into Byzantine Polis when he suddenly felt his windbreaker shaking, guiding him towards a hill not far from the city. Zhang Tuohai opened his windbreaker and found that the boxes were causing trouble. During this period, he tried to open those boxes, but he used various methods, including but not limited to, using various weapons such as crowbars, saws, hammers, and axes to open the boxes. But they all ended in failure. He had planned to wait to take the thing back to the real world and cut it open with a chainsaw. But now, those boxes are responding. Is there something on the mountain? John Tuohai's heart moved. At this moment, the game prompt popped up. Main quest branch. Main mission 4. Go to the holy mountain and find the secret of the box. Main mission 4. Enter Byzantine polis as if nothing happened. Of course. Go take a look. John Tuohai made the decision without thinking. He couldn't sleep or eat well until he understood the secrets of these boxes. In particular, these boxes can actually break through the barriers of space equipment. Which shows that the level of these things is definitely not low. Maybe there will be a big harvest. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai turned around and walked towards the hill not far away. What are you going to do? Sophia couldn't help but feel anxious when she saw Zhang Tuohai leaving directly. There is something to guide me there. I'm going to have a look. You can choose to go into the city alone. Or you can follow along and have a look. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he threw down a bag of money he got from an unknown thief and strode towards the hill. Chapter 1261 Blood of the Demon God Zhang Tuohai followed the mountain path all the way to the top of the hill. The hill looked unremarkable, with no big trees, only some low shrubs, and gravel everywhere. It looked very desolate. Zhang Tuohai walked forward. The further he walked, the more intense the trembling of the boxes in his windbreaker became. Zhang Tuohai quickened his pace. By the time we reached the top of the mountain, those wooden boxes had reached their limit and were almost bursting out of their windbreakers. Zhang Tuohai opened his windbreaker and threw the wooden boxes to the ground. Those wooden boxes cracked open one by one, revealing handfuls of crystal gravel. These gravels are as black as ink and as rich as night. The gravel rushed out of the box and gathered together to form a gate in the air. The door is made of sterling silver, with the devil's head engraved on it. It looks extremely gorgeous and terrifying. Zhang Tuohai pushed forward with one hand, and the door opened in response. A huge corridor was revealed with two rows of silver columns erected on both sides of the corridor, and a demon tied with chains on each column. Some look like half mule and half lion. Some look like crocodiles. Some have the shape of a crow 
and a human body, all of which are different. But every demon god was full of evil thoughts and depravity. Their eyes were fixed on Zhang Tuohai. Their eyes full of greed. Zhang Tuohai counted roughly and found that there were 72 pure silver pillars. At the end of the hall stood a high platform with a golden jar and a sprouting cane. What it is? Zhang Tuohai could feel that the things on the table were of extraordinary value. However, the demons on the silver pillars on both sides don't seem to be easy to deal with. How do you get those things? Zhang Tuohai is thinking about how to get it in the past. Suddenly, he felt that his body was entangled with demonic energy, pulling him towards the hall. The devil's eyes, which were tied to the pillar, shone even more excitedly, and saliva flowed from the corners of his mouth. Zhang Tuohai struggled twice and found that he could not resist the strength of these guys at all, and he was still pulled into the hall. Hey, can this kind of power appear in this copy? Is it overclocked? Scolding can't solve the problem. Zhang Tuohai can only find a way to escape. He glanced at the thing in his hand. And suddenly an idea occurred to him. And a feather appeared in his hand. This is the angel feather that Lili gave him. Which can summon angels to help him fight. Angels should be the nemesis of demons. Zhang Tuohai activated angel feather. A bright white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. And the demonic energy that originally enveloped Zhang Tuohai suddenly dissipated. The demons were stung by the white light and could not open their eyes. Zhang Tuohai could vaguely see Lioli in school uniform at the end of the white light. At this moment, Lioli had a pair of white wings behind her and a golden sword in her hand. No wonder those guys called Lioli an angel. It is indeed an angel. Lioli's pupils had turned amber, and she slowly raised the golden sword with both hands and slashed downwards. Thousands of golden sword lights fell from the sky, smashing the pure silver pillars into pieces, and the demons along with the pillars turned into pools of black blood. Not only the pillars and demons, but also the entire hall was torn to pieces by the golden sword light and was crumbling. The power of this strike is comparable to that of 10,000 swords returning to the clan. Right. Zhang Tuohai secretly exclaimed. After the blow, Lioli put away the golden sword and came to Zhang Tuohai. Her warm lips parted at the touch. Get the blessing of angels. Purify the power. And not let the power erode your heart. I'll wait for you at the end. After saying that, Lioli disappeared. Call. Zhang Tuohai felt like his body was being hollowed out. Then he breathed a sigh of relief. Sure enough, my current health is still a bit poor. Not as good as those gods and demons. It seems that I need to improve my body. Zhang Tuohai walked quickly to the high platform. The golden jar and sprouting cane are still intact. I don't know if Lioli let them go on purpose. Or if they are really powerful. Zhang Tuohai took the golden jar first. The jar was filled with silver white water which swayed slightly with only slight fluctuations, and looked a little viscous. Blood of the demon god, after use, you will gain the power of the demon god. The power of the devil? Will it have side effects and become like those guys tied to the pillars? However, Zhang Tuohai looked at the angel's blessing he had just received. Its main characteristic was the power of purification. Could it be that this is the tip Lili gave me to use this power? Zhang Tuohai guessed in his mind. After hesitating for a while, Zhang Tuohai decided to give it a try. If something goes wrong at worst, go back and find Lilith. Lilith's past life is the book of all laws. So there must be a solution. Zhang Tuohai chose to use it. The silver white devil's blood turned into liquid together with the golden jar, flowing down his hands and onto his body. Wherever it passed, scales grew on the skin, and the nails turned into sharp claws, indicating a tendency to transform into a demon. At the same time, Bursts of bright white light emitted from Zhang Tuohai's body, and the limbs that were illuminated by the white light returned to their original appearance. The two forces were constantly fighting in Zhang Tuohai's body. Zhang Tuohai's body is also constantly changing. In the end, Lioli's blessing was more powerful. The power of the demon's blood was exhausted, and Zhang Tuohai's body returned to its original appearance. Although his appearance has not changed much, Zhang Tuohai can clearly feel that his physical fitness has been greatly improved and he is more than ten times stronger than before. Moreover, there is a powerful force in his body, which is in a sealed state at this time. While strengthening his body, it is constantly escaping. Zhang Tuohai knew that this was the body's protective mechanism, and having too much power would lead to loss of control. Therefore, the excess power will be stored and slowly released, allowing the body to gradually adapt. Not bad. Zhang Tuohai shook his hand, and there was a faint sound of thunder. Zhang Tuohai nodded with satisfaction and grabbed the scepter. Branches of the World Tree, tickets for advanced missions. 
You need to go to the higher levels of the City of Trials to unlock the corresponding missions. Mission voucher? It's of no use now. Zhang Tuohai played with it for a while, but felt it was useless. So he started using it casually. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai seemed to feel the power of the devil on his body. The pure silver pillars, silver chains, and black blood transformed by the demons scattered on the ground gathered into streams and flowed to Zhang Tuohai's feet, turning into jet black streams. The chains wrapped around Zhang Tuohai's body. Zhang Tuohai was shocked at first, and then discovered that the chain could be driven as he wished. Devil's Chain, a weapon made of demons and pure silver, which can be driven at will and can forcefully drain the blood and life of the enemy. Chapter 1262, The Ming Dynasty This thing seems very powerful. Zhang Tua controlled those dark chains. The chains were as black as ink, wandering randomly like black pythons. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand, and the chain directly created a deep trench in the hall. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to try it again, a line of game prompts popped up. Due to the death of the demon god, the copy, Rome has ended, and the evaluation is being generated. The devil is dead? When did it happen? Why didn't I see it? Isn't it too shameless? Zhang Tuohai smacked his lips. He didn't know whether to say that Liu Li was too powerful or that the demon was too weak. He was killed without even saying a word. But that's good. It saves him trouble everywhere. At this moment, the game review came out. Evaluation of this copy, SSS. Due to the detection that the player's strength far exceeds the current level, a forced promotion to the dungeon begins. Strength testing in progress. The strength far exceeds the limit of the third level of the trial city. And a leapfrog assessment is carried out. Strength far exceeds the limit of the fourth level of the City of Trials. And a leapfrog assessment is carried out. Strength far exceeds the fifth level of Trial City. The evaluation did not end until the sixth level. The branches of the Special Admission Ticket World Tree have been detected. And the four promotion copies are now merged into one to open the special promotion copy, Gods, Ghosts and Ming Dynasties. Please wait. Forcibly entering the dungeon directly? Isn't that a bit overbearing? Zhang Tuohai thought helplessly. It took a little long to enter the dungeon this time. I wonder if Lilith will be too anxious to wait. Just as Zhang Tuohai was thinking wildly, white light enveloped him. When the white light disappeared, Zhang Tuohai found himself on a small hill. The surrounding area was somewhat desolate, similar to the previous hill. Not far away, a man in a yellow robe put his clothes on a stone, bitten his middle finger, and wrote a few words in blood on it. This is all a mistake by civil servants. There was a eunuch-looking man wiping tears next to him. This looks familiar. Zhang Tuohai was about to look around. Suddenly, he found the man in yellow robe walking towards him. Zhang Tuohai wanted to retreat, but found that he could not move. He looked down and found that his body had turned into a locust tree. Protruding. The man in yellow robe took off his belt from his waist, hung it on a branch, and began to hang himself. Zhang Tuohai understood where he was. This is Maishan and he turned into the old crooked tree. At this time, the game prompt popped up. Copy, the Ming Dynasty. Main mission, survive the day when the devil comes. This, Zhang Tuohai was speechless. I am just a tree. How do you want me to spend my time? You can't even move. How can you hide? At this moment, following Zhang Tuohai's will, several black chains pierced the locust tree, stretched out, and spread their teeth and claws towards the surroundings. Chongjin was already hanging on the tree at this time. But when he saw the chain with claws and teeth, he was still frightened and struggled to escape. However, his neck was already hanging on by Lingzi. And no matter how much he kicked around with his hands and feet, he could not move even half a step. Instead, the rope became tighter and tighter, and his eyes turned white. And he could no longer do it. As he shook, the branches of the old locust tree continued to tremble. And there was even a faint sound, as if they were about to break. Grass, don't move. I'm going to break. Please be gentle. Zhang Tuohai controlled the chain and pulled on Chongjin, trying to tear him off. However, I don't know if the power is too great. The black chain actually tore Chongjin's neck directly. Blood and life merged into the black chains. Zhang Tuohai felt that his strength had become stronger. Apart from flesh and blood, Zhang Tuohai also felt a special power. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for receiving a ray of dragon vein luck receiving enlightenment, and turning the locust tree into a spirit. Following the prompts, Zhang Tuohai felt that he could fully control his body. Even the branches and trunks can move according to their own thoughts. It seems interesting. Zhang Tuohai played with his new body. The old crooked neck tree straightened up. 
its branches swaying wildly like a devil. At this time, the old eunuch Wang Qingjin was frightened and sat down on the ground with a thud. Although demons are rampant in this world, he has been in the deep palace for a long time and is protected by worshippers around him. Coupled with the suppression of dragon vein luck, there are no evil spirits in the imperial city at all. At this time, when he suddenly saw the locust tree becoming a spirit, he was naturally frightened. Help! Help dash! Wang Qingjin yelled. Turn around and crawl back. Still want to leave? Zhang Tuohai, who knows how to eat marrow, raised his chain, grabbed Wang Qingjin's ankles, and pulled him back directly. Another chain wrapped around Wang Qingjin's neck, and with a strong twist, Wang Qingjin's neck was directly broken. Flesh, flesh and life entered Zhang Tuohai's body along the chain, and Zhang Tuohai felt his body became stronger again. However, it seems that the taste is not very good, a bit like shark meat. Zhang Tuohai frowned. After absorbing two people one after another, Zhang Tuohai felt more comfortable controlling Hui Xu's body. It seems that we need to absorb a few more. Zhang Tuohai was thinking about where to go to suck a few more people. But in this wilderness of Maishan, there was no one else except Chongjin who came to hang himself. How about moving somewhere? Zhang Tuohai thought about it and started to pull out the roots of his own tree. Prepare to move yourself. Even if we move to the side of the main road, there will be more pedestrians. Zhang Tuohai was pulling out tree roots. I heard footsteps in the distance. A large flag fluttered in the wind. With the word Shun written on it. Das Han? Li Ziqing's people are here? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. By the way, Li Ziqing has also ascended the throne. Will he also get dragon vein luck if he absorbs it? Zhang Tuohai's mind became active. Chongjin's dragon vein luck has benefited him a lot. He now knows the taste of the marrow and can't wait to get some more to taste the dragon vein luck. Distant footsteps gradually approached. It was a group of cavalry, headed by a general, wearing armor and holding a spear in his hand. The general's eyes lit up when he saw the yellow robe thrown on the stone. Dragon robe! The dog emperor is nearby. Search carefully. Don't let him go. Capture Chongjin and be promoted to the third level. Yes! The surrounding soldiers became excited when they heard this and began to search. These people approached the locust tree intentionally or unintentionally. Suddenly, Dozens of chains shot out from the locust tree, tying up everyone including their horses. The chains were quickly retracted, and the bones of dozens of people were instantly twisted. Blood and life flowed into Zhang Tuohai's body along the black chains. The leading general saw that something was not going well, and was about to turn his horse around and escape. A chain shot out from behind and wrapped around his neck. Chapter 1263 Dragon Vein Luck After a while, dozens of mummies appeared next to the old crooked neck tree. Zhang Tuohai felt a little stronger, and his control over Huaishu's body became much smoother. There are even new buds sprouting from some branches. Need more! Zhang Tuohai pulled out the rhizome from the ground, pulled himself out, and prepared to move to a place with more people. He looked back at the corpses, pushed them all into the pit, filled them with some soil, and buried them. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Tuohai began to move his body and walked in the direction of the horse's hoof prints. There must be someone over there. At the same time, Li Zicheng was happily sitting on the dragon chair, touching this and that, feeling that everything seemed so unreal. He was afraid it was a dream, and he was afraid to wake up. Report. All officials from the previous court have been arrested. Your Majesty. Please tell me how to deal with them. A soldier reported. Your Majesty. Our army's military pay is still insufficient. I heard that these criminals in the previous dynasty have rich families. So why not? A general who broke into the king's tent said. Everyone was tortured severely and asked to pay a ransom of money. Those who entered the 6th department all started with 100,000 yuan. And the rest were reduced accordingly. And the lowest was 1,000 tails. If they didn't pay enough, they would be beaten to death until they had enough. Until you count. Yes. The soldier turned around and sent the order. How could those ministers endure such torture? In less than half a day, they vomited out 10 million tails of silver. Li Zicheng's eyes turned green when he saw the silver. Where has he seen so much silver? At this time, a general said, Your Majesty, they have vomited so much in just a long time. They must have more in their hands. They must not let them go so easily. Yes. Continue the torture and squeeze out every last drop of oil for me. Li Zicheng gave the order. Li Zicheng was very happy that the military pay issue was resolved. Go down with the order and have some wine to celebrate. Li Zicheng shouted loudly. At this moment, a soldier ran in and shouted, 
Your Majesty. Your Majesty is in trouble. There is a tree demon coming in outside the city. Triad? Li Ziqing's eyes widen. Can you see clearly? It's absolutely true. General Li Yan has already led people to resist. The soldiers responded. Bring me my bow. As a rebel leader who fought in many places, Li Ziqing had seen many more monsters and ghosts than Wang Chin Chin. He knew very well that if a big demon was not killed in time, it might kill an entire city. Now the capital is his home base. If it is destroyed, where will he give money? Immediately some soldiers helped Li Ziqing put on his armor and fetched his sun shooting bow. As soon as Li Ziqing took the sun shooting bow in his hand, he heard a loud roar. The vermilion door was smashed into pieces, and a huge locust tree came in from the outside. A dozen generals and armor hung on the huge branches. Among them is Li Yin. These people had all been drained dry and were hanging crookedly on the branches, swaying from side to side, like three-dimensional keychains. Monster! Look at the arrow! Li Ziqing opened his bow and arrow fiercely, and a blue whirlwind gathered on the sharp arrow. There was a faint sound of wind and thunder. Whoosh! The arrow shoots out like a shooting star, hitting the tree trunk in one fell swoop. Streams of thunder spread from the arrows to the surroundings. Good arrow! Your majesty is good at archery! The surrounding soldiers suddenly cheered. Li Ziqing was also very satisfied with his archery skills. His arrows are extremely powerful and can crack stone monuments. He encountered a fox demon before and killed it with one arrow. Presumably this time. Then Li Ziqing was stunned. The arrow did hit the trunk. But the big locust tree continued to walk towards the crowd as if nothing was wrong. The corpses on the branches shook and shook. As if mocking their weakness. With a roar and the sound of chains. Dozens of chains swept towards them. Li Ziqing thought of using a long bow to resist. However, the chains directly wrapped him up. And even the long bow in his hand was broken. Along with him were dozens of guards. Li Ziqing felt that the blood and life in his body were passing away rapidly. And he felt that his eyes were blurred. Is this the fate of death? It's a pity that I just entered the capital and haven't had time to enjoy the colorful world. Li Ziqing was whipped into a mummy with this infinite regret. It actually has the aura of dragon veins. After draining Li Ziqing, Zhang Tuohai felt a breath of dragon veins. Then, does the person who sits on the throne have the aura of dragon veins? Zhang Tuohai wants to do an experiment. If only those who have sat on the throne can obtain dragon vein luck. Then he can have unlimited rewards. Zhang Tuohai looked around, grabbed a soldier who was still alive, and pressed him on the dragon chair. No reaction. Tell me, you can make yourself the emperor. Zhang Tuohai ordered. What? The soldier was stunned and looked at Zhang Tuohai dumbly, not knowing what he was going to do. Say that you are the emperor, or I will kill you. Zhang Tuohai ordered. I, I proclaim myself the great, great Shan dynasty, emperor. The soldier finished speaking stumblingly. Still no reaction. It seems that sealing it yourself is not enough. It probably requires a formal ceremony and recognition. Zhang Tuohai casually broke the soldier's neck and then drained the soldier's blood and life. In Zhang Tuohai's eyes, these are not real people, just NPCs in the dungeon. As long as the world is restored, their lives will be restarted. Everything is real and everything is fake. Ultimately, it's just an experience that can be repeated over and over again. After experiencing too many copies, Zhang Tuohai has become numb and does not value life so much. Those who are pleasing to the eye will be helped a few times. And those who are not pleasing to the eye are just steps to complete the task. Just like Li Ziqiang. Just like those tens of thousands of Das Hun soldiers. The long street behind him was filled with shriveled corpses. Everywhere he went. He cleaned up became his experience and strength. In particular, Li Ziqing's dragon vein luck strengthened his locust tree body. At this time, the outer bark of his locust tree turned into gray scaly outer bark, like dragon scales. The hardness has been greatly improved, and Zhang Tuohai is sure that if Li Ziqing shoots an arrow at him again, it will definitely not be able to penetrate his skin this time, knowing the taste by eating the marrow. Zhang Tuohai is even more eager for the luck of the dragon vein. Where can I find someone with dragon vein luck? Zhang Tuohai looked north. Over there, there is also a political power. He was enthroned and coronated in Feng Tian, and even had a complete enthronement ceremony. That guy should also be blessed with dragon vein luck. Right? Zhang Tuohai had a guess in his mind. He moved the huge tree roots towards the north, and shriveled corpses hung on the branches, swaying like ripe fruits. Chapter 1264 Thousands of Miles Away Yu Yu Wang Taiji reined in his horse, and the surrounding soldiers stopped. Three big flags, 
yellow and yellow, and red, fluttered behind them, followed by billowing smoke and dust, followed by a large number of cavalry. Is there any news from the detective? Huang Taiji asked. Khan! Not yet, said a rapper. How many batches of exploration horses are there? Huang Taiji frowned. Great Khan! There were sixteen groups of expeditions, and no one came back. Bao Yi's voice was trembling. A bunch of trash! Huang Taiji whipped Bao Yi's body. I usually show off my power and show off my power, but I can't do such a small thing well. Bao Yi was sweating coldly and didn't dare to speak out. Wang Taiji looked at the lush green woods in the distance and felt a hint of crisis. He lifted his nose and sniffed, and seemed to smell something dangerous. Let's go! The rear team becomes the front team! Retreat! Wang Taiji turned around and prepared to retreat. From being a prince to becoming a great Khan, he relied on caution. Not one of the sixteen batches of exploring horses returned, which in itself meant that the front was unusual. He would never take any personal risk. Just when he turned around to leave, suddenly, a strong wind hit, and the feet shook violently. Many horses were frightened and were spinning around in circles. The eight banner soldiers tried their best to control the horses that were sitting down and calm them down. However, at this moment, a crack opened in the ground beneath his feet, and thick roots protruded from it. Chains spread to both sides, and all the cavalry encountered by the chains were entangled. As for Huang Taiji, he was entangled by a single chain. The entangled person quickly turned into a mummy. What kind of monster is this? Huang Taiji's eyes were full of confusion. His body was rapidly drying up, and the blood and life in his body were rapidly draining away. He felt that he was aging rapidly, from a young man who was showing great ambitions to an old man. When he was dying, he seemed to see a big tree walking towards him from a distance, with dried bodies hanging on its branches. There were the detective horses he sent out, Dasan soldiers, and even Li Ching. Zhang Tuohai desperately used chains to catch the eight banner soldiers, intending to get more blood and lives before they escaped. It was not enough. After all, the eight banners were cavalry, and they were a fast group. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly stopped more than 20,000 of them, and the rest ran away. Next time, I'll kill all your horses first. Looking at the eight banner soldiers leaving, Zhang Tuohai inspected the harvest. After absorbing so many eight banner soldiers, his locust tree body expanded a lot. From the original height of 7 to 8 meters to more than 20 meters. The trunk also became a lot thicker. Now four people can't wrap around the trunk. Of course, for Zhang Tuohai, the biggest improvement was Huang Taiji's dragon vein luck. After this transformation of dragon vein luck, the leaves of his locust tree body changed. Every time a person is eaten, a leaf grows, and on that leaf is the face of the person being eaten. Whenever he needs to, he can activate the wailing skill. This is a ranged skill. Tens of thousands of resentful souls cry together, which can make those who hear it miserable and lose the ability to move. Looking at this new skill, Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied. If this skill had come earlier, those eight banners wouldn't have let go. Count your luck! Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly, thinking about the way out next. His main mission is to survive the coming of the devil. He must accumulate enough strength before the devil comes. The best way to improve your strength is to absorb blood and life especially Dragon Vein Luck. This is the top priority. Where to look for Dragon Vein Luck? Zhang Tuohai thought that the closest place to here was Gali. The Li Dynasty is still there. Although the royal family of the Li Dynasty is very weak, it is still the recognized emperor. There should be some Dragon Vein Luck. Right. Zhang Tuohai decided to go and have a look. The huge locust tree uprooted its roots and walked towards the distance. The escaping eight banner soldiers galloped all the way towards Shengjing. When he was about to arrive in Shenjing, he saw Dorgan face to face. This slave has met Prince Hsuo. When the leading eight banner soldiers saw Dorgan, they immediately dismounted and knelt on the ground. Didn't you go to conquer the capital with the Great Khan? Why are you here? Where is the Great Khan? Dorgan looked at the embarrassed people in front of him, and an ominous premonition arose in his heart. Could it be said that the Great Khan fell in the capital? No way. According to the spy reports, the Ming Dynasty's capital is weak and the city defenses are empty. Even if it cannot be defeated, the Great Khan will not be trapped in it. Could it be that he collided with Li Ziqing? Prince, the Great Khan has passed away. The leading eight banner soldier immediately recounted what happened. At the end, he added, It's not that we don't work hard. It's just that the tree demon is too scary, and we really can't defeat it. Humph. The master is dead. How can you slaves but have the honor to live? Come on. 
Chop them all down. Dorgan rolled his eyes and said coldly. Hearing this, the soldiers behind him took out the scimitars from their waists and slashed at these people. Even if these people saw the shining knife, they did not dare to resist. Because now they have to die by themselves. If they resist, their whole family will be exterminated. And there is no mercy left. For the lives of their people, they had no choice but to die on their own. Looking at the corpses on the ground, Dorgan snorted coldly feeling an indescribable sense of relief in his heart. He has been competing with Huang Taiji for the position of Great Khan. In terms of military merit, he is no worse than Huang Taiji. Why is it that the Great Khan is Huang Taiji and not him? Now that Huang Taiji is dead, it seems that it is his turn to take the position of Great Khan. The reason for killing Huang Taiji's value was partly because of the ancestral system, and partly to prevent them from spreading the news, which would not be conducive to his seizing the throne. Now, he has a head start. Let's form a team and return to Shengjing. Dorgan rode back toward Shengjing. Through mental calculation and unintentional calculation, Dorgan successfully grabbed the coveted Khan position. However, the banner leaders are basically still there, and their troops are not damaged. On the surface, they just pinch their noses and recognize him. But secretly, they are not very optimistic about this big Khan. Dorgan had anticipated this situation. To a certain extent, the Eight Banners is a kind of tribal alliance. If you want everyone to recognize you, you have to make everyone live a good life. How to live a good life? Rob, as long as Dorgan takes them to find a place and grab a fat sheep, then all the problems will be non-problems. So which fat sheep should we grab? If it were before, Dorgan would not hesitate and would definitely choose Daming. After all, he had internal support and could do anything easily. But now, Wang Taiji had just fallen in the Ming Dynasty. And there were also Tree Demons and Li Ziqing. Dorgan was a little unsure about that. In comparison, the Li Dynasty is better to control. You are the one! Dorgan made up his mind. And on the day, he was crowned Great Khan. He led the Eight Banners elites to kill Goryeo. Chapter 1265 Eastward Journey Dorgan led the elite Eight Banners and rushed towards the capital of Goryeo. This land is so familiar to them that it has almost become their back garden. Every time I ran out of supplies, I came over to grab some. The morale is low. So come and grab some. The morale is great and I need a reward. So I'd better come over and grab a wave. Almost the entire peninsula was used as a leak field and harvested repeatedly. The saddest thing is that people here can't escape yet. The peninsula is surrounded by the sea on three sides. And the only land passage is still controlled by Ho Jin. There is no way to escape and can only hide there and wait for death. Dorgan passed through dozens of villages and towns. Large and small. But not a single person was seen but he wasn't too surprised. When they came here before, it was basically like this. Those villagers basically ran to the big city or the royal capital to take refuge. In this way, although the belongings left at home may be lost, but at least one life can be left. Run to the royal capital. Right. This king will take down the royal capital this time. It's time for the Li dynasty to be destroyed. Dorgan's eyes flashed with a fierce light. And his men also look normal. They are like a pack of hungry wolves needing food to fill their hungry appetites. The group of people barely rested. One person exchanged horses for two horses and galloped all the way to the gate of Kaijing City. Although the group of them was very tired at this time, Dorgan didn't care. In his eyes, the soldiers and horses in Lee's hands were all cowards. As weak as lambs, the eight banners elites under him can be pressed down and beaten with one hand. Just when he was about to let people attack, he was suddenly stunned by the sight in front of him. He was surprised to find a huge locust tree in the royal capital city. The locust tree was more than 50 meters high, and its huge crown was like an umbrella, covering almost half of the palace. There were many mummies hanging on the branches, many of whom he knew were Goryeo generals. At the top of the tree branch, he also saw the body of King Lee of Goryeo. The corpse was like a pendant, swinging in the wind. Tree Yad! Dorgan knew something was wrong when he saw the huge tree demon, and quickly turned around and prepared to run away. At this moment, a breeze blew, and bursts of crying sounds floated on the wind. The wailing sound was like a demonic sound that reached the ears, causing those battle-hardened eight banners elites to roll directly to the ground, holding their heads and wailing. Even Dorgan felt as if someone was hitting his head with a huge hammer. The severe pain made him dizzy. His mind was buzzing, and he almost fainted. Just before Dorgan fainted, he saw dark chains stretching out from the big trees and shrouding them. Another dragon vein luck? Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he saw the sudden extra dragon vein luck. 
He had obviously just eaten imp early. So why did he suddenly get an extra serving? He looked around blankly, until he saw the eight banners on the ground outside the city. And then he suddenly realized, it was probably Huang Taiji's agent who sent the news of Huang Taiji's death back to Sheng Jing. And then Dorgan and Hoagie elected a new Khan, in order to boost his momentum. This new Khan came to Kai Jing to fight the autumn wind, but ended up bumping into himself. What's this? Thousands of miles away to give away someone's head? That's really polite. Zhang Tuohai accepted this dragon vein luck. After strengthening the luck of two dragon veins, Zhang Tuohai has completely controlled the body of the locust tree, even down to every leaf. The gray scales on the surface of the bark also have a hint of black, making them look harder. That's not enough. Zhang Tuohai has seen those demon gods before. A locked demon god is so strong. So what will a complete demon god look like? Zhang Tuohai didn't dare to think about it. He can only try his best to improve his strength to the extreme. Only in this way can we cope with the coming of the devil. Where else can you find dragon vein luck? Zhang Tuohai recalled the world map. Now the only king closest to him is the Japanese king across the strait. You are the one! Zhang Tuohai controlled the body of the huge locust tree and headed southeast. After several days of trekking, Zhang Tuohai arrived at the beach, looking at the turbulent sea. Zhang Tuohai was not panicked. He controlled the roots and transformed into the shape of a large ship, with his body as the mast and the canopy as the sail. The huge locust tree turned into a giant ship, splitting the waves and galloping towards the Japanese country. In a small village by the sea, several strong young men held bamboo guns and stared straight ahead. In front of them stood a worn-out umbrella that looked like a human being, with a long knife hanging from its waist. This is an umbrella demon who likes nothing more than cutting off other people's heads. The Japanese country at this time was in the Edo period. Although the major wars had ended, and the wars were not as frequent as before, life was still difficult. All kinds of monsters emerge in endlessly. The lords and daimyo of various places have too much time to take care of themselves. Monsters appear in the villages. And most of them can only save themselves. If you can survive the fight, you can continue to live. If you can't beat it, death awaits you. Several strong young people had their clothes wet with cold sweat, and their legs were trembling. However, they did not dare to retreat because their village was behind them. At this moment, the umbrella demon moved. A bright light flashed, and the umbrella demon pulled out the saber at his waist. With the sharp light of the sword, a young and strong head standing at the front rose into the sky, and blood sprayed on the umbrella. The dripping blood made the umbrella demon even more excited, and the long knife in his hand slashed down like lightning. Every knife takes a life. In an instant, five or six headless corpses fell to the ground blood flowing everywhere. The tragic scene frightened several young men and wanted to turn around and run away. However, after running a few steps, the umbrella demon caught up with them and chopped off their heads one by one. The umbrella demon felt very satisfied, licked the blood on the knife, and was about to enter the village to continue killing and enjoy his killing feast. Just then, it felt a strange sound on the sea. It turned around and saw a strange large ship heading in its direction. The big ship is like a big tree and the huge crown of the tree is like a sail. The sea breeze rustles the leaves, making a wailing sound. The cry penetrated deep into his soul, making it unbearable for even the demon, as if his mind was being struck with a chisel. It wanted to run, but its legs seemed to be growing on the ground, and it couldn't move at all. Then, it watched the big ship getting closer and closer. And finally, the huge hull crushed its body, crushed it completely into pieces. After the big ship docked, the huge hull slowly spread out and slowly returned to the shape of tree roots. Zhang Tuohai looked around and walked toward the northeast. There is a powerful evil spirit over there. Chapter 1266 Breaking Through Geoxianyuan On Takamakira Many demons gathered here to celebrate the birthday of the god Amaterasu. The kappa came up holding a plate. Dear Amaterasu, These are the 33 hearts of drowned people that I specially collected. Please taste them. Before the kappa could finish speaking, he was kicked aside by Shuten. You have the nerve to take out only 33 hearts. Dear Amaterasu, this is the spiritual wine I brewed from the blood of 99 people. Before shouldn't finish speaking, the lantern demon jumped out, dragging a bottle in his hand. Amaterasu, this is the spiritual fluid I refined from the essence of 600 boys. I have been preparing it since last year. Look at my beautiful frozen statue. Inside is the man who is known as the most beautiful man in Mainong country. Look at my pagoda with human heads. For this pagoda, I slaughtered half the city's people. Look at my freshly cut meat. It's all freshly cut. It's absolutely fresh. 
many monsters presented the gifts they had prepared. Amaterasu was very satisfied with this, and was about to speak when suddenly, there was a violent vibration on the ground. The long table shook. Cups and bowls jumped around. Wine vats overturned. Frozen statues shattered. Pagodas with human heads fell over. And heads rolled on the ground. What happened? Amaterasu stood up and stared in the direction from which the vibration came. Someone actually dared to cause trouble when he was celebrating his birthday. Which made him very unhappy. He will cut this rebellious guy into pieces with a knife. And then put them in a pot of oil and fry them for 7749 days. However, at this moment, the barrier covering Gao Tian Yuan shattered, and a giant tree hundreds of meters high squeezed in from the outside. A shrill wail emitted from the dense canopy of trees. Amaterasu felt as if there were thousands of steel needles in her head. He roared and jumped up. The clothes on his body automatically moved without wind, and a black fireball with a diameter of more than three meters appeared in his raised hands. Go to hell! Amaterasu shouted and threw the black fireball. The black fireball is his special skill. The fire comes from the Red Lotus Karma fire on the banks of the Wanchuan River. If ordinary ghosts encounter at least a little bit, they will be burned on the spot without leaving ashes. Amaterasu himself didn't dare to face it directly. He is the one who controls Gao Tianyuan and the thousands of ghosts sitting down with his hand. He believed that no matter what this big tree was, it would be burned to ashes by the Red Lotus fire. The black fireball hit the tree trunk. Call. The fireball shattered. Attached to the tree trunk and began to burn. Hee hee! That's all! Seeing the fireball starting to burn, Amaterasu showed a look of disdain on his face. He thought he was so powerful. But in the end, he was defeated by his own Red Lotus Karma fire. The monsters around him also breathed a sigh of relief and began to compliment Amaterasu. As expected, it was Amaterasu-sama who took action to deal with this officer. As expected of Amaterasu-sama. Congratulations to Amaterasu-sama! Amid the cheers, Amaterasu felt elated. He liked this feeling very much. However, he soon discovered something was wrong. That is, the giant tree has not been burned up until now. Although the Red Lotus Karma fire spread throughout the trunk, it was always burning on the scales on the surface and did not damage the root. How so? Amaterasu's expression suddenly changed. He took a deep breath and once again condensed the Black Red Lotus Karma fire. Throw it towards the giant tree. However, this time, he only made the burning Red Lotus Karma fire more intense. Without any substantial changes. How so? Amaterasu's face was ashen. He didn't know how this happened. The Red Lotus Karma fire that he was so proud of actually had no achievements. No way. Absolutely impossible. Amaterasu didn't want to believe what she was seeing. He even suspected that it was all a dream. Amaterasu turned to look at the Kappa. With one finger of one hand. A red lotus karma fire the size of a dandelion fell on the kappa. The kappa didn't even have time to scream, and instantly turned into a pile of white ash. Seeing this, the surrounding monsters quickly distanced themselves and looked at Amaterasu in fear, fearing that the other party's next target would be themselves. Amaterasu was not in the mood to care about them. He frowned and said, There is nothing wrong with the red lotus karma fire. How can it be useless to that guy? It shouldn't be. Is there any way to kill this guy? Amaterasu's mind was spinning rapidly. Amaterasu is thinking of a way. And Zhang Tuohai is also thinking of a way. He was not as unharmed as he seemed. The Red Lotus Karma Fire is worthy of being Amaterasu's support as the master of demons in Japan. And its power is extraordinary. Even if Zhang Tuohai is covered with scales that have been strengthened by Dragon Vein Luck, they are still being ablated. And layers of ashes are falling. Zhang Tuohai is just constantly extracting power to replenish the scales. If not for this, Zhang Tuohai's locust tree body would have been burned into ashes. We have to find a way to solve it. Zhang Tuohai extracted all the energy from his body to continuously supply the scales. And on the other hand, he began to control the chains. Crash. Along with the sound of metal colliding, black chains shot out from the locust tree, falling towards the surroundings like fireworks. Thousands of chains were like a huge birdcage, sealing the entire Gaoyan plane inside. What is he going to do? Amaterasu instinctively felt that something was wrong and looked around nervously. At this time, the chains began to close the net. Thousands of chains swept toward his location from all directions. Rush out! Amaterasu shouted. The monsters under him also saw that something was wrong. At this time, even if Amaterasu didn't give orders, they were ready to run for their lives. Many demons saw that the distance between the chains was still relatively large and prepared to pass between the chains. 
but as soon as they rushed to the chains, they were tied up by the chains, sucked into shriveled corpses, and finally blown by the wind, turned into ashes all over the ground. Seeing this, the big demons sacrificed their spiritual treasures that they had cultivated for many years in preparation to resist. However, those spiritual treasures that they regarded as treasures and made of thousands of precious materials were corroded as soon as they touched the chains. Some were twisted into pieces by huge force, and some were directly drained of energy and became useless. Trash. And they themselves were drained of blood and life and turned into mummies. The chains got smaller and smaller as they gathered together. Amaterasu tried to rush out several times, but was blocked by the chains. Seeing himself surrounded, Amaterasu gritted his teeth and condensed the source of red lotus karma fire, hoping to escape. However, the next second, he was bound by thousands of chains. Amaterasu felt that her life and blood were flowing and disappearing like a river. And the origin of the red lotus karma fire was also controlled by chains because it lost control. Who are you? Amaterasu used her last strength to know who was so powerful. However, no one answered his question. Amaterasu felt a sharp pain in her body. Her body was torn into pieces. And then she fell into endless darkness. Chapter 1267 Open the door and send warm. Finally done. Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath, absorbed the next energy, and finally controlled the source of the Red Lotus Karma Fire and collected the Red Lotus Karma Fire on his body. At this time, the scales on his body had become black and translucent, with faint traces of flames on them. Zhang Tuohai felt it and found that the scales were tougher than before, and their resistance to flames had also increased several times. Amaterasu is really a good person. He even helps me exercise. Zhang Tuohai carefully checked the energy he had absorbed. This time, the group destroyed all the demons in Gao Tianyuan, causing the energy in his body to surge. The full energy almost burst his body, especially the Red Lotus Karma Fire. He also needs to place it properly, and it is best to refine it into something of his own. However, time waits for no one, and the devil will come at any time. Zhang Tuohai decided to think of ways to digest it while walking. There is still a piece of dragon vein luck waiting for him to collect in Edo. Zhang Tuohai moved the thick rhizome and walked towards the distance. Ten days later, Zhang Tuohai arrived at Edo Castle. At this time, the huge Edo was mostly empty, and there was not even a mouse in the original Imperial Palace and Shogun's Palace. Humph! You run really fast. But this is just an island! Let's see where you can run! Zhang Tuohai moved forward, raising Edo City to the ground, chasing the breath and pursued the shogun in the direction of his escape. I have to say that the shogun has a good nose, and is also good at running, going in circles with Zhang Tuohai on the island, and constantly leaving civilians behind, distracting Zhang Tuohai's judgment. However, he miscalculated Zhang Tuohai's growth rate. By the time he walked around the island and returned to Edo, Zhang Tuohai had turned into a giant tree with a height of a thousand meters. The tree crown blocked the sky and the sun, and wherever he passed, it was like night had fallen. The shogun and the Japanese king could not escape and were blocked on a small peninsula. Dear Lord Sacred Tree, please don't kill us. We are willing to enshrine you as the sacred tree that protects the country, whether you accept the position of the protector of the nation or not. After accepting, you will receive the blessing of Dragon Vein Luck. Is there such a benefit? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up, and he discovered a new way to make money. Accept? Zhang Tuohai clicked accept. Waves of dragon vein luck poured into his body along the earth veins. It's really good. Zhang Tuohai felt the blessing of dragon vein luck. Although it was not as pure as what he got from the emperor. It was better than ever. Sacred tree. Do you have any other instructions? The Japanese king asked respectfully. As commanded. There is one more thing. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Ask your instructions. I will definitely do it. The Japanese king said quickly. I'll lend you your luck. Zhang Tuohai stretched out a chain and wrapped it around the Japanese king. The Japanese king didn't even have time to cry out for help before he was beaten into a mummy. The shogun next to him was so frightened that he fell to his knees on the ground. A chain grabbed the shogun from the ground. Remember, maintain the position of our country protecting sacred tree. If I find out that you are doing something small, you and your family will have no need to exist. The reason why Zhang Tuohai kept the shogun was so that this buff could continue. Yes, yes. I will make sure that every household worships the divine tree of protecting the country. From now on, there will be no other gods in the country. Only the divine tree of protecting the country. Tomorrow. No. Now. 
I will have people dismantle the altars of other shrines of Mount God and only worship the Divine Tree of National Protection, a sacred tree that protects the country. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied with the Shogun's rise. Then it depends on your performance. Zhang Tuohai threw the Shogun out, turned around and walked away. The affairs of the Japanese kingdom have been dealt with. And Zhang Tuohai is going to find the next kingdom. As long as the devil doesn't come for a day, he will continue to improve his strength. Zhang Tuohai once again coiled the tree roots into a big ship and set sail to sea. I don't know if it was due to ocean currents, but Zhang Tuohai actually got lost at sea. After dozens of days of sailing, he finally saw land. After landing, I caught a local native and asked about it, only to find out that I had arrived in Annan. Okay, let's get the king of Annan first. Under the leadership of the local natives, Zhang Tuohai easily arrived at the capital of Annan. After draining away the imperial guard stationed in the country, as well as the generals and courtiers, King Annan knelt down and respectfully enshrined Zhang Tuohai as the sacred tree that protects the country. Zhang Tuohai chose to accept. Then, he felt that the dragon's luck had been strengthened. The buff of the Japanese protector sacred tree has not disappeared either. Can this buff be refreshed infinitely? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He decided to travel around the world and promote himself. Dear, open the door. The tablets are for sale. Zhang Tuohai kicked open the doors of one country after another, and he gained more and more buffs. So much so that Zhang Tuohai himself had forgotten how many countries he was the national protector tree. However, these are small things. As long as the buff is still there, it won't be a big problem. Anyway, they would not dare to rebel in a short period of time. Of course, in order to prevent those demons from causing trouble and competing for his dragon vein luck, every time Zhang Tuohai entered a country, he would help eliminate the demons entrenched in the country. On the one hand, he wanted to improve his strength. But on the other hand, he was afraid that these guys would cause trouble and become an accomplice of the devil. On this day, Zhang Tuohai came to the foot of Lingshan Mountain. Tathagata, open the door and send warmth. Zhang Tuohai smashed the door of Lingshan with a chain. By the way, uproot the Bodhi tree and absorb it completely. Be bold. Tathagata suddenly opened his eyes. Flip one hand, and thousands of boulders fell from the sky, hitting Zhang Tuohai. Something. Zhang Tuohai's tree crown turned over. Thousands of fallen leaves floated out, and the boulders were cut into pieces. Tathagata raised one hand, and a huge palm comparable to a mountain fell from the sky, as if it was going to crush Bong Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai manifested the red lotus karma fire and faced the giant palm. In Dong Tuohai's hands, this red lotus karma fire exploded with power that was 10,000 times stronger than before. Tathagata's palm was pressed on the red lotus fire, and it was actually ignited. The red lotus fire of karma went upwards along the Tathagata's palm, with the potential to ignite the Tathagata's entire body. Seeing that something was wrong, Tathagata quickly cut off an arm. Zhang Tuohai withdrew the red lotus karma fire and completely devoured one of Tathagata's arms. It has to be said that Tathagata's energy is pure, and this arm is enough to withstand thousands of ordinary demons. Zhang Tuohai looked at Tathagata with envy in his eyes. If you could eat them all, how much strength would you gain? As if seeing Zhang Tuohai's thoughts, Tathagata was furious. Obstacle! How dare you! The Tathagata roared angrily, and the Arhut, Bodhisattva, and the Venerable all stood up, picked up their weapons, and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 1268 God of All Gods Looking at the Arhats and Bodhisattvas rushing toward him, Zhang Tuohai remained unmoved. New branches sprouted from the branches, and strings of white locust flowers bloomed. When the breeze blew, pollen flew all over the sky. Those people knew that there was something wrong with the pollen, so they quickly used their magic weapons or released divine light to resist it. But the pollen penetrated the magic weapon and body-protecting divine light that they were proud of without any hindrance. How is that possible? Those are Bodhisattvas were shocked. I use so much dragon vein luck to transform the pollen. If you intercept it like this, wouldn't I be very embarrassed? Zhang Tuohai sneered secretly. After the pollen fell on the Arhut Bodhisattvas, it was directly submerged into them, and then small saplings broke out of their bodies. Before those Arhuts and Bodhisattvas could reach Zhang Tuohai, they turned into small locust trees. Tathagata, serve me as your master, and I will spare your life. Zhang Tuohai's heart moved thinking that since the king can worship him as the sacred tree that protects the country, can a powerful person like Tathagata also worship him as his master? Maybe it can trigger some new buff. Delusion! Tathagata suddenly stood up 
and the petals on the lotus platform under his feet bloomed, shooting out streaks of golden light. The saplings that were trying to kill Tathagata were all burned by the golden light, turning into ashes all over the sky. In that case, um, seeing this, John Tuohai was too lazy to say anything more. Thousands of chains were thrown out and pierced into the spiritual mountain. Then, the entire Ling Shan trembled. What are you doing? Tathagata was furious. This is not your place to begin with. Do you care about me? John Tuohai snorted coldly, shook the chain, and the entire Ling Shan fell apart. The energy of the earth spurted out. Lotus flowers rose from the ground. Lotuses bloomed, and flames rose. You dare to destroy my arrangement? Tathagata saw that his arrangement was destroyed by Zhang Tuohai, and he couldn't help but get angry. He stared hard at Zhang Tuohai, wishing to tear Zhang Tuohai into pieces. Zhang Tuohai also didn't expect that he just wanted to break Tathagata's state of mind, but he didn't expect to find these things under the Lingshan Mountain. Some chains swept away towards Tathagata, while others sank into the lotus flowers of the earth, sucking the lotus flowers and the flames into the body. Tathagata became even more crazy after seeing it, with sand and rocks flying around him and golden light flashing around him, trying to break through the chain blockade and take back the lotus he had arranged for thousands of years. However, Zhang Tuohai's chains were watered by hundreds of millions of flesh and blood, and were forged by red lotus fire. They were unparalleled in strength. Even Tathagata could not break through the iron chains in a short time. Zhang Tuohai absorbed those lotus flowers and flames, feeling that his body was more than twice as strong as before. And he felt the feeling of being filled with energy in his body again. And his red lotus karmic fire also became more powerful after absorbing the fire of those earth veins. He didn't know what Tathagata's purpose was for arranging these things. But that didn't stop him from using them. After devouring these, Zhang Tuohai's strength nearly doubled. Seeing that after years of painstaking arrangements, he was packed away by Zhang Tuohai. Tathagata could no longer control himself. Opened his mouth, and a golden swastika shot out, pressing towards Zhang Tuohai. Break! Zhang Tuohai's chains flew around and wrapped around the four edges of the swastika, directly tearing the golden swastika into pieces. At the same time, the strengthened red lotus karma fire once again burned along the black iron chain and reached Tathagata's body. At this time, Tathagata no longer had the ability to resist and was directly burned to ashes by the red lotus fire. Not even a single relic was left. After absorbing the spiritual mountain and Tathagata, Zhang Tuohai felt that his body became more and more powerful. The body of the locust tree was already more than 10,000 meters high, towering like a mountain. The spiritual power was overwhelming in all directions. The demon was already crawling on the ground a hundred miles away and did not dare to move. Continue. Zhang Tuohai felt that it was still not enough. As long as it can be strengthened, it has not reached its limit. Who knows how powerful the demon god is? It's always better to be more prepared. Zhang Tuohai continued walking westward. Along the way, small countries surrendered one after another, and all the demons and evil spirits on the road were swept away. Zhang Tuohai crossed countless mountains and rivers along the way and finally arrived at the foot of Mount Olympus. Golden apples! Golden oak trees! I want them all! Zhang Tuohai knocked on the door. The door flew directly inward. This! Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. Is this door so weak? Who invaded my Olympus? A carriage rushed out from the door. On top of the carriage stood a warrior in full armor, holding a spear in his hand and burning with blazing flames. He looks like the sun god Apollo. As soon as Apollo rushed out, he was hit by a chain. Then, Apollo and the carriage flew back upside down. So unbeatable? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. This is much weaker than before. Who dares to invade my temple? A middle-aged man with lightning flashing all over his body rushed out of the temple. It looked like the breeding king Zeus, followed closely by a woman holding a shield and a spear and a middle-aged man holding a trident. Zhang Tuohai guessed it should be Athena, the god of war, and Poseidon, the god of Poseidon. Surrender or die? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. The sound was like rolling thunder. The sky was filled with chains that seemed to imprison the sky. And the flames were flowing with the potential to burn the sky and destroy the earth. As if the next second would be the end of the world. Clang. The scepter in Zeus's hand fell to the ground. God above. Please accept the respect of your most loyal servant. Zeus immediately knelt on the ground. Athena and Poseidon also dropped their weapons and knelt on the ground. Cough, cough, cough. Zhang Tuohai was so stunned by Zeus that he almost didn't react. According to normal logic, shouldn't you insist on fighting to the death and then be killed by me? Why did you vote now? 
Zeus's actions directly blocked Zhang Tuohai's next words. Congratulations on gaining the awe of the Greek pantheon. They want you to be their patron saint. Acquire the title of God of God. Increase your divinity. And increase your luck. There are still 12 slash 10,000 to the title of God of Gods. Any new achievements? Seeing the system prompt, Zhang Tuohai became interested. Becoming the patron saint tree of various countries will bring you massive dragon vein luck. Becoming the God of Gods. There is no reason why the benefits should be lower than those of the patron saint tree. I accepted this task. Zhang Tuohai thought of this. Stretched out a branch and pressed it on Zeus' head. I accept your allegiance. Remember your oath. And if anything displeases me, it's like this. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai exerted his strength. Zeus's entire body shattered into pieces and turned into mud all over the ground. Hmm. I'm a bit strong. Zhang Tuohai was a little embarrassed. He looked at the shivering Athena next to him. From today on, you will be my servant and look after Mount Olympus for me. As you command, my master, Athena said tremblingly. Chapter 1269 The copy ends. After arranging Athena to be the master of Mount Olympus, Zhang Tuohai launched a search for Mount Olympus. Turn everything you see into energy and take it away. What golden apples, golden oak trees, sacred with pomegranates, magic dragon spears, and golden balls of the sun. Anyway, as long as the energy can be extracted, take away everything. Abandoning the broken Olympus, Zhang Tuohai changed his target and set his sights on northern Europe. There are world trees and giants. There are many strange things and many gods. It is a good place. A few days later, the surviving gods knelt at Zhang Tuohai's feet. As for the rest, they have all been turned into nourishment by Zhang Tuohai. After successfully taming the Nordic pantheon, Zhang Tuohai turned south and reached the Nile River. Hey! Hello! Where are you sunbathing? Zhang Tuohai said to the Sphinx lying next to the pyramid. The Sphinx looked at Zhang Tuohai, who was blocking out the sky, and then looked at himself. Sure enough, he turned over and exposed his belly, as if he was lying down and letting himself be hacked. It's too unsatisfactory for you to resist even once. Zhang Tuohai was a little helpless, but the Sphinx remained unmoved and lay on the ground with her belly exposed. It knew very well that lying down might still be a way to survive, but resisting would mean death. Well, okay, you take me to find other gods. Zhang Tuohai was a little helpless. A few days later, Horus and the surviving gods knelt down in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai went all the way south, conquering small countries while conquering the earth gods they believed in. After cleaning up Africa, Zhang Tuohai turned around and returned to Tianzhu. He pulled Shiva out of bed, who had been dripping water. Then, without Zhang Tuohai asking, Shiva knelt down directly. He even offered his but proactively. Roll! Zhang Tuohai whipped Shiva away with a chain kick. I am a tree now. What should I do? Use chains? After completely conquering the pantheon of the old world, Zhang Tuohai turned his goal to America. There are gods and countries there too. So, Zhang Tuohai traveled across the ocean and set foot on the new world. Honor me as lord and give you the power to fight against smallpox. Zhang Tuohai said to King Maya. Thank you. God Almighty. The Mayan king knelt on the ground. Zhang Tuohai dropped a drop of emerald green liquid on the king's head. The liquid instantly submerged into the king's body. The old king suddenly became young. The loose skin becomes firm. The fallen teeth grow back. The gray hair becomes dark again. And the shriveled body becomes full of vitality again. Thank you. Almighty God. We will serve you for generations to come. The Mayan king pressed his whole body to the ground. This is a new ability tested by Zhang Tuohai. He discovered that he could bless his followers. Including but not limited to life. Blood. Strength and even divine power. Of course, due to their limited physical conditions, the amount of divine power they could carry was limited, and they could not accommodate the arrival of Zhang Tuohai in his full state. However, this is enough, because these blessed kings became Zhang Tuohai's eyes, helping him keep an eye on the vast territory. After making new discoveries, Zhang Tuohai began his journey in the new land. Whether they are colonists or indigenous people, they are all the same in his eyes. Those who surrender will be treated like dogs, those who don't will be treated like shit. Zhang Tuohai's footsteps have spread from the Great Lakes to Tierra del Fuego. Every corner of the New World is covered with Zhang Tuohai's footprints. Because of the large number of tribes and city-states, Zhang Tuohai achieved the King of Kings achievement very quickly. It's almost full. However, the achievement of the God of Gods was much slower. Still a third short. More than 3,000 gods. 
It seems that we can only go to that place. Zhang Tuahai aimed his sights into the distance. Now, there is only one place where so many gods can be gathered together. And that is heaven. Looks like we still have to go. Zhang Tuahai's body continued to soar, breaking through the Lingxiao Palace. The Jade Emperor, who was watching Chang'e dance, was so frightened that he got under the table. Hurry and invite Tathagata Buddha. Jade Emperor shouted loudly. Stop screaming. Tathagata is dead and his ashes have been blown away. There are only two ways before you now. Either worship me as a god or stay with Tathagata as your companion. Following Zhang Tuahai's words, thousands of chains sealed the Lishao Palace. Faced with the absolute power gap, the Jade Emperor reluctantly agreed to Zhang Tuahai becoming the god of gods. Congratulations to the player for completing the achievement. King of kings, god of gods, players gain the power of the world. And the power of the entire world will be at your disposal. The power of the entire world. Zhang Tuahai pondered for a moment and began to exert force. Endless power surged from the earth's veins and entered his body. Under the influence of his chains, the sky began to shake. Zuenshin, Zuenshin, please take away your magical powers. The sky is about to fall. Jade Emperor shouted loudly. Well, not bad. Zhang Tuohai felt very satisfied. In this way, you should be able to fight against the devil. Right? Zhang Tuohai thought. However, this alone is not enough. Now that everything was settled, Zhang Tuohai set his sights on the underground. There has been no excavation below. Zhang Tuohai stopped and dug the roots deeper. Soon, Zhang Tuohai's roots spread all over the continent. And then all the way down. Soon, Zhang Tuohai discovered the Styx River. Huang Quan and Wan Chuan. Zhang Tuohai didn't pay much attention to the underground water and spread the roots directly over it, completely wrapping it. Upon seeing this, Yama, Death, and the six paths all knelt in front of the root system. Don't even dare to fart. Zhang Tuohai continued to dig downward, all the way down, until one day, a root came out of the soil. Only then did Zhang Tuohai realize that he had dug through the entire ground to the other end of the world. He has become one with the whole world. Where is that demon god? Why hasn't he come yet? Zhang Tuohai thought suspiciously. At this moment, a dark cloud appeared in the sky, and a human face emerged from the dark cloud. Ha! Stupid humans! The things you brought disturbed my thinking. Zhang Tuohai flicked the chain and dispersed the dark clouds. The demon has been eliminated and the mission ended early. The game pops up a prompt. Zhang Tuohai, that's it? I have worked so hard for so long and almost controlled the entire world to fight against the devil. But you tell me this is it? Zhang Tuohai almost spit out blood. If he had known that the demon god was here, why would he bother so much? When he first broke through Gao Tianyuan, he could hold this guy down with one hand and beat him. If he had known this, why would he work so hard? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. The copy is being settled. Copy evaluation, SSS. Players begin to leave the instance. The player is too large and given a humanoid tree transformation form. Start transmission. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 1270, Making Copies on Behalf of Others. Along with a ray of white light, Zhang Tuohai returned to the living room. Nothing but human form. Otherwise, if the entire building enters, the entire building will collapse. Zhang Tuohai's body also changed after returning to human form. The whole body is covered with pitch black scales, with faint flame patterns on them. The whole body is pitch black except for the eyes which are pure white. From a distance, it looks like a suspect in Conan. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai's body was covered with black chains, and black flames appeared from time to time. The flames rose, occasionally forming a grimace, and then dissipated. His hands were like sharp claws, like dry branches, and they looked like ghosts. Lilith was heating milk in the kitchen. When she saw Zhang Tuohai, she immediately jumped down from the stool. He rushed to Zhang Tuohai in two steps and hit Zhang Tuohai's chest with a headbutt. Boom! Click! Tathagata's scales, which had not been cracked, actually showed fine cracks under Lilith's headbutt. Boom! Lilith hit Zhang Tuohai's chest with another headbutt. Fine cracks covered the whole body. Boom! The third head but hit him. Wow! The black shell on Zhang Tuohai's body broke and scattered on the ground. Revealing his original body, Zhang Tuohai felt refreshed and the whole world became clear again. Although he still had his own consciousness before. Because he killed too much and absorbed too many souls and flesh. His soul and consciousness were inevitably contaminated. And his whole person became a little confused. Many times, when there is a more convenient solution, 
he will choose the simplest and most direct way killing. He felt that he was constantly sliding towards the abyss. He wanted to stop it and crawl out. But he would always keep sliding downwards. Just when he thought, he would gradually fall into the abyss. The abyss broke. Lilith's voice rang in her ears. Hey! It's always troublesome! Zhang Tuohai looked up and found Lilith looking at him with her hands on her hips. Lilith suddenly approached him, raised her nose and sniffed. You smell like another woman! Who are you? Looking for a stepmother for me? Are you beautiful? I don't want the one that looks too ugly. What are you thinking about? Zhang Tuohai held Lilith's face with both hands and kept squeezing it. Thank you so much this time. If it weren't for Lilith, he would be in real danger this time. And he might really fall into the abyss and become a slave to power. Stop pinching, uh-huh, go and cook quickly, uh-huh. Lilith's face kept changing shapes in Zhang Tuohai's hands. Today's reward is to make spicy hot pot. Zhang Tuohai pinched it twice more, entered the kitchen, and started washing vegetables and thawing shrimp and fish balls. The hot pot base ingredients are already made, so you can just put them in the pot and cook them. Although the recipe is very simple, it is very popular. Among the 10 girls Zhang Tuohai has come into contact with, 8 out of 10 love to eat spicy hot pot. Some of them cannot eat spicy food and would rather ask the store not to add chili pepper or sesame oil. Eat. I don't know why. Watching Zhang Tuohai busy in the kitchen, Lilith stood at the door and looked at the black fragments peeling off Zhang Tuohai's body. These are the evil thoughts and resentful spirits entangled in Zhang Tuohai. If they last for a long time, they will become Zhang Tuohai's inner demons and even directly transform Zhang Tuohai into a demon and become a puppet of power. However, these fragments are not all bad things. They are always two sides of the same coin. For example, blood and water can be transformed into delicious food. These evil thoughts and filth can also become useful things after being transformed. Lilith stretched out her hands. Those black fragments, broken chains, and dirty branches were suspended in the air, slowly turning into pools of liquid, merging together, and after some reorganization, they turned into a line full of red. Rune's black chain. Lilith named this chain the chain of sin. The sin-breaking chain will also retain the power to absorb blood and life, but it will not be fed back to itself, but will be used to increase the strength of the chain itself, coupled with the rune imprisonment on the chain. Zhang Tuohai can use the power of the sin-breaking chain without worrying about falling into the abyss due to overuse. After tempering the chain, Lilith felt a little tired. This body is really bad. I'm tired after only doing so many things. Lilith was a little helpless. So she changed the sin-breaking chain into the size of a bracelet and tied it on Zhang Tuohai's hand. Be careful in the future and don't do these things all the time. Not every time I can persist until I come back. I finally found a cheap meal ticket. You don't want your daughter to become an orphan, Lilith said to Zhang Tuohai. I know. I won't do it again. Zhang Tuohai rubbed Lilith's head, took the pot, and took out the cooked malatang. He filled a large bowl for Lilith and helped add sesame paste, sesame oil, vinegar and chopped peanuts. Lilith was very satisfied with the food and even ate two large bowls. Zhang Tuohai noticed that Lilith seemed to be very interested in duck blood and decided to make duck blood vermicelli soup or maokshuang at night. After eating, Lilith lay on Zhang Tuohai's lap and slept like a kitten. Zhang Tuohai was patting Lilith while browsing the forum on his phone with one hand. It's now a month later. Many players have completed the second mission, and many new players have joined. This has brought new blood to the forum and made it more active. A large number of players on the forum are sharing their experiences in the dungeon, and some items have also appeared in the trading house. Zhang Tuohai took a look and found that most of them were of average quality. Even if there were a few that looked good, they were all marked with extremely high prices. It is simply not equivalent to the actual value. Zhang Tuohai wanted to find a piece of space equipment to replace his storage windbreaker. But he couldn't find the right one after searching for a long time. Sure enough, it's not realistic to expect to find high-end goods in the forum now. Zhang Tuohai originally planned to close the forum. But suddenly a new message came out. Ask for help in playing the promotion copy, Magic School. As a reward, you will be rewarded with a dragon egg or a piece of magic equipment of the same level. The content of the post is normal. Not everyone will choose to participate in a dungeon at the last minute. Some people naturally like challenges. Zhang Tuohai even saw many people on the forum and climbed to the second level of the trial city. Many people feel that it is too difficult to advance to a dungeon. So they post messages asking for help from others. Looking for bosses to help with the dungeon. If it were an ordinary copy, Zhang Tuohai might have just glanced at it and passed by. 
but the person who posted this post was Zhang Tuohai's old acquaintance Su Mu. This guy is very fast. Zhang Tuohai held his chin in thought. Theoretically, he really wanted to thank Su Mu. If it hadn't been for Su Mu's drawing, he might not have been able to move so fast and finally reach this point. From all angles, he should help. Anyway, it's just a small copy that advances from the first level to the second level, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Chapter 1271 Magic Academy Zhang Tuohai contacted Su Mu via private message. Can you take us through the dungeon? Can you show your strength? I don't mean not to believe it. We just want to make an evaluation. Su Mu quickly replied. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, then took a photo of the endless wine bottles and burial shovels and sent them. After acquiring the chain of sin, these two pieces of equipment have withdrawn from the core sequence of his equipment. However, in front of other players, he can still hold his own. How's it going? Are you qualified? Zhang Tuohai asked. Su Mu gasped after seeing the photo. Needless to say, the equipment attributes of the endless wine flask are excellent. Before getting the chain of sin, Zhang Tuohai had always used it as a core equipment. The burying shovel is also very effective, and has even been strengthened once. At a time when many players don't even have the equipment, some people actually start to strengthen their equipment, which in itself speaks volumes. Su Chi was drooling at the sight. Sister, ask him if he can sell this equipment? If he can buy it? This copy may be stable. What are you thinking about? This level of equipment must be core equipment at this stage, and it will definitely not be sold. Moreover, even if he is willing to sell it, what will we buy it for? Have you ever thought about this? Su Mu nodded Su Chi's head. How about, sister, you sacrifice yourself and marry yourself, so that we can get the equipment for free and have one more free thug? Su Chi rolled her eyes and said, Are you looking for a beating? Su Mu slapped Su Chi on the bed and dealt a blow. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. I was wrong. Please spare me. Su Chi buried her head under the quilt and begged loudly for mercy. The two argued for a while and finally recognized Zhang to a high strength. When can we leave? Can we leave this afternoon? Su Mu asked. I'm afraid not in the afternoon. My daughter is sleeping. Let's do it tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai looked at the sleeping Lilith lying on his lap and decisively refused. He had been gone for nearly a month. If he left quietly again, Lilith would probably be angry. Daughter? She's still an uncle. Sister, why don't you get married? You don't even have to have children. You can become a mother directly and avoid 20 years of detours. Su Chi came over again. Your skin is itchy again. Right. Su Mu picked up the feather duster. Help. Su Chi's scream sounded in the apartment. The sun had set when Lilith woke up. She was very happy to see Zhang Tuohai still sitting on the sofa. She twisted a few times and changed to a more comfortable position. It's getting dark. It's time to eat. Zhang Tuohai looked at the getting dark sky outside and said, Just order some takeout. Lilith was too lazy to move. I'm going out to buy a fish head and make it with chopped pepper. Do you want to go to the vegetable market with me? Good. Lilith jumped up all of a sudden. As long as she could be with Zhang Tuohai, she would be happy doing anything. The two of them changed their clothes and went downstairs to the vegetable market. It has been a month since the City of Trials arrived, and people are basically used to the huge city hanging upside down in the sky. For the vast majority of people, as long as the sky doesn't fall tomorrow, they still need to eat, work, repay loans, and run around for life. The days will go on, except for some who made a desperate move and changed their fate against the odds. The rest were basically the same as before, maintaining the basic operation of the social order. Occasionally, a few guys using special skills would pass by on the street, and everyone was basically not surprised. Zhang Tuohai raised his head and glanced at the trial city above his head, feeling a little uncomfortable. We still need to speed up to get rid of this thing. It's really an eyesore if it's luckier all day. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind. After a night's rest, Zhang Tuohai woke up early to help Lilith prepare breakfast, then took out his cell phone and contacted Su Mu. You have received an invitation from player Su Mu to enter the promotion copy, Magic Academy, together. Do you accept it? Accept? White light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself in an office. The furnishings of this office are somewhat retro. The large solid wood bookcase is full of books with parchment covers. On the table are quills, ink, seals, and fire paint beeswax, plus three parchment paper appointment letters. On the coat rack were three black cloaks with silver trim, and three whips hung on the weapon rack. Two sisters, 
Su Mu and Su Qi stood opposite. Both of them wore black trench coats and marten boots, with rapiers hanging on their waists and rings and bracelets on their hands. They exuded energy fluctuations and seemed to be doing well. The game prompt pops up. You are employed by the Magic Academy as a ranger here, responsible for guarding the Forbidden Forest. Job content. Prevent magical creatures in the Forbidden Forest from harming students. Working time. One semester. What a long time period. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his chin and thought. This job does not seem difficult. But the problem is that the time period is too long. A semester lasts at least four months. Zhang Tuohai is not willing to spend such a long time doing such boring work. Zhang Tuohai wondered if he could get a little extra money while completing his work. It is not his goal to only complete the essential work, but to maximize benefits. While Zhang Tuohai was thinking about his mission, the two sisters Su Mu and Su Qi were also looking at Zhang Tuohai. Sister, he is so young. You must capture him. You will make a lot of money. Su Qi muttered in Su Mu's ear. She originally thought Zhang Tuohai was a middle-aged uncle. After all, Zhang Tuohai had mentioned having a daughter before. But looking at Zhang Tuohai's face, he was only in his mid-twenties, which made her very excited. Be honest. The task now is to clear the dungeon first. Su Mu kicked Su Qi. There was nothing she could do about her sister. At this time, the door was pushed open, and a man over three meters tall and wearing a shabby windbreaker walked in from the outside. Are you the new rangers? Come here. I will take you to see your workplace. The strong man greeted loudly. Let's go and have a look. Zhang Tuohai greeted Su Mu Su Qi and followed the giant out first. A group of people walked out of the room, and they realized that they were in a huge castle. Outside the castle was a huge grassland. After walking for a while, they climbed over a small hill, and a huge forest appeared in front of them. There are all kinds of strange trees everywhere in the forest. From time to time, you can see various black shadows flashing before your eyes. Occasionally, you can hear roars from deep in the forest in the distance. Along with the cold wind, everything is chilling. This is your working place. How about it? It's very close to nature. Right, the giant said loudly. One question. If you kill a creature here out of self-defense, do you need compensation? John Tuohai suddenly asked. Chapter 1272 Deep in the Forbidden Forest How could it be? The college has always given the safety of its employees its top priority. As long as your life is threatened, you can kill any creature, even a unicorn. Well, unicorns are very gentle. Though, if you can, please stay away from them so they don't get hurt. The giant thought for a moment and added, Don't worry. I won't take the initiative to get close to them. Zhang Tuohai responded immediately. Of course, he would not take the initiative to approach the unicorns. But if those unicorns approached him, it would be none of his business. The giant was very happy to hear this. There is a small house next to the Forbidden Forest. You can live there. I have something to do, and I have to go away for a semester. I will leave the matter of the Forbidden Forest to you. There will be a teacher to contact you if necessary. After the giant finished speaking, he strode away without any intention of staying. What should we do? Let's solve the housing problem first. One semester is not a short time. Su Mu said looking at the dilapidated wooden house in the distance. It would take a lot of time to clean up such a dilapidated wooden house. You go ahead and do it first. I'll go to the Forbidden Forest to check the situation. Zhang Tuohai didn't want to do these trivial things. He planned to finish the things quickly and make extra money. He must be trying to be lazy and take this opportunity to avoid cleaning the room. Sister, if you marry me, you must let him get rid of this bad habit. Su Qi said from the side. I didn't hit you today. Did I? Su Mu took out a small leather whip from his waist and flicked it in the air, making a crisp sound. This is an extraordinary item she got from a copy. It can make people feel twice the pain, but it will not leave any scars. For some special enthusiasts, the effect is doubled. No! Su Qi covered her, but, and ran towards the cabin. Su Mu chased after him. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai stepped into the woods. As soon as his front feet entered the woods, he felt that the surrounding light suddenly dimmed and a damp breath rose from the ground, making people feel uncomfortable. Zhang Tuohai could feel a strange energy spreading in the air. Where is the core of energy? Zhang Tuohai took two deep breaths and walked in the direction of abundant energy. Hiss, hiss. A dark red giant python slowly crawled over from a distance. The giant python was more than 10 meters long, with a body as thick as a bucket and an upright upper body. It spit out scarlet pythons from its mouth, and a fishy smell spread across the floor. Come. 
Well, you approached me on your own initiative. I'm going to start defending myself. The crime-breaking chain stretched out from Zong to Ahai's bracelet and violently wrapped around the python seven inches. The next second, the python's body quickly shriveled up like a tire with the valve core removed. After a few seconds, the bucket-thick python turned into white powder all over the ground and was blown away by the wind, disappearing without a trace. Zhang Tuahai felt it for a while, and the energy in the crime-breaking chain increased a little. Although the current crime-breaking chain cannot feed itself back, it is still very useful as a weapon. After dealing with the python, Zhang Tuahai continued to move deeper into the Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest lives up to its name, and is full of dangers. On this stretch alone, Zhang Tuahai encountered two pythons, six forest wolves, a leopard, two wild boars, and seven or eight unknown strange creatures. However, these things were sucked into ashes by the crime-breaking chains before they even got close to Zhang Tuahai. No trace was left behind. Zhang Tuahai walked all the way towards the place with the strongest energy. After walking for two hours, Zhang Tuahai came to a river beach. He was going to sit down and rest for a while. At this moment, he caught something from the corner of his eye. He turned around and saw a guy in black robes squatting on the ground eating. In front of him was a pony covered in white hair with a sharp horn on its head. Unicorn? Zhang Tuahai looked carefully. It was discovered that the unicorn's neck had been torn open and silver white blood was flowing out. The guy in black robe was squatting on the ground drinking the unicorn's blood. As if aware of Zhang Tuahai's gaze, the man in black robe turned his head. The black robe was empty. There was something vaguely there, but he couldn't see it clearly. A scream that pierced the eardrums came from the mouth of the man in black robes. Zhang Tuahai felt his head sink slightly and immediately regained consciousness. Looking up again, the man in black robe had floated up from the ground. There was nothing under the black robe except for a few wisps of black smoke. Is it a soul creature? Zhang Tuahai had killed many similar creatures and immediately made a judgment. The man in black robe rushed towards Zhang Tuahai fiercely. You asked for it yourself. The crime-breaking chain in Zhang Tuahai's hand turned rapidly. The red runes on it flashed and the black red lotus karma fire rose. In the blink of an eye, a black fire tornado formed. The man in black robe was placed on the fire tornado, and then he was sucked in. The red lotus karma fire is so powerful that not even Tathagata dares to resist it, let alone a monster with less than two levels of dungeons. The man in black robe was directly torn into pieces by the fire tornado, and then burned by the red lotus fire. Not even ashes were left. It's actually 200 points higher than that python. This guy has a lot of energy. Zhang Tuahai felt a little surprised. He originally thought it was just an ordinary monster. But now it seems that this thing seems to be quite powerful. Zhang Tuahai put the chain on the unicorn again and smoked the unicorn into ashes. A unicorn has 100 times the energy of a python. It seems that the rare monster has more energy. Zhang Tuahai had some calculations in his mind. He continued to go up the river. And he felt strong energy fluctuations coming from there. The river became wider and wider and the water became more and more turbulent. Suddenly, the sound of water in front became louder. Zhang Tuahai took a few steps, turned a corner, and the front suddenly became clear. Not far away is a huge waterfall. The waterfall is hundreds of meters high. The water is rushing. The water is splashing. And the water vapor is steaming. It is like a fairyland on earth. There are steep cliffs on both sides of the waterfall. And the cliffs are full of various stalactite caves. In the huge stone caves, you can see dragons shuttle back and forth in the caves. These dragons include red ones, green ones, light cyan ones, and snow white ones. There are big ones, small ones, and some huge eggs. Dragon? Zhang Tuahai understood where the rich energy came from. And it came from these dragons. If these dragons are absorbed, the sin-breaking chain will be further strengthened. Is this still a forbidden forest? It shouldn't be counted. Right. Does that mean the rules of the Forbidden Forest don't apply here? Zhang Tuohai groped for the crime-breaking chains and looked at the giant dragons and thought. Chapter 1273 Clearing the Forbidden Forest It's just a few giant dragons. It shouldn't be a big problem. Right. Zhang Tuohai threw out the crime-breaking chain. One end of the crime-breaking chain was submerged in the soil and moved rapidly toward the cliff from below. It soon submerged into the mountain and then branched out into hundreds of branches and headed towards each cave. Zhang Tuohai felt the position of each chain and did not take action directly. Instead, he waited for all the chains to be in place before taking a deep breath. Lilith's three headbutts pulled him back from the abyss of inner demons. But at the same time, 
they also broke Huaishu's body. Although the sin-breaking chain is still powerful, his physical defense is not as high as it was in the Ming Dynasty. And he doesn't dare to be as promiscuous as he was then. After confirming that the giant dragons had not noticed the sin-breaking chains that were waiting to go out, Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought. Hundreds of fine chains rushed out from the rocks, entangled the dragons in each cave, and then absorbed them completely. Net. When several giant dragons flying in the air saw this, they suddenly became angry and opened their big mouths at the chains. A stream of flames, a stream of frost, and a stream of acid sprayed towards the crime-breaking chain. The chain of sin-breaking is so strong that even Tathagata can't do anything about it, let alone these big lizards. These giant dragons exhaled continuously, exhausting themselves, and in the end, the chains of punishment were useless. Crash. The crime-breaking chains rushed out of the cave and entangled these giant dragons. The dragon roared and struggled. But soon the chains of sin-breaking sucked away all flesh, blood, and life, turning into gray-white ashes scattered in the sky. After a few minutes, all the giant dragons on the cliff were absorbed by the crime-breaking chain. Zhang Tuohai put away the crime-breaking chain and was about to leave when huge cracks appeared on the huge cliff. Click. Click. The cracks grew larger and longer, eventually covering the entire cliff. Crash. With a loud noise, the cliff collapsed, and gravel flew everywhere. As the cliff collapsed, an aqua blue pyramid appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. The pyramid is hundreds of meters high, and the spire is golden, shining like the sun. From the top of the pyramid, Zhang Tuohai could feel a surge of energy, whizzing. Gigi. Ouch. Animals emerged from the woods one after another, staring intently at the pyramid's tip, as if it was the only treasure in the world. It's definitely good stuff. Zhang Tuohai looked at the eagerly looking animals on the left and right, and stretched out the crime-breaking chain in his hand. Crash. The crime-breaking chains branched into hundreds of chains, spreading around. In the blink of an eye, the crime-breaking chains formed a huge net, covering the blue pyramid. Those animals seemed to be summoned by the pyramid, howling and rushing towards the pyramid. However, as soon as he arrived at the foot of the pyramid, he encountered a large network formed by the chains of sin-breaking. The big net looked very sparse, and a cheetah jumped up lightly, ready to jump over it. However, as soon as it got through the mesh, several smaller chains immediately stretched out from the big net and entangled it. Two seconds later, the cheetah was reduced to ashes. One, two, three. All animals that try to hit the net cannot escape the fate of being turned into ashes. However, the other animals seem to have not seen it, and still rushed towards the pyramid one after another. There is indeed something wrong with this pyramid. Seeing the appearance of the animals around him, Zhang Tuohai became more and more determined to get this pyramid. Zhang Tuohai watched beside the big net for a while, and he found that although the crime-breaking chains had killed thousands of animals in this moment, the animals in the forbidden forest were still pouring out like an endless stream. Instead of decreasing, the number of animals around them showed signs of increasing. Not only animals. Zhang Tuohai even saw centaurs, unicorns, nightmares, hognose dragons and various fantasy creatures he had never seen before. As if they didn't need money, these things gathered together and charged towards the blue pyramid. I want to see how many animals there are in this forbidden forest. Zhang Tuohai took out a small stool from his windbreaker, grabbed a handful of melon seeds, and ate them while looking at them. From the time the sun was high in the sky until sunset, the number of animals in the forbidden forest gradually decreased. When the moon reached the treetops, the last unicorn turned into ashes. Zhang Tuohai waited for a while to confirm that no new animals came out of the forbidden forest. Zhang Tuohai estimated that almost all the animals in the forbidden forest had been wiped out. The ashes around them were piled several meters high like a small city wall. Even if there were more animals in the forbidden forest, they would have been almost consumed. You don't have to worry about animals in the forbidden forest harming students now. Right. I can be considered as helping the academy solve a problem. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly, after waiting for a while and confirming that no new animals appeared. Zhang Tuohai focused on the blue pyramid. The crime-breaking chain surged toward the blue pyramid. After the crime-breaking chain was attached to the blue pyramid, a strong energy surged out from inside and poured into the crime-breaking chain. Zhang Tuohai could feel a massive amount of energy pouring into the chain like a torrent. If an animal was washed away by this torrent of energy, there would be no other possibility except bursting like a balloon on the spot. However, the sin-breaking chain is an item that surpasses the current world, and it has been processed by Lilith herself. It even killed the gods of a world back then. 
so naturally it will not be broken by a mere pyramid. The light of the blue pyramid became weaker and darker, while the red runes on the chain became brighter and brighter. Zhang Tuohai waited for another half an hour, and the light on the blue pyramid completely dissipated. The energy fluctuations disappeared without a trace. Zhang Tuohai could feel that the energy of the blue pyramid had been completely absorbed by the crime-breaking chain. Cracks appeared on the pyramid. Zhang Tuohai kicked it gently, and the pyramid was like a pancake that had been dried for many years. With a slight kick, the gravel and gravel fell down like rain. Zhang Tuohai quickly took two steps back. Zhang Tuohai originally thought that it would be over if a few pieces of gravel fell. Unexpectedly, more and more sand and gravel fell. And finally, like dominoes being pushed, the entire pyramid collapsed like a sandcastle washed by the sea. And a massive amount of gravel and gravel collapsed toward the surroundings. Zhang Tuohai retreated sharply to prevent himself from being overwhelmed by the gravel. But after taking two steps back, he discovered that the gravel did not collapse toward the surroundings, but instead flowed toward the middle. The spire that was originally hundreds of meters high has now turned into a quicksand pit, and all the sand is flowing towards the quicksand pit. Is it empty in the middle? There's something down there! Chapter 1274 The World Collapses There's something down there! Zhang Tuohai's heart moved, and his originally troubled spirit became excited. The crime-breaking chains were flying around him, and Zhang Tuohai looked at the sand pit quietly waiting for the result to emerge from the water. After a while, the huge pyramid completely fell into the quicksand pit, and the scene below the pyramid was completely revealed. It was a huge black hole, and beneath the black hole was a huge inverted pile of sand, which was the pyramid that had just collapsed. Zhang Tuohai came to the black hole and looked down. It was pitch black inside, and nothing could be seen. There must be something down here. Zhang Tuohai took a step forward gently. The whole body turned upside down instantly. The surrounding scenery changed instantly. Zhang Tuohai looked around. He was in a small lake. In the center of the lake was a cone-shaped pile of sand, which was the pyramid that had just fallen. And around him were densely packed black trees. The trees were crooked and without a single leaf on them, as if they had been dead for many years. There are many large and small holes in the tree. Looking from a distance, it seems to have human faces. Suddenly, an emerald green flame lit up in a hole. The tree that was lit with flame seemed to come alive its dry branches constantly swaying. The dead tree pulled out its roots from the soil and slowly walked towards Zhang Tuohai. I'm familiar with this. Seeing the appearance of the dead tree, Zhang Tuohai showed a knowing smile. In the previous world, he had always lived as a big tree, and he felt the condition of a dead tree. He could tell from the opponent's breath fluctuations and movements that the dead tree's purpose was to eat him. Isn't it good to be alive? Zhang Tuohai shook his head flicked the sin-breaking chain in his hand, and the chain was directly placed on the dead tree. All the energy in the dead tree was absorbed by the sin-breaking chain. The dead tree only took two steps, then froze in place, and then turned into a pile of fly ash, dissipating between the sky and the earth. Killing a dead tree is like flipping a switch. The dead trees around him came to life one by one. Emerald green flames lit up in each hole. Crunch, crunch, one by one. The dead trees pulled their roots out of the soil, and walked towards Zhang Tuohai. I'd like to see what's in here. The crime-breaking chain in Zhang Tuohai's hand spread towards the surroundings. The sin-breaking chains passed through the dry tree trunks, connecting the dead trees into a series. And then, in the next second, these dead trees turned into fly ash. The crime-breaking chains continued to spread around, sucking pieces of dead trees into fly ash. The crime-breaking chains continued to spread around, spreading for more than a hundred miles before reaching the end of the woods. Why is this forest so big? Why are there so many dead trees? Zhang Tuohai was a little curious. However, all this energy comes from whoring. And if you don't suck it, it's useless. Zhang Tuohai wanted to see how big this black hole world was. At the end of the woods, Zhang Tuohai suddenly found something ahead. It was a golden apple tree. Is it just the apple tree? Zhang Tuohai was a little disappointed. In the previous world, he even swallowed an entire golden apple tree and didn't think it was that special. Just take it one more time. Zhang Tuohai put the chain on the golden apple tree. A massive amount of energy surged out from the golden apple tree and rushed into the sin-breaking chain. There seems to be a lot of energy. Zhang Tuohai felt something was wrong. He has absorbed the golden apple tree. Not only the golden apple tree, but also the world tree, the peach tree, and the Bodhi tree. He has never remembered which one has so much energy. Something isn't right about this. However, Looking at this massive amount of energy, 
Zhang Tuohai became more energetic. I want to see who you are. Zhang Tuohai began to absorb the golden apple tree. When Zhang Tuohai was fighting against the golden apple tree, Su Mu and Su Qi had just cleaned up the cabin. This cabin had not been inhabited for who knows how long. There was a thick layer of dust inside. And there were mice scurrying around from time to time. It took a lot of effort for the two sisters to clean up the place. I don't know what that guy was doing. He went into the woods and never came out. Could he have been eaten by the animals in the woods? Su Qi asked while sitting in a rocking chair. Probably not. With those two pieces of equipment protecting you. It shouldn't be a big problem. Su Mu shook his head. Then why doesn't he come out yet? Su Qi asked. I don't know. But I feel like he must be busy with something important. So sure? What evidence is there? A gut feeling. It's intuition again. Su Qi felt bored and shook the rocking chair vigorously. I'm hungry. Let's eat. What to eat? Su Mu asked. Self-heating rice. I want potato and beef brisket. Su Qi immediately raised her hand. I just know how to eat. Su Mu opened the storage ring and rummaged around. At this moment, the earth suddenly trembled. The cabin began to shake. The ground? There's an earthquake. Run! Like a cat whose tail had been stepped on. Su Qi jumped up from the chair and rushed out the door. Su Qi came to the door in two steps and was stunned by the sight in front of her. The outside world is like a cracked oil painting with broken cracks everywhere. These cracks continue to extend around like dark poisonous snakes. Su Mu also rushed out. She frowned and looked at the cracks around her without daring to move. Sister, what is this? Su Qi grabbed Su Mu's arm and asked worriedly. I don't know. Give it a try. Su Mu pulled out the stabbing sword and tentatively stabbed at the cracks. The stabbing sword penetrated the crack easily, as if there was nothing inside. Su Mu tentatively pulled back the stabbing sword, only to find that the part where the stabbing sword penetrated the crack had completely disappeared. The broken part is smooth and there is no trace of cutting. As if this stabbing sword is naturally like this. Never go near these cracks. Su Mu frowned and said. What's going on? Su Qi's face turned pale. My computer search history has not been deleted. My hard drive has not been formatted. And my tablet. When have you ever thought about these things? Su Mu rolled his eyes at Su Qi angrily. Don't be afraid of being shattered into pieces. You must keep your innocence in this world. Su Qi said with a pinch on her neck. Su Mu was so angry that she had nothing to say. She suspected that her sister had put all her skill points in strange directions. At this moment, a line of game prompts popped up. An abnormality occurred in the copy numbered 0925. The world was shattered. The copy was completed. Settlement started early. And no students were injured. Copy rating, SS. Start transmission. A white light enveloped everyone. Chapter 1275 Golden Apple Su Mu and Su Qi returned to their apartment in confusion. Sister, what's going on? Su Qi's face was full of confusion. It's not that they haven't participated in this world before. They just failed. Otherwise, Zhang Tuohai would not be hired as a foreign aide. However, this time is obviously different from last time. Last time, they persisted for more than 70 days before being declared a failure because too many students were injured. Although they did not persist until the end. They also knew that if they wanted to complete the task, they had to persist for at least one school year. However, this time, it only took one day. And they didn't even do anything. The mission was over. Moreover, it passed with a high evaluation like SS level. The most important thing is that the black cracks that appeared along with the earthquake seemed like the whole world had collapsed. Not to mention seeing this kind of thing. They had never even heard of it before. I've never heard anyone say anything like this on the forum. They can be sure that they have done nothing extra. And they are not even much different from what they did last time. After checking all the variables. The only difference is Zhang Tuohai. Su Mu reviewed everything he had done after entering the dungeon. And was finally sure that these changes must be related to Zhang Tuohai. Sister, how about we go ask him? Su Qi said from the side. No. Su Mu thought for a moment and stopped Su Qi's idea. Why? Aren't you curious? Su Qi was puzzled. Of course I'm curious. But I also know that capable people like Zhang Tuohai have their own secrets. If they don't take the initiative to tell them, then don't ask. Otherwise, not only will the question not be answered, but it will also arouse his disgust. And the gain will outweigh the loss. We might need him to help us in the future. We can't ruin our relationship just for the sake of curiosity. Then what should we do? Su Qi asked. Of course. We pretend that nothing happened. We just followed the agreed travel contract. Su Mu said. 
opened his storage ring, and took out his shotgun from it. Sister, are you going to give him this gun? You spent a lot of effort to get this. Suchi said with some pain. This shotgun comes from a dungeon full of demons. They got it from a demon hunter. It has a damage bonus to demons and energy ammunition. For those of them who have not participated in several worlds, it can said it was a priceless treasure. No matter how powerful it is, it's just a piece of equipment. It's used to win the favor of a strong person. It's not a loss at all. What's more, we also got an SS rating. Overall, we made a profit, Sumu said. Sister, why don't you marry him? In this way, you can hug your thighs, and we won't have to worry about living in the dungeon in the future. Suchi rolled her eyes and said, You're itchy, aren't you? Sumu took out the feather duster. Sister, spare your life. Suchi covered her, but, and ran out of the room. At the same time, Zhang Tuahai also returned to his home. Call! Zhang Tuahai let out a sigh of relief. Just now, it really shocked him. He didn't expect that the golden apple tree was actually the foundation and core of the world. He drained the golden apple tree, which was equivalent to tearing down the foundation of a house. And the whole world collapsed. And those black cracks are the space cracks and space-time turbulence formed by the collapse of the world. With their current physical strength, there is no difference between entering it and being swallowed by a black hole. They will all die very ugly. Fortunately, the game system teleported them back before the world was destroyed. The game didn't give any hints. If I had known, I would have left some energy. Zhang Tuohai was a little dissatisfied. There were still many places in that world that he had not explored. So it was a pity that they were destroyed like this. However, seeing the state of the sin-breaking chains, he was happy again. Because the energy of a world has been accumulated. The sin-breaking chain has been strengthened again. The current strength of the crime-breaking chain has exceeded the level of the ordinary world. In the world below level 6, no one can break the chain. In the world above level 6, even if the powerful boss wants to break the chain, it will not be easy. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied with the result and happily played with the crime-breaking chain in his hand for a while. Just when Zhang Tuohai was playing with the crime-breaking chain, a golden box appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. This is the reward given by the copy after passing the level. Can I also get rewards by helping others fight dungeons? This is a good way to earn rewards. Zhang Tuohai opened the box. Along with a golden light, a cardboard box appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Inside was a box full of golden apples. Zhang Tuohai picked up one of them. Golden apple, the legendary holy fruit. After taking it, it can detoxify and nourish the skin, moisturize the skin, and enhance charm and appearance. Especially effective for women. This. Zhang Tuohai picked up a golden apple and took a bite. Don't tell me. It's quite sweet. The texture is crunchy and juicy. However, Zhang Tuohai's body had been tempered before. Although it was broken up a lot by Lilith. Those were all negative states. And the tempering effect on the body was still retained. At this time, if Zhang Tuohai's body enters some world, it can even be called an innate holy body. A body without leakage. The kind that is carefully cultivated as the saint son of the sect. Golden apples have no practical effect for Zhang Tuohai. They are just a fruit with a good taste. After eating one, Zhang Tuohai put the rest in the box and left it for Lilith to eat as fruit. If Zhang Tuohai's behavior was known to other players, they would probably be heartbroken, especially those older women. Their desire for golden apples has reached the extreme. If Zhang Tuohai were willing to take out a few golden apples and sell them, they would definitely sell for a sky-high price. Women are crazy about their appearance which is not something ordinary people can understand. But Zhang Tuohai didn't want to sell it. For him, as long as he has enough money, it's enough. What could be more important than making his daughter happy? It's just a golden apple. Sprinkle it with water. Putting the golden apple into the refrigerator, Zhang Tuohai received the shotgun from Su Mu. The gun body is black. The barrel is engraved with complex patterns. And the muzzle is the head of a black goat with an open mouth, which is full of art. Coupled with the characteristics of energy bombs, it gets rid of dependence on ammunition supply and doubles its value. Zhang Tuohai likes this weapon very much. Not that this weapon is so powerful. Among all the weapons he has seen so far, no matter how powerful they are, they are not as powerful as the crime-breaking chain. What he likes mainly is that this gun is very handsome and can be used to show off. After holding two guns and flowers, Zhang Tuohai put them away and hit a hard object. Zhang Tuohai took it out and saw that it was an endless card drawing device. Zhang Tuohai slapped his head. 
There have been so many things going on recently that he almost forgot about this. Let's see how lucky we are today. Zhang Tuohai washed his hands and chose to smoke ten times in a row.